Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel, and welcome to a new playthrough in Seven Days to Die. I'm going to get the opening quest knocked out, and in the meantime, I'll show you what's going on here on Borderline. Our protagonist here has happened across a case of Grandpa's Forgettin' Elixir, and in doing so, he developed a raging addiction for it. We'll require one Forgetting Elixir per day. Due to the potent effects of the brew, our skill set will transform completely each day, which we can use to our advantage if we plan ahead. In terms of difficulty, we're on Survivalist with Sprinting Zombies, Nightmare Ferals, and Nightmare Speed at Night. Upon death, the entire inventory will be deleted. For mods, I'm using S-Core with the storage broadcasting and fire active. I'm also using DLX Weapons Fix, which adds a bit of detail to weapons, longer loot bags for increased time before loot bag despawns, lockable inventory slots, and clear skies for better weather. A link to all mods used in this playthrough will be in the description down below so you can check them out for yourself. And if you'd like to learn how to install mods, use the mod launcher, and activate S-Core, I have the perfect video just for you. Here's the thumbnail, and there's a link to this video down in the description as well. We'll be playing on a custom map divided into four equal quadrants, one for each biome, and our base will be directly in the center. In addition, I'll be showcasing my own mod, which makes zombie hordes more difficult. First, it increases the ambient zombies in each biome. It also puts special zombies such as mutated, demolition, and screamer zombies inside POIs, screamer hordes, wandering hordes, and blood moon hordes. It increases the size of wandering hordes dramatically, and it adds a few special thematic waves to Horde Knight, for example, female zombies only for one wave, or armored zombies only for another wave. Links to all the mods that we're using, the map itself, and to my personal mod can be found in the description down below, and I'll make sure to keep you up to date on any difficulty changes or additional mods in the future. I think that just about covers it, so let's jump back into our character and set off to meet the traitor. All right, my friends and fellow survivors, let's begin here. So to start things off, I'm going to spend my four skill points that I get for completing the opening quest, and I'm going to go immediately into Perception level 2 and then Javelin Master level 2 so that we can craft up some good spheres. Now, just a reminder, we're going to be locked into Perception here for day 1. Day 2, we will move over to Strength and then we will move linearly from left to right across the skill trees. And then we'll recycle back around on day 6 to hit Perception again and so on. Okay, we got that. We need some extra plant fiber now. And I think we're good. Yeah, and always focus on those big boulders. Don't mess around with these smaller ones. You're not going to get as many resources out of those. Okay, the coast looks clear right now. We have to be ultra careful because zombies are on sprinting speed, which means they can run just as fast as we can. And in fact, they have no stamina, so they'll catch us eventually. Uh, we can try and duck and dodge and things like that. Jump on top of things. There's a bow kind of straight ahead of us. I can see I'm trying to get some honey out of this. That would be nice. Nope. Tomorrow when we go into strength, we can get a point into um, Master Chef and then we can get all these things cooked up. So let me just strike this a couple times. Well, actually, I don't think I'm going to get five bones. But yeah, when I get five bones, I'll get the bone knife crafted. And oh, geez, I forgot. We actually are going to be in town here for a day or two, probably. So we need to bring some forgetting elixir with us or else we'll go into critical withdrawals and probably die. All right, I found some pretty good glove armor on my way over in like a duffel bag, so I'll pop that on. I am definitely partial to wearing light armor for this, or for the first few days at least, because the heavy armor is gonna slow us down, and I feel like mobility is probably more important to us than anything, although with Mo here, he's got such an awkward waddle that I don't think he can really catch us even if we're backpedaling. So yeah, I'm not too worried about this guy, but someone like a biker, yeah, gotta definitely be worried about bikers. Check this trash. And so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just uh, gradually work my way toward the trader. We'll probably set down a storage. We'll we'll get a little like forward operating campsite set up and we'll, we'll have to knock out as many of these tier one quests as we can today. And then going into the next day, hopefully finish them up so that we can get the bicycle for our quest reward. And then uh, we'll have to stock up on food as much as we can so that we can make our way back and forth to town and also get started on the base so that we have somewhere to hold down the horde on day seven. Wow, that's an interesting assortment of items there. Nice. Destruction zombies are armored. I believe you get some sort of armor penetration with spears, but maybe not without some perks or something like that. I'm not sure. 
Here, let's just close things out with this thing. Oh, no. No stamina. up. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not taking hits yet. It's not even lunchtime. I can't afford to lose hit points for any reason at all. There we go. Also got a nice iron pickaxe. Man, we're getting some good tools already. Um, I just threw that hop seed down. We basically need to keep everything. Blueberry seed? Nah, probably not so much. And blueberries? Just bring those down. We're just going to eat those. But yeah, we're going to be brawling here within a couple of days. And so we'll need to start a garden. We'll need to get some beer crafted. Definitely need to get some honey. Come on, honey. Nope. So we're entering into the first of four cities. And there should be a trader right close by here. I am going to hit up some mailboxes, though. And whoa, snake. I'll take that snake, though. That snake should give us the fifth bone that we need to get the bone knife so that we can benefit from better harvesting efficiency on the animals and we'll just use the right click trick there to uh, get some more out of it and we got a foregrip already well if we can get some glue and then therefore make some pipe weapons uh, po possibly we can pop that foregrip onto one of the pipe guns we're also gonna have to basically hang on to all of our weapons like the sledgehammer that'll be like tomorrow's weapon aha here we go archery book that's uh 20 percent more arrows from targets and another one. Ooh, oh, that's the good one. Leg shots with arrows will slow down your target. So if you have the wherewithal to... Whoops. <laughs> uh, that was my last arrow. That's okay. I can make a few more here. 42 more. We're fine. So let's try that out on Mo here. He's a slow one anyway, but we should be able to... Oh, right in the lower spinal cord, it looked like. Now I'll just pick up some more arrows while we're waiting for him. Here we go. And whoop, right between the legs. Oh, again? Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. That was more like a, a nut shot. Just to confirm, yes, he's definitely struck in the leg now. And moving very slow. Nice. I really like that. Really good feature. And that should help us out a lot here with all these running zombies. Okay, so here we are, we're at Trader Bob's. Trader Bob's is defended by a nurse. We'll have to clear that out, and I think I'll just set up a little mini camp over here on the top of this building here, so that we have a place to stay tonight, so that we can just kind of knock out all of these quests, get the bicycle, and then we'll be a lot safer, we'll have extra storage and stuff like that. And done. Okay, so, storage chest. Grab me up one of those, and let's, um just figure out a way to get onto the rooftop here. Okay, yep. Simple ladder will do there and jump right up here. Probably zombies could get to us from down there. They'll probably, their path will take them inside, upstairs into the attic if there's a route, and then they'll just try to pound through the ceiling. So we'll just have to be ultra careful. Oh, this is a uh, cobble too. So that should give us plenty of time to react. All right, so just give me a shape like that and a campfire. I can't make one just yet because I turned all of my stone into cobblestone. Mm, nice. It's okay. This stuff right here is like sand and stone, so you can just get a quick pile of stone out of it. Just like this. And then campfire it up. And yeah, it's not like we can really do much here. I just want to like put some stuff into storage that we might need later. Hello, hello. First of all, give me a job, and unfortunately there are no fetch quests, which is not what I wanted to see, so I'll take this clear zombies as close by. Um, tomorrow we'll have to hope for better results, because the fetch quests are what are really going to help us, because you can just grab the supplies and leave, just checking out there to see if that was like a horde or something. Looks like just a couple zombies. Okay, so check the inventory, and just sell him everything that I can. Which, honestly, was not very much. And the only thing I really need to buy... Well, it'd be nice to have a lot of this stuff. But the thing that I need the most right now is... Oh my god, a motorcycle! Where was that? Oh man, 30k. Can't do that. Anyway, uh, we need food. Food is the big resource for today. And food is basically the one thing that he does not have. How about the vending machine? This stuff will be cheaper anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we need all this, basically. Okay, we've got to knock out this quest. That's, like, priority number one right now. We've got a crawler out here, and... Uh, looks like two zombies. Not what I want to see here. Hello? Does, like, one of you want to come over here? And then come inside. There we go. Okay, and then, uh, let this guy in. Oh, jeez, there's more zombies here now. Damn it. 
All right, one of you again want to come in here, please? Oh, geez, we got an acrobatic one there. Would prefer it if only one of you came through at a time. There we go, and then one more. Bo, come on in here, buddy. Nice. Right. Did we check Bob's mail? We'll check Bob's mail, and then we'll head over to the quest. Already read that one, so let's just uh, we'll we'll sell it in a minute. Okay, one thing at a time here. All right, here we are at the quest. We'll activate it real fast and check that car again for some extra loot. This is not the best tier one. This is a, a rather big one. There must be probably 10 zombies or so in here. So let's just blaze through here. We'll check for some quick loot and we'll see if we can do one more quest before the end of the day. Whoa. And look at that, we just leveled up. Nice. Make sure I'm gathering up my arrows. I think we're pretty, there's like two more zombies or three more zombies here. Where are they? Yep, a little bit of stuff there. Ooh, we're like already crazy encumbered. Yep, just jump over here. Don't sprain an ankle. Zombies are awake down here. Should be able to take them out pretty much pain-free. Let's just, um, I wonder if I can actually pull the spear out from here. Nope, too far away. Okay, that's what we got arrows for. Oh, you are a tough one, aren't you? There we go. Grab up this stuff, and you and me, Thomas, mano a zombo. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Why are you so tough? Dang it. There we go. That was it for the quest, and of course we get a friggin' Mo Power Electronics box here. Probably not gonna have anything we need in it, but we'll check it anyway. So, basic sensors, tech junkie for AP, robotic turret, ammo, and some stuff to sell. Not terrible. Take whatever's in here, got another Spear Hunter book, that's the good one, 10% more damage with spears, and then this one here that I found earlier, increases the attack speed by 10%, also helpful. Got some uh, scrap boots, first aid kit, that's pretty good. And uh, I would like not to wear heavy armor, because it's going to slow us down a lot, but we got to take what we can get to some degree here. Yes, definitely take this stone, very good source of stone here, and jeez, it's getting late, but we have to try to push on and do that other clear zombies quest before the end of the day. All right, let's head back. Oh boy. Yes, I kind of forgot that I turned traitor protections off. Uh, yep, so that's a thing. <laughs> the, yep, oh jeez. <laughs> the traitors are destructible. Great, uh, did I make the traitors killable as well? Little I don't remember. Oh jeez, okay, four grip mod, four hunter mod. Oh jeez, terrible. I'm gonna take the hunter mod though, cause I can put that on a spear and get 10% more damage out of it. Give me that other clear zombies quest I to the south them. gas station. Oh, that might be the easy gas station. Uh, let's just sell off and unencumber ourselves. And otherwise I wanna keep everything, although we're looking pretty good on money and I don't wanna waste any more time looking to see if there's anything we should or could buy. We'll make that an activity for tonight, looking to uh, boil some water and stuff like that. I did get a cooking pot, didn't I? I did, I did. I, I got a cooking pot, so that is a very good find. We'll be able to at least boil water tonight. All right, so put everything away that we're not using and just modify this, put that hunter mod on and let's see if we can knock out the gas station. Where the hell was that? Right over there. Ah, yes, the easiest POI in the game. <laughs> I've had some significant difficulty with this place in the past, so I'm not gonna say any more than that. We should have plenty of time to just loot a couple of things here. Ooh, that's a good find there, a fire axe. Maybe just pick up some gasoline here while we're at it. You know what? I just now realized that you can actually see the zombies through this back door here. This actually might be the easiest POI in the game now that I've just realized that. After all this time, I could just come around here and take this friggin' dog out. Okay, I'm having significant difficulty though, just friggin' hitting him. There we go. Where's the other one? I know that there's another one in here, or maybe there's not, I guess, or, no, oh, there he is, right there. There we go, and there should be just one or two zombies in this main room here. I see you there, businessman, I see ya. Oh no, it's just another hoodie guy, my bad. Oh, and then we've got Marlene up there in the rafters. Okay, good to know. Open the door, stab him in the nuts, and close door trick. Yep, there we go. One down, please give me that back. Uh, that's my good spear, please, can I just, yes, there we go. Come on, oh geez. Hello, wake up. Okay, we are good to go, let's, uh, let's loot up a little bit and then we're basically back to camp for the night after that. 
Oh, and by the way, I leveled up earlier, didn't I? I did, yes. Okay, so we need to take one more skill point here in the closing hours of the night. Yeah, at this point, it, it doesn't even matter. Just go perception. Hey, hey, pipe pistol. All right, there's definitely nothing worth dying here for. So in the closing hours of the night, before nightfall, I'm going to head back to camp and we're just basically going to sit on the roof all night and chill out. All right, home sweet home here. Get the fire going. And just in time too, it is officially nightfall. And right away, we've got some action over here. A wolf is attacking a nurse. Wouldn't mind having that wolf meat either. Oh, I've scared him off now, unfortunately. Oh, oh, he stopped. Okay. Uh, just keep peppering him with arrows. Nice. Okay. So we'll need to head down there. I think there are some zombies in that pool house, though. So we'll have to be ultra careful. Okay, let's stash the inventory and then we'll head down. This is the great thing about the inventory lock slot mod. You just kind of toss all of your garbage in here all at once without losing the, the primary items that you want to hang on to. All right, so bring the cups with me. We'll get those filled up so we can boil some water. Speaking of water, yeah, we're definitely almost dehydrated. So start drinking these up. Okay, okay, yep. Very carefully now, work our way down here. Okay, first things first, give me the water. Second thing, make sure I have a way to jump my ass out of here if I have to. Okay, get some light, get my arrows back, and get the meat. Done and dusted, let's get back on the rooftop. Well, that seems to be it for today. I'm just going to sort through the inventory, get some stuff ready for selling first thing in the morning. Well, not first, first thing. I guess we do need a plan for what to do first thing in the morning before the trader opens, which uh, it looks like there's a zombie inside the trader. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> well, so we'll have to look out for that as well. Anyway, you guys can get some rest and I'll take first watch. We'll pick things up in a few hours. Just like that, it is morning. So good morning, everyone. And first things first, Grandpa's forgetting Elixir in. <laughs> uh, it feels so awkward using that. I've basically never used it on a regular playthrough, which is kind of why I thought it would be fun to use it in this playthrough. So yes, it, all skills are reset. Are we safe here? I did kill a bunch of zombies last night. But I think we're good. So today is a strength day. So, oh, what do we want to do then? Okay, so probably at least one into Master Chef. And then I want to do sexual Tyrannosaurus as much as possible. So I'll do two points into strength then, and then that'll give me two points into sexy T-Rex, which means I should be able to use the iron sledge relatively well. And we can basically just get rid of this garbage. Scrap those up and we'll put the structural brace mod on here and the hunter mod onto the bow. Freeze up the inventory a little bit. And yeah, I want to sell everything basically that's in the inventory right now. And so last night, that zombie that was inside the trader compound was trying to get after Bob, unfortunately. So I did try see like they were trying to bang in right here. I did loose a couple of arrows over and then I came over and just opened the door so the zombie could come out. And yes, I actually, I didn't know when I was uh, installing some mods, basically I'm using S-Core and uh, part of S-Core is, oh no, 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 that door's locked. Yeah, part of S-Core is that um, tr uh, trader protections are turned off. However, it does appear that his door still locks at night and his sign goes off, so he's technically still closed. Bob, let me in. I got some stuff to sell and I need more quests. Damn it, there, ooh, wait. Hello, Bob. Bob, listen, man, <laughs> you and me gotta have a talk. Okay, so in this scenario, I'll take the 762. That should help if we get a rifle or a pipe machine gun or something like that. And we'll take some early morning jobs. Let's do the fetches can first because problem. we can just do those so quickly. Brilliant. Yes, good. And may I see your inventory? Sell. Okay, that looks like it'll be it. And he is restocking on day four, so we don't have to have to look through any of that anymore. This should have restocked. Today it has a can of sham and some coffee. I don't mind if I actually do take that. That'll help us if we get into a prolonged fight. Yeah, we're gonna have to probably someday come over here with some iron and see if we can fix up his compound a little bit. But right, we're off to do that fetch quest real quick.
So anyway, we'll just hit this quest, and we're not gonna go through the whole place. We're just gonna find out where the supplies are, jump up there, take them, and leave. And the supplies, oh, look, they're right here. There we go, and there's the uh, supply satchel right here, right underneath the stairs. Any loot that I could reach from here? No, I think that's it. All right, we're done here. And this is just how you get a bicycle on day two, hopefully. So I did level up there a second ago, so we'll see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and just take Skull Crusher so that we can fight a little bit better. Nice. Okay, presumably Bob is still technically closed. I'll be interested to see... Oh, there we go. Okay, Trader Joe's is open, but his sign is still off. The door magically did unlock, though, so we don't have to go in through the window anymore. Wow, this is actually kind of cool. I like having the traders open. And uh, I think I'll just take the book there. Any more jobs? Yes, yeah, so we'll have to do two buried supplies today. That is a big bummer. I'll take the fetch, though. All right, where are we off to next? I just picked a bunch of corn out of this place and I pulled a couple of books out of some mailboxes and stuff passing by. One was for the exploding crossbow bolts and stuff like that. This is steel arrows and bolts and this is a spear hunter book for crafting steel spears. Nice. Check this car. Ooh, we have a zombie awake somewhere. So keeping my eye open for that. A shovel, that will help later for the digging quests. Oh man, this feels good. Right, so again, we're only here for the supplies. Where are they? They are upstairs. All right, let's go ahead and just go lights out. Oh, there it is right there. Nice. We are all set here. Good deal. All right, Bob, what do you got for me? Wrench schematic. That's not too bad, I'll take that. And we'll just read it immediately. Sell off the couple things I found there that I don't need like a, well, do I really need a scope 8X? I never really use that. It's just, it's too much zoom for me. What do you got for more quests? We got to clear zombies. We're going to have to take it at the ranger station. Isn't that the one we passed by on the road on the way here? That's not a bad one. All right, I'll meet you there. All right, rolling up on the spot here. Did I actually roll through here on my way here and grab something? No, there's a food pile here. I wanna check the army truck though. This could have good loot sometimes. And today, not too bad, some ammo and stuff. There's probably zombies in there, yeah. Good morning, oh boy. Wake up. That's pretty much the extent of the double loot trick that I will do, so yeah, I'll take that food pile again, please. And the army truck next. Yeah. Old sham sandwich, definitely not worth it that time, but at least we know what's behind this door. Or that one, oh boy. Wow, this works good. Watch out for those spikes though. Okay, yeah, no time to dilly-dally really. We just wanna clear this out because we have to dig up two supplies today. So, okay, wh where are we going? We're going to the top. Aha, here we go, couple of them. Yes, arrow to the knee trick. It worked. Oh, that slowed her down considerably, nice. Where'd you go, Bo? There he is. Oh, out of stamina. There we go. Okay, I, if I remember correctly, this should be a trap from the rooftop. Are there zombies, like, inside all of these things? Or, nope, yes. Here, I brought these specifically for this reason. Come on. Soften them up for me. Come over here, Steve. Right into the spikes, please. Are you such a dumbass, Steve? Damn it, come over here. I believe that was it. We can just probably snipe the zombie that's in here. Can we? Can we not? Well, I guess we have to, whoops, jump down. What is, what am I doing here? <laughs> I guess we gotta jump down here and go toe to toe with whoever's in here. And it's just a construction worker. Janitor zombie, rather. And mission complete. Anything good for our efforts here? Okay, not too bad. Hoping for some food, honestly. The food is like the big restriction here early game. I got some boiled meat cooking back at home, but you know, that only lasts for so long. Couple potatoes, together with the corn that we have, we can kind of boil those up as well. I think that's about it for this place. Okay, we just had a zombie run up and I could have sworn it was a horde and I just like, my heart sunk. The first horde is supposed to contain, I think, 10 zombies. I think it goes 10, 20, then 10. So yeah, the first couple hordes are gonna be serious and deadly. And like I discussed in the opener, if we die, 100% of the inventory is gone. We are starting over from scratch. Oh boy, oh boy, yikes. Just woke up all the zombies that were in the pool house, like I mentioned earlier. <laughs> How many? Oh boy, yeah, three. 
That would have been not fun to uh, actually be on ground level when they woke up. If y'all could just go back to bed, that would be ideal. While I'm waiting, I'm just gonna suck down some of this boiled meat that I made. Boiled meat definitely preferred over charred meat if you're trying to decide what to make. This is gonna give you hydration and more health than the um, grilled meat will. So definitely the go-to would be the boiled meat. Also, if you're gonna be selling brass and brass items like doorknobs and radiators, it's always more efficient to scrap them. You can see I'm gonna get 40 for this pile of five doorknobs. And for the 187 brass that it's scrapped into, we'll be making a total of 72, so much more value that way. All right, we got a couple zombies to deal with here. Whoops. I believe the other one just ran into the building there, so I'm content to leave him to it. Hello, Bob. I picked up your crap for you. Ooh, I'll take the shotgun ammo, please. <laughs> Vehicle off-road headlight schematic. Probably the most worthless item to be right now. And we have two more jobs to do, and they're very far away, both of them, and they seemingly are right next to each other. So we'll grab that. And then uh, I'll grab up the coffee that we have and some food. This is gonna definitely take a while. And I'll meet you over at the dig site. All right, we're at the site here and we do have a bit of a fortification we might be able to use here, but I don't really trust that that's going to work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a pole for us. And some people would think this, this is kind of cheesy to do, but my goodness, it's day two, leave me alone, all right? So what you do is you do that and you do, well, I would probably upgrade that to cobble if I could. Basically, you just jump up here and you can fight from here and zombies won't be as much of a threat. So I'm going to do that kind of this once until we get a little bit stronger. And before we get to it, I'm going to go ahead and take that one point into minor 69er. And that should allow us to dig just a little bit more easily and get this treasure or buried supplies. And uh, the trick that a lot of people still mention is that it's going to be... What was it? Southwest corner? In Alpha 19, you always used to be able to dig into the southwest corner and the treasure would be right there like 90% of the time. This was the easiest way to do it. But I don't think that's a thing anymore here in Alpha 20. So I'm going to just demonstrate for you and we'll see if it works. No, in fact, the, the, the circle is shrinking in this direction. So another trick I've seen people do is they put boxes like all around the border, like so, right at the edge on all sides. And then we'll have to wait for it to shrink down again. Okay, yep, circle shrunk down. No zombie spawns yet, which is lucky. And now that we've kind of marked the perimeter, we can get a better idea of where the supplies probably are. And if I had to make a guess, I would say right about here. And this would be like the northeast corner, the exact opposite of where we started. Aha, look at that, I found it. Okay, make sure we have a good way to get out of here. No hurry right now, zombies have not spawned in yet. They'll spawn in as soon as I actually grab it. So grab it up and jump my ass out of here. Pull that frame up and just get a sense of what we're dealing with here. That was a regular zombie that was here before. And otherwise than that, yee! No, 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 no! Get back! Yeah, three zombies. That's kind of... That, that's killer, this stage in the game. One thing I think there'd be a cool mod, or a, a cool, like, addition to the game, is, like, you can't repair a block if there's a zombie that's currently hitting the block, or that's, like, um, you know, within, like, a three-block radius, maybe? So that would, like, really prevent you from doing extensive repairs on Horde Knight. Just to, you know, that would just increase the challenge for me. I wonder if there's a way to mod that in, but let me know if you know of a way or if there's a mod out there already that does that because I would totally play with it. So we're done. I think we're making good time for today. If we turn this quest in, get the next one, hopefully be done by nightfall. Hello, Bob. Let us speak, First aid bandages for certain and one more job to do. Let's do it. And what we're going to do this time, we're just going to start off with the trick that I was demonstrating the last time. Just put a box down in all cardinal directions. And then the first time we see the circle move, we should see, it should be right on the border basically of the circle from what I usually see. So whatever way it moves in, you start digging on the, um, the edge of the circle there and you should find it pretty quickly. And for protection on this one, let's go ahead and just lay down a spikes pit or a spikes lane, I guess you could say. And we'll just kind of hide and kite the zombies into these when the time comes. Okay, first movement was in this direction here. Although it kind of closed in symmetrically. So that leads me to believe that maybe it's kind of like right here. 
And it is, it is right here. And so another strategy that you should use when you're digging is that the radius will, will collapse down on you every 10 blocks that you destroy. So keep track of how many blocks you're destroying. And then when you're on, if when you've just done the ninth and you're on the 10th block, like just make sure that you've got a way to get out of here easily and that uh, you have a plan in place to take on the zombies. So should be good here. I'm just gonna take a coffee preemptively in case we need to, and we'll see what's in here. Um, ooh, lucky blueberry pie. That bodes well for us. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, uh, I think we've got three by the sound of it. Come on into the spikes, everybody. And then if I could just get some of that XP, please, as well, that'd be great. Well, I missed one. Poor old Thomas here. Yep, and hopefully we'll just not go barreling through here on our bicycle later on and impale ourselves on these spikes. <laughs> All right, let's go get our reward and call it quits, get our bicycle, and then probably head back to the base location and maybe uh, get started on some building, but not in the middle of the night. That'll be an activity for first thing in the morning. For tonight, probably just uh, do some final cooking while we have the perk into Master Chef, I guess. And then, uh, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Fortitude Day? Ugh, yuck. That means we'll have to go into, like, brawling. Yikes. At least we have plenty of first aid, though. All right, Bob, I'm back. I dug up all your supplies for today. Definitely gonna take that nine mil. I do have a pipe pistol as well, so might have to start using that. Definitely taking that bicycle. And I think we leveled up there. Special jobs to the southeast. Trader Hugh. I think he's in the snow biome, if I recall correctly, so we're not gonna be heading out that way anytime soon. Brilliant. Slap the bicycle down and we'll just take a quick ride around town and see what's going on. See if there's maybe like a loop that we can gank real quick or maybe just ride around checking mailboxes and cars or something just to occupy the time. Hey, hey, a little honey there. That's good. A couple barns. Oh, got a zombie right here, but I will take these medical supplies. Ooh, steroids and recog is pretty much the best medical pile you could ever ask for there. So in case you're not familiar, there are some tricks with the bicycle to help you get around. Uh, the first one is that usually people hold W and then they'll press shift to like do the sprint. But if you just hold shift and then press W when you want to sprint and you kind of pulse it, you can see my feet turning. That's when I'm pressing W. I'm holding shift the whole time. And this is not quite as fast as if you were to just like hold down W and shift but it is faster than, and uses less stamina than the other way. So if you're trying to get around more quickly and saving stamina, it's called the shift W trick. And another trick you can do is that uh, if you wanna ride around, say you have a broken leg, right? And you, when you're sprinting on the bicycle with a broken leg, it, um, it hurts you. So let's say you break your leg and you wanna get home faster. You actually can go backwards and the same thing, you just, you know, hold, S, so you're, you're, you know, traveling backward, and then you hold shift, and, uh, yep, you, you move faster this way. It's, uh, sprinting speed will not hurt you, and also does not use any stamina, so it's another interesting way to get around. Yeah, just some, like, stupid game things that I've learned in my several hours, too many hours of playing this damn game, <laughs> but I hope it helps you out. Aha, yeah, that's what I'm looking for right here is, ooh, a vending machine, too. Uh, and, oh, spider zombie, yikes. Uh, just gonna check these real fast. And uh, run, yay. Oh, like I got onto my bicycle so fast that my camera is all like herky-jerky now. <laughs> that, that happens sometimes, just gotta get off and get back on and reset the camera. Yeah, lots of zombies downtown. I'm not sure if this is the place where I really wanna be right now. Eee! And I'm stuck on the fucking bricks. Oh, look at that. Yeah, 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 we need that stuff. We need all the books that could possibly be obtained in those little mailboxes. And there's also, there is that um, ATM there, although I don't have any lockpicks. That was a feral. Good thing I'm on strength day. <laughs> it's gonna be a shame when we leave strength day because it's just by far the best day that we're gonna have. So a couple spear hunter books and a couple of the um, uh, what's called needle and thread books. Ideally, we'd get the one for the college letter jacket. Freaking barrel again, and I'm out of stamina. Come on, there we go. Anyway, what did we get here? T-shirts and hats, shoes. Uh, ooh, double clothing pocket mods. That's a good one. And the thrown spears have a chance to slow down the target, and spears degrade slower, so that'll help us again on perception day. ATM, just gonna have to live there, I guess. Oh well. Oh, here we go. Okay, couple more. Oh, I can see actually a bunch more, um, like mailboxes and stuff over here. So 
crash into this asshole. Take his freaking head off. There we go. And see if we can get any more good books. Last chance here. I think we'll call it a day after this. Ooh, got a ranger's guide to archery. Bows to grade slower. We'll definitely take that. And we've already read that one, so you definitely want to sell these to the trader because then you get the 100 dukes plus 100 XP as opposed to if you read it and you've already read it, you're only going to get that XP out of it. So just, just save it, go sell it later on, and there's a deer. Get him! Yes! Perfect! And take his head off. Nice. Yes, we're going to get all this meat cooked up so that we have um, something to eat for the rest of the week. We're not going to be able to really cook much except for, like... I think I, I found a coffee recipe so we could we make some coffee and some uh, charred meat tomorrow when we're not on strength day anymore. Oh, this is a really good shotgun messiah. That'd be a good one to raid much later on when, we're, when our game stage actually has like, uh, gives us the ability to loot guns. Because right now all you're going to get, maybe, maybe get some pipe guns. For the most part, you're just going to get like stone weapons, stone tools and junk basically. Oh, I don't even know where I'm going, so yeah, let's head back down to Bob's right there. All right, home sweet home. Now that I think about it, I don't think that wandering hordes will spawn in the first day or so. Is that like a part of the newbie coat? I feel like I've read that somewhere in the game files before. Oh, check this out, though. If I take this out, I noticed this last night. Oh, geez, that scared me. Yeah, that's the new sound, I guess, for broken tools. So yeah, we'll open this up because there's a zombie right directly below us. And I just want to take him out for the fun of it, because he's like a trap zombie. I think he'll fall down into... looks like the garage, maybe? Well, I guess he's just down there now. <laughs> oh well. I gotta listen to him all night. Dang it! Well, anyway, I just gotta get organized here. We'll get a fire going, and we'll do primarily cooking, I think, tonight. Make sure that we get everything cooked that we can cook, before we lose our skills for it tomorrow. So that's gonna be five bacon and eggs. Get the pipe pistol loaded, that'll help. Maybe get some lighting up here somewhere. That, whatever works, right? So let's see, we have one more point for today. Oh boy, we could maybe, um, maybe take one into grandma? Cancel the boiled meat, grab up my cooking ingredients, and maybe, just maybe, make something different? Like, meat stew? Yes! Okay, we can't make very much of it, but it will have to make it last. If I didn't pig out on all those freaking blueberries earlier, we probably could have made a blueberry pie as well. So tomorrow is fortitude day, which means we'll have to go into brawling and I'll have to see if I can even make like a pair of knucks. Yeah, knuckle wraps. I could make myself a quality three, maybe quality four. I don't know. We'll have to look into that. We'll make some knuckle wraps. We'll be a brawler tomorrow. Oh shit. Oh fuck. There's a fucking horde running right through to Bob's. Oh, Bob, man, I'm so sorry, but there's definitely nothing I can do about that. Yes, yes, I'm even going to just creep out of the light to get my sneak factor down. They're gonna rip right through into Bob's. Oh, man. Oh, and the skateboarder, he's like in the kitchen in there. He has quieted down. He doesn't know that we're up here now, but damn, that's like, that's like 20 fucking zombies right there. Holy cow. Well, we're just gonna have to watch and wait and hope that Bob can sort out some sort of a defense for himself. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we have to call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And it was a very quiet night here. Just been doing some cooking. Lots of stuff came through on the fire last night. I have a hatch crafted, and I have the material ready 
to make some knocks. So first things first this morning, we're getting elixir in. We'll check the skills here. Oh, for some reason, uh, possibly going through all those boxes made a lot of noise. We've got uh, this skater guy and Arlene awake in the POI itself. Okay, okay. Well, let's get some skills first and then we can probably handle them. So fortitude today, I wanna go into brawling. Can I possibly get just uh, <laughs> all of our points basically into punching. Yeah, because we're not going to really need anything else except for maybe some pain tolerance. So let's see if we have enough to go up to five here and then up to three there. That gives us level four nux, I think. And one more we'll just take into, well, I'm going to say probably pain tolerance would be the best one for today. So let's do that. All right. Tier four knuckle wraps. And in terms of mods, I, I don't think you can put a structural... Or a, uh, yeah, structural brace mod on. I could probably put this hunter mod on him, though. All of these mods give you a plus 10% to your base damage. I can, in fact, put a structural brace on that and the hunter mod, so that works out pretty well. Okay, we'll just put the sledgehammer away for a little bit, and we'll use that next week. And bring these down. I've got some first aid. I've got a hatch crafted. I think Bob managed to make it through the night. All of the zombies just kind of, like, gave up and scattered eventually, so... I think some of them are in in this area in the POI and some of them are still in there, but the rest of them just sort of wandered off, it would seem. Yep, there's one right there. So what we want to do here is get a hatch down. Yes, can you all come over here, please? Stop beating on the fence. I'm going to have to repair all this stuff for Bob eventually. Oh, <laughs> you teleporting motherfucker. Nice. Ooh, I like the feel of these already. Hey, Bob, are you okay? Are you in here? The door's still locked. Did you make it, buddy? Thank goodness. Okay. Let's have a look here. Ooh, skull crushers. I didn't bring the money with me, in fact, though. And we have a bunch of stuff to sell. So that'd be a good way to start our day. We'll sell some stuff. I think we have enough food now that we could probably make our way back to the construction site. How have I not searched that mailbox? Is that even possible? <laughs> uh, that is an archery book for sneak attacks with arrows, 20% greater chance of knocking down the target. So just going to sell all of these old books. And just in case you are new or new-ish to the game and you didn't know this, there's this book icon top left corner here. That indicates if it's open that you've read the book before. And if it's closed, it means you have not read the book before. And surprisingly, you know, that is never really explained to you by the game. So a lot of people don't know that. All right, Bobby, I'm glad you're alive. I'm, I'm pulling up to your little drive through window here. Can I just, can I read? Oh, I can reach you from here. Well, let's look at the jobs. We get the tier two jobs now. We can get a one to the south, and uh, it's pretty close by. Hold ranch number four. Sure, we can take that, do it eventually. And check the inventory, just quickly sell him all of these old books, get some extra XP and some dukes on top of that. And he will be restocking tomorrow, so probably worth uh, taking the trip out here at some point soon and to check the inventory again. Oh, look at this, $60,000 buy price for the Forgetting Elixir, no sell price, lovely. Freaking money racket here. I think we're all set though. You know, I am sort of inclined to get like Pistol Pete books and stuff like that, but I'll just save my money for now. I will, however, take this Skull Crusher and I think that's it. We have plenty of cooked food for now. So just to upgrade this and that should do for now, I would say. Back here and uh, just give me everything I I might need for construction like cobblestone definitely need to get cobblestone because wood is flammable however cobblestone is not and i don't want some cop wandering in from the wasteland and uh set my whole base on fire with his cop vomit give me all the food and water we'll need that all right let's get a move on here let's head back to the construction site and get started on the base all right <laughs> here we are back at the uh, i guess you'd call it the base and my goodness there's a bear right there Oh, geez. This is the um, the problem with living here on the borderline, is that you have a lot of threats to deal with. Um, threat or possibly basically food delivery, if I could just figure out a way to potentially kill him. You know, we do have the shotgun and 64 shotgun rounds. Now, if I could pull him over here, we're not going to be doing any bear riding today, but potentially... Okay, let's use the uh, stone to, uh, the iron tool here. Potentially, if I could just make it so he can't jump up here and get me, we could just use this as a safety platform. So yeah, what we need to do is just figure out if there's any sort of lips like this that can help them kind of jump up there and get rid of them. And then we could put a ladder up there and we'll get some stone while we're at it because we have plenty of clay. We can make a whole bunch of cobblestone as well. So I guess let's get to work. Oh, 
All right, let this be the first test. Oh, geez, we got spider, lumberjack, and pizza over here. <laughs> not ideal, although they're not seeing a pathway up to me, so that is nice to see. Although, I imagine it's not gonna take them long to get up here. They'll carve their own path. Oh boy, got Steve too. Kamikaze Steve coming up. Watch out for landmines with that guy around. Oh, and the bear is just like dangerously close. Now we got Lumberjack. Lumberjack and, I mean, businessman. Oh, it's popping off. Oh, the cop's coming as well. Look out for that. In fact, he's gonna spit toward me probably. So yeah, get ready to duck. Look out. Oh, stupid cop. No, 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 none of that. Okay, if you could just blow up, you could really help me out there. Okay, they're just uh, tunneling their way up into the rock. This is bad. Cop's gonna blow up and he's right where all the other zombies are. That could really help us out here. Oh, jeez. That's, it's quieter, that's for sure. It's completely quiet. What do we got left down here? Okay, we have Lumberjack and Pizza. Lumberjack, it's a problem, but I think I've weakened him. I might have even killed him. Are you dead? Hello. Uh, jeez, what a mess. Wow, buddy, you, you okay there? That's probably where the bear is gonna wanna go as well if we draw him over here, but we should be able to shoot him in the butt and he'll set us up on meat really nicely. So I'm inclined to see if we can take down the bear. Plus, he's kind of right in the construction zone, so we can't have that. Come on over here, buddy. I got 49 shotgun rounds with your name on them. And if he can get up here, we're just totally dead. Dead. It's, just, it's the end. Okay, he's now going for the tree. I don't really like that. Yes, yes, yes. Over here, please. Here we go. Okay, point blank range with the shotgun. I swear, if he glitches his way up here, I'm gonna lose my friggin' mind. Ah, okay. No, 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 no. Lock him in! No, none of that! Yes, okay, yeah, create a little shelf so he can't get up here. Oh my goodness, finally! Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys! Now, what do we have over here? A friggin' coyote! Ooh, one shot kill though, I'll take that. So a little hot tip for you, a lot of people, they still do this with the left click and this just takes forever, but if you do the right click, you do a power attack, right? You do a lot more, you get the same resources, but it just degrades the animal a lot faster. But if, you, if you're if you off the animal, you get this like fast right click stabby motion. And if you do this off the animal and then you quickly move on to the animal like that, it's the fastest way and most efficient way you can harvest up an animal. And I've tested it out, you're getting the same amount of resources and stuff like that, a lot of like, hearsay and rumors there, but it's like definitely double confirmed. So now what we need to do is get some uh, frames crafted. Just get all of the frames crafted, 267. That should get us started. And I'll get some wood so that we can make some upgrades. There we go. And I'm gonna put some stuff away so we're not encumbered anymore. We always have the rock to fall back to if uh, a big wandering horde comes by, but uh, we'll hope for the best and we'll get started on the big base build. At least get it started. Enough so that we could like, have a fighting position and kind of hold down the horde here a little bit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, yep, the zombie's coming in. Uh, low crawl, okay, uh, jeez. Up to this thing here. Just jump, just jump, just jump. Okay, and hide. 
And, oh, jeez, we got top soldier. And it's almost nightfall. Yep. Okay, just let them run right on through. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I'm just, uh, I'm just a rock. Oh, wow. I was just fighting a uh, pizza zombie and a friggin' vulture that came after me. Luckily, I've... I'm all healed up now, but yeah, the vultures will start swooping down as soon as you've taken any sort of damage. And it looks like they're content to just kind of linger over here. Uh, jeez. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that, um, I don't want to be here with these zombies all night long, because they're just going to disperse from here and kind of wander in all directions. However, if we leave the area, they will despawn, so that might be the smart move for tonight, is to just head back into town and sort of crash near Bob's again. It's pretty safe over there anyway, and uh, that'll give us a chance to kind of stockpile some more resources. So, uh, the base is coming along quite nicely. I have a lot more planned for it, but, um, oh, you know what we also could do is just kind of round them up here on the bicycle, and then we might be able to continue working kind of into the night. So, I'm going to ring the bell for them a couple times and see if we can gather them all up here. Come on over here, Karen. Yeah, here we, this might work, actually. Let's do this. Come on over here. Everybody's coming with me. I just got an abrasion. You son of a bitch. Yes, not one zombie left behind. Karen, I'm not leaving you behind. Come back here. Yeah, we'll gather up the, uh, the friggin' vanguard over here that ran over first. Come on, everybody. Cluster up. I wish I had a Molotov right now. I ought to see if I can make some of those at some point. Oh, we've got uh, cats and like tons more zombies over that way. Okay, I think I've gathered up all the ones that I'm actually really concerned about. And wow, now that I'm into the snow biome, we're getting that 3x zombie spawning in the snow. And uh, maybe I could just drag them into this cat and uh, get them to fight each other. There, I think they're like dispersed enough for my liking for now. Let's head back over and see if maybe I can get the fortification part, like the horde base part, done enough so that uh, we could just kind of hold down the fort here if there's a couple wanderers that come in here and there. Yep, because that's going to be the main fighting position right there. And, and the, the way that they're going to get to me is just like that, and then just like that, and uh, that's on the wrong way. Whoops. Come back over here, Karen. Yes, perfect. How did I put this on here wrong? <laughs> rookie maneuver. There we go. Okay, a little bit panicked, I think. Yeah, so that should be good. The zombies cannot jump. Well, they can jump a two meter gap, but they don't think that they can. So, yeah. Okay, cop over there. I gotta look out for him because his cop vomit will just completely shred these uh, plywood blocks. And I believe I'm relatively low on the wood frame shapes. Uh, wood, I should say, to do these upgrades. But I'm gonna get as much upgraded as I can, and then we'll just have to make a judgment call whether we think we can hold down like a trickle of zombies here throughout the night. Yeah, out of wood already. Goodness, that's not good. Right, okay, so I do not feel comfortable being here all night. Not one friggin' bit. So I'm just gonna jump on the bicycle and get the hell out of here. We'll make sure that we have, uh, the forgetting elixir. I think I left a bunch of it back at the, uh, at the other campsite, but I'm gonna bring one just in case because, uh, I'm so addicted to it. And, uh, there's the storage broadcasting button. So if I have that on, I should be able to, like, for example, use the campfire without, um, without having to pull stuff out of the inventory. So let's bring a fire axe. We'll do some tree chopping tonight if we can and should have plenty of food just on the inventory. So, okay, with that, where's the bicycle? It's over here. Grab the bike. We'll head back to Trader Bob's. Probably spend one more night there because uh, I want all of these people to despawn. <laughs> just go away, please. Leave me alone. All right, I'll meet you back at the rooftop there. All right, welcome back, everyone. Sorry I'm late. I just spent a couple of hours just Chopping down some trees, got a little bit of wood, 1,500 wood, so we can make some more shapes and get some further progress made on the base. Let's see if we can maybe make some cobble, maybe like 350 of it, so we can save some stone just for like repairing the stone items like uh, stone axe, stuff like that. I did break my regular fire axe, don't think we have any repair kits. So basically what I'm going to do for tonight is just make sure I do some cooking. Uh, make sure we have everything organized. We will check the trader probably first thing in the morning before we leave. But otherwise, we're just going to kind of chillax for tonight and we'll head back over to the base in the morning. Or, or in fact, we could do that. Where's that raid? Where's the quest that I got? Oh, it's right down there. So yeah, first thing in the morning, what we'll do is we'll do this raid right here as soon as the zombies are like tuned down to sprinting speed when it's daylight. We'll do that raid and then we'll turn in our quest to Bob. We'll check his inventory and then we will head back down to the main base and, you know, further develop that 
and uh, yeah, get the construction all done there, at least so that we can stay down there for the remainder of the week. But anyway, you guys can get some rest and I'll take first watch. We'll pick things up in a couple of hours. All right, there it is, everyone. It is morning, and I think now whoop, we have to actually uh, take our forget elixir. Today is agility day. All right, agility it is. So I think I want to definitely focus on archery. That would be nice if we could get a good bow crafted because that bow we can keep the bow. We you know we can have the bow later in the week and we can still use it later on. So that would be the one to have. Let's go. Let's get level 5 in agility, and then we'll take 3 into marksman, and in case you don't know, when you are when you just click on one of these skills and you hit W on your keyboard, that will spend the skill for you, so you don't have to come over here and actually tick the check mark yourself. For the remainder of these skill points, I think I'll take um, probably deep cuts, so I can get a better knife crafted, because we will still need to do some melee, I think. So I'll take two into this and that means I should be able to get a better bow and a better knife crafted. There's a level four bow and there's a level three bow knife and that'll replace the ones that we have. Just scrap those. All right, let's grab up the rest of that coffee and head to that quest over there. I'll meet you there. Right, this is the place here. Let me just check in here real quick and see if there's, yeah, there's something we can loot real quick before we reset the quest. Nothing good though, some motor tool parts. Basically only good for selling, although that motor oil could come in handy because if we can get some more fuel, we could then craft some Molotovs. Uh, those are requiring one oil a piece, but also 300 gas, and I only have 150 gas. We really can't get much more than that either unless we get a wrench. So come on, wrench. Dang it. And some steel tool parts this time. Okay, not helpful at all. In fact, might just even sell those. Of course, we could, if we got a working workbench, we could start making our own tools on strength day. And then, you know, those tools would carry over for us throughout the rest of the week. And we've got blueberry plants here, which I'll take, I suppose. Really, I think the only thing you can make that's very useful is the the smoothie, the yucca smoothie, but uh, you can also make like blueberry pie, right? Yeah, and like, oh, also herbal antibiotics. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll just hang on to them. All right, up we go. Probably the bow is my best weapon here, especially, especially if we can get some sneak attacks. I think we'll be one-shotting pretty much everyone right now. Whoops. Oh boy, we've got a fire. Crap. Um, okay, we're gonna have to be like super duper quick about this. Give me this cobble. Crap, this is a clear and a fetch as well. Oh, we got a skill point there. I'm gonna take that immediately into knives. There's probably something better I could do with it, but honestly, oh geez. Let's just do knives. Uh, yes, don't, don't catch on fire. Don't catch on fire. Don't catch on fire. All right, and please don't blow up those friggin' landmines either. That would be bad. Okay, yeah. And that fire is spreading fast. Here, take some coffee. We gotta move quickly here. Oh boy, the fire spreading. Okay, we're dropping down. And we probably got zombies in here somewhere. Oh, the fire. Yep, close that door. Whoa! You! Get back! Ah! Okay, we're good there and cloth okay we need to just make sure that there's an exit here somewhere oh freaking zombies are breaking in here okay reload the shotgun i think they're behind this door here i can't really see they will most likely catch on fire and we can always hide in the closet if we have to one down well not not dead though oh boy that fire's getting big we gotta get out of here okay our escape is secured we might just have to wait until the house burns down and then, like, go back inside after that and clear it out. Okay, that zombie is down. Oh, yeah, there's no way we're getting through there unless we run right through and then, like, drink something shortly afterward to kind of put ourselves out. But I have no idea, like, the extent of this fire right now. It, it looks, like, extensive. 
Uh, we could, oh geez, um, I'm just gonna leave the building here. Yeah, and that's gonna crank the heat up on this house. Oh, oh my god. Oh, those landmines, they really killed us there. We should still be able to do the quest though. We just have to kind of like find um, a safe way to do it. Maybe we can enter in through the garage or not the garage, whatever this little side door is here. Okay, we're in. Oh, there's a mo right there. Take him out if we can, nice. Any more? Yeah. There we go, okay. Lots of fire still. Okay, no zombie down there. Yeah, this, the fire might help us clear the zombies out if they're spawned in. If they're not spawned in, it would not help to- Oh, there's the satchel right there. Grab that, that, at least that phase of the quest is done. And it is showing me the icon for, like the clear the area icon, like where the zombie is. Where is he? I can hear him now. Fucking Steve, man. Take your friggin' head off. That's not it, though. We have more somewhere. Oh, yeah, the basement. Okay. Yikes. Hello? Oh, boy, the fire's spreading fast. Here, open this door up. Oh, jeez. I got more waking up. Here, one at a time. Oh, he's on fire. Okay, fire took him out. I do believe I hear a screamer. I hear some type of female zombie kind of screeching around. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's a screamer. Yes, I have a screamer. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Okay, remember, screamer hordes can be very, very bad, so we're friggin' running away now. Oh god, the roof is on fire. Oh boy, here we go. Digging my own grave here. Here they come, they're coming up over the rooftop. Okay, we, they're catching on fire. Luckily, this fire is kind of working to our advantage. There we go, he burnt right out, nice. We don't get the XP for that, but I'll take it. This playthrough, not gonna be so much about XP as it is just about, like, living. Fucking Steve, get out of here. Oh, another screamer, look out, reload. She went inside the building. Hopefully she goes straight into the fire and friggin' dies, but damn, we gotta be careful for that now. I think she died, I, I heard heard friggin' death noise. Oh boy, yeah, lots of collapsing going on though. Jeez, what is going on back there? Oh, another screamer. Come on, take her out. Got her right in the back, yep, and she is dead. Whoa, we got lots of collapsing going on here. Another screamer here, oh shit. Here, just sneak down. There she is. Okay, businessman zombie over there just died. It is now showing me where the zombies are. I'm not sure if that screamer just screamed there. She definitely did. Oh shit. Ah! There's another screamer over there and there's one behind me. My goodness, we're in the screamer loop. Damn it, there's another one there. Where's my bicycle? My bike is back at the freaking trader. Yep, we're gonna have to abandon the quest. We're gonna have to abandon the quest, or if we're friggin' lucky, we can just pull up here like a nerd and maybe <laughs> live from t the top of this. It may be at least long enough to like clear the area here. Use my archery skills. Oh, another screamer though. Yeah, I don't have a feeling this is gonna go very well. Oh, another one. They're coming from every direction. Damn it. Okay, yeah, there's just too many zombies here right now. Unsustainable. We can't do this. We cannot do this at all. Unless maybe we can. Let's just drag them out in this direction. Damn. Agility playstyle, not too bad. We just sneak our ass over here. Continue taking out the screamers one by one if we can. Nope, I guess I can't. Oh geez, another screamer coming. There's multiple screamers on that side of the house. Not good. Just skirting over the fence here the best I can. And jump! Oh good, we made it. And another jump. Okay. All right, I've more or less secured this kind of half of things over here. I'm not sure what the other half of things looks like over there. But they're, it's telling me that the zombies are... Where's that screamer? Oh, right there, right through the basement window, you see her? Oh, and there's another one out in the street. Multiple in the street, now they're in the fire. Oh my god, and they're screaming. And they can kind of get to me from where they were over... Oh, she just jumped off the edge there. 
and potentially burn to death after that. <laughs> I'm not giving up yet, though. I feel like it's possible for us to, to complete this, although, yeah, not looking good now. Yeah, fortunately, the zombies can't live. If they've caught on fire, they will burn out and die eventually. And I'm able to kind of kite them all the way around the fence here. All right, it might be crazy, but I'm just going to take a coffee and I'm going to see if I can run in there, st like stir up the zombies that are left to be spawned in. Uh, oh, the, the fence is now on fire. <laughs> so much for that plan. Okay, so yes, if we can just get down here. Oh boy, not really working. Come on, where are you guys? Stir them up. Let's go. Okay, and then just give me a little staircase to get up here. Okay, they should be spawned in. We just gotta find them and kill them now. Go, oh boy. Turn and fire! Okay, which one is the POI zombie? Just come here on the other side of the fire. See if we can string them through the fire. Oh, many zombies are burning! Ah! Okay, uh, so far so good. I'm still on the fence. I'm still alive. Zombies still screaming. And I've got this whole group of zombies over here that I could possibly kill and finish off the quest. Oh no, if you look at the map, the map marker, the compass I should say, it is telling me that the zombies I need to kill are like way the frig over there. And there's three of them currently. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Too many screamer zombies. Okay, yes, the ones I need are down in that little pit down there. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Ah! Okay, yes, I'm definitely stuck. Oh, a fire extinguisher. Definitely need that. Ah! Oh my god, this is like really nerve wracking right now. Okay, I, I, I did this the last time. I just jump up here and we're good for now. Oh boy, I don't think we can do this. <laughs> this is a little crazy. I mean, not only is the frame rate bad, but there's just too many zombies. Okay, don't reload right now. Bad idea. Just too many zombies. Too many zombies. And even though I only have three left to kill, I think we just have to cut our losses here at some point. Almost out of stamina. That would be bad. Okay, they, they don't kind of, seemingly they don't really know that I'm over here now. Oh yes, if I can kite them around that fence that's on fire. That would kill a lot of zombies, wouldn't it? Yeah, if I could just drag them across the fence here. Here, if you can hear this, come to me. Oh my god, a wolf pack! Look at the wolves running by! It's a wolf horde and there's like 12 wolves in it! Ah! Whoa, no, no, no! Okay, good time for that first aid kit that I've been hanging on to. Gonna have to like, see if I can re-kite them through the fire again. Yep, come straight over here if you can see me or hear me, please. Oh, don't wander into the wolf pack though. Yes, yes, while they're preoccupied over there, we will just wander over here. Yeah, those are the zombies we need right there. At least three of the ones that are in that group down there are the ones that we need to kill. And oh my god, there's just so many of them down there. Oh, just got a, another skill point there. Yeah, I honestly think that we we do just have to give up on this one. I mean, there's probably 30 zombies down here and a pack of wolves over there. I want to go home. Oh, they have managed to like squirrel their way up here. Honestly, that might not be the worst thing. I could just bring them back over to the fire again. Into the flames! There's something about me that just refuses to give up in this situation. Only two more left on the compass. They're both down here in this room. I think one of them is Arlene right there. Yes, one of them... Uh, maybe was, but yeah, there's now two more on the compass. I think one of them was the big mama. I saw that one spawn in. Ooh, there's the main loot right there. All right, the only way this is going to end is if we can give them a way to get out of there. So let's start that process by building them a ladder, bring them over here into the fire. So the reason some of these screamers are not able to scream in any more zombies is because I think screamers only get three chances to spawn in zombies. Like one screamer will not spawn in infinite zombies. They'll spawn in like, you know, nine or whatever. And then, um, and some of those might be more screamers, which will then, you know, spawn in more zombies or more screamers. But these ones have already called in their set of three zombies. And so they are like, uh, out of screams, so to speak, out of ammo. Oh my God, I think it's working well. Zombies are dying a lot. They seem pretty weak when they get to me. Ow. Whoa, what you, what's this ducking and dodging? No. Whoa. Ah. Man, are we done? My goodness, we're done. Wolf. Oh, after all this, I died to a wolf. Don't tell me. No. Okay, he's 
no longer aggroed, it seems. Maybe he is. I'm not sure. Okay, okay. Come on, buddy. Easy boy. Easy boy. Ah! No, 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 no! Ah, I got him! Okay, quickly, before this gets any worse, we have a freaking massive lull. Luckily, I didn't get any critical injuries there. Batter up book, uh, power attacks, increased chance to knock down enemy. Friggin' press boy cat mod. Oh, some ammo. Okay, we, we can loot through here just a little, little bit. Pump shotgun, or a uh, pipe shotgun, I should say. Okay, that's probably pretty much it. I'm actually quite encumbered now, and I think pretty much all the rest of the loot like burned out. Good, I'm content to leave here with my life. We freaking succeeded. Failure is not an option here. <laughs> all right, let's go to the trader. We'll check his new inventory, get our reward, hopefully something worth it after all that effort. And then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to head back to the base. We're not gonna have much time to get much more base building in, but it is what it is. No, 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 no. That's not loaded. Oh shit. Run! Okay. I don't have time. I don't have stamina to fight right now. Urgh. Yes! Oh my god. These stupid zombies that are awake in this POI. They're gonna be the death of me. <laughs> oh shit! 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 No! Wake up! Ah! Run! Oh shit! Oh! Over to the base. Okay, this is, um... Very much bad. <laughs> Less than ideal. No, we lost our whole inventory. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to loaf my ass all the way back to get the bike and, um, um, yeah. Yeah, this is bad. Very bad. All right, well, it is what it is. I'll have to meet you over there. All right, I made it back, but, uh, this place is officially not secure. I, I don't really know how that zombie got onto the roof. Uh, we're going to need to investigate that and prob probably just not stay on the rooftop there anymore. That's totally not safe now. There we go. Whoops. Yep. Okay, let's get up there and see what happened. Okay, he's still in there, it sounds like. Somebody is. Oh, that's where he came through from, I think. Okay, craft some frame shapes and just plug that up for just a minute here. Nope, no more wood. Yeah, cancel that. There we go. Okay, that'll um, seal things off for a bit. See, I was thinking that every part of the roof here was made out of cobble. I could have sworn. Oh, whoa! Oh, that's what it is. I before I had tested it, and I was like, oh, the whole roof's made out of cobble. Not the case. That is definitely not all made out of cobble. Okay, let's get off this roof before it gets any worse with the zombies in there. Man, that sucks. I think we lost all of our money. We lost that skull crusher that we bought. We lost all of our firearms. We got more zombies coming in. I don't need to be over here. I can go in the front door, can I? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Bob, tell me... Ooh, iron knucks. I will take those for Fortitude Day next week. And new job for tomorrow... I feel like we're gonna have to do a buried supply again just to get some cobble so that we, or some clay so we can make some cobble. So I will take that. That's also southwest, which puts it probably a little, like a third of the way between here and where we're building the base indeed. Okay, so no time to dilly-dally here. We need to head back to the site, the construction site, grab up whatever supplies we can before we go. There we go. Here's the problem. These freaking POI zombies. Take them out. S stop having to worry about that stuff. I can just loot up here. Ooh, learn an elixir. Freaking crawler <laughs> hanging out in the rooftop. Eh, die. Okay, yep. Just be weary that this zombie that's... I think it's that skateboarder zombie. Yeah, I think he's trying to beat his way through. Okay, grab my cooking pot. Grab just the most important things to me. Oh, we didn't lose all the money. Okay, we still have quite a bit of money, in fact. Let me grab the money then, and we will... Okay, so we still have some of our stuff left. Okay, I was worried that we lost all of our iron tools. I mean, we lost the shovel, but that's okay. We have this iron pickaxe still. I'll take that with me. Uh, I think we did lose a considerable amount of food, though, which does really, really stink. It might be sham sandwiches from here on. Yeah, okay, businessman, you come around to the front where I can properly kill you. I was thinking it would be a really good goal for the series to kind of, like, fortify the traders and see if, like, we can get this to a point where we could hold down or hold off, at least, a wandering horde for these guys. Okay, check this new inventory. 
All right, overall, not too bad of stuff. I think I will take that pistol, quite honestly, so that we have some way of fending off zombies, although I don't think I have any nine mil ammo, but you know, eventually that will be corrected. And can I just outright buy all that cobblestone? That's super helpful. It'd be nice to have that double barrel shotgun at some point. Other than that, I think I'm okay for now. I might just buy a couple of glue so that we could maybe make, um, I should buy all of it so that maybe we could make a, a pipe machine gun or something like that so that we have some sort of like full auto capability in case, uh, you know, Hoodie zombie like ambushes us again. Right, so pipe machine gun is probably the one we would want. So let's craft that. Bring the pipes, bring the drinks, painkillers, leather. Yeah, pretty much just bring everything and we'll stash it all back at our other base. The main base. There he is, he's trying to beat through that little tiny area right there. Uh, concerning, he might glitch through in fact at some point if we're not careful here. Okay, grab the bones, and yes, that should be it. Let's get on the bike and get out of here. Oh my god, I'm completely naked. I forgot about that. <laughs> no more armor. Great. Take my anger out on these damn rabbits. All right, home sweet home. We said that we were going to live here for the rest of the week, and live here we shall, come hell or high water, or zombie horde. So, the idea of this base is going to be... Main causeway, we're gonna have many, many traps. This is gonna be like a trap base. And we're gonna have two fighting positions kind of kicked off to the side here, as opposed to one main fighting position back there. So we'll have alternates and eventually these will be on automated switches so that we can automate which side of zombie, uh, which side of the base the zombies flow to. All right, well, let's start getting settled in here. All right, the big problem we're gonna have here is wood. We're gonna have to spend the night um, chopping down, we'll just use the bike, you're right, we'll just get on the bike, we'll ride up to a tree, we'll chop it down, and we'll ride away if we have to, but we need to collect up basically a lot of wood, we have to get this all upgraded, it's going to be a huge, huge base, this is going to be a garage on the bottom level, and a crafting area on the top level, there's going to be fighting position here and there, and then areas to kind of manage the trap situation all the way down in these, like, two long wings on each side, and we'll have a gyrocopter landing pad and a garden up on the rooftop. We'll have a moat all the way around the outside. And uh, that should probably do it. I think that'll um, be a... It's going to be uh, a base a lot like the base that I built for the Vanguard series. So if you ever watched that series, you'll have a sort of a general idea of how the base is going to look and feel. And look at that. One more skill point to spend. I think I don't like Agility Day, <laughs> honestly. Not helping us out a whole lot. Let's do... Uh, I think from the shadows so that we can just kind of sneak around up here and maybe remain undetected, especially with the volume of wasteland zombies that are going to be lurking here. Ugh, it's just not going to be good. All right, so the only thing left to do is get on the bicycle and start running laps around these zombies and see if we can get enough wood to get this base upgraded. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And we survived the night, but there are zombies lurking everywhere. Many of them did just die because it ticked morning, but there are many more remaining, including a dog down there, and oh, it looks like the remains of some zombie over there. So, uh, yes, oh, and <laughs> you saw Big Mama just despawn right there. So you can take this dog out at least this morning. But we gotta take him out, and then we've gotta get down there and get the forgetting elixir. We'll need that to... Oh, start, uh, whoa! Start, uh, intellect day here in just a second. Yeah, that takes care of that one. Someone else running up here, though. Marlene! Okay, so they can make their way up there. I wasn't quite sure if they could or not. They don't really like to do it, but... Oop, took her leg off. 
Is she dead now? She's dead. All right, let's get down here before we uh, go into withdrawals here and suck down the learned elixir. I want to test something out though, because it seems like every time I drink it, it draws in the attention of zombies. So let's check the sneak bar down there. Currently 47, 35. I drink that, it goes up to 100. So gagging that thing down <laughs> definitely draws in the attention of, ah, zombies. Come here. Ow, oh, son of a bitch. There we go. Oh, we got a bird coming. Look out. Oh boy, okay. Well, we'll need the arrows anyway, so that's not too bad. Okay, and before we go any further, I'm just going to dress up the pathway here for him. We'll need to get this repaired eventually, but for now, I think just making like a good old classic kind of like splayed out ramp on the end will do just fine. Yeah, something just like that. I think that'll do and probably get it upgraded at some point. You know, the horde is coming up very quickly, and we're not really prepared for it at all. This base is just not going to hold up in its current condition against a day seven horde. But hopefully we can get that turned around here in the coming two or three days. I don't want to work on it too much today because I we need to go looting today. We're going to have intellect today, which means we'll have access to the forge, the workbench and the cement mixer if we spend our points into advanced engineering. And that is what I want to do. So we'll have to go looting and see if we can get some of the prerequisite materials to do that. Uh, let's spend those skill points, though. Yeah, I want to go at least two into this. So what's that going to be? That's going to be level probably four or five. Four it is. Four there, two here. And then we'll go Daring Adventurer for the rest. And we'll just knock out quests this morning and today and see if we can uh, find things like a wrench and a hammer and stuff like that in order to make that workbench tonight. Okay, so that's ultimately going to be six into intellect for three into daring adventure and the rest I'll just go into uh, batons, presume, oh, just one into batons then and we'll make up a uh, pipe baton. Okay, yeah, we're, we are going to have to actually, it seems, um, get this all upgraded. You son of a bitch, would you just die? Ah, jeez. Okay, that should do it for now. All right, super hungry, basically starving to death, and I have, like, nothing for food or water, and I can't cook boiled meat or bacon and eggs or anything like that anymore, so we're basically screwed on that front. I can make one more charred meat. Go ahead and just drink the water plain. All right, that's the rest of the water. This is just how it's gonna have to be today. All right, let's head over to that dig site. It's a tier two dig quest, so we'll have to deal with a whole bunch of zombies probably. But, yep, we'll see how it goes. I'll meet you there. All right, here we are at the dig site. Where is the marker? Here it is. Uh, let's hit the marker. We'll set down the boxes on the side and we'll try to keep an eye on where the circle is moving. Something like that should do. And I also brought some spikes. So I'm going to lay these down just so that we have something to kite zombies into to kill them. And why don't we just lay them just like this across this boulder and that way I can kind of jump over the boulder and the zombies will hopefully run around the boulder. That'll give us a way to kind of evade the zombie threat. I certainly wish I had a better shovel for this, but <laughs> it is what it is. In fact, I am also just going to build an emergency pole to jump up on, just in case that becomes an issue, just like that. All right, let's dig. Okay, any zombies there? Nope, all quiet. And it would appear as though the, the circle is shrinking toward me this way. I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually right down here. Oh, and before I get too much further, I need to eat a little bit. I did get some honey and I have some like emergency eggs here. Uh, I might as well just eat a couple of these. Smooth digging so far, except it's not kind of where I thought it would be. So I guess we're just gonna have to keep, keep going down here, see what happens. Oh, look at that. It's right there. Nice. Okay, so just make sure I can get myself out of here this time. Okay, should be able to jump right out of here as long as I have plenty of stamina and should be able to grab the supplies from here. All right, I think we're ready. Let's see what we get anyway. It's a tier two. So in the tier two buried supplies, you're more likely to get weapons, armor, mods, things like that. In the tier one buried supplies, you're most likely to get food and things like that. All right, just running them around the spikes. Let's go, let's go. Looks like we got uh, five or six total and they're almost all dead now. One more, come on, buddy. <laughs> Linearly right through the spike path, please. There we go. We're all done. All right, back onto the bike and I'll meet you over at Bob's. Oh, by the way, that was some pretty good armor and we've got a pipe shotgun again, which is pretty good. Uh, except we don't have any shotgun rounds. 
All right, well, I'm gonna just pick up some stuff along the way and I'll meet you over there. All right, pulling up on Bobby's. Hopefully he's got some food for sale or that there's some in the vending machine. After we turn our quest in, we should get plenty of dukes to kind of empty things out. Oh my God. A steel spear or a steel shovel? Wow, I don't even know what to do here. Although I suppose the steel shovel gives us more utility on a sort of daily basis. Oh, the stamina cost on that's gonna be bad. 25, oh my God, we can only swing it four times. Yeah, okay, let's go steel shovel anyway. Check his jobs, get something else close by. Let's just do one or two quick I've fetches. Uh, electric company, okay. See if we can just maybe, you know, not clear the whole thing, but just go through, get the loot, come back, get a reward. Okay, what do you got for food, bud? Really, not much, just cornbread, and that is entirely it. Damn it, uh, over here, chicken ration. Yes, exactly, this is what we're looking for. Tuna, nice, miso. And I'll take the yucca smoothie. Do we need beer today? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we do. That uh, blurs up the vision a lot. I still haven't searched Bob's compound. It probably would be a good idea to do that. At least check the, um, uh, what's it called? Like the workbench and stuff. See if there's a schematic in these things. Nah, of course not. I can't wait for the Trader Bob compound renovation that's coming to Alpha 21. They have teased that a little bit. They gave us like a, a rendered photo, not really an in-game photo. But I can throw that up for you right here. Ooh, there's an anvil. That's helpful. And that's it for this place. I suppose I could go through the kitchen, probably most likely to get some food and drinks out of here, if anywhere. Thomas, can you come over here, please, to the hatch? There you go. Oh, jeez. Yep. All right, that should do it. Where's that quest, anyway? Oh, straight to the north. Uncharted territory for us. Let's head right over there and knock that out as fast as possible. Okay, here's the spot right here. Okay, some Mo Power stuff, which is kind of cool because we usually get at least one, if not two, Mo Power books out of these things. And today we get one, uh, not Mo Power books, I guess, Tech Junkie books. So yeah, good stuff to read and sell overall. All right, snap this quest and ooh, probably lots of construction site zombies here, I'd say, right? That's how it goes here. I don't know, I haven't done this place since uh, the Alpha 21 or Alpha 20 renovation took place. But uh, like I said, not really here to goof around too much. I just really want to get the supplies and then run. And the supplies are, of course, going to be <laughs> in the basement portion. I guess I can just knock this stuff out and kind of hustle right down there, I think. Whoop, I jumped right in here and of course there's a ton of zombies. Yikes. I guess we're going through the front door then. Oh, okay, now they're coming through the side. Not good. Okay, arrow to the knee! Ah! Okay, he's slowed down. He's slowed down. Ah, crap, not working. There we go. They're all slowed down now. Damn, this freaking pipe baton sucks. Ah! Oh, Arlene, she's a fast mover too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bad. I don't want to use the guns because, ah, oh, we have such a limited amount of ammo. Okay, I, I think everyone has been leg-shotted at this point. Yep, just to make sure, got her again. And a level up. I need to immediately put that into batons before we die. Okay, batons and die. Hey, that worked. All right, double checking this van again. Ooh, okay, this time uh, spotlight schematic and stuff we can sell. Okay, yep. Where are the zombies? Oh, jeez, there's so many of them. Oh, crap. I have no first aid either. Not not good. Not ideal at all. Okay, I got them both in the leg. We should be good on slowing them down. And I'm telling you, that archery book that we got was just really game changing. Okay, got another janitor zombie. Hit him in the leg. Oh no, 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 no. Bad. Doing this sort of like playstyle where you're exclusively into one tree at a time, you can't have sexy T-Rex, and oh my god, that's just it's killer. It's terrible not having sexy T-Rex. Just like that. All right, if I'm not in a position to get the supplies at this point, it's bad news. It should be right here somewhere, right? Right in here. Nope. Where the hell is it? Over, ooh, that's a working vending machine too. Oh, do I have money? I have money. Yes, yes, okay, food and water, please. 
And I'm gonna just grab that skull crusher in case we get into a bit of a bind again. Ah, here it is. Okay, grab that, and I think we're pretty much done here. Let's just go back, turn the quest in. I know there's a main loot around here probably somewhere. In fact, it, is, it, is it here? Is this it? No, it could be upstairs maybe? I think I'll poke my head upstairs and find out. Okay, not bad. Uh, drone morale booster, and this one is for robotic weapons doing more damage. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because I think like the POI takes you in this direction and then it points you upstairs, and so maybe there's a loot up here? Uh -huh. Oh, a shamway box. Yep, yep, and the loot. Oh boy. And a mess of zombies. Great. And I'm friggin' encumbered. Okay, jump onto the dumpster of safety and put all of my stuff in here that I don't need. There we go. We'll be back for that in just a minute. There, I think I've hit them all in the leg at this point. Let's bring them down to the ground level. Oh no! Oh, it's gonna cost me my life to get that main loot, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> I think we've managed to survive the stupid POI. This is a lot of zombies in here for a tier two. Okay, quickly now, just give me the good stuff. Check the main loot. Oh, uh, not, not great, honestly. Some nine mil though, which is helpful. And some more there. Okay, so that means we can use the pistol now. Okay, definitely a healthy amount of food pulled out of this place, but you know, that's that's gotta be it right there. We're all done. Oh, don't forget the stuff I left in the dumpster. Yep, give me all that. And oh, we're encumbered by 18. That's bad. All right, I'll meet you back at Bob's. All right, Bobby, I got your box of stuff back for you. And oh, the wrench. That's probably the best thing there, I would say. I mean, I'd love to have the 7.62 and stuff, but to get the wrench, that kind of uh, really, really helps us out a lot. And he's just like flat selling a claw hammer, but I cannot afford it. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna have uh, the ability to get the stuff that we need for the workbench today. We Let's check on the other couple day, things, yeah. though. Okay, forge. Of course, the forge is pretty easy to make, so I think we'll be able to do that. The cement mixer is not something we particularly need right now, and that's going to require forged iron, which we can only now just get with the wrench. So, yeah, I guess we're probably not going to get anything else today. We'll have to wait for the next one, uh, but for now, let's get one more job from him. We could just try the yeah. other fetch really quickly while you we have... Um, you know, the ability to get the extra quest rewards and stuff like that. Here, let's just put all of our junk away in the dumpster over here. And we'll remember to get this on the way back. Okay, just sell those couple things, put the leg armor on, and we are ready to roll out. Oh man, what is this place? Is this like a downtown place? Oh boy. Oh, freaking soldier, yeah! Gonna just have to draw him over here this way and drop him off over by the vending machine here. Yeah, he's uh, hanging out with the chicken over there. All right, let's check these um, mailboxes before we head in. There's always something good in the mailboxes. Uh, well, geez, until you start waking zombies up. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Uh, okay, just this one guy. And slow down. Got a new archery book there. That's for flaming crossbow bolts and arrows. <laughs> Wow, we've completed that series already? Okay, spearhead a book there we can sell. Yeah, definitely not in any condition to fight. So let's just cheat and scale the walls and see if we can get to the top and see where that the loot is. It's all right, we'll just pretend that uh, we, we were just rolling by a... Uh, oh yeah, we were at the working stiff tool and we got a ladder while we were over there and then we uh, set it up here on the wall. <laughs> just role play a little bit. Okay, now we are above the loot. Okay, just get 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 a gun out and see. Oh, zombie right there. Just carefully. Okay, we're on the same level as the loot, uh, the the chest now, the supply satchel. Close that. Open this. Oh, there it goes. Crap. Oh, out the window. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't want to be fighting up here. Here we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Calm down. Calm down. We're good. Tell me it's in here. Tell me it is in this bathroom. Damn, horse woke more up. Although if you're content to just be through the wall, I'm good with that. Oh, and uh, by the way, I'm my pipeton's almost degraded, so can I just get a quick pipe out of this toilet? There we go. Repair that. Keep beating through this. Take your head off. Oh, look, I found it. Okay, I just kind of wandered in here a little bit. I think we're good. Grab that, mission complete. No sense in going into the main loot. I have 31 hit points, so it'd be probably a death sentence if I did. 
Huh! Yes! Dog! Out, 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 and down. <laughs> We're leaving. Oh, there he is right there. Yep, get on the bike and see ya. All right, we made it. Hello, Bobby. It's been a busy day, hasn't it? Let's see here. Leather leg armor, shovel, weighted. Yeah, gonna have to go with the leather leg armor. Take that up. Any jobs? And probably tomorrow we should focus on, like, actually doing a decent quest there. Um, maybe not tomorrow, but whenever we get around to doing quests again. So we'll take that ranch quest. And that will just have to do it for today. We'll have to head back now and see if we can get some construction done at the base tonight. Let's just pull up here and grab what we can out of the dumpster and put what we can into the bicycle. We still have some stuff left up there on the rooftop as well. Mm, let me just get all that kind of located in one spot for a second. All right, got everything. I got a tier six fire extinguisher. That was before I died yesterday. Uh, so that basically is part of a new mod that I've installed, which will um, just give us fire extinguishers, basically. It's called Fire Mod. It's by Guppy Kerr, and uh, that mod actually has a lot of other things in it as well, but there were some things that I didn't want to add into this playthrough, so I just kind of tinkered with the mod files myself and made sure that I got just the fire extinguishers. That's it. So that gives us a way to put out fires either at our base or wherever we happen to be. All right, rolling back up on the place here. Home sweet home. Wow, pretty view here too. And big boys coming up, trying to get a piece of me. Actually, I think he could one shot me. So I'm being awfully brave by like going toe to toe with him. So maybe we'll just use the bow from now on. Hey, none of that. All right, just got the walkway upgraded. Of course, the wasteland zombies are rolling up on me now. Oh boy, here we go. Just tell me there's no ferals. Don't want ferals here today. And officially nightfall now. It's gonna be a long night just like this. Just beating zombies that come wandering up on me all night. Get a fire going and see if there's stuff that we can start crafting here. Crafting and cooking all night long. There we go. I did get one skill point, although I don't think there's anything particularly useful we can buy in the waning hours of the night. So I guess I'll just take one and two batons again, Electrocutioner, and um, that should just help with defending the, uh, defending the base for tonight. All right, so I guess that's it. I'm just going to start building. Y'all can chill by the fire. I'll take first watch and we'll pick things up a little bit later on in the morning. There it is. Good morning, everyone. So just uh, chowing down some boiled eggs and water there to get fed and hydrated for the morning, and that should probably carry us, for the most part, into full health there. Um, let's see. So, got the forge. This will be the last step here for intellect day. So, slap that down, and then immediately chug down my forgetting elixir. And oh, yes, that attracts lots of attention every time. Forgot about that part. So, prepare to fight. Ooh, arrow to the knee. Killed him too. Nice. What are you beating on, Big Mama? Stop that. All right, Big Mama. I'm tired of loafing around here. Come on. There we go. All right. Get rid of this damn thing. This thing sucks. And instead, we will have to spend our skill points today into perception. Now, I was having to think about it overnight, and I think we really need to plan ahead for strength day and make sure we have plenty of stuff for cooking get that knocked out, do some mining while we're at it tomorrow. That way, when it comes back around to intellect day, hopefully we'll have found a claw hammer and we'll have enough material ready to make the workbench and cement mixer. So we'll need a car engine, forged iron, and a hammer basically are the big items to get between now and then. But for today, uh, perception is not really useful for much except for perhaps fighting, I guess, and crafting pipe bombs? That that has to be in the workbench, though, if I remember correctly. I don't, in fact, remember, so it's been so long, man, since I've played uh, <laughs> with vanilla. Anyway, we could also look into getting a pipe rifle and specking into that a little bit. I actually think that's not a terrible idea. That'll give us some way to um, 
conservatively use the 762 ammo oh so let's go over the base design here so i mean nothing much has changed overnight except for the fact that uh, i've put some walls in uh, just for some added cover these are going to be open because there are going to be electric fences stringing out from the bottom layer there and i'm going to string them across over to this area right here so it's going to make a big like cross pattern that's all going to intersect in this area here. The idea being there are gonna be three electricity lines uh, on each of these blocks. One on this one, one on this one, one on this one. So once they get all piled up over here, they'll get shocked a lot. I don't want them to get shocked like way, way down here. Like in fact, if I stretched electricity lines from here to here, because what will eventually happen is cops will get hung up on it and they will just blow up over here, which we don't want. Instead, I'm going to put uh, blade traps all the way down this corridor, both on the top and bottom, left and right side, so that a zombie on nightmare speed is going to run right through here, and it's going to be a, like a gauntlet. They're going to get hit like 10 times with blade traps, and then they will hopefully blow up down here or in the pit that we're going to have to dig down here. Don't want them to blow up back here because blowing up back here will just result in them uh, destroying the blade traps. Well, that's the design anyway, and I'm sticking to it for better or for worse. I thought it would be a cool idea too to try and dig this pit all the way down to bedrock. So there's just like <laughs> an endless pit right there. And this will be our crafting room up here on this level and a garage down there on the bottom level. And there will be a rooftop level as well. Okay, so for Perception Day, is there anything we need to do? We can bring some stuff to sell to Bob today. That's pretty much it right there. Just gathered up the red tea. I wish I had some food to take with us, but we'll just have to check the vending machines and hope for the best there. Oh, right, skill points. So yeah, we want to... Let's... Let's aim to get a really good pipe rifle in this set of skills. So we'll try to take Deadeye up to... Oh my goodness, we could craft like a, a tier 5, couldn't we? If we got up to sharpshooter level 4. Yeah, in fact I could. Let's do that. And then go Deadeye 4. And then we'll do Javelin Master 2. And then any future skill points probably will just go into Javelin Master. Oh, dang it, and suddenly I don't have enough glue. Well, we'll have to aim to do that a little bit later on today then. All right, I'm going to pick up some rocks here, get some spears crafted, and I'll meet you over at the morning quest right there. All right, we made it. We're here at the quest site. Let's jump out of here. Oh, this place. Ah, yep, yep. I know there's some tricks in here. All right, let's, um, is it worth maybe just trying to do a quick little double loot here? Maybe, maybe. Cooking grill. Oh, that steel shovel is so nice, except for the fact that it takes, like, all of my stamina to use it. Ah, uh, super tempting to go there. Oh, there, there's a zombie right there. Yeah, super te tempting to check that, uh, oh, that stupid quest marker's in the way. Turn that off. Oh, there she is. Come here. Oh, no, da, 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 da. Nah, stupid spear, damn it. Ah, hate this thing. Oh man, this sucks. <laughs> just no knockdown power on it. Yeah, I'm just gonna, just quick, quick little double loot here. Just wanna check this workbench and whatever's behind that maybe. And ooh, lock pick, that's kind of worth it actually. And we'll do that all over again. Oh crap, stupid hitboxes. Ooh, look at that. Meat stew. Lucky day. Easy courier satchel here. Crap. Oh, jeez. I just came out of this POI so I could put some stuff away. And there's a fucking horde of zombies here. Yeah. Ow. Oh, my God. So many of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, they're going to force me off the freaking quest, aren't they? Wow. That's lucky, lucky, lucky. My goodness. I just came out literally to make a chest and to stash my stuff away. And there's a massive horde of zombies. There's got to be like 20 or so in this one here. Ow, I'm super encumbered too. That's not good. Oh my god. No, 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 not this way, not this way. 
Um, okay, I just gotta get away, get them off me. I might be able to kill them one by one, but hard chance. I think we're just boned here. We need a new quest. And now I've just success. I've the only thing I've done so far is just kite them so that they're completely uniformly surrounding the building and there's just no safe place to be. Yep, there we go. Failed. Failed mission. All right, let's get out of here. Well, at least we can sell a little bit of stuff to Bob here. Hey, Bob. Sorry, man. Could not do that. We'll have to try it again someday. He's got a little quickie fetch to the east. Don't mind if I do there. Make a little bit of cash for our effort and um, could just repair that pipe pistol really quickly and sell that as well. That'll do for now. All right. <laughs> On to a new quest. Got quite a little collection of stuff here in Bob's dumpster. <laughs> just leave it there. We'll get it home eventually. How lovely. This quest has taken us into the downtown district. This is the, oh, the creamery. Okay. Well, we've got some fresh mailboxes to check. Not bad. I don't think there was anything new in there, though. Nope. Nothing new. Lots of good stuff to sell, though. All right. Well, let's just hit this and see if we can get the supplies and just run like we usually do. Life is just too dangerous to, to actually be really doing quests. Let's see, that's a feral. Ah! All right, just gonna kite her into this parking lot and get the bow out. Whoa, that didn't work. Oh, is a spider somewhere? Okay, I got her in the leg, I think. Oh, she's not very slow, though. Get the gun. It's time. Damn, she's tough. Ooh, got a skill point. Couple more zombies as well. And Bo's coming around the corner. In the knee. Perfect. Okay. And we didn't fail the quest. <laughs> nice. Another spider? Are you kidding me? Okay, finally. We can get into the creamery. I don't think there's any really good loot here. Yeah, if I could just find that supply satchel, I'd be perfectly happy just leaving. Oh, damn it. Trying to sneak up on these zombies didn't work. They okay, will use the old, like, wait until they hit the door, open the door, hit them in the face trick. Well, it's not gonna work for very long. Try this door. Ah, damn it. Oh boy, here we go. Oh crap, lots of zombies there. Gotta use the full auto. Ow, ooh, okay, that's not good. Not good at all. Yeah! Oh no! Wow. Yep, the world is dangerous these days. Okay, that was terrible. Are we gonna make it or what? Probably not. In fact, if we die, I'm just gonna make sure that uh, some of the more useful items are not on the inventory at the time. Yeah, like everything we're gonna sell, the money, yes. And go ahead and just take the meat stew so we can get the hit points back. And I will even just take the skull crusher right now so that we can do a little bit more damage. Yeah, we got more zombies here. Oh boy, what is gonna happen now? Not good. Yep, uh, am I gonna be stuck in here or what? Kind of, not really, I think I'm good. Okay, let's do this the cheesiest way I can possibly think of to do it. All right, where's the damn supply satchel? Where is it? Is it in here? Yes, mission complete. Ooh, completing quests like a boss. I think I can uh, get to the rooftop and find the loot like a boss. Ooh, that was another meat stew. Wow, good find there. And I'll just drink the golden rod now as well. All right, what are we looking at here? Birds? Yep. Here, no, just... Oh, crap. Tried to do the smart thing there. Ended up backfiring. Okay, there must be zombies in here somewhere. This is like the lab part. Ooh, acid, nice. Oh, crawlers in here. Not a huge threat. Another acid. Try not to get hit by this guy. Oh, good. yes, try not to do that. Oh, boy. This used to be a remnant POI. Okay, I can't do this right now. Jeez. Gonna die. Gonna definitely, definitely die here. Hello? Okay, any more birds out here or what? Where the frig is the loot? Oh, man. Don't make me do this. Yeah! Okay. Zombies up here? Indeed. Can I just please kite them off the building? Oh, crap, crap, crap. Arrow in the knee. Oh, I don't know if that was the knee or not. Okay, one shot kills me. Wah! Come on, big mama. Oh my goodness. Whoop, almost fell off the edge. Ah, yes, the loot! Hey, mining book here. 50% less damage from collapsing mines. That's become an issue more for me recently. Okay, I'll take it. Not great stuff, though. 
And, uh, oh, there's a pipe rifle, and not a bad one either. Bring that down. I do think I got the glue in order to make a tier 5 pipe rifle. Pretty good one. My one consolation prize for suffering through Perception Day. Okay, now the only thing is, gotta get down and not break a leg in the process. And to do that, just gonna do this, and then, yep. Ow! Okay, we're alive. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, lug all of my crap Another back to Bobby here to and win. pick up some leather boots, I guess. Check his jobs for tomorrow. Another fetch. I feel like the fetches are just our best bet because we don't have to fuss around with, um, you know, we can just get the, the quest over with, get the box, and then see if we can get the main loot. And if we can't, we can just bounce. It's not as good of a reward from those, but um, ultimately I'd rather get the quest over with and leave if we can rather than just fail entirely like we did at that first place because a freaking horde showed up so just having a look here at bob's inventory and he has this urban combat book five percent less damage and deal ten percent more damage when indoors and that is just applicable to all skill sets so i'm going to well i'm going to i would like to buy that but i don't have enough money right now how can i change that what, what do you want to buy bob yeah, there we go. Just sold him like 16 lead to get the last bit that I needed. Urban Combat Volume Let's 7. Watch. There we go. Very nice. All right. We got to, uh, I don't know what we got to do now. <laughs> I'm struggling here, guys. We we can't raid right now because um, we're, we'll die, basically. And uh, I'm curious to see, though, if those zombies are still over there. Oh, boy. Okay, let's swing by here and see if we can tell if the zombies have left or not. I'm inclined to say no. There's a lot, lot of zombies over here still. Yeah, they're they're all over the place. So that means that I don't think that wandering horde zombies do despawn. At least it takes them a while, maybe. Which bodes poorly for us because that means if one shows up at our base and we end up leaving, that... Um, we won't be safe to return there for quite some time. All right, so for the remaining hours of daylight, let's see if I got any jars. I just swung by the dumpster there to get whatever I could possibly fit into the inventory. And yeah, what I'm gonna do is just uh, very carefully collect some resources on the way home. We'll chop down some trees, get some extra wood, and then we can probably spend most of the night doing some more upgrades and things like that. Okay, I'm just quietly rolling back up on the base here to see what's going on. There's a mountain lion. Where'd he go? Right over there. I might draw him over to see if we can kill him up here at the fighting position. Otherwise, just a couple of regular zombies. Although, I'm gonna just sneak because I am too encumbered to safely fight anyone right now. And, okay, officially nightfall. Let's see now if I can loose an arrow over there and get that mountain lion's... Oh my god, look at the zombies spawning in here in the snow biome. Not safe at all. Ah, crap. Zombie. N nurse zombie. Maybe that cat can help me, though, if I can get him over here. There, I got his attention. Ooh, that was quick. Where'd you go, buddy? Where are you? I hear the growling. I don't see the cat, though. There he is. All right, let's do this. this cat is having a wicked hard time. Oh, boy. He keeps falling off. Well, it appears I've lost the cat and gained zombies. Although I can't eat the zombies, so I'm not as happy about this. So I guess what I'm gonna try and do is just pull the cat over here, see if I can get him, skin him, keep the base safe from zombies, and keep the base repaired as well. And then we'll start making a plan for tomorrow. Going into strength day, we need to focus on mining so that we can get some resources put together and um, get the fighting position fully upgraded and ready to defend for Horde Knight. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we have to call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And right as it is about to crack morning here, it's time to take that forget elixir. Now, last night I did get a 
double clothing pocket bod crafted because we found that book a couple of days ago and I did get that uh, tier 5 quality 5 pipe rifle crafted so we can hang on to that in the future but let's suck this down and um, prepare to fight because it seems to draw in the attention of all the surrounding zombies. Okay, so today is finally, finally strength day. So in a second here, I'm gonna pump some points. Oh, wow, nice. Maybe we don't need any points in this sledgehammers. Oh, uh, yes, of course we do. Anyway, let's have a look at those points. Okay, so we only need strength level five to get Boulder Buster and that'll be crafting quality five tools. So that's priority number one. And then two into Master Chef. And I suppose that'll be three, wow, into Sexy T-Rex and the remainder into Skull Crusher. Wow, that feels good. I like that a lot. Could have done mother load there, but I've done some testing in the past that compares taking points into Minor 69er versus mother load. And in that testing, it was more beneficial. You get more resources per hour if you just go into um, Minor 69er because you basically you get that bonus for breaking the block and therefore you can get that bonus more often if you can break the tools, uh, break the blocks faster with better tools and better damage to blocks. Okay, so that opens up two more spots in the backpack. And yes, we are pr pretty much chronically hungry and in need of first aid, so boiled meat it is. First up, we'll do the bacon and eggs though, get rid of all the eggs, and I thought I would be able to get some meat stew. What's holding me back here? Boiled water. And we can get one meat stew. That's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. All right, so positively, the most important thing to do today is going to be harvesting resources and also probably just getting like a couple stone axes crafted. So in case I die and I lose one, I'll still have another tier five somewhere else. I'll get another shovel crafted. Or actually, no, I have the steel shovel. Where the hell did that go? I've lost my steel shovel. I think I left it in... Uh, in Bobby's dumpster out there, so that's unfortunate, but uh, I can craft a new one here in a second. We gotta get some stone. All right, well, let's hit the ground and we gotta chop down a bunch of trees to start off with. Alright my friends, this is the test here. Can we take out a horde with a strength build? Although this definitely doesn't look like the caliber of horde that we're used to. Here, let's see if we have any like residual rifle skills left over from Perception Day. Certainly not. Okay, it does appear as though many of them are just kind of running straight on through, which is ideal. We can probably just loose a couple of arrows and draw the rest over. Speaking of, see if we can get some extra arrows crafted while we're waiting for these guys to wander over. Too easy. Strength is just so OP, man. It's it's really not even funny how much, how much easier it is to just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with groups of zombies with a strength build versus any other build. The sheer DPS and knockdown power of strength weapons is just, it outclasses everything else. Look at that, it just doesn't compare. You could knock any zombie right flat on their ass. All right, so from here, I think I'm just gonna gather up a little bit more in terms of resources, and then we'll head back and begin to upgrade the base a little bit. Also, I think I have plenty of clay back at the base, but uh, I might also dig up a little bit more so that we can just ensure that we have enough cobblestone. All right, I just replanted a whole bunch of seedlings. You can kind of see them scattered around here. An airdrop did just arrive, and it landed right there. That is our second airdrop, the first one being right up there. Ooh, kind of close to that tier two fetch. So probably after the horde, that'll be our route for tomorrow to go and collect up all those airdrops and then hit that quest. For now though, we don't have time for that. We have preparations to make here at the base, so let's head over and start doing some upgrades and probably take care of some of the wasteland wanderers while we're at it. Get the hell out of here. All right, so first step is going to be the pillars. Now, this is not going to be a pillar column system 
that's like permanently here to support the base. This is just here for tonight. Hopefully the zombies will not target these types of things. Oh, there's a skill point right there. Let's uh, immediately check on that. You know what? Let's go into heavy armor. Just looking at it. We should be able to craft enough heavy armor to at least, you know, like cover the exposed parts of the body. That would be currently just the chest. But I, I'm trying to get in the habit of wearing um, armor, heavy armor at Horde Night because you don't need the mobility quite so much. All right, so I'm just going to get these upgraded. Eventually, this is going, going to be a wall, and eventually, this is going to be... Whoops. Uh oh spider. A um, garage door right there. This guy shouldn't be too much of an issue. Nope, oh, maybe he will be. Oh, <laughs> nice jump there, buddy. I want to work on that. All right, here we go. Okay, that does it for the first half of construction, the construction phase. Let's just, oh man, I gotta get some jars crafted. That's like really holding us back right now is the murky water, boiled water situation. And just give me like a bunch of chests. We gotta start getting stuff organized and damn, watch out for that friggin' cop over there. The cop could spit at us and I'm pretty sure that cop spit causes fire in this, uh, with all the mods we have activated right now. All right, just dump these down anywhere. Not too concerned about it right now, but just make sure I don't pull these frames up and send the contents of the chest crashing down to the bottom. Yep, I, I found my shovel and my wrench and my pistol. Those were just hanging out in the bicycle, but yeah, that would, geez, crap. It's so much stuff in the inventory. All right, so give me a second to get the stuff organized. All right, that'll do for now and definitely gonna get some coffee crafted for tonight. Four of those, and I think probably the rest is going into... Ooh, wait, vegetable stew. We could make one of those and then, uh, oh, that's it, I guess. Okay, so, um, no, 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 instead of that, then meat stew. Meat stew's gonna be much better for you. And then, yeah, after that, all the boiled meat. Lots and lots of that stuff. And so I've decided that uh, we're gonna be carrying, it, on strength day at least, if we're doing sledgehammers, I would like to get into the habit of carrying the iron sledge and the stone sledge, because the stone sledge is just such a lower stamina cost, and so if you're in a bind and you just want to, like, finish someone off or get that sweet knockdown from the sledgehammers. Better to switch over to the stone sledge. There's another gamer, not only 2-5, that uses that strategy a lot. It seems to work very well for him, so I want to give it a whirl. All right, just get these fully upgraded, and I'm not too concerned about zombies breaking in from the sides here. It's never been an issue on this sort of fighting position design in the past. It, I'm not completely sold on this being the base design. Uh, or the fighting position design for this playthrough. It's just something I had to throw together just to get like the first week out of the way. And then uh, we'll we'll let this evolve and sort of make modifications as we need to as we go. So eventually I envisioned there being electric fences like that right there, perhaps. And stringing those over to electric fences that'll be here, here, and here. And then same thing on this side. Whoop, getting some more frames like that and then uh same thing over here we would just eventually fill this in in fact if we have to fight over here this needs to be upgraded yeah and so well i'm not sure i think it was uh right in this spot here so just fill this in real quickly so we can see what it's going to look like okay so yes want to line it up perfectly from here so those three electric fence posts are going to be like this and you can see if i can just aim Okay, so it's one, two, three. That one there, the third one on the left, is going to line up with the third one on the left here. And so it's going to run right directly over where that hatch block is going to be. And then another one here to the middle one, and then the far right one here to the far right one there. So it'll kind of string diagonally across the base, and then there will be dart traps right here. So we'll line them right up with the dart traps all the way down, probably top and bottom. And like I said in the last episode, I think it was, there's going to be just a gauntlet of blade traps for them to run through. So it should be a pretty nice trap base. And what I will eventually do is um, 
Well, it, what will happen is I think these will be the receiving fence posts. And so if uh, there are repairs that need to be made, I can just run over here during the Horde Night and like bang, 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 upgrade them all and then come right back over here. Don't have to fuss about fences breaking in the middle of the night and not being able to repair them. And then I am also envisioning a block system here. Like we could probably use the railing block. So let's just throw a couple of these in. Kind of like this here so that I could come through with a nail gun or whatever and upgrade the um, uh, blade traps that get degraded as time goes by. But the problem with this is going to be that if cops come up the ramp there, they'll be able to see me and they'll start spitting at me, which could ruin many parts of the base. So I think there will be a sort of blockade wall right there so that if I'm just here at the fighting position, they would have to like turn the corner to come and see me. And then if they spit at me from right there, not as big of a deal as if they were spitting at me from way over there. Okay, it is getting toward that time. Let's make sure we have the inventory all set up and eat some food, drink some water, get prepared. I didn't get everything upgraded that I would have liked to have gotten upgraded, but it's gonna probably have to do at this point. See, I don't think these are gonna really take any damage, so they're probably good. I think I'll probably replace this with a door. I thought it'd be cool to use the hatches for once, but I think I'll have issues. My, my idea was that I'd be able to kind of reach from here and open and close it. But um, I think that far one over there is too far away. I haven't been able to actually see it from here. So that could present itself as an issue. We'll have to see how it goes tonight. So one thing you can do if you want to save some time on the campfire and the forge and stuff like that is you craft up some of these logs. And a log takes, I think it's, what, what was it, eight? It takes eight wood or ten wood. And it burns for the same amount of time as 10 wooden planks, but it gives you the added benefit of just not having to click quite so much. So, a little tip for you there. You can also use coal in the fire, which uh, may or may not be something you want to do as well. Here, let's just uh, put some iron in there for now. I usually use the output to kind of store some stuff too. It's, it's fine to just leave some stuff in there in storage. Yeah, we'll let that burn all night long. We'll smelt some of that iron in there so that really we can make nails. Nails and then forged iron so that we can get a proper storage system set up. But that's probably a task for next week. All right, I just got a duct tape crafted and I should be able to get that scrap chest armor done now. There it is. Slap that on and we should be fully armored now. A mixture of heavy and light armor. Ooh, no hood. Uh, do I have... Yes, I made an extra glue so I can make an extra tape so that I can make an extra scrap helmet. Good, that came through. Set that up, bring the frames down, and that should do it. Well, the hour is late and our first horde approaches, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. Okay, so far so good here. We look, we got burned zombies. I've added them into the hordes now just for a little extra flavor. It'll be really nice once we get the barrel ones because they they change their, uh, they, they light up, they're on fire. Okay, stamina already an issue. So we're gonna stack up three coffees. All consumables will stack three times. So it's safe to drink three in a row. All right, let's do this. Oh crap, no oh, Bo. Why do you gotta, why do you gotta be like this Bo? Here, get out of here. All right, check the repair situation. Not too bad. I should have plenty of repair materials for tonight. Yeah, see that knockdown? Even with a stone sledgehammer, it's freaking awesome. Oh no, bubbles. No. Oh, the bubbles. You set the base on fire. Oh crap. Get the fire extinguisher. Okay. Uh, was that it for the fire? I feel like there's probably more stuff on fire. Just double check everything. Friggin' bubbles! Get back! Get back! I'm pissed off now!
Oh boy, they're, yep, they're messing stuff up here. Um, repair that, and geez, it takes forever for the stamina bar to replenish. It looks like we're getting about maybe eight or so zombies at a time, which is not too bad. We can live with that. Oh, okay, no, no, what are you doing? Get out of here. Okay, I got a, a loot bag right in front of my head, so I think I have to um, just go ahead and take that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to make sure that I'm in the right biome, so I'm going to lean toward the um, the wasteland biome as much as I can there. Oh, crap. Getting hit left and right here. Good thing I have some boiled meat. We can kind of drink that or eat it or whatever you do with boiled meat to get some hit points back. There. Take a little bit of a break here for some boiled meat. 15 hit points per, so I'll take two of them. Ooh, take that. Yeah, I'm feeling like the sledgehammer, the stone sledgehammer is working just fine for our purposes here tonight. Okay, a little, little bit of a lull here. We'll repair this up. I do feel as though some of them are have fallen down and are beating on the base a little bit, and that's fine. We should have plenty of redundant pillars. Uh, that's inevitable. Zombies are going to fall down and enter into rage mode here and there. Yeah, see, I just knocked a whole bunch down, so I'm fully anticipating they're going to start beating on some pillars down there. <laughs> if, if pieces of the base start collapsing, we'll know exactly what's going on. All right, we're uh, at midnight now, which i it's a little bit longer than I thought this horde was going to go for, but it is what it is, I guess. Definitely feeling like this is a high-volume horde. I haven't changed the volume of the horde at all. It's more the contents of the horde. And we shouldn't really be noticing that until much later game stages, like, you know, 70, 80 game stage or so. I think we're on the tail end of it here. Yep, that's uh, all all quiet, almost all quiet. One more, it looks like. Where are you? Take that. Not quite enough to kill him. There we go. Okay, assessing for damage here. Doesn't look like uh, much damage at all was taken. Oh, here we go. A couple pillars over here. Yep, just uh, plug that right back up. No big deal. Like it never even happened. Right there. Ah, another one here. Okay, that's not too bad. They knocked out two blocks. Two blocks all night long. I'd say that's a great success. And we have, it looks like two loot bags for our effort, plus the one that we picked up before. And make sure that we are in the wasteland portion and loot these up. Ooh, some forged steel. Not too bad. And some 9 mil and some shaman coffee. We couldn't really ask for much more than that, I suppose, out of a loot bag. Right on. So we avoided catastrophic failure in the in the fire from bubbles. <laughs> uh, to be determined, I guess, you can turn off like whether or not cop spit and uh, vomit from vultures and from bubbles will start fires or not. I'm not decided on whether I will turn that off or not. I think it's kind of exciting to have that extra element that they could set stuff on fire at any time. And eventually this horde base will be completely constructed out of cobble, at least if not concrete or steel in the future. So it shouldn't be much of a problem here, but uh, we'll see. And we'll always just have a fire extinguisher on us when we're around the base so that if something does catch on fire, we can quickly put it right out. So anyway, Tim Cam, great job tonight. Good job on the filming. I'm sure that'll come out just great later on. You can take a break, my friend, and we will pick things up a little bit later on this morning. All right, welcome back, everyone. I've spent the remainder of the night there just doing some, like, putting the floor in here and doing organization of the inventory. It's very important to me to have a very organized inventory, and I usually break it out into an 8 to 10 chest system, so... Uh, first things first this morning, I'm starting to get the jitters, so let's suck down a Grampus Forget Elixir and hope that there's no zombies nearby. I haven't heard any for a little while, and so I'm not sure if they've spawned in yet or not. But, let's see, what is today anyway? It is Fortitude Day. Nice. So, we're gonna have to go into the Brawler. Ooh, potentially we could put some points into Machine Gun and then craft ourselves a better pipe machine gun. That's a possibility anyway. And alternatively, we could maybe do... Living off the land, maybe? And uh, start up a garden? Hmm. What do I have for, like, crops and stuff? I have enough to make two corn seeds, and that is pretty much it. Ooh, okay. So we'll need to... Man, you gotta really plan ahead. So next next Fortitude Day will be the day to start the garden, then. We'll just try to uh, save as many plants and things like that as we can. All right, so that's what I've done. Seven into Fortitude, four Machine Gunner, three Brawler, two Pain Tolerance, two Iron Gut... And I don't think that means I can make a pipe machine gun right now. We are 
uh, actually not broadcasting any of these new storages. Storage broadcast mod is really just the best thing that's ever happened to Seven Days. I really hope they include that in the final version of Seven Days to Die, Vanilla. So, hold on one second here. Let's turn the fire on and see if I could make the six glue that I need. Oh, definitely. I just work on some of that for a little bit. Get the rest of the empty jars out of here, followed by some nails. Ooh, not that many. I think we need 10 per storage box, so let's just get like 120 for now, so we'll have plenty. And then after that, we can start rolling on forged iron. And I will grab down that really nice set of tier 3 Nux that we found a couple days ago. That'll be our primary weapon for today. And a new pipe machine gun coming up. Bring that down to the number 3 emergency slot, and I think... Whoa, look at the reload speed on that. Nice. Alright, I think we're ready to roll out. Who's our first customer today? It's, uh, Mo. Mo, come on over here, Mo. Ooh. A 1-2-3 punch. Nice. Okay, where's my bike? Right here. And uh, I think we have a quest already, so I will meet you over there. But before we do, I'm going to stop by and grab this... Oh, jeez, a bear. Of course, a bear spawned right next to it. My goodness. And Bubbles tracking me down from behind. Okay, multiple zombies, including a cop there as well. You think we could just ride up and grab it and then get the hell out of there or what? This is ultra risky, but we gotta do what we gotta do here. Okay, uh, park the bike here, and we're just gonna maneuver on foot. Just duck and dodge and dodge and move and maneuver and grab and move. Oh, is that like 50 lockpicks? Holy cow, that's good. And an antibiotic. Okay, on to the next airdrop. Oh my god, you see that? My front tire just smashed a cinder block. <laughs> okay, yep, we're out of here. Thank goodness. All right, here we are pulling up on the spot here next to this uh, that fancy farm POI that I think this is the one that has the the landmine situation. <laughs> anyway, see what's in here. And we've got, ooh, 500 wooden cubes and two more antibiotics. That's an interesting find. That will certainly help with base construction as well. Ooh, I'm hungry. Uh, we've got boiled meat for that, though. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to push through all that boiled meat very quickly, so we'll still be on the lookout for vending machines and things like that so that we can continue to keep the food supply up. And it's getting to the point where, like, we should start probably saving canned goods because we could probably take three or four points into the cooking perk and then get, like, the fancy meals, right? Like spaghetti or fish tacos or things like that. Ooh, look, good sledgehammer in there. Who's over here? Whoa, no punching allowed. Oh, well, I'm allowed to punch, not you. Get out of here. Oh, we're doing this farm. Oh boy, this is the one with the two spiders in it, guaranteed. Alrighty, well, we'll get some corn out of it at least. In fact, I'm gonna double dip that corn because we need to make corn seeds for the next Fortitude Day. I think that'll do it. Let's go hit the quest and do it all over again. Snap that and oh, look at that, fresh corn. All right, I think we're good to go. Although I am sort of inclined to, I might as well grab this stuff up too, but oh, we need a plan in case a wandering horde shows up. We need to kind of think that through every time we get to a POI or go inside a building. Like, what are we gonna do if 30 zombies show up outside? Because the wandering hordes can be like upwards of 40 zombies, which is pretty crazy now that I think about it. I don't know what I was thinking. So let's maybe uh, just make a couple of little things that we can do maybe, like, you know, jump up here and get on the rooftop. Okay, so that'll work on this side. And then if we're stuck on the other side, we'll have another sort of ladder to get up here, just like that. And there should be plenty of like, uh, you know, there's ways inside that you can kind of get up above where the zombies can get to you from. So without further ado, let's get our ass in here and hope for the best. Close the door behind us. Oh, we got a snake. Get out of here, boat. I'm in a fist fight with a snake. Yep, I'll definitely be taking that uh, snake skin as well. All right, don't... Yeah, boars spawn in here sometimes. Forgot about that part. Oh, geez. Okay, so hopefully I get the kill here. Nope, of course I don't. Oh, we'll have to punch him out then. Oh no! Yep, did not work. Careful with those guys. One more zombie down there. I'm gonna send one for him. There we go. Where is he going? Oh, goodbye. Here, take this guy out while we're waiting. Ooh, these guys are tough. No! Ow! Holy crap, I'm gonna die to a boar today.
All right, my friends, that is it for this place. I've broken down just about everything. Ooh, I, I never noticed that weapons bag down there before. We'll have to grab that on the way out of here. I wonder if that's new. This uh, POI got updated a little after um, Alpha 19 Experimental came out, or Alpha 20 Experimental came out. So there are, probably are some new things to find around here. Hey, that's a nice fire axe there. I got a lot of materials out of here too. Ooh, lucky goggles, nice. Perfect timing for that too. And it's the good ones, the plus fives. These come in plus three, four, and five variants. And that is a really good find. My only set of eyewear now, so we don't have to bother taking them off and putting them back on again. And in the main chest here, ooh, a hobo stew. That is a good prize there and a full auto mod. Very nice. Okay, well, this is easy enough to get right here. What do we get for this? Ooh, Bunker Buster mod. Not too bad. I'll put that right on my axe. And, oh, almost didn't make that jump. Luckily, there's a hay bale there. We come straight up here, run across there, let it collapse, and head down here for the secret stash. Hit the hay bale with the shovel to get a one-shot kill on it, and open this up. Hidden stash, baby, what do we got? Oh my goodness, that is a lot of stuff there. Lever, lever action rifle schematic. Not too bad, and take the rest. Luckily it's stacked, so I can squish it all in my backpack. Hey, what's way up here? Is there anything secret up here? I don't- oh, yeah, I got a sports bag. Sometimes this has good stuff in it, like uh, steel knuckle parts. Definitely be taking those. I think, though, I could probably scrap those bullet casings. We could just uh, turn that into brass and then turn it back into bullet casings again in the future if we have to. And I think that's it for this place. So I will meet you back at Trader Bob's. We'll see what we get for a reward for all this. All right, Bobby, what do you got today? Hey, hang on, check the vending machine first and foremost. Nope, can't do that, don't have any money on me. Well, we'll get some money off of Bob here, and I'll grab the wrench for sure, because I already have a good pair of boots, and I want the extra wrench to make the workbench at some point. And we'll take a job for tomorrow. Fetch and clear to the southeast, that's pretty close by, or we've got the east right here. What is that one, house modern number three? Sure, we'll take that. Today was Trader Restock Day, so I might as well take a peek here. And just got a level up there as well. No, I wouldn't say that he has anything that is particularly useful to me, except for if he's got a Night Stalker book and a Sniper book, neither of which I can afford at the moment. So, oh, that Grave Digger mod would be kind of nice to have as well. But uh, anyway, we can't afford anything. It's just good to know what he has so we can return for whatever else tomorrow. But let's get the Sugar Butts Eye Candy lamb rations peas and that'll do it we'll get everything out of bobby's dumpster here that we possibly can and haul it all back home so while i'm making the journey back i just wanted to take a quick moment to just let you guys know that i appreciate the support so far on this series i do hope that you all are enjoying it so far i know i am this is a very refreshing playstyle for me and I was eager to get back to vanilla, and I understand that a lot of people wanted me to continue with the modded playthroughs. Uh, more than half of the channel subscribers came in the period between the beginning of Darkness Falls and the end of Undead Legacy, which spanned a period of about six months. And so a lot of people are only accustomed to me doing a modded playthrough. And um, I do understand that. Seven Days to Die has gotten a little bit dry with age, and the updates are slow, but... Um, I did want to just get away from the total overhaul, the total conversion mods for just a little bit. I have an excellent series concept that I am saving for Alpha 21, so I'm really hoping that that drops sometime in the next uh, six months would be perfect for me. I mean, the sooner the better, really. In terms of other channel goings on, I'm actually branching out into some other games. I'm not really committing to any single game to like, let's, you know, sit down and do a 20 episode series because I think that's ultimately detrimental to the health of the channel to do long series content. So I've been saying it for a long time. I want to do more one-off style content where it's just one video in one game and then done and move on to the next one. So I hope you guys have noticed that that's been sprinkled into the channel a little bit here and there. And I do hope that you enjoy that because there's more of it to come. I'm really enjoying it. It's refreshing for me. I'm really waiting for a lot of the newer games to come out. There have been so many game delays this year because, well, for one, Unreal Engine 5 is coming out and I think a lot of games delayed their release in order to update to that. Like, for example, Sons of the Forest and Nightingale which were both slated for 2022 releases and now have been pushed to early 2023. And those are two games that I do, in fact, want to make like big staple games on the channel, like ones where I would do a prolonged series. 
but ultimately I'm always looking for more suggestions on what I can bring to the channel. So if you have any games that you're playing or that you have your eyes on, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know so that I can kind of put that on my radar. Pretty much everything's on the table. I think this channel will mainly focus on survival type games, but I might branch out to some things. For example, Manor Lords is an upcoming game that I'm really looking into maybe doing a couple of videos on that for the channel. It's more of like a grand strategy RTS kind of top down game, but I think there are some sort of survival elements where you have to like keep your dynasty alive or something. Anyway, it looks like a really fun game and I do like kind of RTS Total War style games. So maybe we'll dabble in that a little bit, but I'm probably just rambling at this point. Probably most of this will just get edited out of the video entirely. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, let's head back into our character and pick things back up at the base. Whew, okay, for home sweet home and luckily just in time because it just ticked nightfall and I can like just feel the presence of zombies spawning in all around me. All right, let me get this stuff rel- whoops. Well, I was going to say relatively organized, but I just mucked it all up. All right, give me a minute to fix all this. All right, that's it. Everything is put away. I actually should have my nails completed and together with the wood in my inventory, should be able to make some writable storage boxes. Very nice. Let's get, uh, let's just get eight of those to start with. And I'm going to have to figure out a way to set up the crafting stations in a sort of a layout for all of the... Get the workbenches and the forges and the campfire and the chem stations and all that stuff. I'll probably spend some of the night tonight, uh, let's see, 1800 wood. Well, that's not going to be as many block upgrades as I would like, but I'd like to get the floor at least done so that we don't accidentally pull a block and fall through, right? And then I'll have to start thinking about, um, like, interior design for this place. In fact, this, uh, this crafting station or this crafting wing or area looks just way too big so i might need to kind of rethink the design here before we get too much further but anyway my friends and fellow survivors i think we have to call it a night Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And I had a very productive night here, getting all of the storage put into its final state, so we don't have to worry about organization anymore. And we're going to put all of our workstations right in a row right here. So last night, I uh, crafted... Well, I thought I crafted... <laughs> I crafted all of the clay out, but there was still a bunch of clay left crafting in, so... In order to uh, move that anyway, I think it's it's fine. There's only like literally a hundred clay left in there. Uh, but let's uh, get the land claim block down there. That should allow me to pick this up. So yoink that and whoops. Okay, now I need to put that. Well, let's see here. So in the middle, there will be a campfire flanked by a workbench, flanked by a chemistry station. So I guess it's going there. And uh, what we're gonna do here is this is gonna be a garage underneath. So I did leave like a space for where the door is gonna go. And I think I measured it right anyway, I hope. But that's why I made it out of plywood frames because I wanna be able to make modifications when the time comes. And uh, we're gonna have a little ramp here and a nice balcony here on the side and another identical balcony over there on that side. And we'll continue working on this. We have tons of shapes left. Look, we had a... Uh, 500 wooden cubes that were delivered in an airdrop and so we're looking really good on that but anyway before we um go into this like start having headaches and cramps and whatever else we get from grandpa's forgetting elixir withdrawal we'll go ahead and take that and it's agility day today so what i'm gonna do is crank seven into agility which means four into deep cuts and i was thinking light armor if we wanted to maybe craft some light armor definitely a couple into parkour a couple into gun slinger you know uh i don't know because we have um we're wearing what's it called leather armor which is not the best not the worst though really either 
Ah, oh, this is the thing with this base. They always, you know, fall down and then you have to put arrows into them to finish them off. Bubbles caught the base on fire again last night. Luckily, I had the fire extinguisher handy so I could put that out. So I think the way that the fire extinguisher works is that it has durability. Where is it? Right there. And it doesn't use ammo. It just uses durability. So if I use a repair kit and I repair this, it's good to go. And luckily we did find that uh, quality six in that massive house fire there on day, I don't know, what was it? Day three or something like that. <laughs> okay. So we can, uh, yeah, just smelt all this back in there, put everything back away. And um, let's finish off the skill points there. I might as well. Let's go ahead and take four into this and see what it, at least it would take to make some good padded armor. Yeah, basically we could get like a whole set of it. Although some of that duct tape is going to have to go into the hunting knife. In fact, like almost all of it. But that's good. That'll give us a really good hunting knife until we get into like the machete era. Do I really? I, I, I thought, yes, I made a whole bunch. Yes. All right. Nice. We should be able to get plenty of duct tape now. Craft all of that. Put some more wood on this fire, please. And yeah, yes. Padded armor. Crap. Now we don't have any cloth. Okay. This is just, uh, <laughs> this is life now, isn't it? Just to start off with, yeah, get the padded chest, I guess, and then get the knife. The advantage of heavy uh, light armor, I should say, over heavy armor is the mobility and the stamina penalty. So if you look at any piece of heavy armor, oh crap, there's a horde here. Scratch that. We'll talk about armor later. Okay, they are not on to me yet. They are moving into the snow biome. I can't tell just yet how many there are, but I want to give it a war. I want to. I want to kill these zombies. I really do. Here, come on over. Oh, this is gonna be like Horde Knight times three. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, yes, um, Knuckles, not not our primary weapon anymore. Deep cuts it is. In fact, do I have, no, we don't have the good knife yet. Whoops, kind of uh, didn't do this right. Also, don't have the repair hammer on me. I think we're doing doing okay here i am going to run over and get the iron and get a repair tool i just had the fire axe out last night make sure that's fixed up okay we're good there scrap that stupid bow knife and give me this tier 5 hunting knife starting to beat through the side ones as well oh geez uh, i don't want to upgrade those i want to kind of knock them out not that weapon out of stamina go get some coffee there we go just work on them with the bleeds. Just t tap him in the head, in the forehead with the knife and let him fucking recycle and bleed out. Have any of you left a loot bag yet? Well, got a couple bleed kills there, but I think Big Mama's the only one left. You still alive, Big Mama? Nope, that's it. Not a single loot bag, you cheap sons of bitches. Right, so we're out of cloth, so we can't make any more armor. We'll have to work on that later. We should be fine. Okay, I suppose that brings us to the plan of the day, the POD, if you will. So let's eat some food here real quick. In fact, just bring a little bit of food with me, and I don't really have any good medical supplies yet. Although, I guess we could bring some painkillers just in case we need the hit points while we're out today. Uh, otherwise, let's get the proper frame down. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, we don't need this anymore, do we? That'll do. Okay, let's head into town then. We gotta get a hammer today. So that was that's, that's the thing. I haven't been playing vanilla enough, and now I've friggin' forgotten how it works. So, when we were on strength day... We should have crafted a hammer. We definitely could have. I think we would have had all of the materials to do it. And it would be unlocked with Miner 69er. But unfortunately, I just completely forgot that I could possibly do that. I We have to get the hammer, though, for tomorrow. Because it'll be Intellect Day. And we're going to go into Advanced Engineering. And we're going to get ourselves a workbench. But in order to do that, we'll have to do some raiding. And we'll have to um, maybe even just not even do quests. We can do quests tomorrow because we'll get the Daring Adventurer. But uh, if we can just like do some working stiff tool stores or we'll do the quest for Bobby basically and then we'll do some working stiff tools and try to get the damn hammer. I'll meet you over there. All right, here we are rolling up on the spot. I think I will just get a storage chest uh, put down just to get that out of the way and we can clear up the inventory if it gets too filled up So drop that there and let's uh, Yeah, let's just head in here. I don't recognize this place off the top of my head I don't yeah, I don't know if I've ever been here before it might be new might not be new I'm not sure. Let's get in here and find out. Ooh, cloth. Yes, we need this though Ah, wall safe and I have like 51 lock picks now to my name so uh, no hassle just breaking into these things, or, or picking into them, I should say. 
And uh, what do you think? We got an eye candy, but uh, what's our loot stage anyway? Uh, 29. Man, the eye candy is just not going to do that much for us right now. I really would just rather save it. So we'll go ahead and loot this now. Hey, 2x scope. I'll put that right on the pistol. Let's have a look at that. It's supposed to look a little bit different because we got that the, the mod called DLX Weapons Fix. And so the scope reticles or, you know, whatever you call it, the scope, scope view all looks different. Really cool, though. I really, really like that. Good touch. Just one of those kind of like visually pleasing, those aesthetic mods, you know. If I could just get a freaking helmet flashlight now, that would be great. A couple of interesting schematics here already. Speakers and motion sensors. Won't say no to either of those. Well, I, I, I kind of would say no to the speakers. <laughs> Should probably just sell those. I've never really thought of a good use for speakers, honestly. Oh, hello. Yikes. Haha, <laughs> bleed kill. Anybody in here? Nope. Okay, looks like we're heading into the garage now. What are we walking into here? I feel like it's a trap. Ooh, backpack up there, though. No, nope. not a trap. No zombies. Come on, workbench schematic. Ooh, bicycle handlebars and some glue. Haha, <laughs> use my new parkour skills to get to that backpack. Nice. Ooh, good bandage, too. Okay, before we get too carried away with encumbrance, I am going to head outside and just stash the inventory in that storage box I made. I feel like we should probably be okay on the Wandering Horde front, since we just kind of had one a couple of hours ago. Okay, just got a zombie on us outside, but we are heading downstairs, and I see a bunch of dots on the compass. Also, I missed the satchel. We might have to run back and get that. Hopefully we don't forget it. Uh, nope, there's Thomas right there. Ah, okay. Couple more here. Oh, many more. Yikes. Get back. Get back. Oh, no. <laughs> Bad position here. Ow. Whoa, crap. Damn it, Bo. Wow, I got sucked right into that trap. Probably a good opportunity to just take a painkiller. Good opportunity to take her out, too. Hey, look at that steel knuckle schematic. Nice. So that means on Fortitude Day, we should see if we could craft one, although I don't think we have enough steel knuckle parts. We do have a few of them, though. Oh, look at that. Chemistry station schematic. That's pretty cool. Still quite a ways off of crafting our own. We'll need a beaker, at least. Oh, I wish you could pick these things up. I really want lanterns. Oh, come on, college jacket. Oh, well, sewing kit. We do need a couple more of those uh, because we can make the double clothing pocket mods, and I think we need two apiece for those. Oh, okay. Up into the attic, it seems. Okay, yeah, so the satchel should be right over there, and I also see a zombie on the compass. So I'm thinking maybe behind that little door there. Yes, indeed. I don't see any more on the compass. I see, like, the final boss fight over that way. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I've definitely never been in this POI before. Interesting. I wonder if it's new or if I just never kind of happened into it. I typically don't go into the residential houses as much because I feel like, you know, the commercial areas offer the same, if not more, or better loot, I guess. But houses are good just for, like, that generalized loot, right? Just, like, a little bit of everything. Yeah, so stamina continues to be a major issue with these steel tools, and I imagine using, like, top-tier weapons and steel tools is going to continue to be a big issue for us as we move forward. So what I've decided is that when if we completely max out a tree, we've used all of our points, we're going to have what I'm going to call memory of the previous day. So if today was... Uh, t today's agility day, we'll max this out, and then we'll go back to fortitude day, which was the day before, and we'll use the remainder of our skill points as we see fit in this tree, kind of like remembering what was going on the day before, right? And so that should give us eventually two days that we could benefit from sexy T-Rex strength day, and then again on fortitude day, basically. Kind of the best I can come up with. I like the challenge anyway. It's not like, whoops, I almost killed that, so... 
Yeah, it's not like you, you need need sexy T-Rex, or maybe you do. I don't know. I've never really played a playthrough where I didn't have it. Hey, speaking of that, there's a skill point right there. Try for Flurry of Blows, even though that's just going to suck the stamina right out of me. All right, we're moving along the rafters. This looks... Uh, is this secret? Something over here? No. I know there's a POI where you can access like a hidden stash from like a rafter system kind of like this. Doesn't seem to be the case here. Okay, here we go. We've got uh, the final fight here. Let's see if we can wake them up. Or uh, not wake them up, I mean. Take them out nice and quietly. Nope, that didn't work at all. Ooh, well, we just muscle through them, I guess. Here we go. Hello. Get out of here, Karen. Karen or Lois? I'm going to put a vote down in the comments. Are we calling this zombie Karen or Lois? Because some people have said Lois, like, from um, Family Guy. <laughs> and I think that's hilarious. I've always called her Karen because she just looks like, uh, you know, the, the the stereotypical, like, uh, you know, Karen, soccer mom, you know. <laughs> leave your suggestion. Leave your vote down in the comments. I'll put, like, a sticky comment down there. And here we are in the main loot. Aha, working stiff toolboxes, too. Nice. Oh, there it is, baby. Our first hammer. Nice. Mission complete. That means, uh, I don't know what else to do for today. Today was going to be, like, all about going to random, like, working stiff tool places and getting a hammer. What do we got here? A small chance to mine rare gems from ore. Got a muffled connector mod. A decent set of padded leg armor, although after today, I think we'll have a better set from crafting. And that's about it. I guess I'll just... I'll, I'll eat the charred meat because we'll drink some water when we get back. We're about to dehydrate. All right, that's it for this place. Let's go see Bobby. All right, Bobby, what do you got for me? Ooh, decent iron spear. That'll help on perception day for sure. Unless, unless, can I, <laughs> I don't even know, man. Can I craft an iron spear when I have like the spear like perk thing? I sure can. So we're just going to end up crafting a level 5 anyway next time. So I'll just take the first aid bandages. Probably I need those more for sure. Oh, and looks like we've got the bundle reward here at the end. Mini bike parts bundle. Although that could be really, really bad. That could just literally be like a battery, an engine, and a wheel and get you no closer to getting the mini bike. So I'm disinclined to do that one. So let's go nail gun. Let's do it. Let's do the nail gun. And uh, we'll just get the mini bike or the motorcycle when we have intellect day. And we'll just, we'll eventually find a helmet light mod. I'm not too worried about that. So nail gun it is. And we'll get another fetch. Uh, yes, pre preferably fetches. I like the fetches better. The reward is not as good, but as we discussed before, safety is our priority. We need to be able to get the hell out of there if we need to and not fail the quest. Okay, so I'm just looking around here at stuff that we could buy and... Probably what I'm going to get here is this sniper book for armor piercing 762 and I'm going to get this grave digger mod and I think we already have a polymer string on the bow so we're all set there and otherwise I think we're good here. He does have that night stalker book though. I'm taking it. Why not? We're collecting the books on this series. Very nice and we'll put the grave digger mod on the shovel and we're super encumbered still. So well, let's see what we got here. Basically need all the drinks I can get. I don't really think I brought any with me. And now I'm broke. That's okay. Just gonna stash up Bobby's dumpster then. Right, so this quest is right over here. Let's just maybe see if we just run in like we've been doing in the past and just get the loot, get the hell out of here, get the, the supply satchel and just run basically. Let's hit it. See where the thing is. It looks like it's on our level. Indeed it is. So we might be able to get it relatively quickly and just get the hell out. Oh, zombie. Where'd you come from? And where are you going? Where, what? Hello? There she is. Lois. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, what do these give me again? This give me forged iron. It does, although it just kind of takes forever. Yeah, we're in kind of a hurry here. And bandana. I guess I never made one of those. Put that on. Oh, hello there, Thomas. Aha, there we go. Take that loot bag. Okay, not too bad. First aid kit, never say no to that. Oh, another two. Holy cow, man. What is up with the medicine cabinets these days? Right, so where's the damn... Well, first of all, zombie. Oh, here's one right there. Crawler. Okay, where is the... Uh, there it is. 
Mission complete. At least we can get our extra quest reward before we go home tonight. And we can just run if a freaking horde shows up and they don't pin us in here and kill us in the process. Yep, just like that. I'm freaking encumbered by 10. Holy cow. Which is a certain death sentence if a horde has just come running through here and we're on ground level. Oh, and I can't really stack anything. Oh boy. Okay, best I can do. At least we're not encumbered. Let's just um, get onto the rooftop. It looks like there's a uh, a way to kind of jump in there. Ooh, cement mixer too. Not anything we need in there, really. Oh, here we go. We've triggered zombies. Just two, should be fine. Ooh, <laughs> instant decapitation. Yeah, oh man, this feels good once we've leveled up a little bit. I don't feel nearly as vulnerable as we did, you know, a couple of days ago. Oh, come on, give me something good in here. Ah, damn it, feathers. Oh, hello. Burnt zombie. Ooh, that's a feral one, too. And I'm encumbered. Come here, buddy. Ow! Ow! Son of a bitch, he's strong. Oh, boy. Yes, yes, yes. My goodness almost killed me. Where's that first aid kit? Wow. Just what I was saying, I was feeling really good about myself, and now I, I feel really bad about myself. That didn't last long. All right, we're getting into a little bit of a danger zone here. We've got Lumberjack there. Ooh, that's the main loot. Damn, I thought it would be up there, but I'll take it. Ooh, a couple more zombies in there. This is a dangerous place here. Yep, okay. I'm feeling good about myself again. Here we go. Bar brawling, look here. Sprinting power attacks. They have a high chance of knocking down the opponent. Not too bad. And ooh. Quality six scrap gloves there. Another bar brawling book too. This one is after getting hit. Brawling attacks are 20% faster and increased movement speed by 10%. Nice. Seems like Fortitude Day is gonna be even better now. We'll have to remember that sprinting power attack thing and try to you know, try to remember to do that once in a while. All right, that's gonna have to do it. We are totally mucked up in the inventory and we're not even gonna be close to be able to get everything back, but I really do need those sewing kits. So scrap that iron and uh, that's gonna have to, I guess we could get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, do I want a one jar or two polymer pieces? <laughs> All right, I'll meet you back at Bob's. Well earned. What do we got here? Assistance. Leather leg armor or another fire ax? Really? Neither one of those tickle my fancy very much, but I'll take the leg armor. And a job for tomorrow. Uh, I think we'll probably just get the tier three tomorrow instead of doing tier twos again. And that should probably do it, I would say. I really should start like saving some stuff and we'll use the sugar butts from now on when we're selling instead of just kind of like nickel and diming here and there. We really want to stock up and benefit from our perks. In fact, really the, what we should be doing is only selling off on intellect day when we can put some points into better barter, actually. So that's probably gonna be the plan going forward. But for tonight, it's getting late and we have base construction to do. So I'm gonna head back to the base and we'll get started on that. Meet you there. All right, welcome back everyone. Let's have a look at the inventory. This is not everything. There's still stuff in Bobby's dumpster, mostly just sellables that we'll sell to him later. And there's even more stuff in the bike. So I'm gonna start getting this stuff organized and we'll decide what we need to do left over for crafting. Like probably get, I'm gonna get a full set of quality five padded armor and then we'll see what we can do from there and we'll get building. Okay, so I think we're all set. I can hear a zombie out here walking against a cactus. That'd be Marlene over there. Okay, so let's just take a moment here and look into what we need to do to get uh, to be prepared for intellect day. Workbench. We can officially craft the workbench. Perfect. Don't even really need hammers anymore. We got that nail gun. And yep, officially nightfall here. What else do we need for tomorrow? Oh, friggin' A. Well, we're gonna need to craft a damn pipe baton and use that all day. Great. <laughs> Maybe we can get a quest for a friggin' Mo Power place and see if we can get a stun baton. Holy cow, man. Look at this. We could actually craft a mini bike as well. Really not that expensive. And if we take the points into it, it's even cheaper to do. Yeah, we can officially get everything, right? Oh, man, we totally can. We will need to go out and get an engine though. So yeah, we can work on that. Oh, the wheels too. Yep, we can craft the wheels. Oh, nice. We have two bottles of acid and we need two to get the two wheels. Perfect. Well, that's the, the deal for tomorrow. So let's do some construction tonight. We'll get the workbench and a mini bike first thing tomorrow morning.
right, there it is. Good morning, everyone. And I don't know what I'm doing here. So I've basically put in a nice good wall over here. This is going to be both sides of a pull through garage. And I'm gonna knock out all of these posts here. And we're just gonna have like a massive double wide support column here. It's all part of the design. I have this all drawn out on paper. Not sure how it's gonna look in the game yet, but it should, yeah, we'll make it look good. <laughs> we'll force it, right? So these little blocks here are basically indicating where there will be a blade trap. And so there will be like one on the bottom, one on the top, so that you can hit them in the legs and the head, and they will be on both sides. So I think that'll be a total of, you'll have to like stagger them. So I think it'll be a total of six blade traps here, uh, running the gauntlet through here. We'll have, of course, the electric fences, but we need some sort of a, archway entrance so i've been kind of framing that out i'm not exactly sure i have to uh, get to that part of the drawing and, and finish it off see how it's going to look and the other thing is that the the blade traps are not going to be like attached to like a wall i kind of want to make like a piping system to give it like a really industrial look because this is going to be a bit of a square blocky base with um like sharp angles and spikes which is you know my typical construction style but uh, i wanted to have this industrial kind of paint job and feel to it anyway first things first this morning we're gonna be getting the forget an elixir in yeah it's <laughs> just uh, uh, that noise it pains me to listen to my character eat that stuff we do have zombies wandering in and while they're working their way over we'll start taking our points oh Oh my god, it's freaking Horde again. Oh boy, oh boy. Get a freaking repair tool. Yep, yep, yep. Repair, repair, and repair material, and probably some cobble for this one, right? Uh, oh, I just spent my freaking... I just spent my... I, I lost all my skills. I don't have any good skills to fight them off with. In the absence of any better weapon right now, we're just gonna roll with the agility weapons from yesterday. Oh, we got a freaking dog as well. Oh boy! It's fucking stat repair! Fix that, fix that, fix that! Fix everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're gonna have to rely on the bleeding kills. Oh crap. They're freaking hitting me in the legs. Get the fuck out of there. Businessman. Oh, if you don't leave me a loot bag, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh crap. Yep, they're freaking breaking through this now. Nope, 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 nope. None of that. Oh, finally got that dog out of there. Ow. Oh, jeez. Get a painkiller into me. Yo, stop that. Oh my god, I'm bleeding and infected! Oh, off with the leg! Okay, I'll just take a minute here and get some damn coffee into me. There we go. Stop that! Let's go back and forth. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, it's working. Okay, I think we've got, what, one or two more here, nurse? Oh my god, you've destroyed the freaking pathway. Why would you do that? Quickly now, get this fixed. Oh, that's that's a hatch that they destroyed there. What? Why would you do that? Into the knee. <laughs> Come on, big mama. You can't possibly have very many hit points left. There we go. While we're at it, let's just take this off and replace it with the door then. So you just hit R, select on face, and you put the door down like that. And that way that can be their little pathway over. All right, food and water will treat the infection. Right, what were we doing? We're trying to freaking spend our skill points. Okay, so we're definitely gonna have to go into electrocutioner so we can get our baton skills up. But first, yeah, let's take like, uh, what was it gonna be? Like at least four. Oh, oh yes, of course, we have to do physician today as well so we can craft some first aid bandages. So yeah, that'll be first aid bandages. Uh, this here will be enough for the workbench and we'll have the mini bike with that. Couple of points into electrocutioner for the batons and I think probably the remaining points can probably be split between better barter and daring adventurer. I was able to get four in better barter and three into daring adventurer, nice. Now, give me that workbench. That's gonna take a while, three and a half minutes. I should have done that before the whole horde fight. <laughs> jeez. But we gotta get the, the freaking kit organized anyway. We needed a baton. Oh jeez, pipe baton. Do I really have to go through this? Is there another one in here somewhere? Ah, oh, jeez, I guess I have to. Since we're so low on the nine mil, we're gonna have to put that away and we'll have to roll with the 7.62 instead with the, you know, fairly good pipe machine gun that we have. Even better with a couple of mods on it. Okay, what can we do in the meantime? We'll get some snow so that we can make some water and Probably just chop some trees or something, honestly. Oh, no, no, no. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the desert and get some aloe. Nice, here we go. 
Oh, what was that? I just got a 4x scope mod schematic out of the garbage. All right, that should do it for now. Holy crap, there's a cop there. Okay, that's bad. We have got to take that guy out before he sets the base on fire. Here we go. Whoa. Can't do a sneak attack now, but I can slow him down with the uh, arrow to the knee trick. Look out. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on with these friggin' arrows. Yeah. No, I can't hit his leg. Oh, boy. All right, plenty of space here. And move in for the kill. Nice. Yo, oh boy. Friggin' more zombies. Great. Well, let's put this down. And right there is fine. Where are you guys? Arlene! Okay. One more coming, I think. Mini bike. Chassis. Craft. Handlebars. Craft. And... We'll have to go out and get an engine now. Ooh, soldier. There we go. Yeah, just gonna grab the bicycle. There's a whole bunch of cars over there, like, on the main road right there. So we should be able to get at least one engine out of those. Make sure I have the wrench. Where's the wrench? So, I think the wrench... Well, one of, I thought I had two, and one of them was consumed when we made the 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 workbench. But I could have sworn I had another one. I mean, I know that I had another one. I'm just not sure what the hell I did with it. Oh, Greg, we're gonna have to go all the way into town to see if Bobby is selling one, or if maybe I inadvertently stashed it in the dumpster outside there. Okay, check Bobby's dumpster. Oh, damn, no. I must have sold it. It's the only thing I can think of. So anyway, we'll have to sell off here. We're gonna do the big sell off. We'll use the sugar button and everything, and then hopefully he's just got a wrench. I think, isn't today Your restock day as well? Welcome. He does have a wrench. Okay, and so I would be fine with buying that. Today was restock day. Holy cow, he's got some good stuff here. Look, some steel knucks, which we can craft now, but it would just be nice to have them. 44 Magnum? Wow. Making me... Ooh, the military armor schematic. Oh, a mining helmet with the helmet flashlight. Okay, that's priority number one right there. He's got two of them. That I want the level one for sure. Well, that takes care of a couple things for us. Got a pistol peat book. Oh man, that's the good one too. 10% more damage with nine mil weapons. Well, the alternative I guess would be to, instead of buying the wrench, that we just wait until we loot a wrench somewhere or perhaps, you know, take a point and craft one tomorrow and, uh, and, and instead take the engine and then we have a battery back at the base. We could just bring everything back there, craft the mini bike tonight and uh, that will be that. I think I do like that idea a little bit better. It'll allow us to get a couple of these all other items that we really want to you get. So let's now. do that. We'll take the sugar butt in. Ooh, we got an airdrop coming too. I'll have a look at that in just a minute. Check the inventory and uh, yeah, just sell them this garbage that I have laying around. Yep, that's it for that. And we will buy outright the engine. Oh, AK-47 too, oh my God. Right, anyway, buy mining helmet. Definitely buy that Pistol Pete book. That is a good sniper book too, so headshots have a greater chance to dismember. I'll take it. Doesn't leave us with very much left, so I will just take the Steel Nux. That'll help us out. And uh, on Fortitude Day at the, at the least. And I think that's it. Oh, the Military Armor Schematic too. You know, jeez, oh, that could take a long time to get, honestly, if we don't buy it now. So I'll take it. Ooh, restore power. No thanks. And uh, he does have a fetch to the southeast. We like those fetch quests. I'll take it. Although, yet again, we're probably good. We just had the horde there a couple of hours ago. Okay, so uh, mining helmet on. No, the scrap helmet's doing better, so we'll just modify. There we go. We've got light. There we go. Okay, we've got military armor, we've got sniper book, we've got pistol feet. Put the engine away here with the mini bike stuff. I brought it with me because you, I'm pretty sure you can craft it in your inventory if you have all of the items. Oh, we gotta make the wheels too anyway. So anyway, yeah, whatever. We'll just do that when we get back home. And otherwise, we're good to do the quest. I'll meet you over there. Oh, hello there, Bo. Oh, this stupid place. No, oh, no, I died the last time I was here. This is just not the build that I want to have to do this. So, oh, the airdrop. Let's mark that before we lose it. Okay, we'll try to remember to do that on the way home. I guarantee I'll forget, though. Snap that, and where are the supplies? They're deep, deep inside. They're like way down over here somewhere. Oh boy, not ideal. Well, we'll do the best we can, that's all we can do. Oh, iron nux schematic. Okay, this is um one of the 
tier three quest that's leading toward a tier four quest, I would say. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time like picking through all the loot and breaking everything down. We do need some cloth though, so I'll take that. Don't have a wrench anyway right now. Yeah, really just interested. We'll get the main loot and then we'll just be really, really careful there at the end. That can be a, quite a death trap I've learned. Hey, my first loot bag of the day. Goldenrod seed schematic and some goldenrod tea. We'll take it. And some 9 mil. That's actually the, the good thing there. Need that 9 mil so we can use that good pistol we have. Ooh, hunting rifle schematic. That's nice. We could look into crafting one of those tomorrow, I guess. Perception day. Damn it. I need a friggin' stun baton fast. So in case you're not familiar, the, the pipe baton here, it's basically identical stats to a wooden club. So I'm basically using a wooden club right now in a tier 3 quest. Oh, okay. Get out of that. Yikes! Ah! Luckily, I have several points into intellect itself, and so that gives me a high dismemberment chance and more headshot damage. Oh, Arlene, you crafty bitch. Get out of here. Okay, there we go. A puffer, puffer coat there. That's not too bad. Pink dime! <laughs> I think this is the first die that I found. Let's get the machine gun died and remember to reload it. Oh, black die. Ooh, even better. I'll put that on the bicycle. Or the mini bike when I get that later on. Okay, where's the zombies? Here they are. Ooh, got a little group knockdown there. Nice. Okay, careful here. Almost out of stamina. Good, I have enough stamina to take out two zombies, if I'm lucky. Being really frugal here in what I keep in the inventory. Oh boy. Yes, I don't think I have enough stamina for these all three of these guys. Might have to get the gun out here in a second. In fact, let's just do that, please. No, no, get the gun out, damn it! Oh, I had a little bit of a lag spell there. All right, let's stay topped off on health today. Hello. Whoa, whoops. Off on the timing, I'm really bad today. No, oh, and I miss. Wow, I should just friggin' quit right now or I die. Damn it, we're not collecting cobblestone either today. Moving on, staying topped off on health. Oh, here we go. I think what it is, is I'm actually getting paranoid now that we might be due for a wandering horde here any minute. So, oh, it's just a total death trap down here too. Okay, this is um, something of a trigger room it looks like. You know what, I'm not taking the blame today. <laughs> it's the it's this friggin' intellect pipe baton thing. That's what's messing me up. Hey, I can't complain too much. We're at full health right now. We have three bandages left. I think we're gonna be just fine here. Let's try not to jinx it. We'll still be super careful, though. Okay, if I recall, several zombies lurk in here. Hopefully, I can sneak up on some of them, though. It's one of those places where it's just like a lot of trigger rooms. And what, what I mean by that is there's really nothing you can do. You enter into their zone, and they just instantly wake up no matter what. Ah! Yo! Here we go. Okay, I think we're through the worst of it before the big boss fight, though. A few more in here, I think. Oh, did I miss the supply satchel? I did. It's down here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Over here? Yes. Okay, the, the quest is over. We can at least attempt to escape if something bad happens. I am going to try for the main loot, though. Main loot, airdrop, home. Okay, where are the zombies that are in this spot, though? They're in here somewhere. Oh, are there not zombies over here? Of course there are. Just the one, though. All right, it's the spot before the last spot. I think there are zombies that appear up here, but most of them are over there. That is a, like, death spawn area. Nope, we're all clear here. We have not a working vending machine. Of course, I have no wrench. Now, here's the thing. This is uh, one of the areas where I think in the game files they call it, like, badass zombie group horde. So in this type of a spawn area, in my zombie spawning mod that you can download for yourself, there's a chance for like screamers, demos, like really, really bad zombies are in this like zombie badass only group. So I'm gonna just be a little bit careful here. We'll knock this out. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to just put a block or so like this just to kind of like disrupt them if they try to jump through there. I'm encumbered, so we need to fix that for sure. Okay, that's better. And I'm just gonna jump over there, wake them up, and we'll hopefully be able to ditch them down there. Maybe take them out with arrows, although I don't have particularly many of those. But, okay, it should have plenty of bullets. Here, load this. 
Okay, don't want to take any chances here. Hello? Here we go. Come on over. Not all the way over, though, please. Okay, we didn't get any crazy zombies in there, which is excellent. Love that. They should be totally stuck down there now, too. Okay, are you all stuck? They're definitely stuck. Okay, let's get the loot. Alright, how about today we take an eye candy? I mean, this is a tier 3 POI. We should have a game stage around 40 or 50. Yeah, there we go. Check on this stuff. Nothing good. Oil schematic and a wheel. Use that a little bit later on today. And a nice hammer. Okay. Unlock this. We got here. Ooh, treasure map. Oh, a bunch of sewing kits. Okay, we'll be all set on the pocket mods now. And yep, take all that. Do we need to kill these guys? I mean, just gonna waste a whole bunch of ammo for like a couple thousand XP, so I think I'm all set. Just gonna play it smart here today. Not to mention we're encumbered, it's getting late, and we still have to kind of get out of here. Do have zombies trying to break in here too, and um, that's gonna be a problem if we're trying to run. So let's just square away the inventory one last time, read the treasure map, take my vitamins, and I think we'll be good to just run out of here. Yep, goodbye. Yeah, three or four zombies around here. I don't really want to risk it. Let's move. Ow. All right, what do you got for us, Bobby? Oh, hey, yes. We got the extra um, options here. Probably leaning toward the military vest, honestly. Military vest it is. How about a job for tomorrow? Not giving us a fetch quest, so... In that case, I'll just risk it with the fetch and clear at the warehouse. That'll be fine. The fetch and clear gives you the best reward there anyway. I believe that'll just about do it. Might finally be able to get all the rest of our stuff out of the dumpster there as well. Okay, let's head to the airdrop now. Okay, here we are. What do we got here? Cloth armor bundle, of course. Do not need that. We can craft our own. Or no, we can't. Oh my god, no, I forgot to do that. That was agility day. Crap. Well, <laughs> maybe we do need it. Nice. First of all, though, uh, oh, the treasure map. Yeah, that's right there. I don't really think that... Um, I want to do that when I'm encumbered by 14, though, so we'll probably set off to do that uh, tomorrow or in the next episode. All right, we're back at the base, and here's a look, for the most part, at the hall for today. So let me get this stuff organized, and we'll check out the new armor and stuff. Alrighty, that's everything put away, and armor. So that padded armor box was just all quality 3, which is kind of garbage. I think the only utility we're going to get from that bundle is to swap out the scrap helmet. I'll still stick with the leather legs and the leather boots. And yeah, <laughs> well, the one piece of quality five armor is going to get replaced. That's all right. At least we'll kind of start looking a little bit cool. Although, no, not really because we have to wear the padded coat. All right, and that's it. We'll have to go through that at some point and start selling off the excess stuff, but it's nice to have a little bit of a surplus there. In fact, is that better than the stuff I have? In fact, it is. Okay, so what to do for tonight? I think what I'm gonna do tonight is just focus on design elements and sort of get this system figured out, and then we can start building it maybe in the next episode or maybe hopefully start getting some stuff upgraded. In fact, how much wood do we have to our name? 2,400, which is honestly not that much. And uh, oh yeah, so yeah, we're gonna get the sort of balcony system crafted as well. I'm thinking something... Something like this, just to kind of bring it out a couple blocks, just to give us something to kind of stand on in the morning and kind of observe what's going on around us. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And I think I have a plan for today. I actually was building over here last night and caused a collapse, so there's a bit of a mess down there, and I sprained my leg, which is uh, pretty good. It's fine. We will let that heal up today while we're getting prepared for the next class change. And so today we'll be going into perception. We are in intellect right now. Last night I made up all the bandages because we had that physician perk, I had a bunch of aloe sitting around, I turned the aloe leaves into aloe cream, cream into bandages, and I got the mini bike crafted, so we'll pull all that out 
I was also having a look last night and I can just make flat out a wrench right now, but it's gonna almost use all of the mechanical parts. And so if we take the forgetting elixir today and take a bunch of points into, what is it? Salvage operations. It's gonna increase the quality of wrench, but we're gonna not be able to craft it probably because we'll run out of mechanical parts and we can't really get more mechanical parts without a wrench. So the first thing I wanna do is get a regular old wrench crafted. The other thing we should just do while I'm thinking about it is get the remaining two pocket mods crafted. I'm not actually sure where I got the wrench schematic. I kind of vaguely remember getting one, but uh, it must have been really, really early on because it, <laughs> I apparently didn't think much of it at the time. Otherwise, in terms of crafting, oh, Molotov cocktails, yes. I wanna set something on fire today. <laughs> Wait. No, we can't do that because we need gas for the mini bike. I'll take one. Okay, I think that we are ready now. Oh, I have a helmet light on. I'm not sure why that's off, but let's drink down the forgetting elixir and start respecking our skill points into perception. Now, today, what I want. Oh, hang on. We're getting zombies coming in. Whoa, that's open too. Close that. What do we got joining us today? Ooh, Cole. How you doing, buddy? Oh, um. <laughs> This always happens. I like, I take the new skill, but then the zombies come and I don't have time to spend it. So we have to like kill off the invading zombies with no skills. Anyway, we are going to try to get the good iron spear crafted today. I also want to take one into demolitions expert probably. Let's just do that so that I can craft pipe bombs. I, whoops, don't step on the fire. I've been doing that a lot lately. Recipe for disaster. Yeah, can I get pipe bombs? Surely I can get a couple of them, right? Yeah, three short on pipes. Yeah, let's take those. Otherwise, yeah, I think uh, the, the trick is usually taking seven points here. That seems to unlock pretty much everything. I want to do salvage operations today because I want to start breaking down cars. We're going to need the gas. We need the mechanical parts. We're going to need springs and stuff like that later on. So... Let's go ahead and, can I max this out? I certainly can, let's just do that. I was also thinking to take three points into Treasure Hunter because we do have that treasure up here in the Northeast. So we can hit that with a little bit of like bonus. I've actually like never point uh, put points into <laughs> Uh, treasure hunter before so I want to do something different. We'll do that tomorrow is strength day Which means tomorrow is gonna be cooking day So we should probably consider putting some points into animal tracker, but first and foremost Let's take the four points we need in here, which will give us it looks like two Into animal tracking I'm gonna slap those double pocket mods on that'll help us a lot getting the backpack opened up we Still have no armor pocket mods yet Iron Spear, level five. That should hold us over for a while, I would think. I'd like to get two of them crafted in case we die, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is for now. Just gonna do some simple upgrades while I'm waiting for that spear. Okay, there it is, right there. I say the base is coming together relatively nicely here. Still a lot left to decide on. This is like the kind of shielding wall that I was talking about so that cops can't see us from the end of the walkway down there and shoot at us. All right. We should have some hunting perks. Let's see, if I open up the map and I'm sneaking, yeah, I can see the predators on the compass now. So that's good. We'll take all the meat we can get today. Oh, he froze. Yeah, <laughs> I took his head off too. Nice. Got the wrench, got the pocket mods, and got the spear. I think that was all that was really on my list of things to do today. We can head over here and set the mini bike down and take that for a spin. Priority number one will be to get the treasure over there, do some hunting along the way, we will hit up all the cars on the way to that quest and hopefully have plenty of supplies. How have I never checked this? Okay, not too bad. I'll take it anyway. Okay, refuel. Oh, actually, also, modify this, take the black dye off, and we'll set that onto this. Looks... Wow, that's terrible. That's the best I can do with the black dye? Come on now. Ooh, spider over there in our garage. Yeah, we'll just ignore him. Hopefully he wanders off. And <laughs> we're off. It took 11 days, but we're finally into the motorized age. All right, here we are. Plenty of cars along the way, and then so we'll basically hook up this road. I know there's a ton of cars up here somewhere, and then we'll take a left and hit that treasure. Right here we are. Oh, we got a biker over there. We can test out our spear. All right, just sneak down. Whoop, that didn't work. All right. Yes, no. Whoa, look out. And headshot. Oh, not working. And I'm out of stamina. Wow, I basically only could half kill him with the spear. The spear sucks. You have to sucks. 
All right, the area is clear, so we have a little bit more visibility in case a horde comes by. I'm gonna try the, you know, the four block trick that we've been doing here. And I did bring some coffee. In fact, I just drank some a second ago to chop those trees down, so we should be good to start digging. That was um two blocks broken. Did is that part of like the treasure perk? Oh yeah, it says for every three blocks dug up, the treasure search radius is reduced by one meter. Wow, that's that's a big improvement. Well, anyway, which way does it appear to be shrinking? Okay, it hasn't moved on this side. It has moved a little bit off of the rest of these, so I'm inclined to say that it's actually more likely to be kind of like right here-ish. It's moved again, and yeah, I think we're right on top of it here. Yeah, we're really close to it here. I was off by like maybe a block or two. There it is. You know, I've been kind of thinking tomorrow on strength day, I might want to craft just some iron tools just because it's really still, it's really difficult for me to use the steel tools, the steel shovel. I get like two or three swings and I'm out of stamina. Very dangerous with running zombies. And we're in. First try, too. So, oh, I guess we could do the eye candy. I'm not sure the utility in doing that. I'm gonna save it, though. So, let's just check and see what we get here. 30% bonus, so, okay. Decent pipe baton, and, ooh, decent cash. Decent amount of ammo. Not too bad overall. Oh, it's a rabbit! Ah, we're supposed to be killing animals today, too. Yeah. Okay. All right, the salvaging operation continues. Wow, I got 20 forged iron and 16 mechanical... Man, salvage operations is OP. I guess I, I've i never really taken it because I don't... I, perception to me is all about lucky looter, and that's kind of a late game thing for me, so I might need to reconsider it. See, this playthrough is giving me a, a good opportunity to see what it's like it's spending skill points in other, other areas and really showing me the strengths and weaknesses of every skill tree. Holy crap, just stopped by Bob's here and um, stashed a bunch of stuff in his dumpster, like all the radiators and stuff that we've been collecting, and yeah, just like ran right into a horde running across the street. Yeah, most of them are down there now and continuing to run. Bunch of soldiers in that one. Are there any more over here? Nope, looks like we're all clear on this side, and I'm just gonna count my lucky stars and l leave them to it. Okay, I'm gonna call that good on the wrenching. The wrench is almost broke anyway. Just a matter now of kind of getting the inventory organized with stackables. That'll do, oh, look at all that nine mil we have now. We can get the pistol back out. Sweet. All right, we're almost at that quest, so I'll just meet you over there. Okay, here we are. Some kind of a warehouse. This looks familiar to me. I'm not sure if I've done this before. Oh, yes. Actually, definitely gonna double loot this. Ah, I've already looted it. Damn it. Okay, sometimes I get paranoid because I watched a video from Cap once where he had a vehicle in a driveway and there was no vehicle there. But when he hit the quest, uh, there's like a random spawn chance for a vehicle to appear and his like motorcycle blew up. So <laughs> always very careful about where I park on a POI when I snap the quest. Looks like there's no vehicle planned to be there. This is the vehicle over here, but you know, good practice to get into there. Okay, good fire axe. We've got a wasteland treasures book here. Purifying water. That's a pretty good one. So we can get some purified mineral water there. Oh yeah, COC chemicals. This is the one I was kind of thinking looked familiar, but anyway, let's get cracking here. Working vending machine? Not a working vending machine. Zombies in here? Yes, zombies in here. Whoa, a couple of them and a dog. Great. Okay, we don't need to mess around with the dog. We got ammo. Or just use all the ammo on the zombies, either way. Uh-oh, ow! Okay, yeah, um, close that dog in there. Yeah, I'm not doing too good right now, yikes. Zombies running up from everywhere, oh boy. Just get the gun back out. Phew, holy crap, man. Off to a rough start today. Luckily we have plenty of first aid, so get cracking on that too. All right, just this guy left. Oh boy, here we go. Come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my God. Why does the spear suck so bad? I can't see. We should just go home. My goodness, infected, concussed, and sprained limb. And unfortunately I can't fix any of that. Oh God, okay, here we go. 
Got some pink dye for the spear, as if that will help me. It's okay, we're gonna get lucky here, and this first aid chest here is gonna have a steroid in it and uh, antibiotic. Oh, geez, maybe not. How about this one? Oh my god, first aid kits, come on now. Of all days, I don't really need a first aid kit right now. It's definitely new to me. I've never been in here, so this makes like two days in a row where I've done something completely new to me, which is great. After a year now in Alpha 20, I'm still encountering new Alpha 20 P POIs. Aha, I know there's a zombie. Well, maybe not. Zombie in there? Nope, all clear. Oh, ah, I see where they are. Zo oh, no, I don't have any arrows. Oh my god. Goodness, ah, well, it is what it is. There they are. Oh my God, the zombies had not spawned in in the friggin' boxes yet. Okay, I'm having a hard time jumping here. Come on. It's just gonna be a lost day, isn't it? Oh, that's a first aid bag, oh, not first aid bag. Hopefully it's a first aid bag. You son of a bitch, do that one more time. Eat that, come on. You son of a bitch. There we go. Oh, hey, level up too. Oh, wow, our concussion. Yes, it has reduced our perception by one. We've lost a bunch of skills. Um, crap. Well, I guess we're fighting construction zombies today, so ignoring 10% of armor with firearms and archery probably will help. Check the loot bag. Crossbow bolts, not what I'm looking for, but bacon and eggs is not bad so that we have something to cook on our non-strength days. Okay, how about some fort fights for the rest of this place? I don't think there's a whole lot left. It doesn't look like. I think this is like the main building right here. Probably a ton, ton of zombies. In fact, can I like get up high? I feel very vulnerable down here. Oh yes, up on the forklift, please. And grab up the frames. What do we got here? Oh, I'm hungry. Ah, that's a problem. Eat the dog food. Uh, can you get to me from there? I certainly hope not. I need y'all to cluster together so I can light you on fire. Okay, that guy looks broken. That's good news for us. That might have corrected him though, honestly. Could just focus on headshots. Oh boy, ah! No, he destroyed the thing I was standing on. Oh, this is actually much better actually. Thank you, thank you. Kind of tricky fighting from above like this, but I think this could work here. Out of stamina, drink the coffee. Hey, there we go. Can't, that couldn't possibly be it, but the main loot is right there. Ah, uh, concussion, yikes. I am getting the sense that there's some more zombies in here. That couldn't have been it, could it? Any more on this side? I don't see any like containers. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, I see them. They're in this little office here. Couple of them. Tempting to throw the Molotov in there, because this is all probably flammable. But I also don't want to, like, catch the loot on fire. Yeah, this is not good. Ow. What are you going to do now? Holy crap, these guys are super tough still. Ow. Okay, bandage. Whoops, dropped the rest of them. Okay, main loot up here. Should be good. Oh, oh. Oh, oh boy, oh my goodness, they're freaking running in from the side. Uh, tell me you guys can't make that. I'm gonna light you all on fire. This is not, not ideal here. Gonna have to do it anyway. Let them burn. Not all of them caught fire though, it seems. Okay, we gotta run. Take them over here to this little funnel. Okay, some of them are burning out, thankfully. Oh, it looks like most of them burned out, in fact. Wow, lucky, lucky. We'll have to go back and check and see what we caught on fire, though, in the process. Oh, that was it. We just completed the quest. Nice. Uh, okay, it's just a minor fire. That's okay. Probably j ooh, ooh, very close to the chest here. I don't think the chest is flammable, but I'm gonna open it up first thing anyway. There we go. Okay, eye candy in for this one. We got plenty of boxes to open up. Oh, good stuff. Ooh, another treasure map. We gotta do that today while we can benefit from the extra loot in the treasure thing. In fact, that was a steroid, which will help with the arm and help with the encumbrance right now. Ooh, a beaker too. That'll help with the chem station later on. Nice, nice. Oh my god, a generator. I don't think I've ever found a whole generator in a box before.
Okay, just dug up and harvested up all the resources and stuff that I could find here, but I did notice while I was doing it that I have not gotten the supply satchel yet. Ooh, thankfully, it's right here. All right, there it is. Mission complete. Let's get out of here. We'll head to Bob's, turn the quest in. We also got to read that treasure map and hustle over. Oh, there's another way to get out of here, isn't there? Oh, more stuff in here. Missed it. Okay, not too bad. Anything else? Sure, take that stuff. I saw the button, it's right there. And that opens up this door over here and we're right out to where the mini bike is. Okay, so before we go any further, let's go to Bob's because I don't want the treasure map to spawn any further north. I want to have it spawn to the south, hopefully. Okay, we're at Bob's. Read that treasure map. Where are we going? To the friggin' north, of course. Great. All right, anything in here that I need today? No. I'm super hungry though, that's kind of a problem. Oh, good set of steel knucks right there, and my concussion's still crazy affecting me. Yeah, seeing how I already got the military vest, I'll take the steel knucks. Take a new job for tomorrow. A fetch to the east, it seems. At the bank, ooh, nice. Okay, I just uh, passed over the treasure map. It's under the hospital? What? Are you kidding me? Where is it? Is it like in the courtyard? No, it's it's underneath the friggin' ER. Oh crap, concussion still, yikes. Come on, give me a painkiller. Ah, nothing, uh, friggin' honey though, which would help with the infection. Not a big deal right now though, honestly. Ah, spears suck so bad. Damn, okay, so what we have to do then is go under through this way, I think. Gonna be using the iron shovel that I found a few minutes ago. Ooh, it's gonna be nightfall soon. Are we all clear here? Any freaking uh, painkillers in here? Yes, perfect. Okay, yes, and also my um, steroid has run off, so I'm gonna put whatever I can away here so that we can get up and run. Not that nightfall is particularly bad, it's more about like the type of zombies that might spawn during nighttime versus the speed. All right, let's do this. Oh my god, I finally found it. I can't squeeze in there yet, though. Come on, come on. Yes, I got it. Okay, we're in. What do we get here? Ooh, good amount of money. Oh, I'm not going to be able to carry all this stuff, am I? Uh, I got to start rationing. Okay, that'll do. I don't think... Even though that was super loud, I don't think I... Uh, aggroed anyone onto me. I'm just way too encumbered for this. Here, lights out, and up, and up, and onto the bike, and we're good. Wow, what an ordeal to get that thing. Okay, we gotta head back home. Go, oh boy, got in a fight with a wolf, and I'm fucking losing. Ah! Go! Damn it! Oh, ho, ho, I'm losing bad now. Oh, he can run fast. He is still chasing me. Okay, get out and get the gun out. Okay, he gave up. For now, at least. See if I can get the kill shot on him. There we go. 25 meat. That might help get some of the hit points back. Really chancing fate here, but I did detect a wolf over here with my hunting skills. And he, it's this is like that cave POI, I think. And I think... Are you down there? Yeah, he is. I see him. All right, just get a good... Head. Is that a dire wolf? I'm not sure if he could just come back up here, though. That'd be great. Nope, he's having a hard time on the stairs. Hey, there we go. Got another wolf over here somewhere. Oh, friggin' Mo too, damn it. Well, if I can draw Mo into the wolf, that can help. Nope, 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 don't fight me, fight the zombie. Yep, there they go. <laughs> They're fighting each other now. Perfect, let's help the wolf out. And then we'll help Mo out. Well, this has been a very productive night, but I think it's time for us to head back to the base. Yeah, of course. Oh my god, no, not again. I literally can't even move. This is as fast as I can move. Encumbered by 12, broken leg, freaking starving to death, dehydrated, infected. It's been quite a day today. All right, geez, time to put some stuff away. <laughs> Unload the inventory, my goodness. Feed me that hobo stew. Take care of that stupid concussion and take care of that stupid infection. 
and splint my stupid leg. All right, that, you know, we're doing a little bit better now. Okay, that's everything put back away. The, the mini bike is still full, but before we do anything else, I just wanted to see if I could get a better wrench crafted today, a quality five that'll help us out a lot going forward. So work on that. And then we will immediately take in the forgetting elixir. Guard the door. Today is strength day. Yay. <laughs> Finally, something that's freaking good for once. Oh, geez. And another abrasion. Are you kidding me? Reception day, just a bad time all around, honestly. Okay, so we're mostly recuperated. Let's put the spear away for another day. Probably, hopefully, never again, honestly. <laughs> it's just so bad. And uh, we'll take down the, the sledgehammer system that we were I've committed to trying out. And today, yeah, I could definitely use just the steel tool that I have today, the steel shovel. Shouldn't have any issues doing that. Oh, and look at this. This quality three axe here is far better than this other quality three. I think this statistic is uh, 15 or 10 or 15. I think it's 15 percent plus or minus. So there's like a base stat for a quality three iron fire axe, but it can roll when it spawns, when it generates, it can go 15 percent up or down on all of its stats. And so that's why this identical fire axe is not identical in stats, in fact, has far greater block damage by uh, uh, for base. Right, let's spend those skill points then. Okay, let's just immediately put seven in there, max out sexy T-Rex, that's a given. I'd like to max out minor 69er today, and that should be possible. Master Chef, I really only need one, because I don't think I'll be making meat stew, vegetables stew, anything like that, because we need to save the veggies for making seeds. Got some zombies wandering their way in. Can I get a, a better sledgehammer? No, I can't even, I can't make the iron. Wait, no, I haven't taken any points into Skull Crusher yet. Give me a second there. Four points there. Eat that. Right. Yes, now I could craft the quality five iron sledgehammer along with a uh, stone one as well. Just have to kind of hang out over here by the storage and yeah, work on that initially. This is going to need a lot more forged iron and even duct tape. Okay, so while we're out today, we're not going to go very far today, especially with all the debuffs that I have. I do just want to do like resource harvesting, so we'll do some good like mining, tree chopping, clay digging, stuff like that. But definitely want bacon and eggs and definitely want, ooh, 30, 30 boiled meat. So it was definitely worth it killing all of those wolves and things like that last night. That should hold us over for at least a week. And I've got some more iron smelting into the forge, and I think with that, we're probably ready to go. Yeah, because I don't have any forged iron, so I was thinking I could probably make some better iron tools today, but we'll have to do some iron mining here in a little bit. The first thing I want to do is kind of just, you know, while we're staying close to the base today, I want to jump down there, and I want to start building, or not building, but like um, digging out the pit there. Are we all, are we good to go here? Should I... Can I make a shotgun at all? Because that would probably not not a pipe shotgun. <laughs> that doesn't count. But no, no, I can't make any of the shotguns yet. So we'll have to kind of suffer without using shotguns here. Not that I've even really specced into them anyway. There is definitely a zombie out here, though. We got to take care of him first. Nope. Guess he wandered off. Okay, so this is where a... Oh, is that... Uh, no, oh yes, okay, so yeah, this is where a um, automated drawbridge door is going to go in the future, and we'll have like a little pull through right here. Uh, that does remind me, I would really, really like to get like a ladder system to help like get us upstairs, and we'll kind of park the vehicles in here from now on. Yeah, and then we can just pop right up here, and no, I don't like that because these are dug out so that I can lay the electric fences in a little bit deeper. Let's try this one here. Yep, that suits me better. And my idea was to have this be the support column for like the the end of this, right? And then I kind of, okay, yes, because I want it to be like a squared pit right here, kind of centered on all of this. So this seems about right, right here. Yep, just knock this out. Okay, that'll do, and we're also knocking these out. Very good. I'm very concerned doing this, but I think it'll be fine. And in case a wandering horde comes by today, I want to be able to get up off the ground very quickly, so I'm just gonna kinda do something like this just for today. All right, I think we're all ready here. Nope, this has to be 
One more over this way, but yes, just like that, and I think we're ready to start digging. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Oh my goodness, there's a zombie somewhere. Um, get in the base. Oh my god, man. I am shaking. That was really close. Almost got caught in the friggin' pit down there. Holy crap. No, 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 no. Do not be breaking things around here, guys. Okay, yep, switching over to the stone club here. Yikes, not the uh, stone sledgehammer. Okay, get a bandage on me, please. Wow, wow, so many zombies here right now. Many of them beating on the base, not sure exactly why. I don't know, maybe can they get out of the pit if they fall down there? No, yes, it looked, oh, oh, freaking nurse. It does look like they can, except a lot of them just don't want to right now. Come over here. Got a whole new wave here. Oh, the sledge. It's just so good. Okay, hopefully they're working their way back out of the pit to come back up here. I did put ladders in, like, four of them so that I could guarantee that they would do that. Last couple here, I think. Oop, right in the knee, buddy. Get out of here. Holy crap, man. Well, that gives us an opportunity to catch up and actually come over here and check on like the fires and all that stuff we did have one screamer so far so if i could cancel some of this stuff that would be great looks like 13 seconds left here how about the iron situation oh just finished in fact so why don't you work on clay then for the remaining six minutes or so look at the boiled meat nice in fact this will have to continue going though because i need boiled water now oh hold on a second pure mineral water Yes, get that first. Oh geez, still 17 minutes left on this stupid broken leg. Can I take some steroids so I don't have to listen to myself whining about it? Yep, I got three of them. Just make sure I chase it down with some water or else we'll dehydrate. Pure mineral water, that'll do. All right, let's take a look down in the pit and see what's going on. So we have struck a glory hole here, multiple resources in one mine. We've got lead on this side, nitrate over here, and it looks like iron here, so Remains to be seen how deep this will go, and I'm definitely not going to be digging out like sideways because that'll compromise stability of the base, but um, it'll probably help because we gotta dig this stuff out anyway, so if I can get something useful out of it, that is all the better. Alright, I'm imagining a Screamer will have taken some interest in that little collapse there. Just getting rid of all that destroyed stone was the biggest thing, and it's basically some clay as well. But yeah, this is, uh, it's gonna be a messy mine. I'll, I think I'll dress up the walls as we tunnel down, but I just, I'm curious to see what a bedrock pit, or a pit to bedrock would look like. Just, uh, carefully listening here, because I hear footsteps. I think it's just a nurse zombie way over here. Man, they are doing a number. We have got to get out here with some cobblestone and start setting this place up so it doesn't collapse. But yeah, curious to see how this will turn out. So we need iron anyway, and geez. Oh, this needs to be repaired. But yeah, uh, heat is going to be a big issue now because we're going to be doing all of our mining, cooking, crafting. Everything will be done right here and fighting for that matter. Yep, might as well have a screamer base here. Get out of here. Ah, Screamer's here. Holy crap. Oh, she's screaming. Oh, crap. Where's my ladder? Here we go. Up, up, up. Yes, we're good. Close that. 
Where are you guys? She's screaming again. Okay, take her out. Okay, the most important thing to check for is, did another screamer get spawned in and do we need to like gun her down real quick? I don't see one. Oh, yes, there it is. Oh, I wonder if I got her before she screamed. Wow, we are doing really good here. But you know what? With the Steel Nux, I feel like we're going to do good tomorrow as well in terms of like melee damage capability. Everybody dead? Looks good. All right, I'm really pleased in all that we found a wealth of resources here at the base, but this, this screamer thing and the heat thing is starting to become a real big issue. So I'm going to head over into that area over there into a fresh chunk so we don't end up getting into another screamer cycle because that could be super dangerous. I should have an iron mine over here somewhere anyway. Ah, yes, there it is. Yep, let's open this up a little bit more and see if we can get a proper iron mine started. All right, we have another bit of a glory hole here. There's lead and iron in that mine. I'm now going to chop a little bit of wood. Let's take down this, basically this whole forest, get all the wood from this. Whoops, that is it for the health of the axe. <laughs> so much for getting all of these trees. But anyway, we got plenty of wood. How much did we get? Um, over 6,000. Wow. So I've been just pumping all of my extra points today into mother load. So we should be getting more bang for our buck there. And uh, the last thing we need for today is some um, coal. And one trick you can do to find some coal is you zoom in on your map and you look for a little black dot. You also have like the, the the rusty colored dots and the white dots that kind of indicates if there is a node over there. However, with the black ones, uh, bird's nests are also black. So sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. But that one there is a coal node. We need coal so that we can make gunpowder. So I'm just gonna get a handful of this. All right, I think that'll do it for today. Just mark that there so we don't drive in there later and hop on the bike. And I think at this point, I'm just content to head back home and see what we can do for crafting here as the the hours, whoa, run out on this day. All right, how's the forged iron situation looking? Not too bad, 206. So for iron tools, uh, is duct tape gonna hold me back? Maybe eventually. We'll definitely want to get the iron pick. Fire axe, not quite as important in my opinion, but I think an iron shovel really is because the steel shovel is just, it's too difficult to use like out and about daily use when we're not on strength day. So let's get one of these. Just crafting up the last of the boiled meat that I possibly can and I'm hungry right now almost. And um, yeah, we've already burned through like 10 of it today. My goodness, food is gonna be in just a chronic issue for us. We really, really need to see if we can get a farm going, although the seed situation is looking bad and we can't really do a whole lot with just the corn. We really need potatoes or mushrooms and we, yeah, we just can't make seeds until we get like five of those. So that is a bummer. So for tonight, I think what I will do is just make sure that we're getting all of this stuff upgraded to like wood official instead of just this plywood, because plywood, a little bit of a liability, I think. Uh, in fact, we could actually, I have a wire tool and the, the generator, so we could pop this in somewhere. And I think where I want to put that is like, because all of our electronics are going to be basically right in this area here. So I just rotate this because eventually there's going to be a dart trap underneath it. So, oh man, is this going to fall if I do this? No, no, that's good. We can just leave it there for a while. And since I know that that's bothering you, it's bothering me too. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these. Yeah, and we'll continue getting all of this stuff upgraded eventually. These here though, these need to be like arrow slits or some sort of um, thing that dart traps can shoot through because there will be two of them kind of just like that. And there is our brand new good pickaxe. What I really should do is make another one just so we have one in case we die, right? But I suppose we could just use the level three in that case. Not too big of a deal. Oh, right. Gunpowder. Gotta make up. Oh, that's not very much. Yeah, we need nitrate powder. Well, I suppose that'll be the activity for today. Maybe doing a little bit of mining, a little bit of upgrading, and just sort of 
putting around the base until morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And having thought about it a little bit, I think today is going to be the garden day. So we need to take the, did I take the forget elixir already? Nope, we're still in strength day. So let's grab a drink here, suck this down, prepare for combat. <laughs> and uh, while they're working their way over, spend a couple points here. I did remember to get the proper weapon out. All right, it's fortitude day. So we definitely want to take those points into living off the land. That'll allow us to craft seeds. It'll allow us to craft farm plots for cheaper and harvest more out of wild crops, which we're gonna have to go looking for today because we need potatoes. First things first, seven there. We'll take four there, three here into living off the land. And the remaining eight, I'll just split between healing factor, pain tolerance, iron gut, cardio, and we'll do, yep, two into each of those. Perfect. All right, let's test out our new combat skills. Where are you? Stop. Stop hitting the base. Whoa, ooh, feels good. Okay, while I'm down here, just gonna grab up whatever is in here in the mini bike and just check on the bicycle as well. Yep, that's got stuff in it too. We'll bring the money with us today too because I wanna check on Trader Bob and see if he's selling anything like um, dart traps or electric fences that we could hook up for the horde tomorrow. All right, put that away, grab up the money and I think we're ready to head into town. So I've decided on using these plates here and I, I think I'll put another plate on the outside as well for protection. We'll have the one hatch here. Oh, by the way, should probably look and see if I can get a steel hatch going. Vault hatch, I could get one going with the stuff that I have, except we wouldn't have very much steel for repair. So maybe we can hit some street lights up on the way. Oh geez, what's going on here? Lots of stuff. Go we'll craft that. Yeah, potentially hit up some street lamps and stuff like that to get some extra steel for tonight. All right, looks like the forge is gonna be busy for today. Let's roll out of here. Oh, before we do, we gotta test out our skills here on big boy. Come here, buddy, come here. Whoa, <laughs> I just launched him like three feet off the ground. Wow, yes, fortitude day is gonna be my new favorite day. Okay, so I've already harvested up some stuff on the way on through, but this vet here, kind of like right in the shadow of the Higashi Tower and right next door to Bob's over there, I feel like this probably has some crops here. I don't really know. There's a potato right there. Ooh, got four potatoes. Nice. Yes, I think you get um, three for your base, but then you have a 50% chance of getting one extra. Okay, so as long as we can get... Uh, ooh, there's potatoes everywhere in here. Nice. Yeah, we just need to get like, oh, I don't know, 15, 20, 25 potatoes maybe today. That way we can make the seeds and we can get our own little garden started. Okay, was that it? Oh, I missed uh, one or two, it looks like. One there. Make it out good today. Oh, 34 potatoes, nice. The other place we gotta go to is the JW house. And I, I have a vague memory of where that is. We'll have to head over to that side of town. Let's look at the map here. It's, um, it was over here somewhere. Oh no, maybe that's it right there, I think. Cause uh, I recognize the garden outside and the, the destroyed kind of front portion here. So that's where we gotta go next. Hey, look at that. Rad remover and some nice padded leg armor in there. And wow, that quality six padded leg armor doing better than the level three leather armor. So we'll just switch that over, I suppose. Easier to repair anyway, just requiring a couple cloth a piece. All right, I'll meet you over at the JW house. Oh, hello there. We also have, we have the house right there, but there's another field right here. I'll just poke my head in here and see what I can find. Although, I'm not seeing any crops in this one. This is like a cotton field. And the neighboring one over there, I may have even been through this before and already harvested the crops, but I don't see anything worthwhile. Ooh, what about this one? Yeah, this just looks more like a chrysanthemum, like a weed field to me. Let's take out this lab worker. Wow. That's three zombies in a row I've just one shot killed with a head punch. Oh, look at that. We've got a big ass cornfield over there too. Yeah, I mean, let's look at the map. There's just, just fields everywhere. We might just want to like make a loop on through. I don't know, should we do that tier three today? 
probably should. We can do that tier three, at least the fetch portion of it, get the quest reward from Bob, and then we'll check his inventory while we're at that. Oh, I also found a book in another mailbox here, and this is for dusters, which is not something I typically uh, craft or make or wear, but good to have anyway. So just store stuff in there. The reason we're here is because I know that there's a bunch of mushrooms here, so we can get started on that, and that'll help us with certain recipes. Oh, another potato as well. Nice. I don't think we have to clear this whole place out. I don't like clearing places out for free. You know, you might as well be doing it as a quest if you're going to do it at all. But uh, more like a smash and grab here, just to get the stuff that we need and we're out of here. Couple zombies here, guarding the mushrooms. That will probably do it. Probably should be using my bare hands for this, but you know, I'm a little bit lazy. Any zombies back there? Hello? Nope, all clear. All right, I think that'll do it for this place. Just cleared out the basement. Also, if you're ever really hard up for brass, you can, um, give me a second here. You can wrench these valve pipes down for a little bit extra. 17 plus a pipe, not too bad. I don't think I'm too hard up for brass right now, so I'm just gonna leave it. We got bigger fish to fry today. Well, actually, I don't really know what we're doing now. <laughs> what do we need to do? I guess we're just looking for more gardens and we'll just put our way over to that quest. This is just a cornfield, not interested in that. We have plenty of corn to get the garden started. Ooh, the honey farm. This looks also like a cornfield with some mail to check. Ooh, a spear hunter book, nice. So hits in quick succession do 10% more damage per hit up to 30%. I'll take whatever I can get in terms of making spears better. Ooh, that was definitely a tougher one. Yeah, I don't need the corn really. Not just kind of a waste of time right now. Moving on. Damn, man, these are good. At least the knockdown power is good on it. That's half the battle in this game. You just gotta get the knockdowns and you're fine. Okay, another field here also looks like corn. Oh, also rabbit there. I'll take the meat. Come on. Probably should have taken some points into that animal harvesting thing because I've been hitting up a lot of those carcasses to get the bones so that we can make glue. But um, yeah, what's that perk called? The Huntsman, yeah, so you can get more out of harvesting animals. Speaking of animals, I think there's a wolf in here. Oh, we got an airdrop. Way over there to the south, at least it's south. That's kind of on the way home. We'll mark that up. Airdrop, someone was asking in a comment once if this was um, default or a mod, and that airdrop sign is a setting you can go in and change. It just makes life easier. I For the longest time I played without it, but I gave up and just put it on. Because kind of the time is the resource for me doing a YouTube video. You got to kind of like manage your time well and searching for an airdrop just kind of like it's a waste of what could otherwise be like actual content. Okay, Wolfie Boy's in here. I saw his tail through the door. Yep, there he is right there. Let's see if I can take him out. Yep, no need to chance it. Just get the guns. <laughs> we saw how that worked last night or the night before. A little bit of meat there, a little bit of ammo here. And a zombie coming. Hello? Oh, she's on the, she's hooked up on the barbed wire. Ooh, spider over there too. Oh boy, I'm encumbered too. Not good. There we go, get that knockdown in. Nice. Yep, looks like corn here. I'm gonna bring the mini bike around to the bank and we'll get that place knocked out. Alright, here we are. Okay, kinda need to stop picking through garbage here. Okay, can I hit up like an ATM here before we hit the quest? Little bit of a double, who's there? Hello. Little bit of a double loot. Yes, no, well, without kinda like picking through further. Okay, we'll double loot this um, water cooler. How's that? Need the water anyway. Alright, hit it. And whoa, businessman, where'd you come from? Okay, I guess we're making too much noise or something. Oh, hello. Oh, ow. Steve, your eyes, man. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so did one of those zombies come from in here? Oh, wow, look at that. Some good mineral water. That'll hold us over. Yeah, here he was. Oh, ball safe there, too. 
Oh, switch schematic to money. Oh my goodness, a pair of pants. <laughs> I think that maybe that's my first one. Oftentimes I would just overlook them thinking that I don't need them, but yeah, I'll take them this time. And zombie coming in. As long as that's not a part of the horde. Nope, oh, uh, I don't hear any like footsteps or running or anything like that. I think we're safe to continue. And it does look as though we do have multiple exits or multiple entrances, depending on how you look at it. So I feel pretty good about that. Aha, oh, here we go. Oh, three zombies. Uh, okay. Oh, one's a feral. Are we getting ferals already in POIs? That's crazy. Okay, one at a time here. Ooh, out of stamina. Oh, there we go. Nice. I don't even think I've taken a hit today. Shouldn't say things like that. I'll jinx it. Okay, don't need lead. Here's another fire extinguisher here. I'll pick that up. What quality is that? Quality four. Okay, I think this is yet again a POI I've never done before, or at least never done alone, because you know when you're doing things in multiplayer, it's just a race to the finish, most usually, so... Yeah, whoa! Maybe I have done this before. Oh my goodness, I... Now I think Fortitude is my favorite build of all time. I don't think I've ever done an actual, like, full-on Fortitude build for a playthrough. I mean, there's, like, the Invincible Brawler tactic, which I've done. I've done some videos on that as well. I think that's just one zombie outside, but, uh, yeah, um... The Invincible Brawler is great. You get, like, heavy armor, you get all the buffs... Uh, candy, things like that, and you basically, you can't die, and I have a video, it's called, like, One Night Stand at the Rooster Den, and that was, uh, to showcase the Invincible Brawler build. I first learned about that from another creator called Is Prebuilt, so I'll, like, put a link to his channel down below, and you can check out that video. Okay, I see that the satchel is on the compass, but I'm not exactly sure how to get to it. Is it in the elevator? Is it out here somewhere? Oh, aha. Okay, now at least uh, if a horde does show up or something like that, we can just escape and not fail the quest. That's always a bonus, but I would like to get the main loot while I'm here. I mean, we're halfway through probably, right? Oh, crap. I stepped on the freaking broken glass there. Ooh, another feral. Luckily, I got that sweet knockdown power. Nice. Ooh, another wall safe. Good stuff. Oh, I've, okay, I've gone through like 20 lockpicks right now. This fucking safe. Okay, we're in, but I am like boiling mad right now. Oh, speaking of boiling, boiled meat recipe. Haha, <laughs> nice. Oh, hello. Get out of here. Oh, toilet pistol. That's lucky. Uh, definitely never been here before. Oh, hello. Where are you guys coming from? Here we got... Well, uh, we're still unde undecided there, Karen or Lois. Oh, that reminds me, weren't we supposed to do a vote on that? And I freaking totally forgot about it. Yeah, that typical me, right? Oh, there's like a intricate kind of like labyrinth catwalk like ledge system out here. Okay, encumbered, not good. Okay, scrap those chairs. Do I really need that level one pistol? I'll scrap that for the handgun parts. Drink the water, not toss the water, drink the water. Oh, goodbye, Arlene. <laughs> you, you clumsy bitch. That's very unlike Arlene. Usually she's very, you know, strong and good on her feet. Come back up here. Whoops, almost got hit there. Missed. Am I still, like, un- have not been touched yet? That's- that's insane. Gone through this whole POI, haven't been touched. Probably gonna die here at the end, just for saying that. Whoa, let's see. Um, gotta be a boss fight here, right? We've got birds. I would suspect lots of zombies too, right? Uh, are we done here? Is this it? Oh. Oh, we're going... Oh. There must be a basement with the loot in it. I see, I see. Wait, is that right? Oh, yeah, because we're, uh, we're on, like, the bottom floor now. Great. Okay, make sure we're loaded here. Sneak down. Oh, creepy. Like, uh, safe down here, right? What's going on? Is this a trigger room? Or am I free to sneak? Ah, there's some loot right there. I see a weapons bag. Okay, I don't think zombies can squeeze through that doorway. Okay, restore... Ooh, hello there, construction man. Okay, indeed, I think we are just gonna sneak around here. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see where the wall is broken over there, so we'll sneak through here. Oh, oh, bubbles! Yes, this is finally... Like, my, my mod is finally kicking in, right? Because, like, bubbles 
would never spawn in a POI before, but here he is now. Well, there he goes. Yeah, the, the next problem to fix would be making bubbles like stronger. Like he, I think in Undead Legacy, I always got the sense that he was a lot stronger, like in terms of hit points and damage dealt. Oh, another spirit book there. That would be for increased projectile speed and range. And that's the whole series there, which I'm kind of keen on figuring out what that gives me because that might be the first time I've ever maxed out that series. Power attacks do more damage to downed targets. I guess I did know that. So, okay, well, that's nice. We will now be able to throw spears at someone that's down and hopefully kill them, but probably not, honestly. Okay, I mean, there's just gotta be more zombies here, right? Why would they put that garbage there if there weren't more zombies? Ah! Whoa, holy shit, man. There's a lot of them too. Okay, I'm uh, going up here. Can I close that? Oh, thank goodness. I'm not sure that they know that they can come over here, honestly. That ladder might... Nope, here they are. Take you out. There's a soldier down there. Take you out. Close that door. Pharaoh! Oh, so much for a flawless victory today. I got hit right there. Maybe a cop down there. Might also be pizza, not sure. Soldier. Feeling pretty good about life right now. Here we go. Oh, what's the matter, big boy? You can't fit through there? Well, probably should have laid off on the pizza. I can't really fit my knuckles through there anyway. There we go. Wouldn't it be just great if a horde showed up right now? <laughs> that would be the end of our life, wouldn't it? Especially because I'm going to be encumbered by all these damn Spear Hunter books and Ranger's Guide to Archery books. And is this like a sneaky way out? Oh, it might be. Oh, let's loot up first. Cornbread recipe, a couple of acid, not too bad overall. Oh, I'm totally encumbered, yikes. Ooh, a silencer, that is a good find. Okay, got stuff rearranged a little bit, put the silencer on this. And presumably we can, can we just escape from here? What does that go to? Oh, oh my God, little sewer hatch. Wow, what a cool POI. Wow, super glad I came here. See, that's like what every POI should be, like dungeon style crawl, you know, reasonable threat at the end, good loot, and a quick way to get out at the end. I love it. Okay, we gotta go check on Bob now, see if we can buy any, anything at all, really. Uh, preferably dart traps, maybe some darts, and uh, electric fence posts would be ideal. More spear hunter books. Oh, jeez. Great. Okay, we're all stacked up on spear. We got, like, the whole friggin' volume of, um, the, like, the whole set, I, I should say, of, um, Ranger's Guide to Archery and Spear Hunter today. And look, there's some more over here, although I think I've probably searched this run uh, around here. No, I haven't. Oh my god. <laughs> Finally, I, I can't take that one. I'll read that one then. And, ooh, I have not read that one. That would be Puffer Coats. Still have not gotten the college jacket one. Is that, wait, I forget now. Isn't that a, um, that's like a batter up book, isn't it? I'd have to look into that. It could be both, actually. Oh. Hello, just three boar hanging out here. Well, 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 well. I think I could make some room here for some boar meat. At least, uh, maybe. The last time I tried to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some boar with Nux, it did not turn out very well, so probably just use the bullets on these guys. Eh, that's good enough for me. Perfect. And just lost some raw meat there. I'm all set, honestly. <laughs> We are so way down on the inventory right now, it's pathetic. Let's go over to Bob's. Honestly, probably just wait and get the airdrop later when we have more inventory space. Whew. All right, Bobby, I hauled back all your supplies for you and I will take, this is a, honestly a very bad selection here, but I could probably sell that that pickaxe, so that'll, that'll do. And job for later, all fetches and clears. So I don't suppose, yeah, church, that'll do. Hey, we got a skill point there. Let's just start off. I I wanted to uh, not sell books or anything for that matter, unless, we, um, unless we're on intellect day. So I'm just gonna free up a couple of spots. I'll save the rest for later and just see if he has anything that we need here. Ah, no, unfortunately he does not have any like electric fences or dart traps. What he does have though is another sniper book, but probably even better is this pump shotgun schematic and also a burning shaft mod. So does he have any 
Damn it. No, he doesn't have any sugar butts there, so I guess we're gonna buy this stuff outright. Yep, pump shotgun schematic and burning shaft mod, and that'll do for today. All right, home sweet home. All right, so for now, I'm just gonna put the burning shaft mod onto the shovel until we have a melee weapon that we can put it onto, and we'll just read that shotgun, pump shotgun schematic. Repair up my pipe machine gun, and now we should be good to, oh, let's check on this, because I crafted a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, we gotta get that changed over, all this cobble, some gunpowder. Right, so let's get some plots done. Should be able to get a law, what? Four, what am I, li oh, what, what is it, nitrate powder? And clay is kind of, we're kind of low on that. So, well, start working on that. Start doing the potato seeds. We can get seven of those, which is probably gonna be plenty. Mushroom seeds, 13, that'll do. Might as well just roll with the blueberry seeds while we're at it and corn seeds as well. No, we gotta wait for stuff to pull through. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna head down into our glory hole here and try not to attract too much attention, hopefully and uh, just sneakily get some of this nitrate out of here. All right, I can get, oh my God, three more? Now what? Now it's a clay soil. Okay, there we go. I have managed to sort of fill up the wall of the pit, and I think maybe probably this will be the extent of the block shapes that I use, and the rest of it will just be like natural wall all the way down to bedrock or however deep we decide to go. All right, we are getting toward the end of the day, and that means we'll have to take the forget elixir soon, but I should have harvested up enough clay there to get the remaining farm plot blocks done that we need. Another 10 of those is fine. We can just work on um, you know, a very small garden at first, and then, ooh, that's all the rotting flesh, actually. Dang. But it's enough to get us started, at least. So before we make the call here, any other seeds that we should probably take? Uh, yucca seeds. Let's just get, like, all the seeds, basically. Okay, and while that stuff's cooking, we will suck down another forgetting elixir, although I think I've killed all the surrounding zombies, so we shouldn't have much to worry about here. And today is agility day. Yeah, yeah, for once, all is quiet, right? Really, we just need to focus on uh, being good at combat for tonight. In fact, how much, um, nine mil do we have right now? We have quite a bit, probably gonna use all if not most of that during Horde Night tonight with the pistol. And otherwise, uh, I don't really think that we need points into light armor or really run and gun for that matter. And certainly not the stealth perks. You can't really hide on Horde Night. And parkour, although it's nice and it's fun, not gonna help us inside the base either. It really just deep cuts, uh, flurry of blows, and maybe archery and gunslinger. Let's do it. Let's just max agility. Ooh. Okay, and now what? Uh, now we do three into Flurry of Blows and one into Gunslinger. That'll have to do it. And if we get another point sometime today, it'll be Deep Cuts Samurai. So I'd like to start off today by just doing some base construction, get everything ready for tonight. So for that, we're going to need just basically a little bit of everything here. Then a little bit later on, we'll head and get that airdrop. And then, like I said, at the beginning of the episode, we will need to harvest up some like lamp posts and things like that to see if we can get some more steel. I was really hoping that I could have gotten a an electric fence for tonight because it would have just made things. Oh no, we actually want to rip this off. I made a mistake when I put this on by, I, uh, wait, what, what block did I put this on anyway? Did I put it on this block? Um, no, it looks like I, I, I attached it to that block, or at least it is attached to that block, which is what I want, because I, if this block here fails, I don't want the doors to fall off, and that kind of is another reason for getting rid of these. Yep, that's a really important block. We'll upgrade that. Also, we have no concrete mix, which is a, just a total shame. I have not really... I, there was none at the trader, not able to craft any. That's just going to have to be a focus for next time. Also, if we're getting ferals inside POIs, I can almost guarantee we're going to be getting ferals in the horde. So it's time to kind of bolster the defenses here. 
Just kind of like set some extra plates on the outside and we'll need some sort of like a bumper rail out here. For today, we'll just go with this like little bumper piece just like that. Or not a bumper piece, but that little pole piece. And that should just be one extra layer for the zombies to have to beat through to get to me. And it might also just absorb some of their attacks so that um, the more important blocks don't get broken first. All right, so that's it. That is our defense. <laughs> and uh, just in case bubbles shows up, might want to like upgrade some of this to cobble so that everything doesn't catch on fire. Oh, and I'm starting to get a little worried about structural stability, so I need to focus on like upgrading things that are attached to bedrock first. Yeah, like this thing here is like a super important piece right now. See, my vision is, and we could actually probably start building this today, is that this would just be like a wall, kind of like that, and it would also be too wide kind of like what we're doing on this one here and then on the outside of this we would just like do some shape work not that this is necessary at all but just provide some like aesthetic flair here yeah kind of like that and then i would do the same thing right here and then probably also eventually do the same thing over here but i don't want to do too much work over here just yet until we get the the doors in yeah we could actually make a reinforced drawbridge, but we could not make the powered one, and that's the one that we eventually want. All right, I've just about replicated what we had going on on the other side on this side now. Just getting the final upgrades done, at least to wood. Ah, hey, there's a skill point right there. Immediately into deep cuts. Okay, I think that just about does it. So those are like four massive support columns. And again, kind of remains to be seen. See, I think what we'll probably do is something like this and then do the same sort of patterns so that it kind of like matches the base and then potentially do the same thing on this side, right? And then we'll put like a drawbridge door in right here. Although one thing I've noticed is that this is like some sort of a weird defilade here where this whole section of land is like sunken down one block. So so really like ground level on the rest of the base is like, like it is over here, like one block higher. So I'm not sure if that means that this drawbridge door will go like a one block up so that it kind of matches what we'll, we'll be doing on the other side over there or if we should sink that side down one i still don't know the answer to that see it's affecting us over here too because the pit is only going up to ground level as it is over here but really ground level is one block higher like this and if i'm going to be putting in like a cement pad down here on the bottom eventually we'll need to kind of decide what to do about that in fact i think i've made my decision because this part is already dug out so we could just like like this will be the floor basically for the entire base and that way we only have to do the digging over on this area here yep that's what we're gonna do just make sure that these ladders like come all the way to the top so the zombies can get out tonight and in fact Gonna have to upgrade these all at least to wood. Ooh, I almost sprayed my leg there. Careful. <laughs> Even though it's agility today, I'm not a parkour master today. Oh, a cop! No, 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 no! Dup, dup, dup. Whoa, that's fucking close. Come over here, buddy. No, sh- No, 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 no. That's bad. Almost caught my base on fire. Damn it. So that kind of brings up another topic about the fire extinguisher. And, and some people have said in the comments, and I do agree, that thing is um kind of OP, so... We might have to think of some way of like not, you know, because I don't know. We need to think of a way so that there's still some tension, I guess, if um, if there's a fire without like really handicapping ourselves to the point where like the entire base catches on fire and burns down. Not exactly sure what the solution is going to be. Maybe something like, um, oh, I don't know. I can only use it like um, when the horde is over or something like that. So the base would have to kind of burn for a little while. I don't know. We'll see what happens tonight. I mean, if the fighting position catches on fire, that's one thing. Cause I can just put that out pretty easily. But if like bubbles, like sprays some stuff down here tonight, um, this is all going to catch on fire and there's no way for me to get down there to fix it. So there might be like a catastrophic fire going on, on other parts of the base. All right, I'm making all sorts of messes here with the block shapes. It's kind of terrible right now. It'll all come together eventually though. Trust me on that one. Okay, so with that, now that we have like the final supports in place, we can take all of these like accessory supports out that we had in originally. Oh crap, oh my god, there's a horde coming. Oh geez, they're coming directly for us and then hooking a right immediately. This is a soldier horde too. Look at the soldiers, oh my goodness. 
Wow, that's so dangerous. And they are lingering as well. Okay, we gotta get in the base and... Wow, yep, we're gonna have to fight them off. Oh, crap, here they are! Ah! Just run, just run, just run. They are right behind me. In we go, seal that up, and get the fuck out of here. All right, Deep Cuts is our friend today. Oh, I never did get the pistol out either. Yep, we gotta get that. Weapons and ammo, get me this pistol. Yep, they're breaking blocks already. Oh, this stupid hazmat zombie just hanging out here. We're dr drugging a freaking feral way. We got spiders here. Oh my god, this is bad. Okay, we need stamina, so we'll lay into him with this. Here, we gotta make sure this is reloaded, even though I only got 19 bullets left. Okay, we gotta also make sure that repairs are being conducted. There we go. Okay, we can't conduct repairs. We don't have any steel for the hatch. Oh, jeez. This is really rough. I don't know if that hatch is gonna last. Alright, we're gonna do a little experiment here. If I can, I'm gonna drop that door. I dropped it. I then I I think I just There we go, it's down. Alright, that gives us just a little bit of breathing room here to get some first aid into me. Here, just use this uh, first aid bandage. Couple of them. Okay, they're just beating on the base now. And there's a screamer here. Lovely. Open that door back up. Let's see if I can catch that screamer coming up. Okay, the zombies have made their way over. There's that screamer. She's down. Here we go. Oh boy. Yep, spider just broke that thing that was on the bottom. Ah, oh, these stupid hat. Oh no, they've just taken out the freaking walkway. Looks like the rest. Well, we could just repair it, I suppose, real quick. Whoa, geez, it scared me there. Yep, we gotta fix this up for sure, all the way to cobble. There we go. Continue repairs. Bring it on, assholes. Got a skill point out of all this too. Die. Come on over here. Can't wait to see how much damage y'all have done to the fresh construction. There we go. Um, yeah, they've done some damage. Gonna be a lot worse tonight, I guarantee you that. This base, uh, <laughs> we, I don't know, man. This, this base not looking too good, is it? Just really want to work on the stability component out here. These blocks that I'm upgrading now are the ones that are determining structural stability for the floor of, like, the crafting room and stuff like that. So, just making sure that these are all upgraded. Yep, and that should do it. Oh, look at that. That block right there is in rough shape. Okay, when in doubt, you get some centered pyramids and you place these on. This should keep their heads kind of down and they shouldn't have as easy of a time, like, um, you know, breaking that block up there. And just in keeping with the aesthetic that we have going, I will just lay these things down. Okay, upgrade all these. And uh, I'm officially now concerned that this walkway is going to be a liability for us. Okay, I think the ramp is okay. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. I think the problem is gonna be that sometimes the zombies, like, they try to dig when they're going up here. So I'm gonna do a plate ramp here, and then I'm gonna do plates all along the walkway. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, the real problem is gonna be we've done all of our work on this fighting position, and if it fails, our only option is going to be repair, because this fighting position here is just not ready for anything. Suppose we can just you know, work on it a little bit here. Okay, that's probably just gonna have to do it for tonight. I'm of a mind, though, to head into town and get the airdrop, and also see if we can just get a little bit of steel for tonight, so I'll kind of meet you over there. All right, here we go. Pray, pray for some ammo, basically. In fact, uh, ammo crafting bundle. Not exactly what I had in mind, but I suppose we could try to craft some ammo here tonight before the horde. I do want to swing by Bob's. There are some, um, all those books and stuff that we got today, I left him in his dumpster, so I'm going to grab those, sell them to him, despite the fact that we'll be missing out on some cash there, but we um, we need to just see if he has any ammo for sale and buy all of it. And he has a sugar butt, which might come in handy there. Okay, he does have 762, and that's just about it. Great, okay, there's a 100 coin there. 
Grab the sugar butt, eat it, and sell. Okay, not bad. Give me that 762 for... Oh, I can't even afford it. No, 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 no. This is not good. Uh, on second thought, just give me the ammo crafting material and we'll just see what we can make when we get home. Much yep, obliged, crap. Stranger. We're gonna die tonight. Almost guaranteed. And street lights. Okay, that'll have to do. All right, we're back at the base, and let's see if we can get... Oh, jeez, get this stuff out of the way, please. And just see if we can get the... Uh... Oh, just ammo, ammo, yes, we need ammo. God, it's frantic. Ooh, 199, though, that's not too bad. And we can kind of, like, make stops back here tonight, if we have to, to, uh, to get that stuff. Okay, lighting, lighting is important, but lights, uh, that's a little bit high. Lights right there. Okay, I did get a little bit of steel there, so... Ooh, 17 steel, not... <laughs> Not as, not as much as I would have liked, but it'll allow us to at least get that fully upgraded. And then what do we got left? 14 for repairs tonight. It just scarfed down some of this boiled meat and I think we're pretty much prepared. We're ready to go here. All right, the ammo is rolling in. There's 78 of it there. And the hour is late, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. All right, so far I'd say I'm managing quite well, I've taken a couple of hits here, but it seems like mastering deep cuts is really helping out here. That and having 10 points into agility, that means my headshot damage and my like decapitation ability. <laughs> Who knew that that would be a word? Decapitation ability is like really, really good right now. That and my stamina seems to be holding up really well as well. I think the um, flurry of blows giving me 30 plus 30 HP on a kill combined with using like not a high stamina use weapon is uh, allowing me to keep it up and just like that I'm out of stamina. But we got black drop copy for that. I'm also like I have a low threshold. I have three recogs and I also have a, a learning elixir. Might as well take that right now. But yeah, I've got the recog as well, and I think that'll help us um, with the limited 9 mil to be able to like fend off any sort of like threats that sort of emerge throughout the night. Okay, I am getting my ass kicked though, so stay topped off on first aid, just take a first aid kit. Okay, get back. Oh man, I can hear so many zombies downstairs, no idea what they're up to, but it cannot be anything good. I can hear them like bleeding out and dying here and there, which is kind of, kind of good. Oh man, I need a fort bite, don't I? Take a fort bite. Stop getting beat up here. The last thing we need is like a sprained arm. That would just be a killer, killer. Marlene, what are you doing down there? Get out of there. Oh, we got some dogs here. That is um, definitely a job for the pistol. I think the other one, oh no, he's right there, but he keeps falling down. I don't think the dog could get out of the pit. It's kind of like flaw in that design. More dogs. Lumberjack as well. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. I am abraded. That's... That's, uh... The least of my concerns right now is an abrasion. So I'm trying to say. Okay, I think I killed that dog, thankfully. Oh, jeez, now we got spiders here. Ooh, that was a good hit right there. Ooh, I hear loot bags. Nice. Spider. Damn it. Get out of there. I'd say we're faring much better than we did against this soldier horde. <laughs> Who'd have thought?
Oh man, it's getting kind of bad up here now. Ow! Yes, painkiller. Also, treat that abrasion a little bit. Oh, jeez. I got, did I, I got like double abrasion. Stop that. It's these stupid zombies that get stuck down there. Oh my god. Oh, there's my arm. My arm is sprained. I guess we're not doing power attacks. I did level up. Oh no. Stupid lumberjack. Oh, jeez. I don't know what to do. We need to get a steroid. Also, get a mineral water. I think it's that time of night, too, where we just need to suck down all the recog. And uh, before we get rolling here... Oh, repairs are not looking bad at all here. Not too bad. Well, they've knocked out... Well, that might have been knocked out. I'm not entirely sure. All right. With the power of recog, we're going to knock out all these zombies. Nice. Eat that. Honestly, things not feeling bad right now. I don't know if we're between hordes or if something has happened here. I will just take a quick peek. Nope. The ramp is looking fine. They haven't damaged that at all. Oh my goodness. Getting hurt really bad though. What are y'all beating on down there and why? Oh, my pistol just broke. Here, quickly repair that. Get the... No, the uh, the SMG. The, the pipe MG is uh, for emergencies only. Although if things keep going at this rate, it doesn't seem like we're going to have many emergencies. I've got another abrasion. I have two hours worth of abrasion. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Do we still have the fort bite? No, take the other fort bite. Those things only last for like two minutes. Okay, suddenly very quiet. I hear dogs. Dogs probably stuck in the pit if I had to say so. There are zombies. Oh my god, there's just so many of them down there. Oh, they've dug a huge hole into the wall. Great. Otherwise, I think all is quiet. That might have been it. Although, no, there's going to be a third wave, isn't there? Yeah, I'm not wandering out too far. So the way Horde Knight works is that if we're on the second wave right now, well, let's say that we are. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, as soon as I kill all the zombies, the third wave will trigger or it will trigger at 2 a.m., whichever comes first. So it could be that I kill this last zombie here and then instantly trigger the next wave. Not sure. We'll have to see what happens. That could have also been the end of the third wave. I'm not sure. And I've already killed off the second wave. Which, by the sound of it, I would say it's the latter. That might be it. Well, it does appear as though the overall design of the base is strong. It seems to have held up well with no issues, except for the dogs in the pit there. We can work on that. We can find a solution, I'm sure. For now, though, I'm just eager to get down to the loot bags. Only four, five, five. Are you kidding me? Wow, look at what they did. Oh, geez, what a mess. We're going to have to fill all that in with blocks and maybe... Maybe even make, like, another system for them to get out. Oh, man. Dogs are, like, just the bane of my existence. Maybe even just instead of ladders, just do a ramp for them to get out of here. I mean, I'm not trying to contain them down here. This is not, like, a, a grenade pit like I've done in the past. It's more of just, um, like, a fall damage pit. Or that's the, what it's going to be. Okay, not too bad. Got a treasure map at least. We can save that for Perception Day, I think it was, where we get that bonus. Otherwise, it's just uh, time for some minor repairs here, and I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on here. I, my idea was to do like, um, like a curved kind of arch support, like a half arch support for it. So well, I'll have to figure out what we're going to do there. But for now, what I am going to do is just do what we were doing earlier today and try to get some of these like um, aesthetic elements kind of solidified, like like the, the wedges that we're going to put on the sides of these support columns and things like that. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. 
And I've already had my magical brew today, so we're just outside Trader Bob's here, about to get some quests for today. It's like, Trader has Trader Bob done some renovations around here? Everything looks a, just a little bit different. All right, let's go ask him. Hey, Bobby. Bobby, you've been like working out or something? You look different. Anyway, ah, whoa, <laughs> oh, buddy. What happened there? Oh, geez, ripped open a hole in Bobby's wall. Oh man, a whole bunch of them. Okay, <laughs> Bob's compound, not secure. There we go. Okay, so today is intellect day and we will get a job here from Jen. It looks like maybe Trader Bob has uh, changed his name on us. I don't know, hard to remember things these days with all these uh, new drinks that we've been drinking every day. Oh my, the desert is a busy place. Right, so close that door this time. I did bring some things to sell this morning and we will read this treasure map while we're out here, but we'll wait until tomorrow to get it. But where is it, out there? Okay, not too bad. That should be in the desert biome there. So yeah, so it's a uh, week three now. So we're, you know, I would say a quarter of the way through things here and we're on to our second quadrant here. So this following two weeks will be here in the desert biome where there is a 2x zombie spawning multiplier. So we'll just be slightly increasing the difficulty a little bit in that regard. I do have maxed out better barter right now, so we should be able to maybe pick some good stuff here out of the secret stash. Ooh, crucibles. Goodness, we could probably craft one of those too, though. No, I didn't unlock it because I didn't take enough points into advanced engineering. Only two points into that today because I just want to get cement mixers, and then we have to try to remember to plant the garden because I think the uh, the garden will sprout just in time for the end of uh, fortitude day so goodness <laughs> all right what i really want today though is a stun baton wait a minute we gotta see if we get a sugar butt here we do all right take that sugar butt for the remainder of the selling and what do you got oh my goodness there it is a good stun baton not bad i'll take it otherwise not much here crossbow uh, compound crossbow schematic which would be really nice to get for agility day and then we could maybe see about crafting one of those. We definitely wouldn't have the uh, bow parts, but you know, someday we will. So we'll take that. And that's it for this place. Still have plenty of lock picks after I found that bundle of 50 and that airdrop. Oh, what we need is a quest, isn't it? Yes, we're onto the tier one. So it's friggin' lightning quest time. Clear the zombies at the old ranch, deal. All right, let's see how many of these we can knock out in one day. Let's do this. All right, that's one down, and that was rough enough. There's zombies coming in from all directions. All right, Jenny, what do you got for me? Ooh, look at the rewards so here. Nice, even for the I tier ones. Let's go bit. pipe bombs, of course. Oh, we get two, actually. Interesting. Let's get the insulated liner, then. That'll help us out for when we eventually go to the snow biome. And another job. I Quick fetch. It. Love it. Oh, also, got my first t-shirt. <laughs> uh, wife beater tank top. Looking good now. Oh yeah, showing some skin. I love it. All right, here we are. Not letting this guy hang around. What the hell is there a wolf doing here in the friggin' desert biome? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Got him. Of course, that drew in a lot of attention. Great. And there's a bird. All right. Bless dance. Ow. Stamina is really difficult, even with the stun baton. Just get the guns. Whoa. Hello, Bo. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Let's hit it. Where's the supplies? Because I'm just gonna grab them and get the hell out of here. They're literally in the same exact spot they were the last time I did this quest. There we go. Someone snuck up over here too. Get out of here, Thomas. Yeah, we're gonna have the same issue on Intellect Day that we have on many of the other days, and that's just that we don't have weapons that give us any good knockdown power, and stamina is always an issue. Oh, look at this, we got two new books this time, a batter up book for letter jackets. Lovely, we can craft one of those later, and an art of mining book, much as I would like the ammo or the pipe bombs. We've gotta roll with the books here today. Clear zombies, nice, let's do it. This looks like the place right here. Oh my, birds everywhere, ah! 
Yeah, come on. Whoa, I caught him on fire with the friggin' burning shaft mod on the axe there. All right, I will take the bones. I'm sure those will be useful at some point. Hit the quest, and let's roll in here. That yeah, can't possibly be too hard, although I don't quite know where I am just yet. Ow. Okay, so three wax is all we get, and, like, none of them are going to be a knockdown either. Oh, okay. Zombies rolling up here. Yeah, I hear many zombies, too. I'm going to just get on the bike here and make sure that's not a horde. Come on, turn around, turn around, turn around. There we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> Missed. There we go. Nah, I don't hear anyone else. I think that was just a couple of zombies. They, there's so many of them that they just kind of wander in. I can't wait until friggin' it's snow biome time and we have to deal with three X zombie spawns. Oh, here he is. Nice. Shocked him out. Oh, and we just leveled up with two skill points to spend now. Yeah, definitely Electrocutioner. That'll help us with the stun baton. And today, might as well go Advanced Engineering so that we can maybe... Um, do some crafting for a little bit less. Oh my goodness, you bastard. I don't want to use the guns because it just draws in too much attention. There we go. All right, we got to heal up though. I did get my first red die though, so we're gonna have to slap that onto the puffer coat, which honestly we should not be wearing here in the desert biome. We got to wear something though, so it'll have to do. Maybe if I get a little bit wet, that'll uh, help me with the <laughs> Hot heat resistance. And another set of red dye there. How do we get in here anyway? Oh, look at that. 44 Magnum schematic. Nice. Oh my god, there's people just hiding in every corner here. Oh, who is that? Oh, it's a lumberjack. Uh-oh. Here, I got just a thing for you guys. Eat that. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. We got a fire, ladies and gentlemen. Also, we got a lot of company coming in here now. Oh shit, I can't get up there. Oh, we'll have to pull up from over here. Hey, there we go. Oh boy. Ah, I can't get through there unless I perhaps make sure that I have some water on me. Hey, into the fire. Oh, I'm on fire. And put the fire out. Kill this guy. I don't even think he knew where I was. Okay. Uh, not clear yet. Kill you. Get the loot before it burns out. If I die, I just want to let you know that you can have my mini bike into the flames. Ow, 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 I'm burning. <laughs> Shit. Ah. Okay, put it out, put it out, put it out. All right, and we're good. Got a bar brawling book here. This is, oh, drinking beer doesn't like mess up your vision anymore. That's pretty good to have. Whoa, man. Yeah, there's going to be Screamer City here any minute now. So let's just get the hell out of here. Yep. <laughs> we'll have to check back later and uh, see the progress of the fire. All right, Jen, what do you got for me this time? Ooh, more books. Wow, Jen is hooking us up today. Although, damage against deer? Yeah, I don't know about that one. We've got the improved fittings mod alternatively, which gives us a little bit more stamina and mobility. Hey, I'll take the books, though. There we go. Next job, clear zombies. House country, okay? All right, we're here at the spot. Just getting some extra meat while I'm at it. Should be using the knife, but I don't know. I put it away somewhere, so whatever. Uh, hello there, Bo. Wow. Okay. Getting lucky now. Whoa! This guy's alive. Thought you were just a dead body. Well, you are now, anyway. Hey, hey, tempered blade mod schematic. Nice. Oh, this place. Yes, I remember this place. Let's hit the quest. Should be a zombie right around the corner here, I thought. Yep. Close that door. Take you out. Just gonna grab up that chair there. And take that out, put the chair there, open the door, see what we can do here. Okay, got her. Couple of more zombies, of course. Encumbered by ten, of course, that's not good. Hey Thomas, you just gonna hang out there? Oh, you're a feral. Feral Thomas, uh oh. Alright, I'm gonna do the same trick here. We're gonna take that chair up, we're gonna knock this out, and wake up the zombies? Did I wake up one of them? Yep, here we got one of them here. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm too encumbered, I can't backpedal! Damn it! There we go. All right, we get the, the other one. Oh, of course, the hazmat boy's gonna just hang out here forever. Whatever. That's the quest. Try to get too fancy for my own good. I think there's also a coyote outside. Yeah, there he is. Hey, buddy. Not making things any easier on myself right now. All right, gotta start rationing stuff here. Oh boy, I'm trying to run, but I can't. I'm too encumbered to get on the bike. Oh boy. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Not where I wanted to park. Oh, shit. Wow. This is not good. I got the whole, like, clicking, turning. <laughs> you know how you can, like, change the camera and the, and the steering mechanism. That was all messed up. Yep. We paid for it, too. All right. We're back. Just stashing the inventory best I can. And I've heard people ask me before how I do that. Just kind of, like, the instant open close. You just double tap. Double tap the E button as quick, quickly as you can, and it opens and closes the door. Amazing. What do we got here? Some like 9 mil work? and some 762 probably is what I will take here. I feel like we're pretty good on the pipe bombs. We can make those on our own anyway. And the last quest of the day, yeah, a buried supplies. Okay. okay, we are just out there into the desert. I'll meet you there. <laughs> and we're out of gas. All right, here we are. Pretty much all clear, it looks like. Remove that, snap the quest. We do have zombies coming, though. Ah! Oh, right behind me, apparently. <laughs> Couldn't hear with the tree falling down. Right, same trick we always do now. Yep, and we got zombies already. Kind of a lot of them, too. Uh-oh. Okay, so the circle shifted away from this one, away from that one, away from that one, and also away from that one. So it's probably, you kind of just want to like guess where it's shrinking down. It's kind of shrinking down right to the left of where we started digging. So just uh, sneak over here and see if it's right over in this kind of left wall area. Aha, I did find it right there. Oh, this is not good, though, because I am not ready to fight. <laughs> oh, God, mistake, mistake, mistake. Um... Should hope this is loaded. It's not. And just run, 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 run. Get on the bike. And we don't need to kill these zombies. We can just get the hell out of here. All right. The final reward of the day. It's You're been a very productive day rough. today. Yeah, I know I'm looking kind of rough. It's you been a kind of a rough this, day, despite you? all the well, tier one jobs. That's all we've been doing. So I think for this, I'll take, yeah, 762 and the bipod mod. And that's it for today. Well, Goodbye, Jen. We'll be back uh, some other time to finish those off. Possibly get into the tier twos and stuff like that after. So we need to head back to the base now and get the the uh, farm put down somewhere. I'm not even sure where I'm going to put it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm having a really rough time getting back. I'm bleeding and I'm almost out of gas. Quickly now. Get a bandage on. Okay, I've outrun the zombies that were chasing me. I am going to run out of fuel here in just a second. The base is just up ahead. Yep, there we go. We're out. Oh, I just heard a landmine go off in the wasteland there. Okay, so we just got to creep back into the base and get some gas. All right, we're all put away now. And where where did I put all the garden stuff? Aha, right here. 17 plots there. Definitely getting potatoes in the first round of crops. We'll, we'll just put the mushroom seeds on the wall somewhere. All right, though. Mushrooms can just go anywhere. It doesn't even matter. We got a nice mushroom wall going. As for the garden, though... The garden, I think, has to go onto the rooftop eventually. I honestly don't even know what it looks like from up there. So let's head up there and see what we got for real estate. These, of course, need to be covered up at some point. So I think what I'll do for now, because I just don't want to focus and, and linger on this issue for too long, is I'll just put the garden plots up here like so and hope that that doesn't cause any issues with, like, birds coming up here and ruining everything for us. But we just got to get these into the ground so that we can then start thinking about harvesting them on Fortitude Day here in a couple days. Whoa, buddy. What are you doing in there? Oh, the poor guy fell way down into the pit down there. Speaking of the pit, I have decided on how we're going to do this, and that's probably something good to work on for tonight. Instead of the ladders going out, we're going to have to do a ramp system so that the animals can get out of there as well, because eventually we will see bear in the hordes, and so we need to start preparing for that now. I'd kind of neglected to incorporate that um, possibility or that inevitability into the base design. Okay, so that's sort of my plan there for getting them out. It's gonna be like a nice spiral staircase going all the way down to the bottom, however far that is. And I guess <laughs> for now, right here, they have an alternative ladder they can use. I'm gonna have to see if we can make some stone. Uh, we need a cement mixer for that, which kind of reminds me, we gotta get going on that before the end of the morning, before morning breaks, I guess, before we have to 
take our next elixir. Do we have what it takes to make the cement mixer? We do indeed. How many? Two? We need two anyway. Let's get them going. In terms of other stuff we can craft, um, since, wait, we have a, we're doing advanced engineering. So that's increased crafting time, I believe in the forge. Oh, we can also craft like the electric fences, blade traps, all those types of things. Yeah, electric fences. Ooh, I can only get one. We are held back by forged iron. Oh, geez, quickly now. Oh, there's a whole bunch in there. Never mind. By the way, it's also cooking right now. So just uh, continue with that. That gives us 23. We don't need that many. We need uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. So get started on that. Blade traps, we could get one. Forged steel being what's holding us back on that one. You know what? I'm content to probably just get that going and um, you know get the, the framework built on that over the week. All right, is there anything I can do just last minute here? So yeah, all forge recipes cost 10% less. Forged steel, electrical trap devices cost less. Yeah, I'd say that's a, just about it. What we could do is just reset this and redo the forged iron, get a little bit more out of it. And now it's time. Take down that forget elixir. Although there are zombies. Is this all horde zombies or no, just regular zombies out there. A couple spiders rolling in. Surprised that they didn't die overnight. Oh, no, no, no. You're not allowed in here. Get the hell out. Jeez. All right, let's get ready here. No way to kill these guys without using bullets. So, oh, cop. No, 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 no. You son of a bitch. Whoa. Do we got a fire? Okay, so that has presented itself as an issue. The cops can see me from down there. Stop that. And they can spit up. So, well, could be an issue. Um, what I could do is put these plates here in place here because we don't need these uh, to be railings right there, do we? It kind of helps, actually, if we're trying to come over here and, um, like, trigger the door. But soon we're going to have the automated vault doors, hopefully. Speaking of that, we need to find, like, a, um, a Mo Power place there in the desert town and see if we can raid that and get all of the schematics for the electricity type stuff. Anyway, let me get the kit reorganized. Oh, and the first cement mixer is ready. So where's that going? That's, I think that's supposed to go way over here. Kind of forgot the, <laughs> the how I'm organizing things here. I think it's chem station there, and then you know it'll be like matching on each side, except for there's gonna be two forges here and two cement mixers there. Oh, speaking of that, can I get another forge? Crap, of course not, because it's not unlocked anymore. Dang it. Oh, geez, I guess we're living with that for the next week. All right, we're all set. Uh, we've done this a hundred times, so I won't bother you with how I spend the skill points. But um, I, what we'll do is I'll get the skill points together, and I will meet you down there at the buried supply, the buried treasure, and we'll dig that up first thing this morning. All right, I made it, and I had a really rough time of it. <laughs> Sprained a leg, got hit by a couple zombies. Yeah, the usual. Okay, shouldn't really be that much of an issue to dig this up because I've got that dig radius reduction thing from the skills, the treasure hunter skill. Plus I took a bunch of points into lucky looter. We're uh, four into javelin master and salvage operation. So I think today we will focus on finishing out those tier one quests, maybe hit up like some loots along the way, some little like easy quick loots. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll just like see where our day takes us after that. Okay, we're, yep, we're basically right there. Yep, got it. And we're in. What do we get here? Oh my, we are getting in some good stuff now. Lots and lots of ammo, some mods. Cool. Right, let's go see Jen then. Top of the morning to I you, Jen. So let's glad. have a look at your quests. Fetch, we love those fetch quests. Problem. Not good loot, oh, but uh, excellent some, safety. You know, <laughs> survivability, we'll say. Tight. Suppose we could do. Do I get anything good for wrenching these? I do not. Uh, what about her chemistry station? Wow, the, the looting uh, with Lucky Looter. I feel like it's glitching, but it's actually just, you know, the, the container open speed is just so high. She doesn't need that stuff anymore, does she? Oh, it is actually restock day. There's a trick that I use sometimes to figure it out. <laughs> I get made fun of a lot for this one, but if you look at the day, day 16, let me see if I can get a good background for it. There you go. Day 16. So if you do one plus six, that's seven, seven minus one. At six, and then six is divisible by three, so therefore it's trader day. I don't know, that helps me out. I don't know if that's gonna help you guys out, but <laughs> a little trick I use. It's more helpful on like a day like, you know, 97. Is day 97 a trader day? Well, nine plus seven is 16. 16 minus one is 15, and 15 is divisible by three. So yes, that would be a trader day. 
Anywho, enough with that stuff. Let's see what her updated inventory shows us. Oh, potato seeds. Hell yeah. Oh, before I get into this too much, let's go see if there's a sugar butt. There's not, but there is an eye candy, and that might help us out a lot later on today. Man, honestly, this cement mix, it's so cheap. It's just tempting to take it. I think we... What about the cobble? Oh my god, the cobble's even cheaper. Urban combat. Ooh, crafting cigars. Jen, you are the woman. Got a magnum enforcer here. Sprinting with a 44 drawn in combat uses 20% less stamina. Very niche book there. There's a tech junkie book as well. And that's really it. So I'll go ahead and take those books then. I don't really think I need the 4x4 truck schematic, uh, accessory schematic. And with the remaining money, this is all treasure money anyway. So I feel like we can burn it without, you know, much fuss. And, you know, it's pretty much all gone anyway. Right. So we got some books to read there. We'll have to look into these cigar. I got to write these things down. Okay. All written down. Cigar and college jacket for tonight. Just wanted to sneak up in here though to this tier four. I don't know if I have the courage to check the main loot. In fact, I don't have the courage to be here at all, do I? Yeah, lots of zombies. I was gonna see if I could get that Mo Power truck, because that's like really helpful for us, but you know, five zombies guarding it. No thanks. Not on Spear Day anyway. See, strength day, I just would have freaking mowed all of them down with a sledgehammer. In fact, I think what is it? Tomorrow is strength day. I think I wanna do um clubs tomorrow we'll change it up a little bit and we'll get ourselves a nice baseball bat to play with you know miraculously haven't seen a horde yet don't want to jinx it but that's been <laughs> a welcome reprieve of course they always come at the most inopportune moment when you have a sprained leg like right now just doing a little quickie double loot don't mind me okay let's hit it oh geez Where, how did you hear me are you are you part of a horde I always get very concerned when I see zombies running up on me from, like, really far away. You shouldn't have that good of ears. Man, <laughs> gotta love that loot speed, huh? Oh, we got an airdrop here somewhere. Straight that way, right there. I always mark these because if I log out of the game after this episode, the the yellow marker disappears. So I just want to make sure that's marked because I'm not sure if I'll remember to head out there before we get go back. But we really should try to because absolutely today is the best day to get airdrops with our lucky looter skill so high. Why not just like basically take everything apart while we're here, huh? Oh! Hello there, Lumberjack. See what we can do here with Spear. Oh, we gotta remember, we um, we do more damage throwing the Spear at downed targets, although... Whoa! <laughs> I don't really like throwing my Spear because you can just lose it. Oh, look at that sneaky weapons bag way back there. That's cool. I suppose that serrated blade will go on here. It will. I take the woodcutter off. I think that gives us uh, some bleed potential on this thing. Okay, there's our satchel. And we're technically just free to leave. I would like to get the main loot, though. But what the hell is going on up here? Is this just like a solitary attic and this is not part of, like, the dungeon? Oh, up here. I see. And I feel like I um, I need to play this game more because I'm still running into all these new POIs. That or I've just, I haven't been here in so long. I just have no memory of this place. Oh, but there's a sneaky door there. Interesting. Let me back there. Hello? What's going on here? Um, aha, uh -huh, yeah, I, I feel like I have done this before at some point. There's literally nothing here, though. What? Is there maybe, like, uh, another secret passage somewhere, or that was just, um, nothing, yeah, nothing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I see, I see. Hidden stash, baby. Oh my goodness, crucible schematic. Wow. Lucky looter paying off today. Uh, although highly encumbered right now. I'm just gonna start getting rid of some stuff that we don't particularly need. What do we got down here? Pumpkin cheesecake recipe. That gives you 5% better bartering when you're buying and a robotic sledge schematic. So we can look into maybe crafting something like that. I don't know, I just would rather find stuff like that instead of wasting all the robotics parts. Grave digger mod schematic, wow. Okay, Lucky Looter is just awesome. That's our only compensation for having to deal with spears is that we get lucky looter. Okay, but what are we getting into down here? I got a silencer on the rifle here, so... Try to use that a little bit to our advantage. Oh, there we go. Take him out. <laughs> oh, hello? Who's back there? Oh, eat that, Steve. Okay, where are the rest of you? 
Oh, here we go. Oh, that that was interesting. Um, <laughs> we didn't get a throwing animation on that one. Oh, well. Hello? How about this time? Nice, there we go. Yeah, see, it's not, not too bad. If you're just going up against a regular zombie and you've got all the perk points into it, not too bad. And you're just going up against like one zombie at a time. Here we go, main loot. Another pair of pants. Some uh, healing items there. Nothing much in there. Okay, sledgehammer parts, weighted head mod. I do like those. And, ooh, a good pair of boots. Yes, and some BDU bottoms. Here, uh, I don't know. Get rid of those jars. Take those. Hello? Oh, get the fuck out of there. Oh, thank you. Uh, of course, <laughs> I'm still super recovered. I do need two dollars, do I? And I don't really need, um, what's it called? Freaking blood bags. All right, we'll take those BDU bottoms on, please. Just eat my damn vitamins. I'm not gonna be facing rads anytime soon, so I'll take the, w oh, no, no, no. I can't do the weighted head with the serrated blade. Well, in that case, I'll definitely take the weighted head. I love the knockdown more than I do the bleed. Just put the rest of the stuff on the shovel. Freeze up the inventory just a little bit. All right, let's get Jen's reward. I think we have one more quest to do, and then we get the tier reward. Now All right, what do we get? Pipe bombs, I guess. And our last job. Looks like it's gonna be clear zombies. No other choice. All right, since we got those pipe bombs, let's go ahead and grab the atom junkies. Oh, we got a level up there, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Let's go with demolitions expert. In keeping with the theme, we got a tier one over there. You know what we need to do though? We need to get a box going. Just start stashing a bunch of crap in here that we're just not gonna need for a while. All right, this friggin' place. We've done this a half a dozen times on this channel, so we're just gonna blaze through it. All right, main loot. Not bad. Looks like that's it. Okay, let's head back to the trader. All right, let's scoop up these rewards. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go with the shotgun rounds there for sure. And, uh, yep, gonna have to just probably go with the Dukes, I suppose. Could do the ammo crafting bundle, but, um, yeah, let's do Dukes. Special jobs. Sure, gimme. And that's it for her. So we have to see if we can benefit a little bit more. Oh, we could get the main loot off the barn there. That's a real easy one. Okay, we'll have to consider that. But what I really want to do is... Airdrop, of course, yes, we're gonna do that, but there's this loot right in there, and I'm gonna try to get it. But first, we're gonna need Atom Junkies and Eye Candy for this. We're gonna swing in here again, and we gotta watch out, because those zombies did kind of spawn in and run after me, and I'm not sure exactly what the threshold is before they start doing that, but I don't want to trigger all the zombies in the POI, although I have a feeling that we will, probably. <laughs> uh, but what I wanna do is I wanna get in here, we know that there's a bear in there, right? So if I can blow the bear up and maybe kill some of the zombies that come with them in the process, we might be able to just snag this main loot. Oh no, I can't unlock that. So we'll just have to break in, I guess. Okay, <laughs> there he is. Right, and there are zombies also. I don't really know where they are from here, but I want that loot chest. So what we're gonna do is stack up some bombs over there. We're gonna take the, uh, the Atom Junkie as well. I'm not sure if that works for pipe bombs that are already on the ground, or if it's just the one that I light, though. I have no idea. But this is really our only chance to get the drop on the guy, right? All right, suck on that! Whoa! I killed him! And I caught everything on fire! Okay, get on the bike. Here we go. I feel like there's more zombies. Luckily, I think they're probably catching on fire. They should be on fire. I really hope that that box is fireproof. More zombies coming. Very good. Wow, we got it. It's just a matter of, I don't know. Is this, is this all flammable? What is this? It's wood. So you could have just gone in through this way, right? Am I onto something here? I didn't even know that. I thought this would have been cobble or something or, or cement to help prevent people from doing that, but I'm just gonna inch my ass in there and unlock this. Okay, that's unlocked. Eye candy in. This should be our best loot we've ever gotten. Come on. Okay, yeah, 
not not terrible. Nothing that we critically need, I guess, but sure. I won't say no to it. Oh, and that was the last one in that series. That was the the, the needle and thread series, and uh, I have nothing to drink. So if I catch fire, we are just completely screwed. And here come those zombies. Okay, they're all strung out. We might be able to just spear them down. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, we're doing we're doing fine here. That was a friggin' feral. That's why that was hard. Okay, and up and over, and got him. Extra loot. Nice. And he left me a goldenrod tea in case I catch on fire. Okay, we need the bear because we need the testosterone extract. I might have some of it, I think I do. But we will need some, uh, if we don't anyway, in order to make the cigar. Okay, that bookstore box almost burned out. Hop seed. Crap, where'd it go? I didn't get it. Crap, we gotta hurry here. Give me that stuff. And give me that before it all burns out. Okay, yes, I think we're good here. Whew, fire, fire, man. It is fun to play with some fire. Oh, and it's starting to collapse now, which means Screamers will be here any minute to see what's going on there. I want to check this vehicle, though. Look at that. Stun baton schematic, blade trap schematic. Lovely. You got to love those Mopower vans. Otherwise, is there anything good here that we need to maybe look into grabbing before we leave? I mean, we got to be careful because, you know, Screamers are definitely spawned in by now, but maybe check on this cement mixer, just harvest this up, a little bit of extra iron, springs, mechanical parks, iron, stuff like that. Yep, give me that, and I think now we're probably good. We'll just head over to the airdrop, get our last bit of loot for the day, and then head back. So tomorrow is strength day, that means mostly we'll be doing resource harvesting and construction tomorrow. Yeah, I can hear a screamer. She's on the other side of that building trying to potentially break into the building. So let's go to the airdrop. It's right over there. Okay, here we are. Interestingly, I think it landed on top of a cactus. <laughs> nice. Okay, get rid of him. And ooh, now I got a nice rock here to stand on. And yeah, we still have some time on the, um, the looting candy there. 500 cobblestone cubes. That's really not that bad, actually. I like that. It saves us a lot of resources, and we should be able to finish construction on the base with that. Oh, look, when we left the chunk, the, whoops, the fire stopped. Okay, so that's good to know that if you kind of leave the area and come back, it looks like the fire will just disappear. All right, well, Trader Gen just closed. I don't think I can get in there without breaking in. I can get into the compound, of course, but, oh, no, her door is open. So maybe if I left the door closed or, ooh. What if I was inside and I closed the door? Hello, <laughs> I think that would uh, probably lock me inside because you know how Trader Bob's door was closed and um, locked that one time when he was closed. But anyway, I want to see if I can get in here. Come on, Jen, let me back there. Because, uh, yeah, I want your stuff. I, <laughs> no shame here. Okay, we're in like Flynn. Let's see what we get. Great heist book, and that's for... Oh, you just, uh, you can fall from 15 meters if you're carrying 5,000 dukes or more, and an Ironbreaker mod schematic. Ooh, triple pocket mod, nice. And, uh, not much there. Gimme, and let's go home. Oh, jeez. I just speared him, and then my inventory cooked out some friggin', um, <laughs> brass into my spear slot. That's inconvenient, but... Let's have a look and see what the haul was for today. There's more stuff. All the sellables are there back at the chest by Jens, but quite an extensive haul for today so it's just time to get all of that stuff organized all right that will do it and let's check on everything here yes electric fence posts blade traps and i got some wood logs to do the like the wood log for the fuel trick like that so now we can finally get these i think these stick on their side don't they like if i put this down and i end up pulling that block on bottom that's not going to be an issue is it but although the reason I did that is because I think what I want to do, because I don't like those harsh angles, what I really just wanted to do was put a ramp in. So, yeah, I'll just do that right now. Just like that. So it's kind of like a canted style of ceiling. Upgrade these. Fences in. And then I think we're doing the same thing over here. They have to be kind of set into the ground a little bit. Although, I don't know what we're doing on this side to make it look better. I'm going to use some half cubes like this here. And that should block the, the bottom of the fence post. And uh, I don't know. We'll call it some... <laughs> we'll, we'll see what it looks like on the bottom. We'll replace it if we need to. And now we just have to hope that I can string these over. It's okay. That's far left to... Yes, I should... That gonna work? Yes, it works. 
Oh, but I'm doing it wrong. No, 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 no. These ones are cor incorrect. I need that one. Oh, this is this might not stretch far enough. Yep. Um. Uh oh. Crap. I, I feel like it. It could if I just knocked out this. Yep. I. I hope that'll work anyway. Okay. Survey says it connects. Nice. There we go. That's all three of them right there. Just barely reaches over. So that means that as zombies turn the corner here dogs, uh, spiders, any type of zombie, they're gonna get hung up on the fences right in this area right here, which should help us kind of, you know, weaken them and thin them out a little bit before they get up to the front of the fighting position. Just have to replicate the same thing on the other side and get them all powered up and we're good. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Hooray, it is strength day. Gotta be careful here, the generator is on and all these wires are hooked up here. So another thing that we have to do today, after we take the points into Minor 69er, is sort of, sort of reorganize things here. I wanna put the door up flush with the fighting position because I think that's gonna help us in terms of like, we could replace these with plates so that cops down below can't see us. We'll leave this one in the middle as a rail. I'm also gonna take this back one out and I'm gonna put a hatch in instead just because it has more hit points. But then the door will flush right up here. So we'll just have to sort of poke right through there and open or close it right from here if we have to. But remember, all the zombies are gonna be stun locked that are up in front of us, except for maybe the first one in the front. So anyway, we'll get to that a little bit later. I should have a whole bunch of stuff rolling in here from last night, if I remember. And there's a zombie outside. And I'm curious to see how this all works. So yes, it's Thomas. Come on over here, Thomas. Well, let's just take down the forget elixir while we're at it. That should draw in plenty of attention. Got a spider, coal, big mama. I've heard all three or four of them. Here we go. Oh, I think the spider tried to jump over. <laughs> Oh, this is really good for spears, because we can actually reach him way over there. Well, not quite, I guess. I guess when there's more than one of them, they'll probably push each other in. Let's see him. What are you gonna do, buddy? Oh, clever bastard. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, we got Thomas. Where'd Thomas go? You were the first one, Thomas, and the last. You dumbass. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that, Thomas. But you're still gonna have to die. Okay, let me get the tools and the skill point situation reoriented and I'll meet up with you in a little bit. All right, so I've just been sitting here getting a plan going for today. Look at this. We've got the quality five baseball bat. We've got a writable wooden sign, which we'll get into in just a second. We've got the cigar, which we learned how to make that, I think, yesterday or the day before. I'm working on some cooking pots to hopefully get one chemistry station crafted, and we'll have to collect some acid before we can get the second, but that'll just really help with gunpowder production, which is something that I do want to focus on today. So we're gonna have to go get some coal and some more nitrate powder, as well as a lot of small stone, because the last thing we need to craft is the crucible. We picked that up out of a hidden stash uh, yesterday or the day before, but we're just short on the small stone there. And that reminds me, we also probably do need some molotovs. Oh, there's the paint to make the... College jacket, finally. Nice. Let's get this modded up, and oh my goodness, it feels good to have the baseball bat again. It's my favorite weapon. It's just a little bit overused, so I typically try to go for something different in my playthroughs. Just kind of my style, I guess. So pop that cigar in, and we can scrap the bandana. Pop that college jacket on. Get that plus 10% run speed. It's by far the best jacket you can wear, although definitely not the best style I could go for at this point. Oh, by the way, yeah, take off that yellow dye there and put that onto the pistol. The yellow dye on weapons gives it a nice golden color, which I really, really like. Okay, time for this writable sign here. We'll get like the, the, the three meter sign variation. Oh geez, it's gonna be... A bit of an issue here. I gotta move some of this stuff here, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> there was a suggestion in one of the comments of the last video, or maybe the one before, that said we should do like um days since last fire. <laughs> and we'll say like, oh I don't know, it's been, let's say it's been like a week or so since um the the last horde where we had a fire, I guess. 
and start working on the chemistry station yet because that's going to take pretty much all day and so at the end of the day today we'll be able to work on a little bit of gunpowder and can i make like uh switches i can make switches so that is probably something we need to start getting a couple of i don't have the the recipe for relays unfortunately yet so we'll use the switches as a relay for now and we'll That'll be the mechanism for turning on and off the electric fences. Right, let's go do some mining. Okay, we're um, coming up on a spot where I thought there might be a coal node. Is it over here? But the <laughs> bubbles is right behind me. And there's this, yeah, the whole, the wasteland zombies are like bleeding over into this region. There is a coal node there. All right, let's get ready for a fight here. Whoa, hello. Oh, yep. Oh, jeez, I don't know where to swing first. There we go. Bubbles making a ripe old mess here. There we go. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm so rusty, it's embarrassing. Right, well, we need the wood anyway, so I'm gonna clear out this little forest area and then we'll dig down and get a whole bunch of coal. Okay, area looks clear. It's been quite a productive mining session there, but I think it's time to head back to the base. Looks like we got some visitors coming up on the base as well. Not anymore. Okay, we need to be fed, so let's jump up here and see if we can work on that a little bit. Also, we'll check while we're here and see. I did take a whole bunch of points into cooking, and so I wanted to see. Are these. Are they, do these burn? I wish pine seeds would burn. That would be kind of a good use of them. Now, anyway, just turn that on and let's see what we can get. So I took a lot of points because I want to be able to use things like, you know, make the champ chowder, make the hobo stew, stuff like that. Although, we are kind of trying to conserve the rotting flesh there. So in that case, I will just take the sham chowder because I feel like that's, it's it's my favorite food. It gives you really good hit points back. So we'll take those. And the rest into boiled meat. Oh, I can't wait for the day that we're not taking, uh, not, not doing the boiled meat stuff anymore. By the way, can I get some more water? How much snow do we have left? We have 17 snow left. Very convenient having the snow nearby. Get some extra mineral water. Yeah, just go ahead and eat those fish tacos. But you know what? I have so many, I have like, um, I don't know, like 500 jars right now. Let's have a look at the map and see where the nearest water source is. That's right down there. I'm going to jump down there and get some water. All right, here we are. Suck up some of this water here. Gotta say, I'm very interested in what the Alpha 21 water system is gonna look like, because they're taking out jars altogether, and that you're just gonna have, I don't know, you drink water out of your hand, and you have like a rain collector. I haven't really investigated it too much, but <laughs> it's certainly not been a very popular proposed change, so, you know, maybe they'll uh, take some time and sort of listen to community feedback. Not exactly sure, but uh, my friend of mine, Wayward Echo, made a video on, it's titled, Is This the End of Seven Days to Die? And in it, he talks a lot about like what the game needs before it goes gold. And he has a ton of excellent suggestions. I'll put the link down below if you want to watch that video. You definitely should. But uh, word was, he went to TwitchCon and he talked to Lathan, one of the senior developers on the game while he was there. And uh, apparently, basically all of the developers watched that video. So you should watch that video too and just get an idea of like what the community wants versus what the devs might want. And um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens with the whole, all these like proposed changes that just have not really, really been that popular with us, the community. Okay, so the chemistry station is done. We finally slapped that, that down. I, fe I felt like at first we were not making very good progress, but then very quickly, I feel like we've been making some excellent progress here recently. So we should be able to just fire this up with some ladder frames and gunpowder. How are we looking there? Not, not terrible, honestly, but now we need the nitrate powder. And while we're down there, I think we'll set, I'm settled on this now. I think we can um, upgrade. Ooh, a loot bag. I forgot all about that. You know, I was like watching myself edit the last video and I was like, did I ever get that loot bag? <laughs> uh, that was from like a long time ago, but I have a mod called longer loot bags. And so we shouldn't have to worry about loot bags despawning. It's going to take 24 full in-game hours, which is one hour of real time for them to despawn. And that would be if I'm on this chunk and this chunk is loaded. So even though that was a couple of days ago, uh, it was still there, which I like that. You know, I don't think loot bags should despawn. You shouldn't be punished for not being able to get to it in time. All 
All right, that's all straightened out. I'm just gonna get this upgraded. This is the final form right here. This is just gonna spiral all the way down. And I really hope that eventually, especially with the auger, I'll be able to dig this all the way down to bedrock. I'll harvest up all the resources, but once we get down to the stone layer, I guess it'll be up in the air if we just want to like slowly mine all the way down or if we just go all the way to bedrock, undermine it and collapse the rest. But anyway, let's see what we can do here. Oh, we got a screamer here. Yeah. Oh, no, not good. Where'd she go? There she is. Oh man, that was close. Did she scream? I heard a zombie running up and I was like, uh oh, horde. Speaking of horde though, I haven't seen a horde in like mm, 48 hours or so in game. Hopefully we're just getting lucky and they're kind of like spawning and then, you know, running off into the distance in the wrong direction. Okay, I should have gotten, yeah, several thousand nitrate powder. I think that will do. Let's just get some more iron, I suppose. We need the iron so that we can make the crucible anyway. Um, yeah, because we'll need some more forged iron to replace the forged iron that that's going to require. And we will also need a whole bunch for steel. Okay, I think that will probably do it. Unfortunately, it, I'm discovering that the majority of what's down here is lead, which we need, of course, but we don't really need that much of it, and we don't need it right now. But there's not much I can do about that. Repair my axe. And what I discovered is that if this is going to look... The best way to make this um, happen here with the support columns is to match this side with that side. Now, uh, just bow over there. Now, this side is five wide between these two like columns here, and this one is four wide in this one here, and so that's just not going to do. So we're going to have to push this support column, this whole wing out on both sides by one, which means there's something like, oh, I don't know, probably like a hundred blocks that we have to knock out here. So it's best to do this on strength day where we have minor 69ers, so let's just get to it. Okay, that's finally it. I got beat up a little bit by some zombie. I also saw a cop and the cop spit at me and hit this wall and it did not catch on fire, which is kind of strange. I did think that cop spit caused fires the same way that like bubbles caused fires, but I'll just have to check into the mod settings and see if that's uh, something that I might have ticked off or something. I did also sprain a leg that was jumping out of the side of the building. So note to self, you can't jump out the side of the building. If, if, if I put like 5,000 dukes in my pocket, then I can jump outside. Anyway, so uh, we're all set on remodeling. I think all we really need to do for tonight and into tomorrow is, uh, well, I'll get the crucible crafted here in just a second, but I, uh, I want to just do some building basically. Okay, let's see if I can get that crucible. I certainly can. Can I get two? Nope, not quite. So just one will do. Ooh, switches too. Yes, that's going to be handy because I need to put a switch on, uh, well, should I just have like one for each side? Does that kind of make some sense to do that like that? Just have these individually linked up. Okay, that works. And then that way I can probably maybe get some lights. Well, I could do spotlights, which we will need, but I was thinking more like some like interior lighting, but uh, we'll have to, yeah, that's what we need to do. We need to go to a friggin' Mo Power shop and get all these like electricity schematics and stuff like that. You know, alternatively, we could just wait until intellect day and get everything crafted then. Okay, so I'd like to get started here on the causeway and we're gonna have to work on supports down below. Uh, and we're gonna have to move these doors like we were talking about before. I think the easiest way to probably to do that is just knock this off. Yep, and that goes right down to the bottom. Good deal. So now the door can go just on phase, just like so, which means that it'll be connected to that block that's kind of like right underneath the fighting position, which we could easily upgrade if needed. So just upgrade that, and then, uh, whoop, who we got here? Bo, get out of here, Bo. 
right in the nuts. Yeah, so now I can just, oh, you know what's gonna be a huge issue that I just thought of is that we put those plates on the top and they all need to come off now, damn it. Because the blade traps are gonna go on the, on the foot level, the ground level, so uh, these would interfere ultimately with that. Oh crap, well, we gotta do it now before we take the forget the elixir and lose minor 69er. Woo, finally, damn, that took a while. So, all right, I'm gonna put this on here, make like a T formation here at the end, and then I think we'll just get some wedge 60s and kind of taper it so it looks a little bit better, just like so. Then the 60 tips, copy rotation, copy rotation, just like that, and that way they're kind of, they're gonna sort of oop, angle their way over. I thought I heard something there for a second. All right, that's that. So the other thing. Yeah, I think what I wanna do is, um, okay, so this is the final form for that. And you know how we're doing the little like, the triangle thing on the other side, not the triangle thing, but you know, this like protrusion here. I'm gonna replicate that on the inside here as well, like right here, just on face, just like that. Pull up my ladder system here. And I'm th I think that that will be okay. Let's go check up top. Yeah, so that's not going to interfere with where the blade traps will go. And speaking of that, where are the blade traps going to go? Oh my goodness, there's a horde right there. A dog horde. Oh boy. Is it just dogs? Was that it? Wow, that's luck. Oh, oh, there's more. There's more dogs. Okay, I'm gonna just get inside and get a look at things. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got two, three... Four, five over there, and I think six, seven. And I think at least four of them kept on running. Oh, dangerous hordes. I like it. Yeah, I don't want to be caught on ground level with all these guys around. I do need the bones though, so I don't, I don't mind if I just bring these guys right over here. In fact, can the rest of you hear these gunshots? Or feel them, either way I suppose works. And uh oh, that door's open. No, no, no. Was that all of them? I didn't feel like all of them. And yep, one more there. Get a little sneak attack on him. That didn't give me a sneak attack? What? Okay, well, it's morning then, which means we gotta go get our forgetting elixir and uh, we'll harvest these the guys up in just a second. Whoop, one more over there. Yeah, what I could do here is I could take some points into, <laughs> what was that called, the Huntsman? I almost said the Peltsman, because I was reading Pelter here. <laughs> yeah, we'll take some points into the Peltsman here, and uh, we'll get a little bit more bone and leather out of these guys. Okay, we're getting Elixir in, and quickly get my weapon changed over. Unfortunately, I just don't have a whole lot of mods that will uh, go on to the Nux here. I can only put two on anyway. I guess I got this tempered... Oh, I can't do the tempered blade with the weighted head. My goodness. Okay, well... Alternatively, just put the wood splitter mod on it then, because that makes a whole lot more sense, right? Well, if it fits, it sits, so put the rest of these mods away, I suppose. Well, I'll take... Yeah, no, I'll just put those in the fire axe, I guess. Nice. It's always been curious to me why the dye only colors the right knuckle, but yeah, whatever. Oh, you can even, like, just uh, harvest these animals with these, but first, let's take those points. Okay, so there's what I've done. This time, not maxing out Fortitude, but taking a little, like a smattering of points into everything, because I feel like Fortitude just has a lot of good perks that it's good to take a couple points into. Pain Tolerance, Healing Factor. Healing Factor maybe not the best, because it actually saps your health, uh, your, your food bar a little bit more quickly, which a lot of people don't know. It doesn't actually tell you that. Uh-oh. <laughs> more dogs angry about me harvesting up their dog friends. Excuse me. Jesus, a whole bunch more over here. I thought I brought all of you back over. It's a freaking massive horde, wasn't it? Well, we're specced into machine guns, so let's see if we can benefit from that a little bit. Not really. Whoa, ow. Come on, bring it on. Yeah, I suppose we don't need the hunting knife with us today. That's something that we could just put away. One despawned, lost it. Well, anyway, while I'm here, I'll just set up this little support piece right here. All right, just 
slurping down some of that sham chowder. And I think it's probably time to come up here and see if yes, 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 all of this is done. Nice. Oh, another thing we need to do real quick is see if we can make some coffee seeds to replace some of these with. Yeah, we need coffee. We really, really, really need coffee. Why is the coffee in that box? I don't have enough coffee beans to make a coffee seed. That's a bummer, right? Coffee seeds. Yeah, five beans. Dang it. Well, at least we can get. Oh, look at the harvest. Look at the potatoes. Oh, we're going to be eating good next week. Fortunately, doesn't help us one bit here with uh, without strength day. And uh, yes, we got a bad roll on that one. We only got three of the seeds back. I suppose we can craft uh, two more seeds. That leaves us with a surplus of 37 potatoes. I'd say we're doing pretty good there. Pop those in and then this row will be for corn. One, two, three, four of those. I, I guess the rest will just go into potatoes. We'll do corn over here. And we'll, can I just get like five more potatoes? Oh, that, that really, no, 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 that's not, yes, I need 22 potatoes just for cooking alone. Okay, that'll do. Whoops, that drew in some attention. Let's get on the ground level and fight. All right, show me what you got. Oh, that's right, our running power attacks do more damage. So if we can sprint and then like punch someone directly in the face, might be able to knock them out in one shot. All right, I keep getting distracted. What we're trying to do here is, or what I want to do here today is build like the, the, I don't know what you call this. A corridor system, I suppose. Okay, so that gives us a little bit of a sense for what it's gonna look like going down here. I'm imagining these being like ribs kind of that come up and over maybe. Uh, the other thing I wanna do is I want to kind of close this in. It's not gonna be completely closed in because I wanna put lights on the roof and I want the light to shine through, like for example, during Horde Night. But for the most part, I'm just gonna put like, sort of a canted, I don't know what you'd call this, like a, a border, I guess. And then this here, correct, is gonna go directly across. It's gonna be like uh, the support beam that the pipes that hang the blade traps come off of. They're gonna come directly off of that. And I think they're going to come directly off of this one here, perhaps? I don't know, we'll get there in just a second. Finish this one off and same thing like this. Just put these fancy shapes in here to close off the edges. Just like that and maybe like um, a security gate or bars or something on the top there eventually. Okay, are we doing the same thing all the way down like this? Suppose we could. Okay, time to just get the regular shapes out and make sure that I'm planning this out properly. Okay, is the first blade trap gonna go there? Does that make sense? I feel like that's a pretty good spot. And then the second one, see, can't go here, can't go here. It would have to go here, but on this side. And then there. Okay, let's like double check to confirm. Ooh, that actually, did that line up perfectly? Oh yes, because it's on the inside ramp piece on this side and on the inside ramp piece on this side. And I think that'll that'll allow us to put the the three bottom blade traps in there. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. I like it. Okay, but now we've got to sort out how to do the top blade traps. Right. This is going to go in just like so, I think. And that's gonna go straight to the top. Okay, I think eh, I think that'll be good. Yeah, looking good so far. Okay, and then this is going to uh, okay, it's gonna have to, yes, come directly off of this. Okay, is this the, is this the right configuration, right? Okay, that's the middle, we want that one and that one. Okay, so far so good. Now we just gotta like curve it down the line this way and then there's gonna be like the last pieces will link directly up with that one, I think. Of course I should be building this out of like wood shapes, right? <laughs> um, Pretty sure this is gonna work out. Just trust me on that one. Then again, this is where it gets tricky because I don't want the blade, I want them to be staggered. So, whoops, how about like um, that? So it's gonna be like low blade trap, high blade trap. And then it's gonna be like low blade trap, high, um, low blade trap, high like this. I think we're getting somewhere here, which means we need a connector there. Then bring that straight across, and then this one just goes straight across like that. 
Okay, how does that look? Not bad, so I can just see the zombies coming straight down this corridor here, getting shot by dart traps, getting chopped up by blade traps, turning the corner and getting shocked up by electric fences. Okay, so the shape I need here is the ramp corner filler, and that's gonna go in there just like so. That looks good. I'm not sure exactly what shape I need. I need the same shape for that one. And we're pretty much good here. I mean, we've got a lot of work left to do, but that's the framework right there. So six total blade traps. Now we gotta go inside though and figure out what the hell's going on here because of course, you know, we don't need that anymore. And one could argue that, um, I don't know, how are we gonna make this look good here? So those are pretty much set in stone. I don't think that I could string those out any further down here. So if there's a blade trap, the question is, I really only need one window, like right here in the middle, right? And I could take these out because from this one window here, I should be able to hit all of the blade traps, at least on this side with a repair gun, which means uh, I could essentially kind of do something like this and kind of seal up this window space and like, like that. That's going to be like our repair window and then seal that off. How does that look? Just that one little skinny window there because we don't, of, of course we don't want cops well, then again, if cops are not catching things on fire, it's not as big of an issue. But yeah, we don't want cops spitting in this direction anyway because there's sensitive electronics here, even though they are seemingly pretty well guarded there. And then, yeah, we'll have to work on the exterior pieces here a little bit uh, at some point, although these need to be chopped out, I think. There we go. Yeah, sort of to be determined on how we're going to do this wall, that wall, and I believe the ceiling will need to be just like a regular cube shape because any other way you cut it, it's not going to flush up very well with this um, shielding wall here unless we did, um, uh, well, I'm going to leave an opening there, at least for now, but we could do, this might look a little bit good. Let's just, uh, let's try that out of these shapes, like a little vaulted kind of ceiling right there. I like that. Let's do that just to kind of break up the monotony, right? Just like so. And we have a little like vaulted fighting ceiling area. Okay, just gotta do the same thing on the other side and I hope, hopefully we won't have to restring these up at all, ever, because they're not gonna get completely destroyed. They might get degraded, but overall shouldn't be too much of an issue. Alrighty, we should be all set over here and we should be all set over here for the most part. Let's just make sure that uh, we've done all of the busy work here at the base and then we're gonna head out. Ooh, yes, Crucible. Get some steel production going before we leave. Yeah, get everything ready and then I'll meet you over in town there and we'll see if we can find a Mo Power place. Just trying out that new sprinting power attack thing and I don't notice any significant difference, but um, you know, it is what it is. It, it says it's gonna be doing more, so I believe it. That's just an identical pair of padded legs, which I should be able to get repaired up now. Sell that later. And the reason there's a fence in the road and a tree growing in the asphalt here is because this is a custom made map in a custom drawn road. And so the game has a hard time kind of figuring out what you're doing there. So it still put like the randomly generated stuff in. But when I drew that road in, it just kind of went underneath all the materials that were there previously. Which when I reflect back at the, uh, the hospital where there was um, that buried treasure that was underneath the ER, I think that's more my fault than anything because I manually placed in all of the tier fives on this map, all the tier five quests. And that's why if we look at the map, you can see there's a Shaka Messiah factory there. That's because there was only like three tier fives that generated on this map originally. And I thought that if this series goes into the late game, we're gonna want some more variety. So I made sure that every single city, all four of them had all, I think there's seven, uh, it, 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 they had at least five of the seven uh, tier five quests and I just kind of randomly plopped them in. Oh, freaking snake there, look out for that. Yeah, I just randomly dropped them in like anywhere. So I think where I put the hospital, it was supposed to be like wilderness where there could be a buried treasure, for example. But ultimately um, the game sort of just happened to generate it right where I had put that hospital. And so we want to go downtown here and I think we're pretty much there. Yeah, here we go, entering the downtown district. And I probably should be stopping to like check these mailboxes and stuff to see if we can get some more books. But uh, I think we're past the game stage where we're guaranteed or like more or less guaranteed to get one of like the, um, the archery books or something. 
get out of here, Lois or Karen or whatever we're calling you these days. Still haven't decided. <laughs> uh, whatever comes out naturally here eventually is what we'll use. And we got some motor tool parts. But yeah, there's got to be a freaking Mo Power place around here somewhere. In fact, we really don't want to be in the downtown area. We want to be in the industrial area, right? Okay, just don't fall in the pit. Don't fall in the pit. There we go. Good job. Oh yeah, there's a bookstore there. The, uh... The nice cathedral there, a la the Darkness Falls series. What does that look like? That's a cop down there, but it, uh, that does look industrial down there. Let's head down here. Get out of the way, fat boy. Thought that didn't work at all. Whoa! Was that a feral cop? And that's why there's like multiple spit bombs? Uh-oh. Oh, no, I was wrong. This is definitely just like more residential. Maybe if we hook a right and go down here? A church next to a cathedral. Interesting. Jeez. Ah, here we go. We're getting into the industrial district down here. I don't even know specifically what I'm looking for. I mean, surely there's a, like, dedicated Mo Power place around somewhere, right? <gasps> Ooh, savage country, though. That might be nice to get us some decent-looking clothing. Oh, yes, I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the little Mo Power shop. Where the hell is that place? Oh, yeah, here. Here we go. There's the apartments. That's uh, another POI that I sort of custom dropped in there. Aha! Ooh. Whoa! Crap! Coyote! Yikes! Okay, there's a Mo Power. I think this is a remnant, but I think there are some Mo Power boxes in here, so we're gonna find out. Mo Power van and a working stiff tool van over there as well. Yep, let's do this place. Quickly now, quickly now. Oh, that was good. That was a dart trap schematic and some sort of a tech junkie book. I'll check that out in just a second. That was. Crafting robotic turret shells, shotgun shells, that is, and the schematic for the dart trap. Not too bad. Off to a good start here. I need switches, though. Uh, not switches, relays. I need relays, and I need the power drawbridge door, ideally. Whoa, Coyote. He's, did you chase me all the way over here, you son of a bitch? Uh, yeah, just a remnant here, so I don't expect to find a whole lot, but you never know. Oh, jeez, there's zombies in here. <laughs> Uh, I forgot about that part. Let's just head outside. I think when I got hit there, like, I think I get some kind of a buff when I get hit. I don't really remember from the Bar Brawling series. Sprinting power attack. Yeah. Oh, got sprinted right into a friggin' hit. Yikes. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stop trying to be fancy here and just machine gun these guys. Trying to harvest these up wherever I can because I'm getting the extra aloe vera so we can make that into bandages in a couple days. Okay, lots of electrical parts presumably in this place. Ooh, some uh, stuff back there. What's in there? How do I get back there? Oh, a ladder going down. Okay, that answers that question. Yeah, there's just such a high population of zombies back here. It's- oh my god. Very distracting. Hello? Ooh, feral. Oh, one shot kill. Nice. And a shotgun choke. All that for that. Really not worth it. It is a good mod to have, though, and I don't think I had one. So if we could just finally find a shotgun, that'd be great. Okay, second level here, and please have coffee grounds. Yes, we can finally get a coffee seed. Isn't this where we want to be? Is it down there? No, no, no. We want to be in that room there. How do I get... Oh, right here. Good morning. Ah! Whoa, your buddy snuck up behind me. Oh, geez, no stamina. That's kind of the problem here. Stamina, always a problem. Oh, very nice there. Yep, let's top off. Yes, it's a Mo Power box, box here, and uh, not what we're looking for. This is just a cardboard box. Of course, not what we're looking for there. We press on. There might be, like, some type of a mini main loot here somewhere. Why is that locked? Let me back there. What's in here? Oh, this is just where we came from. Ah! Whoa, geez. Finally got the drop on one, and one's trying to get the drop on me. Oh, another blade trap schematic. Continuing right along here. Whoa, hello! Hey, nice. Check on that. Not too bad. Oh, I just saw something in the window there. Another Mo Power Box. Nice. Exactly what we want. And another one here as well. Oh, here we go. Yes. Shotgun turret schematic. Battery bank schematic. Nice. 
Not what I'm looking for, but I'm not complaining anyway, and I'm super encumbered. That's an issue. Okay, what do we got out here? Oh, zombies. Oh, lots of them. Get the abrasion. No, get back. Okay, no stamina. There we go. So we got the machine gunner perk for. Oh, no, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, that could have been super painful. Ow. Aha, here we go. And there was that, oh, this is a tier two. Wow, I didn't realize that. Kind of makes sense how, why there was so many zombies here. Batter up book here. Bats and clubs degrade slower. We'll take that. Okay, super encumbered now and hungry. We need to figure out if the, yes, here we go. Another fire extinguisher there. That would be a tier six, which I'll just sell, I think. And what do we get out of this last box here? Robotic drone cargo mod schematic. Okay, and this one? A whole generator, which is weird. Like, I felt like I never had that until this series, and then I've had it twice now. Ah, I see, and that's just a, a mattress for you to jump down on to get out of here. Okay, well, I suppose we can kind of poke around on the way back and see if we can find the little Mopower store, or perhaps some more Mopower vans. That'd be just as good, probably. I think what we're really looking for here is not the industrial, not the downtown, but the commercial district. Oh, good find there, I got a bellows. Okay, I'm just rolling through the downtown area and unfortunately have not found anything particularly interesting around here. Mm, lots of cool places that I'd like to raid someday, but uh, not anything that I think would have- Whoa, don't go down there. Not anything that I think would have like mo power type of stuff in it, which is okay. I'm sure we can get to that stuff eventually. Oh yeah, see, risky business going around here with the mini bike. <laughs> no thanks. Ah, whoa, 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 here we go. That's a mo power shop right there and it's basically nightfall here in the downtown area. Super duper dangerous, but might be able to just like smack my way in there really quickly. Yes, 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 let me in there. Oh, I know this POI too, and this is a dangerous spot. Oh! Not gonna be any easier. Oop, got a skill point there. Got a fire extinguisher there. And officially nightfall. Nope, these damn shelves have nothing on them. Crap, was this place here? Okay, if I get pinned in here, I'm totally boned, so maybe just poke my head in the back, turn the light out for a second. Super duper lag, okay, there we go. We got a mo power box. Check on this, got a tech junkie book there. Uh, robots and stumbatons degrade 20% slower, but otherwise I think I've pushed my luck far enough, so let's get out of here. Oh, there we go, feral fucking white. Yes, we're leaving, ow, oh boy. It's downtown and it's the desert. Look, there's like a, basically a horde of zombies there. Six friggin' zombies just lurking outside for me on nightmare speed. And half a dozen more over here. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, hops. Hops, we need hops. Oh, there's stupid zombies chasing me around though. And it's a biker. Do I dare to do this? Not really when I'm hungry. Ow, fucking coyote too. Okay, I think I lost him. Yeah, yeah, we need to get some hops so we can make hop seeds. And now is the only time to harvest these and we get the harvesting bonus. Who's that? Wow, fucking boars. Here, we got a silenced gun. We can use that. Where do you think you're going? Get back here. Okay, I've got all the hops out of here. Something like 30 or more potentially. Just being super careful because there's a feral businessman over there and there's a coyote close by as well. If there's anything else productive here at this farm, I will have it. Potato. Oh, lots of potatoes. Man, this is like the best farm in the game. It's got hops, corn, potatoes. It's got some yucca in it as well. That might just be the desert portion of it though. And some of these uh, aloe vera plants as well. Okay, last corn. I think I'm content. Let's get out of here now. Hello everyone. Goodbye. Home sweet home. And uh, before I forget here, someone had an excellent suggestion that we put some boxes in the floor so that when we're in the garage down below, we can empty out our vehicles faster and transfer them into the main storages. I think the suggestion was to put all of the storages in the ground, but where I've already put them up there, I think I'm okay with just putting them down here, perhaps. This will be like our dump chest system right here. Just like that, and then we'll get some storages. The writable storages, of course, so that we can write down what's inside. And uh, no, we can't do that because we don't have the nails. Crap, now we can do it. 
Oh, buddy. <laughs> I need to open that. Or I, yeah, I opened that door so that we could just fight on one side over here. And Bo was unable to calculate the change of direction in time and went cascading down into the mine. Come here, buddy. Whoa. Whoops. Bit of a lag spike there. Where are you going? He's having a hard time calculating today. Come back here, Bo. Did you go all the way around? Where, where are you? Jesus Christ, man. Snap out of it. What is wrong with you? Ow. <laughs> no. I earned that one. I'm bleeding. No. Okay. Suture that up and we're just good as new. Okay. Part of the issue, I think, is that I'm encumbered. So let's start working on this stuff. Get all this stuff put away and organized. And so with this new system, should be able to just empty this out and go jump and dump that in. Get the rest and head up. Yeah, that works out good. I like that. Thank you for the suggestions. Keep them coming. And before I forget, get that coffee seed. We absolutely, absolutely need that so that next Fortitude Day, we can harvest this and hopefully get the, the whole production line going on coffee. And uh, actually, let's do the hop seeds as well. I can get six of those. Seems a little excessive. How about the farm plots though? We can probably get some more of those by now. Oh yeah, here we go. Do I need 21? <laughs> yes. And of course, hungry again. However, before we left today, I just made up a whole bunch of steak and potatoes because we found the recipe for that, so we don't need to be on strength day to make it. And I think that's perfect because, look, steak and potato takes mushroom, potato, animal fat, raw meat. Super easy to make, giving us 50 food a pop. Yep, I like that a lot. Probably won't have to worry so much about food and stuff like that anymore. And now that basically all of our iron has smelted into the forge and we just put the bellows in for increased smelting speed, we can now try to crank out as much of this forged steel as we can, 156 of it. Very nice. And I would say probably the number one thing that I want to get would be the motorcycle, which will be the day that that'll be in the next episode. So the day after tomorrow, we'll have agility day tomorrow and then intellect day and we'll see if we have enough steel then to make this. Otherwise, yes, we have plenty of material for the chassis and the handlebars will require nothing that we don't already have except for duct tape. So in order to prepare for that, let's just get some glue rolling here on the fire. No, 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 not in here. We have the chem station now, so we get an efficiency bonus by doing it over here. Glue, 137. Yes. Okay, extra farm plots. I don't know if I'm gonna leave them in this orientation yet, cause I'm thinking we got we, we need to have a landing strip. What are you doing here, Spider-Man? Okay, the last time I jumped down there was okay. I'm just gonna jump on his butt. Oh, geez. Yeah, we're good. Also, we should have plenty of concrete mix. We can finally get this upgraded here. Yeah, we got three more just like that and put in these new hop seeds that we got. But it looks like the sun is rising. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And it's Trader Day today. Yes, nine plus one is 10, 10 minus one is nine, nine is divisible by three. That's a trick I use, take it or leave it. <laughs> I don't know if it helps anyone else or not, but it works in my mind. So, okay, let's check here on the forge. So today is Trader Day, but uh, tomorrow is Intellect Day. So let's go ahead and just take down the elixir here and get into position to defend ourselves and just real quickly, I'm gonna just do 10 into agility and max out deep cuts and definitely max out gunslinger. Whoa, hello, good morning. Oh, we have a lot of company coming in today. Come one, come all. Nice. I really like agility. Agility is probably my favorite play style, even though I do love strength a lot and I think strength is necessary. Okay, let's see here. Let's, uh, let me just spend these real quick. And two into parkour. I find that two into parkour is enough. I love having four into parkour, but not entirely necessary. I think two gives you plenty of jumping ability as long as you can jump to where zombies can't get to you. 
Uh, you're playing agility right. Okay, lock up the inventory. Inventory lock slot mod is basically a must-have for me. And right, it's trader day. I'm not going to do the trader sell-off, though, until tomorrow when we have... Um, uh, what's it called? Better barter. So, but what we will do today, since we have, um, I feel like agility is a good combat and quest, you know, building, clearing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's a, it's a good loadout. It's a good way to do some quests. So we'll head over and we'll see what Jen has for quests this morning. And uh, yes, I'm bringing this stuff with me so I can just drop it over at Jen's just uh, to, you know, simplify things. I don't know. It makes sense to me. Store it all at her place. Pick up a little bit of loot on the way. So I will meet you there. Look at that. I love it when you find the padded leg armor and you can just repair it immediately. All right, we made it. And I was just clearing trash along the way and I got my inventory all clogged up with a bunch of crap here. So let me just get this a little bit organized. And then if I'm correct, yes, all of my other stuff. Oh my God, potato seeds. How did I miss those? <laughs> bring those in and bring in the coffee, I guess. And the rest of that can just stay in here for another time tomorrow that is oh also i found that bicycle chassis schematic but we don't need that we don't need a bicycle chassis for anything we might need a bicycle handlebar for something in the future like an auger but uh, right now not a big deal okay so we got eye candy uh we got no money hang on <laughs> show me the money we should just have that on the inventory anyway because it increases our fall distance by 15 meters you can fall 15 meters which is probably about the height of that building, you can fall that distance without taking any damage, and then after that, it starts calculating things like, you know, are you lucky? Do you have impact bracing mods in, etc. Parkour, all that stuff. Oh, speaking of parkour, yes, I can just jump over the rail. I love that part. We've got the Hello, part Jenny. I should probably be putting my um, my stuff inside here, but that's okay. I just wanted to see what you had in your inventory. I don't even think I'll take a job from her today. I'd rather do something, you know, different, tier three maybe. Maybe look for some more Mo Powers. Oh, she's got a beer recipe. She's got a Dubsy, which I really wouldn't mind having. We need some type of a shotgun. Oh, batter up book. Ooh, for the steel clubs. And that's good too, because I think I have some steel club parts. Night Stalker book. And yeah, nothing game changing oh, here, but we'll be back for that tomorrow. Okay, where, is that a horde? We got zombies running all around. No, I think that's just zombies that uh, detected the sound of me being nearby. Try out our skills. They are good, aren't they? Yep. Agility is not going to be too bad. All right, let's head into town. See, look, this is what the fun pimps can do in terms of, like, a burned out house. It'd be so cool if they could add a fire mechanic that, like, you know, instead of just outright destroying the blocks, it replaced them with these blocks at, at some point, And maybe there's, like, a random chance that the fire kind of... Whoa! Freaking safe there. Nice. You know what I mean, though? Just to, to to make fire, like, actually a real thing. I think it adds a lot to the game. I've had a ton of fun with it so far. Oh, and while I'm uh, thinking about it, I did go into some game settings. It turns out the fire extinguisher mod that I had installed after I started the series, that is what turned off cop vomit. Whoa, steel tool schematic. Wow, that's a good find. Read that immediately. Yeah, so when I installed the, um, the fire extinguisher mod, that ended up turning off cop spit setting stuff on fire but I, I went ahead and I changed that back so now cops and mutated zombies both why is there a soldier here wow goodness uh well, they both will cause fires okay we're heading into the downtown I'd like to do like a tier three maybe a tier four what time is it anyway it is 9 21 so it's still early oh whoa oh power Hey, 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 let's check this place out then. It doesn't look like a, a real Mo Power. You know what I mean? It's just like a, just like an all busted up one. Can't hurt to just poke around here. Well, it certainly could hurt, but <laughs> I think we'll make it. Yeah, yeah, this is not the kind of Mo Power that we really want. Is there anything back there or back here though? <laughs> Who's back here? I hear a zombie falling down and stuff. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Keep that. Probably just a construction box here. Yep. Oh, some steel though, I'll take that. And we still have to save up on the cobble. So yeah, no, no Mo Power Box back here, huh? Yep, yep, nothing back here. What about up here? Nah, nah, I'm getting sucked down the rabbit hole now. Let's get out of here. Oh, get a vending machine here. Working too, nice. And I'll take that sugar butt for tomorrow. Should I stock up on beer though? I feel like we should have a couple of those for 
uh, Fortitude Day. And let me just pull up the map and mark this in case we're back here in the future. Vending machine. We will be back. How about those skills right there? Ah, not worth it. Oh, a couple dogs back there too. Yikes. Okay, looks like we're kind of entering into the commercial district. You know, because there's multiple different types of tiles that you can be on. And this is... Ooh, a crack book. Oh, there's the power down there. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Okay, we could do the crack book right after... See if we can get any good books out of that. All right, this is the place right here. And uh, there's a vending machine over there. Oh, let's see, if we, let's see if we can take out this biker. I'm a little bit scared. Ow. Whoa, buddy. There we go. Followed by Skateboarder Boy. Eat that. Right, vending machine. Yeah, we can do the eye candy and we can hit up both of these, except this one is broken. Oh my goodness, another crack book over there. Whoa triple header well we'll start here is this the good one by the way this is the good one this is the big one cop oh shit don't let him set stuff on fire do not let him set stuff on fire oh he set stuff on fire you son of a bitch no 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 what did you light on fire he's on fire too yikes okay look out look out look out yeah ah oh no he's gonna blow Jeez. okay he's down let's just sneak in here is this? Oh, the the glass. I think that's the glass that's on fire there. A little bit anticlimactic, but we don't really want raging fires in here anyway. And yeah, a lot of it is wood, in fact. There it goes, burnt out. Oh, fire extinguisher right there. We'll just carry that with us from now on. Yes, yes. Ooh, this is what we want right here. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna save the main loots because there's no way I can just go through and get all of these accessory loots. I'll forget where they are, we'll miss stuff, so we'll just loot everything. We'll save the main loot stuff for the eye candy at the end. Not bad. Jeez, all kinds of people wandering up on me. It's the fourth zombie. Whoa! Airdrop coming in. Let's pull up the map and mark that before we lose it. Aha, there it is. I had a hard time seeing it there, but it's right there by that little pond. This is why we mark these things. Oh, this is like a salvage operations wet dream in here right now. All the electronics parts and iron and stuff you can get out of here. Ooh, that's a working vending machine. Very nice. I suppose I might need something to drink a little bit later. Whoa, all these zombies just sleeping in here this whole time? What I like most about this place is that all of these TVs just have electrical parts in them and I don't really need that many electrical parts because like in Darkness Falls and Undead Legacy, the what I've been basically playing for the last six months, you have to take the time to like either harvest or uh, pick all of these things up and it's just tedious. It's nice to just be able to ignore some shit once in a while. Oh, hello. Ah yes, all in the boxes in here, aren't they? Hello? Whoa, hello. Yikes. Look, look at the reflexes on me, huh? <laughs> hello. Oh, there you are. Whoa. Oh, crap. Yep, gun time. Luckily, the spider has no idea what the hell he's doing. Yes, and we are here to the main loot. Ow. Oh, crap. Oh, that's a Mo Power box right there. Interesting. We'll try to remember that. All right. We'll try to remember all of this stuff. I mean, not that it's difficult. Yep. So anyway, we'll just head out to the next POI, the crack book next door, clear that, and then we're one step closer to doing the big loot up. <laughs> oh, in the knee. Nice. Yeah, I can see the inventory becoming an issue as well, but we'll deal with that when it comes. Okay, now we're in here. Let's just go ahead and take coffee here. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Not you, buddy. Just take him out. Burning up all my books. No way. I'm surprised that didn't attract any more attention. Aha, dynamite schematic. Ooh, a mining book. Oh, for the lanterns. Nice. Lanterns are a great heat 
free light source. Don't have to worry about screamer zombies or anything like that with those. Oh, cement mixer schematic. Oh yes, this is, I, I was thinking there was a, a roof portion where zombies would fall in. Just kind of waiting for it to trigger. Ooh, the gas can recipe, that's a good one. Okay, what's this, like the boss fight up here? Get some coffee into me. Oh yes, this place. Got a cop and looks like he wants to spit. Come on out here, buddy. Oh, you bastard. Janky motherfucker, get out of here. Lois. I think I've decided on Lois for her and we'll call the screamer Karen from now on. There's been some good uh, justification for that in some of the comments recently. And what are we dealing with in here? Dog, right? Dog, dogs, one. Okay, just a nice little tier two loot room here. Just open these boxes. We'll save everything for just a second here. I got a bird outside. Where the hell is he going? Come back here. Okay, so that's number one and number two done. We are on to number three, which is that last crack a book down there. I'm just gonna put, uh, can I? I can't quite jump up there, but if I just put that there, easy peasy. All right, it is getting kind of late here, so if I could just run through here. Is this, a, is this the tier three one as well? Not sure, but I am gonna do the technique where we just kind of run it real quick. Gather up everybody, bring them outside. Okay, all clear, almost all clear. You son of a bitch, get out of here. Okay, I'm just gonna like lightning loot this place. Hasn't someone told me here before that there's a hidden stash somewhere that I've never been able to find? I think that there, uh, is there a hidden stash back here anywhere? Anybody see a hidden stash? I don't know, I probably missed it or that or I'm just kind of hallucinating. All right, bit of a fight on our hands out here, I think. Oh, friggin' crawlers, bane of my existence, along with dogs. There was some good stuff in there, but we got a zombie rolling up here. Get the hell out of here. Okay, rush hour is on. And the main event, down here, correct? Yep, you stupid zombies. You're supposed to wait until I jump down and then you ambush me. Not wake up when I'm <laughs> perched above. Too easy. Okay, should be able to... Isn't there a key box that opens some portion of this up? Or how do we... How are we supposed to get out of here usually? Well, I don't quite know, but we gotta go get the loot and candy anyway. Okay, stash, and this is as good a time as any to get the Mega Crush into me. In fact, I'll bring the extra, excuse me, and yes, run over here and get the main loot. Ooh, we moving fast. Oh, I forgot to unlock this, damn it. Helps if you have the eye candy. Okay, I think we are ready to go. So, it's eye candy in. We have lucky goggles on already. We'll see what we get here. Okay, we're off to the next one. Whoop, couple books I missed. Check those, paper, lovely. And here we are, second main loot. And on to the third, we're encumbered, but we can't really feel it right now. Up we go, into the third one. I'm having a hard time just getting everything into my inventory right now. Come on, they eat the vitamins. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and just start picking through this a little bit. We got Urban Combat Volume 6. Oh, that's the best one. The best, one of the best books in the game right there. Armor doesn't slow you down in combat, so we can now start wearing heavy armor without worrying about uh, getting slowed down when we're in a fight. That's the Mag Extender mod, Electric Timer Relay, Motorcycle Handlebars. Okay, just grab the rest. We'll go through the rest in a little bit. Oh, we're super duper encumbered now. Oh my god, what good timing. There's a horde. 
right there. Well, I kind of would like to fight them. However, we cannot do that with the inventory in its current condition. Ooh, pumpkin pie. Fireman's Almanac here. Increased attack speed with fire axes. Okay, just like picking through the inventory right now. I got to put like this armor pocket mod on somewhere. And if we take the fort fight, we're suddenly not encumbered anymore. Read that steel sledge schematic. That's a good find. Eat the pears. Drink the red tea. Put that iron breaker mod on and we're pretty much good to go. Make sure the guns are loaded. And oh my God, it's almost nightfall. Not that that's gonna make a huge difference. Just stay close to the bike. That way we can run away if we have to. And maybe get a couple of sneak attacks in. All right, let's do this. And the kill stroke, nice. Got four more over here, as well as a cop over there. So be weary of that. How about the knockdown on this little tiny knife here? Lovely. Bleed kill. Done. Second half over here. We got eight minutes, seven minutes left until Nightmare Speed is on. Not only that, but we'll also get street spawns for like feral zombies and things like that. So hustle. Oh my god, there's a lot over here. And I'm out of stamina now. Okay, run, run, run. Reload and nightmare speed is on. Get the pistol, we're specced into this. And we got run and gun. There's the friggin' feral already. Whoa, crap. Okay, I need uh, parkour to save my life here. Jump onto this. That's not gonna help me for long though. They can get up here. Here they come. Eat that. Oh, it's concussion. Ow. Oh, I can't see. Oh, it's better. And done. Check that loot bag and let's get the hell out of here. Grilled meat. All right, almost broke my weapons. My goodness, that was kind of a risky decision there, but we made it. We just need to pick through everything that we got today and only bring back what we need. More damage to bears, we like that one. Okay, I've got the inventory sorted out the best I can. There is a, a couple of things we're gonna leave behind, but nothing of any importance. But look at all of the extra schematics that we have to sell tomorrow on Better Barter Day. Lovely. Okay, let's pack up and get the hell out of here and head home. All right, we're back. How about that haul for today? Not bad at all. Look at all those schematics, nice. So I just get these things organized and we'll get a plan going for tomorrow. All right, well, good morning, everyone. I've just been sort of clearing out the wasteland. I finally, finally have reached a point where I don't feel like completely scared at night. <laughs> I feel like I can be out and about, you know, close by to the mini bike and things like that. But uh, for the most part, we can pretty much hold our own now, at least on certain days of the week. Now who's here? Oh, a screamer. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah, I have, uh, I just have the forge on, honestly. Oh, all these um, stupid uh, torches. We need to get rid of these anyway, because we can uh, we can make the, uh, the what are they called? Damn it. <laughs> words, words. Why, why do they escape me? Uh, Freaking lanterns, lanterns. We can make the lanterns now, so we can take all of these apart. So I think we're all set on agility day. There's nothing really that we can do or craft on agility day other than like knives and pistols. Like we could make the pistol, but we don't have the pistol parts. Yeah, we cannot make the SMG. We can make the Magnum, but again, handgun parts. And we did not luck out and get a machete schematic. So we're kind of just done with this agility day for now. And so that always brings in so much attention. It's crazy. <laughs> People can hear that. The zombies can hear that from like miles away. All right. Well, it's not going to be any use to us. And whoa, Bird Boy. Yeah, not going to be any use to us unless we take some points into intellect. So I'm just going to crank all ten into that. That should help. Yep, it's helping. Except for the whole stamina thing. Holy cow, it sucks. Okay, so what I really wanted us to focus on today is getting the motorcycle, and so that's going to require three points here into Grease Monkey. I'll take one into Physician so I can make bandages, and as for the rest, we'll just do that. I'm going to go two into Better Barter for now, and we'll get to that a little bit later. So, I, last night I wrote down a whole long list of things that we need to craft, and ammo is kind of lower on that priority list right now, so we'll just put that stuff away. Okay, the first thing was another workbench. And then the motorcycle stuff. Son of a bitch, that used my wrench. Okay, so wait a minute. If I cancel that, do I get my wrench back? I, I did, but yeah, first first things first, get that wrench. And squirrel this one away somewhere where broadcasting is turned off. While I'm waiting on that, I crafted up some of these just regular old stone blocks so that we can fill in that area that the dogs chewed through on the last horde night over here. 
Got that all sealed up properly now. Okay, there we go. New crappy wrench is finished. Means we can get the workbench crafted. We're gonna have to wait for that for a little while. So in the meantime, I'll just knock out these little pieces here because we're gonna replace these with plates so that cops down below can't see us. Okay, so that's gonna be the new configuration there. And I also thought it would be really cool if we came over here and instead of having this open at all times, we just on face a hatch just like that so that when we're ready, we can just come over there and open the door and conduct the repairs. There it is, the workbench. And then we can finally, you know, get the real stuff going. Motorcycle chassis, go. And then the other one, motorcycle handlebars, go. We'll have the motorcycle here in no time. And this one over here, I'm going to need relays. Just give me like six relays for now. That's all the forged iron. Crap, Can, uh, didn't I make some more of that? I did make a little bit more. I need some lights as well. I do like the industrial lights, but they don't put off a whole lot of light. And I do need some lanterns too. So how about we start off with like four lanterns? What do we like better, this industrial light or this one? Let's roll with this one. We'll get like two of this one for now and make sure that that's what we want. Okay, let's finally get this stuff upgraded here. Oh shit! What the hell happened there? Oh, well, I don't really know what happened there and why that decided to collapse all of a sudden. We'll just have to rebuild a little bit. <laughs> Whoops. I suppose what probably happened there is, yeah, I've been neglecting doing this little piece right here. So yeah, let's just do that right now and get it over with. Okay, that's what I was thinking for like, um, like an arch system there. And we could even replicate that going down that way in the future. But for now, I think that'll do. I am a little bit concerned maybe that this is going to interfere with zombie pathing. So I'm just gonna do it out of wood for now in case we have to make some renovations. Except for that piece right there because that is a stability block right there. And then we'll have to redo the system we had going up here. No big deal though. And while we're doing that, we need to get the motorcycle turning here. Chassis, handlebars, and motorcycle. Oh, we need wheels too. We can't do the wheels. Oh my God, we don't have the acid. Oh no. Oh crap, we used all of the acid on the chemistry station. Oh geez, and yeah, there's nothing I can get acid out of. We have to find it. What a bummer, man. That was gonna be like the, the, the crowning achievement of the episode, crap. Well, we'll get this built and we'll head over to the traders and see if they're selling it. And uh, you know, hopefully not all is lost just yet. Okay, just get these kind of solidified up here on the platform. Yep, and that is it. That's how that's gonna look from now on. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty much all I had for today for upgrades. We'll work on this side some other time. <laughs> we'll do one side at a time, basically. Okay, so that is working on some electronic stuff. This can be working on that ammo that we were doing before. You need to get the hell out of here. Can't wait until we get the nerd tats and stuff like that, though. Then that we will be doing a lot of damage then. It'll be really nice and fun. All right, let's make sure we have everything out of the cell chest. Ooh, that's, that's gotta be a horde there. Yeah, look at them running right straight through. Luckily, I don't think all of them detected me. Not very many of them did by the look of it. Holy crap, there we go, there they are. Looks like they came from the south. Well, come on over here, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, just turn this on, switch is on, and uh, we are not getting any shocking. What happened? Oh, we're on the wrong side. Okay, it's a, it's a little bit counterintuitive. Switch on the left goes to the fences here on the right side, I guess you could say. There we go, working now. Yep, this'll work just fine, I think. Nice. Got a couple more kind of trapped down here. Are you trapped? Ow, whoa, 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 whoops, whoops. I forgot about that. Yeah, the question was, were they falling down here and able to get up. I think they probably were, but for some reason, they continue getting stuck in the garage, which I suppose is only going to be an issue until we dig the moat around the entire thing. Okay, there we go. Oh, one is stuck down there and doesn't want to come out, but it's I think it's because he just, you know, couldn't get out from that little portion there. We'll have to fix that once we uh, continue digging. Oh, that brought in some more. Come on over. 
Okay, I think we're all good to go. I'm just gonna grab some of the miscellaneous items that we really could sell at this point that we're not gonna use anymore. Pipe baton, some extra tools and things like that. All right, that's everything fixed up. Is there anything like uh, like headlights, basically? Uh, headlights, and you know, these are pretty valuable. I'll take a few of those with me. Regular pipes, don't think we need like hundreds of pipes. Springs I'll save. Otherwise, yeah, I think that's that's prob probably good. Oh, and we're on this stupid mini bike, damn it. Well, let's go check on Bob first. I finally remember where Bob lives, so we'll go check on him, see what his inventory has. I will not do the major sell-off there. We'll do the sell-off when we go back to Jen's because I think I still have a bunch of stuff like in the chest outside of her compound that needs to be sold as well. Oh, Bob, long time no see, man. I thought I was never gonna see you again, but let's check on your inventory here and see. Yes, we have a couple days until restock anyway. Yeah, we actually, we might need to do the sugar butts here because there's gonna be stuff that I want to buy and benefit from the discount, like cro uh, crossbow parts, because we can make a compound crossbow if we get the parts for it. Also like shotgun parts. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff that we need here, but there is no acid. That is a bummer. Got a good pump shotgun though, although I can make those if I could just get the shotgun parts for it. On, okay, so the trick we're gonna do is we're gonna check the secret stash at where it is right now, which is the base secret stash, and then we'll check it again when we take one point into sales manager. We'll check it again when we have one point into Wall Street Tycoon, and we'll check it again when we have corporate marketing CEO because each time, the secret stash will change completely. So let's get start. Let's get prepared for that. I'm just gonna do this this one time because this definitely is a bit of an exploit. Oh, I haven't even read the pistol schematic there, but I think what I'm on uh, pistol Pete, I uh, that unlocks for me. So anyway, let's uh, check his inventory. We will check the secret stash. Was there anything here we needed? I, I guess. <laughs> Magnum Enforcer, take less damage when wearing a suit. I don't know about that, but handgun parts for sure. I will take the book. And that's good enough now. there. Please, please have some acid in there eventually. Better barter, check the inventory again. Now he's got a Night Stalker book in there. 5% more XP from kills at night. We'll take that with a chainsaw too, that's cool. We're gonna run out of money though if, we, uh, if we're not careful here. Grenade schematic, fear recipe. I feel like that's an important one, so I'll take that. Okay, next point. Better butter level four. <laughs> Let's do this, okay. Check the secret stash again. Here we go, we got another Pistol Pete book. Craft high power, or HP hollow point, I guess. Nine mil ammunition. Shotgun Messiah book for breaching slugs. Shotgun Messiah for better dismemberment. Gonna run out of money here. Might have to do the, a bit of a sell-off. Ooh, a nice wooden bow as well. Nope, okay. One more. Plus we're getting a better discount every time we do this. <laughs> it's just, such a cheap tactic here. Last shot in the chamber does double damage. I feel like I'm, I'm totally cheating right now. I'm just not even gonna sugarcoat it at all. Bar brawling book there. That is 10% uh, more damage with the Nux. Nice, okay, lucky looter book here. More junk and loot, which means higher quantity, sure. And I'd say that's plenty of cheese for one day before I get lactose intolerant and get diarrhea or something. <laughs> let's get a, get the hell out of here. Read, read, read. All right, let's go see Jen. All right, we made it. It's not a bad trip. It only took a couple of minutes and extra sugar butts to boot. Oh, grab the stuff that I need to sell. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in the bike inventory as well. Might need to make a couple of trips here. Indeed we will. And a zombie did just break in. Where are you? Over here. Stop it. All right, Another time for the big sell. All right, gonna have to take that second sugar butt to sell the remainder of this and for the buying that we're about to do. And All I'll right level then. up to boot. Is there anything I can do there. that's gonna benefit me today? I don't know, let's do just advanced engineering. Jen, tell me you got some wheels or some acid. That would be great. Doesn't look like she does. In fact, I wasn't even really looking when I was at Bob's for wheels. 
kind of just kind of escaped my mind. I mean, what's new, right? Yeah, man, she just basically has nothing that I want to buy except for perhaps a couple of bullet tips, some gunpowder, except this double barrel shotgun. I think I will probably buy that, at least for now, because that'll help us have a shotgun for strength day. And I don't know if we have enough shotgun parts to craft a really good pump shotgun yet. So that'll kind of hold us over. Oh, there's one wheel. No, I need another one. Got an automatic weapons handbook here. We'll take that. Another urban combat book. Landmines won't detonate when stepped on. That's a good one. And a fireman's almanac here for fireman helmets and taking less damage when wearing them. And otherwise, I think that's it. Wow, we came up one wheel short. You've got to be kidding me. That is stupid. Thank you so much. Well, is there anywhere we can go, do you think, that has a high probability to get an acid in loot? Like, I think a poppin' pill... Well, we can check the... Uh, airdrop over there while we're kind of in the neighborhood or we could save that until we get lucky looter which i think i like that idea more i mean that's not gonna have like uh acid or a wheel in it i don't think but yeah we need like uh like a poppin pills i think uh poppin pills boxes and also like pass and gas boxes we could if we could find either one of those and raid one real quick we might might get lucky Let's see if i can coax this cop into setting this house on fire Spit at me. Whoa. Oh, no, he hit me. Cra oh, no, he, he did hit me and caught something on fire there. Here, spit at me again when I'm over here. There you go. Set that house on fire. <laughs> nice. Yep, that house gonna burn down now. Getting distracted. We are on the clock here. Aha, there's the, the little dinky passing gas right there. I think we can check that. Also a nice little weapons bag in here. And I've learned relatively recently that you can just get the zombies from right in here. Save yourself a little bit of a headache there. One or two should be in here. Who's that? Oh, hello. Whoa, that's a fucking barrel. Close that door. Okay, good there. And good there. First things first, we'll check this weapons bag for the steel club parts. Not bad. Can't help myself have to get all this little cheeky loot here. A little bit of water. Yep, yep, yep. And really what I want is this pass and gas crate right there. What are the chances? They're very low, I'll tell you that. Nope, didn't get it. Check this anyway. Lucky looter book. Find more food and loot. And yep, grab that while we're at it. Just read these couple of books that we bought. And, oh, lots of zombies. Uh-oh. Whoa! Is that a horde? What is going on here? Just, like, four or five zombies came out of nowhere. Probably was a horde. Look at all the zombies. There's, like, uh, I don't know, ten right in this little area? Kind of uncommon. We escaped just in the nick of time. All right, we got time for maybe one more little tiny raid. Yeah, we've got this, like, urgent care here. Ah, I just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like our chances are very good here. Alternatively, we do have a uh, working stiff tools right over here. And uh, I don't really care right now. I mean, you guys know me. I'll, I'll cheat when I have to. <laughs> I'm gonna friggin' try to get up here to the main loot and see what we can find. Isn't this uh, roughly where the main loot is? Kind of maybe a little bit. Oh, this is probably a bad move. Crap! Oh no! Whoa! Narrowly escaping the hits there. Ow! Let him blow. There we go. Okay, so I guess the explosions might not catch things on fire, although I think they do. This is all just concrete up here. Okay, we've got this main loot here and all of the associated working stiff toolboxes to maybe get an acid from. Okay, I didn't get it, and I think I've searched everything that was in here. Did get a bandolier mod there, which is just an excellent find. Glad I got that. Otherwise, I think we're just good to kind of run away. Where's the main loot on this place? Is it up on the rooftop? Could I just get up there lickety-split and see if I can find it? I believe it is. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's right there. It's at least a pop and pills box. Maybe, maybe there's a uh, acid just hanging out in here. No. No, there's not. In fact, there's really nothing there that I want. And nothing there really either. Crap. 
and it'll be nightfall any second now. Okay, this is our last chance right here, a night raid into the back of this passing gas, because I know that there's a bunch of passing gas boxes back there, and I know that I can relatively easily access them through that door. Just make sure that the escape is secured. Of course, that's gonna be locked. We can break in, though. I think there's like three or four passing gas boxes in here. There's a bunch of them, I know that. And there's a pizza kind of coming up behind there. I don't want to get pinned between him and whoever's in here, though. And I definitely don't want to be encumbered right now. Okay, the question is, who's waiting in here? You are friggin' Lois. Okay, we're all charged up and should be ready to check on these boxes here. Only two, I think. Come on, okay, vehicle reserve fuel tank. Oh, damn it, iron tools. I'm pressing on. There's gotta be something in here. We're gonna a bunch of zombies, it looks like. Get the drop on at least that one there. Whoops. Yep, got her, and, oh, geez, tier one, crap. Oh, I got a skull cap mod. That helps with our kind of style. Oh boy, was there anything else in like the main portion there that we might have missed? Yeah, and we got nothing here. No more passing gas boxes. Oh hey, is that another Mo Power Shop? That is. Although that's the really dinky one. I don't think that's gonna really help us. Although the main loot is right on this, the rooftop there. <laughs> I'm like refusing to go home without a friggin' acid or a wheel. Oh, nice jump there, buddy. Oh, you're gonna knock out my pillar now? None of that. Oh, crap! That might be a feral right there, honestly. Nope, just regular. Damn it. That's for the crafting the fireman's axe mod. And there was a machine gun part there, which I like. Good to see. Check this. Uh, nothing there. Bird incoming, and we're hungry. Okay, take him out, and we gotta get out of here now. Usually that brings in a lot of attention. Yep, I can hear him coming in. There's one. Oh, here's like the broken down passing gas. And the last time I was here was ages ago, and I missed the passing gas box. The passing gas box here is... Where is it? Is it over there? I'm trying to remember. I know that there was a comment that told me it was like in the roof, and kind of like... He had to break into it, but yeah, I think it's over here. Uh, is that a bird? That's a bird. Are we good otherwise? Yeah, is this it right here? That's a passing gas box. Yep. Okay, I don't think there's any other boxes here. Damn, damn. Okay. Whoa! Fucking Arlene! Wow, you crafty bitch. I didn't know you could get up here. No sense in lingering around here, though. Oh, working stiff tools. <laughs> I really don't know what, what our best bet is, is to continue with the working stiffs or try to go for popping pills or passing gas. Although that's a passing gas right over there. This has got to be the last stop here. Okay, <laughs> bird. Ah, damn it. And one zombie. Okay, get, get the bird. Where's the bird? Ah! Don't, don't use the gun, don't use the gun. Okay, use the baton. Smack you. Okay, lock and load, and we're gonna do this one the easy way, just like we've been doing. I know that there's a working stiff toolbox in here, under the stairs there. Whoops, I just hit the trigger zone on, oh no, I woke up a zombie outside here. Just what we need is a freaking spider. Yeah, but that's where we're going, right there. We're going straight up to the top. Skip over all these zombies over here and the ones over there. Just go straight to the main loot. Oh, we could go in to check on the hidden stash as well. One thing at a time here, though. Okay, oh, there we go. Just die. Yep, that made a lot of noise. Lots of zombies coming in here. I'm not sure if they can figure out how to get to me from where they are, though. Nonetheless, we are in a hurry. Let's check on this. Oh, another urban combat book. Sneaking over trash makes no sound. And a bunch of extra lockpicks, which is good. We're running low on those. Good hunting rifle there as well. All right, if it's not here, we're going home. Yes, there's the wheel. Oh, yes, we did it. Right! We can go home and make the motorcycle for tomorrow! Yes! Alright! Let's just get out of here before we die. Okay. Um... 
Need to reload here. Also, just bob and weave, bob and weave, dodge and move, and run this fucker over. Get out of here. Leaving. Wow, what a success. Man, I am so proud. Like, I was really disappointed that I promised the motorcycle, and that was probably going to be on the thumbnail and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, and I failed to deliver there. I failed to recognize I'd used all the acid, and then we pulled it out here at the 11th hour, or technically the first hour <laughs> of the next day. Awesome, so I'll meet you guys back home and we'll get that motorcycle rolling in the workbench. And we made it. Motorcycle, baby, nice. Crap that. And I'm just putting these last couple of things away, and I will be putting the, what is it, armor plating mod and the skull cap mod on. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking boars sneaking up on me here. Ow. Okay, get the guns. Oh, not loaded. Perfect. Look at me. Perfectly prepared today. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh, I don't want to retreat, but I want to get the meat, too. I got to get this airdrop. So, anyway, today is Perception Day. Doing the best we can here not to die. And so we are on spears. Today's also horde day. I figured since we have lucky looter, we might as well come out here and get this airdrop though. Okay, just get the machine gun out. Eat that. We got Thomas swimming up here on me. There we go. Okay, good as new. Not quite. We're gonna get there in just a second though. Okay, bring my knife down. Yeah, so the plan is to come out here and to get this airdrop. And then on the way back, I was thinking we could do some mining to get some iron because we need some forged iron for Horde Knight tonight. But then I was thinking since we have salvage operations, we might as well just do cars instead. Let's see what's in here. Nothing special. So yeah, that's the plan for right now. We're going to do car harvesting all the way back home. However, damn, this is a good garden here. And I might just mark this so that if we're here, guarded. On perception day, we could harvest this up for like much greater efficiency. Oh, oh, this is also the, the beer farm. So we can also get all the um, hops and stuff that are over here. But that is a job for perception day. The job for today is to salvage every car between here and the base and get as much iron as we possibly can. Alright, that will have to do it for today. We might need some clay as well. In fact, I do think that we do need clay, so... Uh, my shovel should be here in the motorcycle. In fact, just bring that right over in case a horde ambushes us. I've just been digging uh, clay out of this little hole here that I made. So, give me the shovel, and we'll work on this for just two seconds. 88 clay puts us up to 115 in the inventory. That'll do. Just really need enough to make another... Oh, I don't know, 50 or so forged iron, and, and I think we're good on steel. Grab all that, drop it in the dump chest. Someone had suggested that we put a cell chest up in the floor there too, and I think we'll work on that eventually. Okay, grab it up and start throwing it in here. But most importantly, get this forge rolling. I did put all of the pipes in there because I knew we were about to get a bunch more, and there it is. There's another uh, 47 forged iron and then this one over here is just going to be like the brass and the lead forge so we can just start working on that and look i found a wheel in one of the cars <laughs> of all times to find a wheel it's the day after i needed one so so let's get a sense of what we're looking at here we've got all the lighting set up oh except for a spotlight we need at least one spotlight are we able to do that just yet we are craft that 
And uh, how about blade traps? Not able to do the blade traps just yet. Need a little bit more forged iron. Also hungry and thirsty. Jeez. All right, that should do. And that should top us off on health as well. Okay, give me that forged iron. Can I get two blade traps? I can, yes. Work on this. We'll have three blade traps then for tonight. So we'll like fill in the top row they, there maybe. We're gonna have to figure out how to wire that up. And we're also, let me up here, please. We're also going to uh, put in the system up here. So let me get some frames. Should get like a hundred of them for now. And um, I have the, when I drew out the base, I kind of made um, uh, this sort of like pillbox style concept here. Although I'm just not sure, uh, quite sure how we're going to execute it just yet. Okay, so I was thinking maybe to put some sheets around the side here because you can connect things to the side of a sheet. Even though it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, it is possible. And then we'll make like um, a stairway going up. So this will just like all kind of, uh, it'll, it'll make sense in just a second. There we go. And then for the corners, I think there's like a sheet corner right there. Okay, and then for the top, I think just like a classic security gate. Can't go wrong with these things. And then my idea is that uh, we'll have a spotlight right here, right here, and right here perhaps. But we only, I think, can get probably one of them for today. Let's just check on that. Yep, there it is. And how about some more spotlights? We could get a second. In fact, we could get a third after that as well. Okay, so hook that up. And let's just do like opposing... Uh, wait. So yeah, I don't want to put them up there because I want this to be kind of a walkway. I don't know what I want here. I just think it'll look cool, basically. And that is going to be too far back. What if I just pull that and, like, slide it right up next to the stairs there? I think that'll work. Okay, let's just sort out the... Re oh, the birds. What if we get a bunch of birds on the Horde Night tonight? That's going to suck. <laughs> Can I get a shotgun turret? I know I found the, uh, the schematic for it. What are we short on here? Motion sensor? Shotgun parts. Are you kidding me? I, I definitely have shotgun parts. I don't have any shotgun parts. Uh, what? Well, that's uh, that's totally weird, isn't it? I didn't I didn't even craft anything uh, or any shotguns. That is um, that's weird. Yeah, so uh, no shotgun turret, I guess. I want to save the uh, parts anyway for the pump shotgun. I'm trying to think of a way to make this like look kind of good here. Maybe like um, a relay here and a relay here to bring down to the blade traps. How about we just put a switch right there? Give that power and then give this power to that? Is that gonna look weird or is that like perfectly going through blocks? I can see it just a little bit. Alternatively, that can just come up to there. I know this is getting really bad. I'm so bad at this part of the game. Yep, right up to here, here over to there, there to there. Give me the blade traps, jump down here, and I'm just gonna connect them to the top piece for now. It's just kind of a proof of concept. Oh, I almost thought that uh, for a second that that hatch door was gonna block these. That would have been kind of disastrous. But there we go, that's all set now, and these can be finalized, as well as this stuff up here. Hopefully there's no collapse like we had before though. Oh yeah, we can definitely solidify this now. I'm settled on this being the final configuration for this wall. So open that and fix that up and close it. Good, good, good. Let's get those hooked up. See how, ow. Oh, we got company coming too. Here, hook these up as fast as possible. And come on and let me down here. Turn this on. How does it look? Well, it's working and it's chopping for sh Ooh, dead, buddy. Look out, someone else coming down here, Big Mama. And can I reach all of them from here? I know I can reach this one here, but I cannot reach the ones over there. So we'd, we'd have to go around to the other side in order to hit that one. At least I think, let's kind of check on that. Yep, fix that. Can I reach these? Yes, I can reach them from this side. So yeah, we just have to kind of run over here real quick and do that if we have to. Another zombie just came up, got chopped up. That would be Thomas. Here we go, okay, put the hatch in on face make sure i get the correct 
orientation there. Perfect. And this one here is just going to have to go to iron for tonight. And oh, geez, in fact, I'm out of iron. So good luck on repairs to me, I guess. Oh, yes. Days since last fire. It's been definitely it's hard to keep track of the days here. We'll say 14 for today and we'll hope for the best tonight. OK, I think that's just about it. This base is probably going to run through a lot of forged steel. But oh, we didn't get the uh, spotlights uh, hooked up there, did we? Yeah, it's going to it's going to be a resource intensive kind of maintenance plan for the base, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. So I am down to, to roll with this. OK, direct line off the generator up to this i think eventually we'll get an electric timer relay for that i don't think i have any built right now just aim this down just a little bit and i'm not sold on this configuration i think this is going to be great here but i'm not going to upgrade it just yet we'll kind of work on that another time doesn't need to be fully upgraded for tonight unless we have the the bird situation which i kind of uh forcefully put that out of my mind but <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to just run up here and fight the birds because the birds will come right here and probably destroy these electronics, which we don't want. I think eventually we'll just get some turrets up here and we'll be just fine. There is, however, a bird only horde. And let's check on the game stage because uh, I don't quite remember when that is. Yeah, we're not we're not there yet. OK, level 35, game stage 63. We're getting close, though. I think the game stage is around like 90 where it's like one of the waves. It's not the whole horde. It's just the wave. So one third of the horde will be entirely birds, all birds for like two hours straight just because I like torturing myself. All right. I think it's time to just get the kit and the loadout ready for tonight and then we'll get into position to fight. Well, the day 21 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Here they come, they're coming down the corridor and they are just getting decapitated immediately. Unfortunately, with this type of a base on perception day, unless we get points into advanced engineering at some point, we're not going to get any XP for the trap kills. That is just an unfortunate side effect here, but I'm okay with that. As long as we get lots and lots of loot, we can kill all the zombies. I think it'll pay off eventually. Oh, these stupid dogs always glitching up and down. Stop that. Oh, <laughs> you bastards, get out of here. Up and down. <laughs> it's like playing fucking whack-a-mole with dogs. Whack-a-dog. Yeah. Oh, Lois got her head taken off by one of those blade traps. Yeah, so the only zombies that are really going to consistently be able to make it up here are the armored zombies, high hit point zombies. I think even ones like Big Mama and Pizza, they're going to be so slow that they will eventually get killed. And just imagine how it's going to be when we get all of the bottom blade traps. We're going to have to make a rule where there's just like no repairs allowed. Yeah, this type of a blade trap corridor. So, well, we'll see how it goes throughout the night because these, these blade traps might degrade relatively quickly. I can't really... Let me see if I can get a view of like how these ones down here are doing. They're not doing like the wobbly thing yet. I really like that window design though. That's really cool. Yeah, kind of a good... Uh, set up here. I mean, I'm I can only do crotch so shots because this uh, this spike here is in the way. But yeah, we'll we'll work around it. It's okay. All right, you can just get the shotgun. How's that? Let's get a vantage point from above and see how it looks. Well, unfortunately, I'm not able to shoot through these frames like I thought I could. I that's that was part of the design. I was going to be able to come up here and shoot at zombies, but. We are going to have to use something different. I'm not sure what yet. Maybe the diagonal security gates. Ah! Oh, crap. We've got a bird here. Oh, no, 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 no. Machine gun. Oh, yikes. Totally got ambushed there. It's okay. This is basically an AFK base at this point. Except for the dogs. Dogs kind of seem to be the only issue here. Come on. I'd say we're probably on to the next wave right now. There was quite a lull in the action there, and so now there's a whole wave of zombies coming after me. And see, from where I am right now, this would be a good spot if I had the armor-piercing ammo to get some, like, armor penetration, you know? You could kind of line up multiple targets at once. At least we would be able to when we get a little bit higher volumes later on.
This is the challenge here. Just can I kill the zombies before the blade traps do? Oh, look, look, a whole pile of them right there and none of the guns are loaded. Damn it. Well, I can try to get them before the the um, electric fences kill them. That'll help at least. And this base is going really good, like almost too good. It's almost like borderline boring on this. Oh, we got a spider now. Yep, yeah, we've got one blade trap down though. That's why the zombies are kind of able to make it up to the door here. Well, uh, at least up to the fences. Oh, Steve, man, I'm sorry. Just totally dismembered Steve right there. I'm liking the amount of loot bags though. And look at the decapitations. I think that blade traps must do like head damage if you put them up on this level here. That is That, that might be something I have to do a video on. Maybe do a little bit of experimentation with like, if do blade traps do more damage if they're on head level versus foot level or you know, are we just getting a visual sense because it's like popping their heads, you know? This is where the uh, penetrator perk with some armor-piercing ammo would come into handy because I could look, just kind of like line them up like this. Boom. I would have gotten two if I had some armor-piercing rounds. Spider here. Take him out. So we are getting some lab worker zombies. And interestingly, lab worker zombies are not supposed to spawn in the horde. I had to add them in. And I think it's because of their little floppy hand. I think that might be a little bit taxing if you had like, you know, 10 of them running around or whatever. So they're trying to save you a couple frames per second there by excluding them from the hordes. But I like having them around. And look, our last blade trap is about to fail, which means we'll just be relying on the electric fences here. Go! Jeez, get out of here. My first melee action of the night. Yeah, apart from the stupid dogs, it's not too big of an issue here right now. There we go. They are starting to kind of push themselves in, though, which probably gives us a better opportunity to use the spear. There we go. Yeah, and we're starting to lose some of the electric fences as well. And we've got birds. Lock and load. We're heading topside before they mess something up. Holy crap, we got a cop here. Not good. Not prepared for that. Did he set something on fire? I don't see any fires. I think everything around here is pretty much fireproof. I got the fire extinguisher, though, just in case. Whoa, we got another one. Yeah, okay, so it's kind of good to kind of hide over this way so they can't... They have no opportunity to kind of spit at me from afar. Let's do a little bit of an experiment here. Can I just drop them? <laughs> Goodbye. See you later. Oh, crap. I never did fix the pit down there so that they could get out. I think that could be a problem there. I'm not exactly sure. I think they came out. There was that one area where I, I was digging nitrate where um, they weren't able... Uh, someone got trapped down there sometime during the week there. Yep, Spear's not doing too bad tonight, I'd say. I mean, could be better. Could have a sledgehammer, right? But yeah, I can live with this. Let's try it again. Goodbye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I love it. How about a couple in the knee for this guy? Wow. Loving it. Loving this base. Hey, hey, bird boy. He's uh, swinging at something over there. I'm not sure what. And that guy. See, I, he's swinging, but I think he's aiming down. Oh, we got a cop here. Um, Stop that. Stop that. Okay, the, uh, all of the electric fences now appear to be broken. Yes, all three of them. And the cops are here aplenty. Not good. Okay, just occasionally say goodbye to the zombies there. Give ourselves a little bit of a break. And a cop just blew up down there, which could be bad. I'm not sure. Depends on how much damage you did. We are a little bit hurt here. Let's just take a painkiller and take some water and chase it down. And uh, what time is it? 2.06. Let's take a skull crusher then just to kind of see off the remainder of these zombies. I have a feeling we're kind of on the tail end of things here. Oh, a bunch of loot bags dropping here at the end. Ow! Oh, you bastard. Steve, get your stupid face out of there. And I am out of stamina. Crap. All right, lock and load. Let's just grab this loot bag. I don't have an eye candy anyway. Ooh, night vision. That's not too bad. Okay, it's suddenly very quiet. I can hear someone somewhere. There's a fire going on downstairs. Let me the fuck out of here, please. Here we go. Oh, man. Yes, we've got a massive fire problem down here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yep, the base is, like, burning. I think the cop that fell down there ended up catching a lot of stuff on fire. Where's this last zombie, though? I need to kill the last zombie, and then we can fix this. Oh, boy. There he is. He's down, and put it out. Put out the fire. Oh, crap. There we go. Yes, all right, all done. Oof, just a smoldering mess down here now. Yeah, all these frames on the wall must have caught fire when that cop blew up, or that's at least what I'm assuming happened. Fortunately, he didn't seem to do a lot of damage to 
the structure there. I was just listening because I think there is a sound effect for like smoldering blocks. Oh no, it's still on fire. There's still a fire going on here. Put it out. I think when you use a fire extinguisher, it puts out like a blocks in like a five by five radius. So yeah, what I was hearing there was actually blocks on fire. It's weird because if it spreads like underneath a wall, I don't think there's a way for me to get to it other than just hoping that the uh, the fire extinguisher kind of gets to it. And look, this is almost broken. So this is going to be the rule. If we have fires or if we have like a horde night, we get, we get the one fire extinguisher basically until the end of the night. And this gives us, I think, maybe like five or six sprays. And so, yeah, that's just going to be how we roll. We're only going to roll with the tier one. And uh, we only get the one round, and if, if the fire still rages beyond that, then we just let it burn. It won't be a problem for much longer anyway, because uh, we'll have this base upgraded to cobble here within the next week or two. Which, speaking of that, the horde has been dispatched, and we can uh, probably get ready for the next day. We'll just uh, go, go down there and get the loot bag, see what we get, get things organized, and then uh, make a plan from there. Oh, nice! First loot bag! Tier six, quality six wooden bow. Got a hop seed recipe, some crap. Good hunting rifle, that'll replace the quality three that we're using today. Iron crossbow schematic, although I have the compound crossbow schematic, so not gonna be making that. Yep, nothing special down here. Was that it? Was there another one that kind of squirreled away here somewhere? Nope, I think we're good. All right, let's have a look here. That's basically the haul for today, for the night, I should say. And uh, a lot of our crap is just kind of mixed in there. So give me a couple of hours here. I'll get everything organized for tomorrow. Crap! Oh man, this guy snuck right up on me. None of that, please. All right, just kind of getting things finalized here. I figured today we could, what was I doing? We're gonna bring some pipe bombs with us, just have those in the hot bar, just for fun, right? And we got the new bow, so we can put the proper arrows in that. And we're gonna roll the shotgun today. Got a couple of different sledge options, and yeah, things are getting real hazy for me now. So let's get the forgetting elixir into us. And let me spend these skill points into strength. Oh man, that just drew in a whole bunch of zombies. Where did you all come from anyway? Get out of here. Whoa, this is a lot. Oh my goodness. Where the hell did you all come from? This is a horde. Bubbles. Go away. Jeez, got an abrasion earlier and I'm infected. So quickly take an antibiotic. What else is left here? Are you guys a horde? Uh, we gotta go check on this in just a second here. I gotta spend these skill points too, because I can't even fight right now. Okay, quickly, 10 into that, 4 into that, 5 into this, 5 into this, and 5 into this, and that'll do for now. This is definitely, definitely a horde. Where's the rest of you, anyway? Show me what you got. Get out of here. Come on, there we go. What is it with the hordes, man? Was that all of you? Or are the rest of you just lurking around here somewhere? No, I'd say, I mean, this is the, the, the wasteland is, like, heavily populated, but I don't think that was just, like, ambient zombies. I think there was, like, a just a horde that kind of stalled somewhere nearby and triggered onto us. Okay, so for today, we definitely need to do some iron mining. That is, like, priority number one. Let's make sure we spend the rest of these skill points. Got four more. I had considered maybe going four into heavy armor. Can I even make things like uh, iron armor, or does that maybe get unlocked yeah if i take heavy armor i can unlock iron armor and maybe get some of that crafted because we can wear heavy armor now without um it won't slow us down when we're in combat but when we're not in combat it will really hurt our mobility but at least it's uh, maybe worth some consideration there and i really don't see any other things that we need to put points into Except for maybe Boomstick. Yeah, <laughs> Boomstick would be nice, wouldn't it? If we level up today when we're mining, we'll take some into Boomstick. But for now, I just want to see what I can do with the heavy armor situation. Yeah, oh my goodness, that requires so much forged iron. I did not anticipate that. Could I maybe just make like a piece or two of it? Like maybe we, we dress up the like the leg armor a little bit or the maybe the arm armor, the gloves and stuff. Jeez, I don't know. Also that really, that's gonna kill our stamina, isn't it? 
Yeah, because if we wear heavy armor, our stamina regeneration gets just ruined. And it's already bad enough if, we, if we're if we not on strength day or, you know, maybe fortitude day if we had the uh, cardio perk. Yeah, so maybe just sticking to light armor is the better call there. Yeah, because even comparing the leather to the scrap armor that I'm wearing, we're getting, like, such better stamina per second. I really need to put the leather arms, the leather gloves on instead of these scrap gloves, just so that we can get every little bit of stamina that we can possibly get. So that's our new appearance, for better or for worse. We're not doing heavy armor. I regret spending those points. Should have done boomstick instead. Okay, anyway, I'm getting carried away here. So let's grab the... Rock busters and start our day with some iron mining. Okay, and this is the I believe this is the iron mine, isn't it? This is the established iron mine. It is. Oh, crap. We need we need coffee, don't we? Haven't we read that book where we get more ore if we uh, have coffee in our system? Yes, harvest 10% more ore when buzzed by coffee. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with four coffee. That's all we really have. We do have some coffee grounds, but I'm saving those so that I can make more seeds later so that we can plant more and really get the production line going. So anyway, let's just take three of these anyway. And um, wait a minute, how much is this? Three minutes a piece, and this is gonna be 10 minutes. So this is gonna give us, uh, we're just gonna mine until the Rockbusters runs out, basically. Get as much iron as we possibly can. With that, the Rockbusters just ran out, and I think that's probably enough resources to hold us over for the day, or for the week. Well, not really the week, but like for the five days, right, until we get back around to strength day. Uh, let's have a look anyway and see how much we got there. Whoa, lag. Oh, yeah, lots of iron. Love it. All right, let's just real quickly dump some of this stuff into the forge and then head into town to do some raiding today. I don't want this to be all about... Uh, you know, building and base stuff, right? And let's head into town, right? Because today is Trader Day and we don't want to miss it before we swing back around, so... Or before we get to Intellect Day, I should say. So I got the money and we'll head into see... Whoa, that was a weird little stutter there. <laughs> head into see Trader, Trader Gen. Oh, and before I forget, we have named the Trader Compounds. There's Camp Crawford up here with Trader Gen. Oh, there's an airdrop over there in the snow biome. Just mark that up real quick. Airdrop. That's in the snow biome, though, so a little bit off limits for now. Yeah, so we've named this one up here at Trader Jen's Camp Crawford and the one back at Trader Bob's Camp Killian. Uh, what I do is I offer my patrons over on Patreon uh, the opportunity to have their name, their handle or whatever used in the game in addition to being in the credits role. And so, uh, like, once in a while, if I see a good opportunity, I will just randomly generate a number and pull someone off that list and plug it into the game. So, that is just an FYI there, so thank you so much to all the patrons and members who support the channel and support the work that I do. I really appreciate that, and that's just my little way of trying to show a little bit of appreciation back to those folks. Anyway, guys, I'll meet you there. All right, let's check the vending machine here first for the skull crushers, the beer, and probably won't need to buy beer for a whole lot longer. We'll be able to start producing it ourselves. So, Say hello to well, Jen here. Uh, very, very close. Sorry, Jen, I'll back up a little bit. Get out of your face. Get out of here, boat. Holy cow, coffee seeds. Yes, we'll take every single one of those. Yep, military fiber schematic. I suppose we can take that. And this automatic weapon handbook for crafting M60 machine guns. And a whole bunch of hop seeds. Holy cow, Jen's hooking us up today. Hobo stew recipe, sure. Pretty much take every single recipe and book or anything like that that I can take. But otherwise, that's it for her. I suppose we could take some, like, uh, you know, mushrooms and corn and stuff like that. A couple of jars of honey, blueberries. Yeah, nah, I think we're good. We're good now. Right, let's go find something to raid then. Bop spores. Ooh, that was, that, it's a good find. I don't really want to do it just yet. Not, well, we should do it at some point. We've got to do it at some point. You got to get the super corn, but uh, I think for now we're all set. I'd really like to just do a shotgun messiah. I feel like I haven't found really any guns. I've bought a few guns, but I have not been able to find any good guns. Ah, here we go. Yes, the shotgun beside shooting range. Exactly what I had in mind. Ooh, a deer. See ya. <laughs> Just drag him around and take him out. 
be a good test of our skills too. And it's not a very involved POI, so we should be able to knock this out well before dark. Unless, of course, a horde shows up. Oh, gotta sort of recalculate the trajectory on the new bow here. This one is much, much tighter than the other one. Yep, right over here, pizza. that i think we're ready to go into the main portion here and start the real clear job whoa hello there should be a couple here yeah one more and then we've got this guy here probably just try to kneecap him there we go nice and take you out I don't know about you guys, but it pains me to clear this place without some sort of like looting candy loot bonus, but it is what it is. Alright, should be something of a fight out here. Where'd you come from anyway? Yeah, where are all these zombies over here? Here we go, we got four it looks like. Five? Oh, no, off to a great start, aren't we? Ooh, the group knockdowns. Love it. And we'll just close things out with a stone sledge. The blue stone sledge. We'll call it Big Blue. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Just a couple zombies outside. I think I, every time I'm here, I search back here expecting some loot, and there's never any loot. I'll probably just, you know, get it through my thick skull that there's nothing back there. All right, we're on to the big fight now. This would be a perfect opportunity for some pipe bombs, I think. Just make sure that that's not there. All right, very high probability that I die here today, but we're gonna do the best we can. Really, the trick is gonna be to get them clustered up around these, uh, the cars and the barrels and stuff, and then blow them up after that. It just, oh, hey, hello, Bubbles. Whoa! Oh, stuff's on fire already. Okay, we'll just get one down there, and then please, everybody, come over here. Yep, yep, yep. It's gonna work, it's gonna work, and boom, baby! All right, all right, uh, what do I do now? Just shoot people, I guess. Ah, oh, I can't really reload because I don't have uh, points in the running gun. You, ow! Take a moment to uh, come up here, hide in here, close the door. Okay, get ready. And open her up. Let them blow. And burn, apparently. Nice. Okay, just take a breather here. My heart's racing. I wish I had one of those heart monitors that uh, Jaboodle and Genosis have been playing with recently. Although I've worked in medicine for about 15 years now, so I'd predict about a 145 right now. Okay, every, everyone else seems to be like trapped behind mannequins and crap like that. Hello, Steve. Oh, jeez, miss. Ah, they've freed themselves. Give me something that swings faster. There we go. Okay, we need first aid badly. I should have probably taken that skull crusher. That's exactly why I brought it out of the bike, but uh, I didn't do it. We'll survive, I think. There's gonna be screamers knocking here pretty soon, and also, do not set my loot on fire. That's this is dangerous. We need to get this loot out of here. Okay, just very quickly grab the loot, and we can run. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, just grab this. I'm not sure if this is flammable or not. Not taking any chances, though. It does sound as though, like, basically everyone else is trapped somewhere, though, like him. Here's another one. Last guy, maybe? I think so. Although, look out, because I think there's a screamer here somewhere. Oh, it's just uh, Lois over there. There we go. All done. We did it. <laughs> wow, we made quite a mess of things as well. Let's unlock this and get this loot so we can at least bounce and get everything that we came for. All right, anything good in here? Time charges, yucca smoothie recipe, and some ammo. Still, I don't think we got a single firearm out of this place. Definitely check these army trucks. These can have pretty much anything in them from what I've seen. <laughs> oh, empty jar, hell yeah. Okay, I, yeah, there's definitely a screamer over there now. These fires draw in screamers a lot, although I have kind of tuned it down so that it's not an absolute shit show like it was on, um, what was it, episode two when we had that fire and about 50 screamers came. But yeah, once stuff starts collapsing like it is now, there's no avoiding it. Okay, I guess we're not gonna go in that building there <laughs> to check on the loot because like the entire foundation is burning out and 
Yeah, there's just no safe way to get in there. Get me a ladder up here. All right, that's it for this place. That was a pretty quick clear job there. I just want to go see the screamer and ram her into the wall. Here we go. Ooh, two of them. And yes, <laughs> take that. You want one too? Oh, I'm going to get killed doing this. Yeah, get her. <laughs> and there's another one. Oh, and I sprained my arm. Yeah, I, I earned that one. Oh my God, concussion too. And I'm infected. Well, I literally asked for it, so I can't really, you know, complain too much, I guess. Oops, look at that. You can still see the fire raging off in the distance. <laughs> I love this mod, man. Uh, sometimes it's, you find a mod and then it's just like, it's going to be impossible to play without it in the future. Um, so I want to head back now to the base and on the way there, there's uh, some kind of a POI out here that um, there's someone in the comments. Sorry, I don't remember your name, but uh, this person has been hounding me to like raid this POI for two or three series now, so... I need to go track it down, and uh, we'll put that on the to-do list for the next couple of days. Whoa! Super endo there! Nice! Alright, I think I'm in the neighborhood. Where the hell was that? I think it's over here by Jen's somewhere. Is this one it? Um, is it that one? Is that the one? Is this the- ah, come on, bird. And zombie. Uh-oh. Um, we got one shot here. There we go. Crap. Ah, oh, we gotta risk the, uh, the sledgehammer here. I guess just don't use the power attack. Should be fine. Yeah, I I don't know if this is the one or not. Cause I don't think I've ever done this POI before, which is kind of the whole point of this. But I'm going to mark it on the, whoops, mark it on the map here as, like, Trodu. Or maybe Tudu, rather. Yeah, we'll do this later. We'll do it. I promise. I could be entirely wrong, and this is not the, pl the place that the commenter was talking about. But I guess we'll find out uh, maybe in the next episode. All right, so the only thing left to do now is head home, and I think all along the way, I'll just be harvesting up, well, I'll be trying to harvest up surface nodes and doing the best I can to just get us a few more extra resources here on Strength Day before we move on to Agility Day tomorrow. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And we've just finished up a major construction montage. I've run out of cobble now, so that's the only reason why we stopped. We have to get pretty much all of this base upgraded to something that's not wood, basically, so that we can, you know, mitigate the fire risk at this point, since we are getting a lot of mutated and uh, pop zombies in the hordes and stuff like that. So, okay, so we're into fortitude now, and I'll show you how I spent the skills this morning. Yeah, just basic stuff here. Uh, we're going to be focusing a little bit on living off the land today. Check out the map. I do want to head down to that garden right there. And then the quest that we want to do today is right there. I figured Fortitude Day is probably a good day to do it. But first and foremost, I want to get all of this stuff pulled up out of the ground. And I suppose the argument could be made that we just... <laughs> Probably don't even need to do any more farming at this point. All right, let me get these put back on the ground now. And that's it. So you'll see here I got a quality five uh, steel pickaxe. And that's because I used all of our steel tool parts to make this last night while we were still on strength day. I had a look to see if I could make the steel nux, but we're a little bit short on the nux parts. And I figure, why don't we just save the nux parts and, and all the parts really for all weapons and stuff until we can actually get a good quality tool out of it, or weapon in this case. Okay, so without further ado, let's just make sure that, uh, well, let's carry the beer with us today for sure. Yep, bring that down yeah, somewhere, and let's head out of here. Let's go to that POI. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. I think it's um, some sort of a, is it like a secret lab? Is it like a secret, um, 
uh, popping pills, or I, I really don't know. <laughs> I'll meet you over there, though, after I get some more gas. All right, this is the spot right here, and the uh, dead bird here from God knows when. A couple, I think it was last night I killed that bird. All right, so I was trying to think if I've done this place before, and I think I've I've been here before. I don't know if I was here on like a multiplayer playthrough or a stream or some sort of community event or something, but I don't think I've ever done it like in a series, so it'll be kind of cool to go through here solo. So we are getting kind of late in the day. I hope this is not uh, too... I know it's kind of an involved POI from what I've heard and from what I remember, but I don't know just quite how involved it will be. Oh, damn, I like these. <laughs> this is awesome. This would be a cool place to, like, live, do, a, like, a POI conversion. Yeah, see, this is, like, this place is totally fortified. Definitely more than meets the eye here. Ah, here we go. Okay, up and over. Nice little rooftop garden. I really like that. Okay, so let's head in here. Guaranteed we got zombies here somewhere, though. Just waiting for the ambush. There it is. Eat that. Ah, one of these places, I see. Parkour around the edge and get ambushed by birds, probably. Okay, get those arms uh, repaired up. We actually ran out of cloth. I used all the cloth to make duct tape last night. Hello? Eat that. Oh, wow. We are rocking it today, aren't we? Aha. Okay, we got a single pocket mod. I think we have room for that somewhere, too. Who's here? Hello. Oh, you gotta be, you gotta look everywhere in this place, apparently. Okay, we're just going down to the ground level now. Probably zombies down here. I think where this place is so fortified, this guy, actually, these, these doors are not very well fortified. Let's just open these up anyway, so we have, like, a way to get out of here if we have to. Come on. Whoa, look out, buddy. Okay, where's all your buddies? There's one. Trying to get the drop on me. Aha, here we go. Starting to get into the secret stuff now. Okay, so now, yes, okay, we're over here. This is a door that goes to, I think, where the garage is, and we can just head down into the secret basement portion. I don't know, is this like a bat cave or something? Whoa, soldier! No match for me, though. <laughs> Unless there's, like, more than one, maybe. Hello? Whoa! <laughs> right in the ass cheek. Oh. Okay, yeah, we're getting into, like, the really creepy stuff here, and this is all, like, super tight quarters. A couple of books I've already read there. Probably a good time to just start getting the beer into me. Luckily, it's not going to affect the vision or anything. Oh, this was the vault door that we heard open up. Oh, yes. Whoa. Oh, this is a tier four. Holy cow, man. Look at this place. Oh, feral white there in that little container. Oh, what do we got going on here? I hear zombies. Here we go. Got a feral there. Whoa, just <laughs> completely lifted him off his feet. Can we press on? We gotta keep an eye on the beer counter. That's only giving us, um... Oh, it's something like two minutes, I think, because I took some points into Iron Gut today. Oh boy, oh boy. What are we getting into here? Got a button there. Got a cop here. Don't need any fires down here, although looks quite fireproof, if I had to say so. Ooh, massive generator. Okay, and uh, none of these buttons are working. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do this. And somehow, what what, what is going on here? No, not, none of the buttons... That's not a button. What, what? Where's the button? There's a button. Not a not a working button though. Maybe follow the lines. Maybe. I don't know. This might be a, a POI that's like more geared toward um, like a uh, for store power quest or something like that. I guess we'll just beat our way in. No big deal. That might be the intended way after all. And we're out of beer. Here, let's drink some more. We got a, several zombies chasing after us now. And we got a dog somewhere as well. Yikes. I suppose it could be a coyote from outside. Ah, wow! Whoa! Oh, they broke through! Oh, I'm stuck here in the kitchen! Ah, they don't stand a chance, though. Yeah, I have a feeling that's a coyote upstairs. Okay, we're pressing on. Quite an industrial-looking area here. What's over? Ooh! 
Secret area. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I gotta finish the bathroom clear. What about back here? All these locked doors. Presumably we'll get to those areas by going through here though. Oh, let's check. I gotta find out if I ever got that acid book, that Wasteland Treasures book. I don't think I have. That's kind of like a, a great book. I think I would have remembered if I found it or not. Yeah, but those little like medical cabinets, that's what you get the acid out of if you've read that Wasteland Treasures book. Oh, look at that black dye, nice. On a roll here today. I'm just scrapping all the shirts because number one, inventory space, and number two, I also um, need the cloth, bad. Oh, look at that, we're heading up. Oh, speaking of cloth, yeah, we need to take all this stuff. Oh man, a whole bunch of bunk beds in here, yikes. Whoa, that's a feral, you got nothing on me. Well, maybe you do, oh boy. <laughs> um, ah! It's probably worth noting that if you right click to wrench something, you get the same resources as if you did the left click. That's a, a common myth. Don't let anyone tell you any different. It's been thoroughly tested by me. But uh, in this case, it's gonna take me two hits to do it anyway, so I might as well just save the stamina. But if you're doing a car or something, usually just a better idea to, to right click it. I actually have a whole video on that. I did that a while ago, back when I was doing the whole um, minute tips series there. I don't know, I did like 10 or 12 videos on just uh, really, really quick tips and tricks, and one of them was like using the power attack on a wrench to harvest things. Now I've been playing like <laughs> Undead Legacy for so long where that feature is removed, and so I'm kind of trying to get back in the habit of things here. Okay, get the beer in me, and I'm, I'm, I just backed myself into a bad corner here, did I? Yep, that's okay. Once I got the beer in me, I'm pretty much unstoppable. Yeah, I'm not ashamed to admit, when I first started playing, it was the Wasteland Treasures Volume 4, I think. Wasteland Treasures Volume 3. So it says, a chance to harvest acid from cars and medical equipment. And I never knew what medical equipment was. I always thought it was stuff like that, but it's those white boxes that are on the wall. I'll point it out next time I see one. You just, you harvest them with an ax or a ranch or, you know, whatever you have, really. These people went like overboard on the ventilation. <laughs> Some fr friggin' gigantic ventilation ducts. Kind of encumbered, get rid of the crap I don't need, and let's kind of do this, I guess. Is this like the big fight? Eh, not really. Kind of a lot of zombies though, getting surrounded. Got a feral here. And she left me a present. Love it. Yeah, otherwise, yeah, really nothing in you. Oh, got another acid, I mean, um, medical pile here. I kind of have acid on my mind still. All right, just cleaned up the inventory the best I could. And yeah, these piles here, really good chance to get acid out of. Look at that, speak of the devil. Okay, is this it? Where's, how do I open this, do you think? Is that one of those buttons back there that weren't working? Yeah, I sort of feel like it, it was, oh, there's the button right there, Never mind. And oh, I see a creepy looking shadow over there. You see that? Ooh. Oh, because there's a zombie down in that pit there. Yeah, okay, we got bubbles, feral white, big fight on our hands, it would appear. So I'm gonna go ahead and suck down. Uh, do you think two minutes is enough? I'll take down two beer, because they stack. And let's just take a coffee. Good stamina bonus there, and you know, make sure we're locked and loaded here. And I think we're as ready as we're gonna be, so let's trigger all the zombies. Most certainly this is a trigger room. And it's nightfall as well, so, oh, this is the nightmare speed fight. Here we go. And that's pretty much it. Whoa, oh fuck, abrasion. I don't have many bullets, but what I have I'll use. Ah, come on, Bubbles, that's the best you've got. You setting my loot on fire? Nope, just set a chair on fire. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay, get rid of that, get that fire put out, hopefully. Ah. Yo, oh, he's still alive, you bastard. Holy cow, that actually got really close there at the end. Ah, oh, yes, it's a Hagashi secret lab, nice. Love this place, this is really cool. Look at the secret pool over here, nice. Brick, I'm out of lock picks. This stupid chest. Wow, finally, that took forever, and Pizza's trying to break in there. Several zombies upstairs, I think, but let's see what we get here. And that is pretty good stuff right there. We got the super corn recipe, which is now unlocked because I'm in Living Off the Land, so I'll just go ahead and read that, and I'll read the basics of electricity. 
And we got an extra bandolier. Let's just take the steroids because we're kind of encumbered right now. And uh, there's still a bunch of loot left to get. Yeah, I saw some stuff out of the corner of my eye over here. So check on this. Ooh, good iron knucks and some pistol parts. And a bunch of junk there, basically. And this loot bag here, not much, honestly. All right, let's, um, how do we, how do we get out of here? Let's get out of here. So there was a, a conversation that came up in the comments there uh, a couple episodes ago, I think. And uh, the, the debate is uh, that, uh, am I going this way or where? Yeah, the debate is that um, does loot generate when you like crack the box open with your axe or does it generate when you open the box? And as far as I know, what Subquake said when I was playing in the Undead Legacy series is that it generates when you open the box, like, you know, you open it like this, right? It doesn't generate when you crack it open with your axe. And so, you know, let, let's just maybe put that to rest a little bit. Just a little FYI. All right, we are in the garage now. There's that stupid coyote. I think I will freaking kill him just for the fun of it because he's been annoying me all day. There we go. <laughs> Shoot him through the wall, who cares? And what do we got going on here? Probably several zombies. Looks like we're good to go though. Let's. We gotta head over to that garden over there though and make sure that we harvest up all of that stuff before we leave. Yes, this one right here, the one where the boars attacked us from the other day. I think I drove through here and we did the intro, yeah, like right over there. And uh, I had accidentally pulled the boar out of this field here, just like we did uh, several episodes before that when we found this same POI on the other side of town. Yeah, this will hold us over on hops. I don't think we'll need any more hops for like forever. We'll be able to craft up like a hundred beer or something like that and then just some extra potatoes here and some extra blueberries and that's it whoops i missed one all right that'll do it i will meet you back at the base after i make sure i get the rest of the potatoes out of this field here all right well we made it here there's a coyote that i killed earlier finally you can harvest him up with the knuckles here and this system here is going to be the width of the trench. So the drawbridge door will go in here. Drawbridge is seven blocks tall and it'll span seven blocks when it's open. And so the edge of the drawbridge will span to right here. So we'll have a little bit of a moat here, which will help protect the garage. And then that's going to have to come over and potentially just link up with the, the pit down here. So this is only going to be like four blocks deep or so. And then I think... I mean, I don't really know how else to do it. We're going to have to give the zombies a way to, if they fall into the trench, to get out. To get out of the trench. And so I think that will be some sort of system of dumping them off in here. I don't know. I haven't quite gotten there yet. And we have to basically wait until we get the auger in order to do all of this work here. I suppose for now, we just need to give ourselves a way to get in and out, though. Uh, unfortunately, this whole, like just sunken area has made it a little bit of a chore to kind of set stuff up, but that's okay. We got this excellent new system here to just dump all of our crap up there. And oh, days since last fire. No, it, no, no, it's only been like one day now. <laughs> Hopefully that was our last. You know what we should do to make it easier is we should do, we should change it to day of last fire so that I don't have to go here and change this thing every day. And so that was uh, that was the day 21 horde, so it was technically day 22, I think. There we go. Day of last fire, day 22. <laughs> All right, let me put this stuff away real fast. All right, that's it. Everything's put away, and oh, oh, got to harvest these real fast. So one thing I've been looking into there uh, is just some statistics on my videos. And so about 25, somewhere between 25 and 30 percent of the people watching this video right now are not subscribed. So do with that information what you will. But I've also discovered something new or not, maybe not new, but I've new to me, I guess. So if I turn developer mode on real fast and I hit shift F6, this brings up all of those Twitch integration commands. And so I can like initiate any of the the things that are normally integrated into twitch right and i don't know if you've ever done twitch integration on a live stream before uh, i'm not personally a streamer on twitch so you certainly wouldn't have seen it on this channel but um all of these buffs and stuff we'll, we'll do one real quick so we'll do buff blur and you can see that for 60 seconds i have like beer vision that was probably the worst one to do now we have to wait for this to go away anyway i'm gonna turn developer mode off and so basically <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna wait 45 seconds before I continue. Give myself a headache doing this. What if I pull up the map? <laughs> can I pull up the map and continue talking? Basically, what I was thinking is I'm trying to find a way where I can like 
integrate these features into our gameplay here, even though it wouldn't be like a live sort of situation. And what I thought would be cool is if we could set some like video performance goals, and then I'm usually about one or two recordings ahead of what you guys are seeing right now. And so whenever I like catch up and I get the performance statistics, uh, I can then implement whatever we decided on. And so just as an example, I thought like, why, why don't we start with something simple? We'll set like a, a like goal for the next video. I have a hard time jumping up on that. I think that, that that plate there is a little bit too thick. That or I'm a little bit too tall, one or the other. So what we could do is we could set up uh, like, you know, if I get, uh, let's say uh, something kind of conservative here, 3000 likes on the next video by the time I do a recording, then, or on this video for that matter, then uh, we'll spawn a bear down in the pit here and we'll do a freaking bear fight, like a bare knuckle bear fight down in the bottom of the pit. So. <laughs> Let's start with that, and if you have any other suggestions on how to use those Twitch integration commands in a sort of recorded style playthrough, I am all ears because uh, I, I was kind of surprised to see that that stuff is accessible, and I think it'd be there's got to be some way we can use that, right? Something fun we can do. I mean, you can spawn in like boss zombies, like just super hordes, and you can spawn in a whole bunch of like radiated, mutated zombies. It's really it's crazy. And then at the end, if you kill all the zombies, you get some kind of a reward. So there's kind of some incentive to it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. And so yes, the goal, 3,000 likes. If we get 3,000 likes, I'd be more than happy to spawn a bear down in there. We'll put all of our exp important stuff away so that if I die, it's not too big of a deal. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can uh, wrangle up a bear down there in the bottom of the pit. And maybe in the future, we can build like a cage, you know, we'll build a cage out here in the snow biome. We'll make it out of wood. We'll set it all on fire. We'll spawn some zombies in it and just fight them in like a cage fight to the death or something like that. Make an event out of it. <laughs> We've got to find some cool, new, interesting things to do, right? Anyway, for today, we need to take down the forgetting elixir. It is now going to be agility day, if I recall. Oh, of course, with the zombies always spawning in and then they don't want to come around. They always want to come into the garage. That's half the reason that why we now have to build the, uh, the moat around it. Did you get out of here, big mama? What the hell? Big Mama's on steroids, and now there's a zombie on the other side. What the hell, Steve? Oh, speaking of Steve here, we need to rename Steve to Morty, basically, because he looks like uh, he's got like the Morty outfit on, right? It's gonna be hard transitioning to Morty, but uh, we gotta do what we gotta do. The comments have spoken. We've got two renames, like three renames. We're calling the, the Screamer Karen. <laughs> we're calling the old Karen, uh, what's her name? Lois, <laughs> and we're calling Steve Morty now. All right, there's a look at the skill point situation for today. Uh, five into archery because we have this nice new bow now so we can finally utilize that to its full potential Make sure I get the forges rolling just a couple housekeeping things to do before we get started Okay, everything's cranking away. Just wanted to check on the part situation So basically we need 15 parts to craft a tier quality five item So we could craft a good baton on intellect day. We craft a good sledgehammer craft a good club as well Again, strength day, just a cut above the rest. I've not found a single shotgun part, which is just a travesty. So anyway, let's grab up the money. We, I, I'm trying to get in the habit of just having that all the inventory anyway, so that we can jump long distances and not get hurt. I mean, it's agility day anyway, so we're not gonna get hurt, but uh, let's see. Yeah, and let's head into the desert and maybe go do some quests for Trader Jen. All right, let's check on Jen here. Make sure she she's safe after the intrusion by these zombies here. Hello, my friend. Hey, Got any Good jobs today? Of course, we're on the tier twos. Not ideal, but maybe just do one or two of them. I will take the fetch and clear today because that'll give us the best chance of a Thanks, good son. reward. Plus, it's the parking garage. That's uh, pretty easy and pretty open spaces there. All right, where are we off to? Heading over there. I'll meet you there. All right, this is the spot. My spot parking, literally. Take care of Morty here. Oh, sorry, Morty. <laughs> Had to castrate you a little bit there. All right, well, we're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's hit the quest and yes, we gotta get the, the fetch too. Don't let me forget that. I don't think this POI is too big of a deal. I've been here before. In fact, the first time I ever did this POI was on the streamer weekend event when Alpha 21st came out. And it was in a snow biome back then. That's just a feral Thomas right there. 
And believe it or not, there is like a 0.2% chance that a demo will spawn in a downtown area. And uh, on my first time playing Alpha 20, literally within the first few hours, I had a damn demo spawn and come up on me when I was in this POI. I've only seen like one wild demo ever since. Oh, this is a good, this would be a fun horde base, wouldn't it? What are you guys doing? My goodness, there's just zombies everywhere. That's what you get doing quests in the downtown. Look, there's four more over here. Watch my back. Got a soldier up there. Jeez, you guys, get out of here. I'm gonna waste all my ammo on you stupid regular zombies. Try archery. Oh, there we go. I pull out the bow and I instantly get three kills. Nice. Guess we're rolling with the bow then. Archery's been buffed so much. I mean, the bow is actually like a surprisingly viable weapon, even into, it, with like, in say Nightmare into the late game. It's good stuff. Oh, hello. Holy crap. Oh, not what you want in close quarters though. Oh boy. Yep, that's bad. That's why we have the full auto mod on this thing. Ah! Oh, my bad. This place is a lot worse than I was expecting. Half the battle is just because you're downtown. Whoa, geez, where are we even going here? I don't want to be underwater right now. Oh, come on. Come on, ah, let me up. <coughs> I'm just drowning. Ah, big mama. Ow, you bitch. I can't get out of here. I'm gonna friggin' drown. Ah, I don't really know what is going on here. Oh my god. Right. Okay, we're good to go now. Except we're half dead. And I don't have any lockpicks, so we're going with timed charges on these things. Yeah, that works. Whoa, hello spider. Yeah, I think the sub-level is clear now, so we're heading up to the second level. Not a lot going on up here, because I think all the zombies that were up here pretty much fell down and attacked us on the, the, the bottom level. Probably a good opportunity for the bow, though. Not that bow. Okay, rooftop. Any action up here? Birds, probably? Oh yeah, and a cop. Whoa, look out! Oh! That's gonna insta-kill the cop. See if I can get the XP before he dies. Ow! Oh! Ow, man. Okay, area is clear. I did miss the supplies somewhere, though. Might as well grab the supplies while we're up here, though. And I'm gonna head down now and see if we can find the supplies. They might have been, like, in the water, kind of downstairs somewhere. Okay, so this is how many zombies we have to deal with in the downtown when we're in the desert. I don't know what it's going to be like when we get to the wasteland. Yeah, it was down here somewhere. Right... Uh... What? Where? Where is that? Oh, in here. I see ya. Okay, mission complete. Let's head back to Jens. Alright, we are back. And while I was kind of... Ooh, friggin' biker. Yeah, while I was traveling, I was... Ooh, nice. I was thinking about something. Um, when I was searching for the wheel there a couple of episodes th ago, a lot of people were saying like, oh, you, you can just get the wheels off the ground. Or they were saying you can get wheels from cars, or, you know, there, there was a couple different theories there, but they're all not true. So, unfortunately, in the console version, I believe you can get wheels from wheels on the ground. It's not the same in PC version anymore. That's been out of the game for a long time. So yeah, that's useless to you, as well as the bigger wheels. Oh, someone else said that if you got the wheel off a trailer that you could get a wheel, you can't do that, uh, unfortunately. And you can't get them from cars either. You have to craft them or find them or Here's buy them from the trader. Example. Take the dubsy just simply for the selling value and we'll get, I think, uh, nah, I think I'm good for today. Let's go just find something to do freelance on our own. And if there's anything for selling, it can just sit in here. Oh, what's this? This is for more damage to coyotes. Yep, why not? Morty running up on me here. Just uh, make sure I put that away for selling and get out of here, Morty. The rest of this crap can just sit in here. I found a pistol in a purse somewhere. <laughs> nice to have. Also, I haven't, uh, the temperature hasn't been a problem. I must have some cooling mesh mods or something somewhere, but I did find another cooling mesh mod. So just, you know, pop that on, why not? All right, let's go explore. Oh, you know what? Missed opportunity there on Fortitude Day yesterday. We should have just popped over here 
to the Bob's Boars and just kind of like, you know, broke in through the wall and grabbed the super cord. Ah, then again, you kind of want to do that place on strength day, right? So you have a less of a hard time breaking down all those pallets. And, uh, oh, it's our first, one of our first rainstorms, actually. I'm using the Clear Skies mod, which uh, just greatly decreases the chance that a storm will appear because typically a storm appears basically every day and that's just annoying. Oh, wait a minute. I just passed by something that looked fun. Uh, <laughs> dudes, dames, drink and dance. You know what? I haven't done this POI yet. Uh, the Diamonds Men Club, since it got renovated for Alpha 20. How do I get in here? I want to do this place. It says it's open, so let's head in and see what's going on here. Hello? Oh, yeah, it's got some strippers already. I'm gonna miss the old Diamond Strip Club. Oh, right in the boob. Must be some... Some dudes around here somewhere. We got the dames, now we're on to the dudes. Oh, yep, yep, this dude just disappeared into the floor. <laughs> nice. All right, is this the door to the outside? Whoa, hello. I guess we're just rounding everyone up outside. Yeah, I'll take the fast movers first, please, like the ferals, yep. Oh. With a variety of bleed kills and good headshots, I think we managed to do that without taking a hit. Bird! Nope. Don't think you're gonna sneak up on me. No, nurse! Oh, you bitch. Ruining my fun here. Chicken! Take my anger out on him! You jumping son of a bitch! Okay, I think we're a little bit hungry anyway. Let's have a steak and potato or... Oh, you know what? That's what I was missing on the tool belt. I lost my shovel somewhere. Okay, I guess we're heading up onto the second level. I do like this place. Feels nice and safe. I can kind of bail over the edge if, you know, hordes show up or random cops like that guy. Like, I couldn't tell you why he kind of came over there. I think he maybe heard me break something and came to investigate. That should take care of him. Oh, <laughs> set a little bit of stuff on fire. Whoops. Boom! Got the private dance rooms in here. Okay, got several zombies over here too. Oh, fortunately, yeah, he can't get to me. Whoa, hello. Get back. Oh, of course, arrow through the throat. Got a cop here. Uh-oh. Look out. Okay, that's um that's a concrete wall. No big deal. Okay, we are out and around onto the rooftop now. What kind of shenanigans are waiting for us up here. More cops. Guys are everywhere now. Oh! Police brutality. Oh, got the drop on these couple. Oh, Arlene, you just go back to sleep. Look out! Ah, no fires for you. I cannot hit this guy. Damn. Ah, look out! Whoa! Ah. Oh, they're coming up the stairs now. He did start a fire on something. It might be his own body that's on fire. <laughs> Another cop. Whoa, buddy! Oh, dog. Yikes. Oh. Ah, crap. Okay. Taking a break here. We've got to use the last of our bandages. Or we have a painkiller. That helps. Whoa! Bubbles! Hello! Jeez. Be careful around that guy. He could just spew a bunch of fire everywhere and ruin our whole day. Wah! Where are all these cops coming from? Oh. He had an arrow. Oh, that's the one from downstairs. He finally made his way around. Uh -huh. Ooh, this is another tier four? I think I have these time charges. That would be a bit of a freaking process again. Of course, they've squirreled all the zombies away somewhere where you can't see them. Is that a zombie? That's a toilet. All right, well, let's see what we can do here. Just hit that so I don't trigger the zombies. I'm gonna trigger them anyways. Kind of guaranteed to be a trigger room. There's one there. Maybe a feral. Nope, this it. Uh, nope, nope, nope. It's trigger room. I've triggered all the zombies. Yep. All right. Well, just come on out here where I can see you. Wait, loot? No. Ah, ah. Okay. We gotta kill the zombies to get the loot. Oh crap! I don't know what to do here. Yikes! Just burn everything. Come on over. There we go. Oh my god! Massive fire now. It's okay, zombies are on fire too. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I don't have any drinks either. Ah, crap. Oh, crap. Um, just, 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 oh. Ha, okay. 
We're on the loot. Just get this, uh, okay. And we're gonna have to just blow this up. Okay, it's gonna take, I think, two or three of these things. Okay, you don't have to worry about AOE or anything like that. Oh crap, it like set some stuff on fire. No, 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 no. Come on, still locked, are you kidding me? Okay, while I'm waiting, just gonna get this passing gas crate. Grab that, still locked? What is going on here? Okay, it's almost open. And maybe it requires like four and I just forgot. It's been a while. Okay, get the loot. Oh, junk turret schematic. That's a good find. And I'm going to catch on fire doing this, but got to get this loot here. All right. Uh, crap, crap, crap. Uh, just j jump and jump. Oh, okay. Woo. It it's like a five second rule, right? <laughs> if, if you touch the fire, you're okay for a couple of seconds, I think. Oh, I did have some murky water too. So if I do accidentally catch on fire here, I can just... Uh, you know, douse myself with some water and it should be okay. And otherwise, I think we're all set here. Let's just get out of here. Phew, wow, that place is fun. I like that, that was a good one. All right, let's stash up the bike again. We're getting pretty full. We might have enough room to do maybe like one more job. Whoa, oh my God. That was the best hit ever. <laughs> Poor Thomas. Here, I'll put you out of your misery. Your knees must be pretty sore after that one. Yep, there you go. Ah, well, we've got waterworks here. We've got passing gas here. Either one of these would be really good, actually. I'm thinking waterworks, though. Let's do this. We could try for a waterworks speed run. See, I've done this. We did a competition a long time ago to see who could clear out some POIs the fastest, and uh, I had a more than one, probably more than a couple of dozen <laughs> practice runs going through here, so I know very well where all the zombies are, where they spawn, how many of them there are. I think there's like... Uh, what is there, like 20? So there's a small chance that there's a zombie in here. Yep, there is. And you jump down here, zombie. Things might have changed though, I don't know. Just <laughs> bypassed all the zombies that are in there. Whoa! There he is. Don't forget the secret loot. I think it's uh, up here or up there. There it is. And one over here. Still got no shotgun parts. Hey, is this new? I don't think I've seen this part before. Oh, maybe I have. And on to the big fight. I got one more pipe bomb, so go ahead and bring it on. Yep, round them all up. Where are you guys? Oh, ow. Yep, yep, yep. Heal me up, heal me up. Okay, just make sure they're clustered behind this door. It's like one of my favorite tricks to do now. Give that just a couple of seconds to cook off. Let them have it. Ooh, a little bit of a fire on the garbage there. And this dumbass didn't even make it around. Get out of here. Well, definitely not a 100% clear job, but we got the gist of it, right? Good tier four loot here. All right, I'm gonna see how much damage this does. I didn't think it would take four, but apparently it does. Yeah, that takes a lot. Wow, time charge is just not very useful, are they? All right, well, there's no other way to do it. We gotta pound our way through this thing. Ooh, good handgun parts. Nice, couple of acid. Yeah, someone was telling me that there's almost always a couple acid in these tier four chests. And we've got a treasure map as well. Okay, time to get out of here. And jump, jump, ow, into the cactus. <laughs> All right, I think that'll just about do it. There's a whole bunch of zombies left in there that we didn't actually kill, but uh, we'll leave them to it. All right, I think it's time to just head back to the base. There's always something to do around there, so I'll just meet you there. All right, here we are, and that's a look at the hall for today. Not too bad, robot turret schematic. We might be able to see if we can get one of those crafted. I do feel like we have a lot of robotics parts. No, we don't. <laughs> Scratch that. Lots of baton parts, though, so probably tomorrow we could get a good quality five stun baton crafted. All right, that's everything put away. Got my shovel back. Gonna use the steel shovel from now on, but we've got this treasure map here, Claude's treasure map. So read that and accept the quest and see, oh, lovely, right in the middle of the damn lake. That will be a fun one to dig up. Yeah, you know, once, uh, you know, it won't be too hard to dig up actually, because we'll get the treasure hunter perk. We'll get more treasure out of it. Plus we'll have lucky looter, plus the desert bonus. So that could have some really good stuff in it. 
How do I make beer? I was just thinking about that. It's not, is, is it in the, it's not in the campfire. It's in the, the chemistry station, I see. Oh wow, it uses four hops. I did not know that. I think that's literally the first time I've ever made beer in my whole life. Okay, so what do we have to work on here today? I think, uh, I really, what I need to do is I need to finally sort out what we're going to do in terms of the walls and just get them in. Just securing the area there with my archery skills. I think I wasted only about, you know, 15 or 20 arrows. <laughs> anyway, let's jump out here just briefly because there's a couple of things I was thinking I might want to do out here. First one is we got to get a system here so that when we put the dart traps in, they can shoot through. Probably the best block for that is the arrow slit. Getting really carried away here. Oh, crap! Oh, we're good. Yeah, admittedly, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to kind of leave it and come back and revisit that another time. What we definitely need to do is uh, get a different block choice for this, and I'm thinking it's, it's just going to have to be security gates. So how about like that? I think that'll that'll do just fine. And we'll just have to replicate this over onto this one. And that will do it. Let's get these things solidified. And done, just like that. I think I might just pull these off right here because... It's kind of going to interfere with the system with electronics and stuff like that. And they are already attached on eight points if I just leave these corner ones on. I will get that made into cobblestone once I get some more of that. There's another thing I want to start doing out here, though. Let's just uh, jump off here, though, quickly and see. Yeah, so what I want to do is put on a system like this. And we'll jump back up there and we'll kind of wrap that all the way around the base eventually. Bring that right to the end and there's like a specific sort of um, formation I guess that I want to put up here. Yeah. Was that it right there? Oh yeah, that's it right there. That looks good. I like that. And so I'm just going to make um, crenellations kind of like every other block all the way around because this base is starting to kind of look like a castle. And I think I'm just going to lean into that a little bit. So we're going to have crenellations all the way across the top. And that should that should be perfect. I don't know what quite we'll do in the corner there yet. Just get these put in on the top. And then I'm going to head down and see what that looks like. That, yep, yep. I like that a lot. It's looking really good. This base is going to turn out really nice in the end, isn't it? Might also... What if I um, did something like this? Just on face... Kind of like that, and then whoop, brought it up the same way on the other side, and then kind of did the same thing here. Kind of a, a huge waste of blocks and resources, but um, yeah, I think that would actually look really cool if we did it that way. But it's about to crack dawn, so anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we have to call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Oh, hi there, Tim Camp. How's it going, man? So, due to popular demand, we have got some nice looking clothes here for Tim Camp. He's gonna be helping me out here. I'm going to go ahead and just disappear him so that zombies don't come up and eat him while we're filming here. But, um, oh, let's take a look here because I've made some changes to the front of the base. Uh, there's a lot more yet to do, and I think that's going to be the focus for today. So today will be intellect day, I think. Yes, and I have a whole list of things we need to craft. We need to go to the trader, and uh, we basically need to get a lot of wood, a lot more frames, and we need to finish up what we have going on out here because I'm not really liking that. It looks like there's like just like two middle fingers kind of pointing out of the base. So uh, anyway, we'll we'll get to that later. And I've also got to remedy this problem here. I've decided that I want to put like a mural here, maybe like we did in the Darkness Fall series where there was that like skull mural. I'm not sure if I can replicate one, but I want like the mouth to be where the dart traps here are going to be shooting through. I think that would look pretty cool. But um, yeah, let's start things off today by drinking down this forgetting elixir. Okay, there's a look at how I spent the skill points, basically taking everything except for charismatic nature and grease monkey. Don't really need those for today. And now it's just time to get the kit switched over. 
Okay, I think we're ready to go. We've got this quality four stun baton. We've got uh, rad remover and weighted head on it. It's about the best I could do, I think. Unless I had an ergonomic grip, I don't think I found one of those. Probably the best mod to put on this. Well, this will have to do. We'll go ahead and grab up the entire chest full of sellables and maybe get some of that stuff repaired. You can always repair stuff up for better value. And you can also put extra mods on. But if you're going to put extra mods on anything, uh, you got to put it on the highest quality item. Put it on your purple items first, even if it's like a pipe gun. You want to put it onto a quality six pipe gun versus like a quality three, you know, M60 even. But we should get a pretty good value increase by repairing several of these items here. But I don't want to waste all of my repair kits on that. They're a little bit pricey to make. Oh, hello, Horde. Good opportunity for some archery work, maybe. Nope, this sucks. <laughs> Never mind. Do I have any skull crushers? That will help. And a... Do I have any mega crush, maybe? Have I really not gotten a single mega crush yet today? Uh, or in this playthrough? Jeez. All right, well, we'll take a yucca smoothie then. And get the hell out of here. All right, well, that was just the beginning of it. Oh, and I'm out of stamina already. <laughs> Great. And that's gonna, perhaps, I thought it would draw the rest over. I think they're too far away though. Got one taker. All right, well, I can't leave the rest of them here just loafing around. Oh, Morty. One more. And we're done. Well, except for this guy. Come on, get the hell- Whoa, get out of here. <laughs> Gonna get fancy with my flying ninja stun baton attack. Okay, so before I leave, there's a couple things that we need to craft. Starting with a dart trap, or two preferably, if I could short on oil, but I think I do have either the oil recipe or... Yes, I do. I also just wanted to take a look at what the mod situation looks like here. Like. Mag extender mod, definitely could use one of those. We've got the vehicle off-road headlights, which is pretty easy to make, so we'll take that. And the vehicle reserve fuel tank mod, also very easy to make, so we'll take one of those. Cannot make the robotic drone, though. You have to have the schematic. That is the only way to get it. I can put... No, I cannot make the robotic turret. I took all those points to robotics, and I don't have the robotics parts to do it. We will have to hope that uh, one of the two traders that we visit today will have some of the parts for us then. Okay, that's the rest of the oil, and I can get the other dart trap crafted, and I'll just see if maybe there's some iron in here that we can then turn into some darts. Let's just go ahead and get all of them to start with, I suppose. We're gonna need them eventually anyway, and I think we're pretty good on forged iron and forged steel for now. Okay, so this is cooking on mods, this is cooking on dart traps, and I think that's all we can do. This is cooking on, uh, what is this, hobo stew, <laughs> tons of it. That is nice. We won't have to worry about food ever again. And our garden, well, the garden is just for basically for fun at this point, right? Um, okay, what's the gas situation? Terrible. Refuel, storage, not the boots, please. Oh, geez. There we go. All right. I'll meet you over at Trader Bob's. All right, Trader Bob, buddy, how you doing? Let's see his inventory first. He did not have a sugar butt, so we're gonna have to just uh, wait and sell off everything over at Jen's and hope that she has a sugar butt. Look at that, <laughs> she's still got the wheel in stock. I'll, I'll take it, because you know we might want to get the 4x4 or the gyrocopter soon and we don't want to run into the same issue we had before. Machine gun parts, we'll take all the parts basically. We need the parts because we can uh, essentially craft anything that we want as long as we're on the right day. And for Bobby here, he's got like the super duper secret stash because we took all those points into better barter, unlocking the third tier, the third extra tier of secret stash items. Oh, there's a robotic turret right there. That could actually save us on the parts, but you know, we don't really have any, um, or we could scrap it even for the, the robotics parts. We have eight, we need 15, I think. Steel tool parts, we used all those, so I'll go ahead and take them. And you know what, let's go ahead and take this because we can scrap it in the future. It's only three grand and we can use that uh, basically right now. Yeah, all we'll have to do now. is do some mining on the way back, get a little bit of iron, craft up the ammo and uh, we're good to go after that. Hey, I wonder if this is that stupid 
green zombie that killed me that one time over here. <laughs> I get my payback on him. Whoa, feeling the rage here today. Okay, let's head over to Trader Gens and we'll do some mining along the way. I've also been just harvesting up some trees on the way because we're gonna need some more frames to do all the construction that we wanna do. So just gonna chop some trees down to make some frames, stuff like that. And we just got an airdrop right there, you can see it. And that is gonna be here in the temperate biome. So we'll just wait and do that tomorrow. We've got to do the one where it's buried in the lake anyway. I have a plan on how we can get to that pretty easily. Uh, hopefully, anyway. <laughs> uh, and we'll, we'll just save these uh, for when we have the Lucky Looter perk. All right, made it Jens. Let's just hope that she has a sugar butt for us. Let's see. Ah, yes. Jen hooking us up as usual. Nothing really else that we need, though. Oh, can't do that. Don't have agility. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do the sell off with Jen then. Sugar butt in and sell. And we leveled up there as well. That's good. Yeah, I could just, you know, max out Daring Adventurer. Which means we we probably really should do a quest while we're out here, right? And get the reward. Let's see what she has for jobs then, at least. Definitely don't want to do buried supplies because I, I can barely dig and I have the seal shovel on me and that's just bad news. Let's see what one of these uh, fetch jobs are. These are much faster usually. She's basically just offering a bunch of barns and farms. So we'll just take that one. That was the last one that I checked. And uh, we still got the sugar butts active, so we'll do some shopping before we go. Oh, lockpicks. Really expensive though, and I could just wait until tomorrow and start crafting those to take a point into lock picking. Ah, handgun parts though. That's like gold basically. Oh, nerdy glasses, nice. Got to learn an elixir, that's always worth the money. Ooh, steel arrows. That's probably worth it as well, I'll take those. I'm not even sure if I can craft them, I haven't really looked into it. Got a batter up book, of course we'll take that. Hunter's journal here for more damage to mountain lions, that'll help as we're going into the snow biome soon. Wasteland Treasures Volume 5, that is harvesting brass from doors, that's always a good one, another wheel there. And we've got a steel axe here and a steel pickaxe for 462 each. Gonna take those so that I can just scrap them for the parts. Ooh, a nice SMG there too but we are running a little bit low on money there, so well, I think that'll do day. it. What do we get for these? Three apiece, or four apiece, in fact, so definitely worth your money to buy those quality one items. Read those books, we will get the proper arrows loaded in here. Very good, and just scrap the rest. We'll turn that into robotic turret ammo instead. Speaking of that, load her up, and we are ready to do a quest. Oh, it's this place with the boar. <laughs> so I guess that's good. We can hit this quest then. And that should respawn the boar. Here, let's just get ready for him. Where are you? I know you you're in the barn there, the little shed, aren't you? Is that where you guys live? It is. Ow, take him out. What? How are you still running? You bastard. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, uh, did you kill the other one? You did. Might as well have that meat. Okay, I can always pick up those chairs, scrap those for some more iron. We'll put the nerdy glasses on, I suppose, get a little bit of extra XP here. Plus, I would like to start wearing the appropriate set of glasses for whatever day we're on, regardless of, you know, you know not gonna put the looting goggles on every time I go to loot something, you know. Just have one set of glasses, whatever's appropriate for that day. Okay, I'm not sure that I've ever done this place um, as a quest before. Where, where do we go, over here? Looks like it. I gotta get out and quest more, man. I always, like, tell myself that I'm gonna... Ooh, nice bounce. I always tell myself that I'm gonna do more questing, like, every time I do a series, but then I kind of get into it, and you get to the tier 3, tier 4s, and I'm just like, meh. I'd, I'd rather kind of do my own thing at some point. And out of stamina. Uh-oh. Yeah, gotta be a little bit careful here. I am not the badass that I was, like, yesterday. Okay, yeah, it's starting to look a little bit familiar now. I feel like I have certainly done this before, although that, that doesn't ring a bell there. Who the hell knows where I've been at this point? <laughs> I've played this game for too long. There's a uh, nice little wall safe there. We got plenty of lock picks. Although, it seems like wall safes are like notorious for eating up lock picks and not being worth it. I guess we'll find out. Okay, I guess I'll just eat my words on that one because that was only my first try. Nothing we need though. Go! Oh, is that a cop? Jesus, man. Get out of here. Don't blow up either. No. 
Oh, fancy button. Nice. Love this. Yeah, I've definitely never been here before. Okay, final fight here, I'm sure. So set that down. See if I can get the drop on even one of them. I don't even think they're spawned in yet, actually. Kind of walk in and then they spawn in. Is that how it works here? Oh, nope. There they are. That's a bunch of BS right there. Oh, ow. Oh, got a cop. Uh-oh. Kind of wouldn't mind to watch him blow up and catch some stuff on fire, honestly. Oh, the shock killed him. Damn. Right as I think he was about to blow up, too. Yeah, this is a pretty cool little POI. I don't, I don't mind it at all. Liked it. Oh, nice. A bit more handgun parts. That is great. Bow parts, too. Man, making out like a bandit here. Ah, ooh, there's the satchel, too. I'd forgotten all about that. Good thing I saw it. And is that it? This is like the bait chest. They try to draw you in with that so they can ambush you. And some pretty good food there. All right, it's time to go home. But well, before we do go home, the whole point of doing this was so that we could benefit from the double quest reward. So I will check and see what Jen has for us. Hello, hello. Amazing. What do we get here? Ugh, not so much though. I'll you take the... Jeez, honestly, this is awful. I'll take the ammo though and the knucks because I can sell those next time around. That's good enough. Oh, and uh, I still have developer mode on. I turned that on when I was uh, <laughs> dressing up Temcam there this morning. All right, I think we're off home now. I'll just get some wood along the way and we'll get some frames crafted and spend basically the whole night uh, trying to get the base built up. I'd like to get it into basically its final form uh, today. Like just to at least get all the frames down. Oh, look, you can see the base way off in the distance there. That's so cool, the new dynamic imposter system that they added. I, it's weird though, because I think I have dynamic imposter system turned off, and yet it still, it still does stuff like that. Although, and then sometimes uh, it doesn't even appear until I basically roll right up on the base. <laughs> Perfect game with no bugs, right? I actually just wanted to check my settings and make sure that I'm correct on that. So, oh, a lot of people ask me about my quality settings and like how I get the game to run how I do. Well, I'm running a 3080 Ti video card and this these are the settings that I basically use. And uh, dynamic, dynamic mesh is not enabled and yet uh, it does appear as though it is working because my base is clearly visible out there in the distance. All right, and we're back. Oop, soldier boy. You don't belong here. Oh, got another guy here somewhere. Who is it? Hello? Whoa, a bunch of people. And out of stamina. Yeah, just hip fire my <laughs> junk turret. Got another one here. Oh, jeez. Burnt boy. Stop messing my base up. You skinny motherfucker. Get over here. Look at you. You don't even know what to do. Oh, and that reminds me, we set that goal for the last episode where if we got 3,000 likes, we're going to do the bear pit thing. So I'm filming this on Wednesday, so that video will come out tomorrow and we'll find out on the Saturday video if uh, what, what happened with all that. Which, uh, let me look at the skill tree here. So, okay, tomorrow's going to be perception day. So, oh, that's perfect. So if we can get the 3,000 likes, we'll be on fortitude day and then... Uh, We'll be able to do brawler. We'll have a like a really sick brawler build, and we'll go down there and use the nux on a bear and see if <laughs> see if that even works. Never really tried it. Should be okay if you can get on the back of the bear, ride the bear. It should be fine. <laughs> okay, let's just get all this stuff put away, and we'll get started on construction here. I was just thinking, wouldn't it be cool if you could occasionally get? I mean, I don't know if it would be cool or annoying more if you could get a flat tire in your vehicle and you have to like put a spare wheel on it. You know, kind of like a maintenance thing. I don't know. I think that would be a little bit realistic, right? Okay, there's the dart traps. We'll start with these then. Should be able to pull those up no problem. And haven't yet decided what blocks I want to put out there. So, uh, in fact, I, I might need to like, yes, I just wanted to stand there for a second and see if this is in the right configuration. And it is. So we'll lock those in there. And, oh geez, we got to figure out a trigger system for it. I think probably a motion sensor would be best. I don't think that I have one though. No, let's see if we can make one. Certainly can. So we'll hook that up to a motion sensor then. The question becomes though, where do we put the motion sensor? It, would it be safe do you think to put it right there? I mean, these are cheap. So for now, I think I will just slap it right in there, remove these so that I can hook this up and then 
somehow gonna get power to that. I'll just take it off of any one of these lines, I think. Yep. And it's rolling. You can hear it ticking. Uh, the, the, whatever mechanism is cycling in there. Can I just grab that camera, though? There we go. And aim it down just a little bit. Actually, that might be an issue if it's detecting zombies that are kind of like not on the walkway. But yeah, we'll, we'll roll with it for now and see how it goes. That just needs to be on um, zombies only, though. Sometimes I make the mistake of having target strangers on and then Temcam shows up and gets fucking murdered. <laughs> okay, so a couple darts rolling in. Ran out of fuel on it, though, so... We'll just split it evenly here. Lock ammo and we'll wait for our customer to arrive. What about you, big mama? You wanna come over here? Pretty sure I hit her in the leg and she's just walking as slow as she possibly can. Okay, she, she was on the outside area and she didn't trigger the motion sensor. Oh, perfect. She made it like, you know, a third of the way down and it triggered everything and then I'm not gonna trigger anything. Yes, yes, I love it. Here, I'm gonna take all these off though, they're hideous. Okay, it is time then to do some base building. Let's just uh, find where I put the frames and the wood. I'm thinking probably uh, something on the order of 500 more frames to get this finalized here. The big issue that we're having is out here. So, I mean, I like how this looks here and I think we can still do it, but uh, we're gonna have to kind of work a, and, and these these look cool too but um ultimately i don't think this is the right way to go so we're gonna pull all this stuff up and we're gonna redo things a little bit okay so here's the problem that we're having we need to make a smooth transition between these like vertical pillars and this sort of horizontal ramp system that we have fortunately we have access to a lot of good shapes to do that with and i th I think the one we want is this ramp inside corner full. Although it's like super hard for me to do this from the top, so I'm gonna have to risk my ass down here on the ground level <laughs> and make a little pole up there to do this. Um, almost got it. There we go. Yep, I think that's about the best you can ask for. And we'll do the same thing on all sides, just like that. Well, all right then, what do you guys think of that? That's a pretty cool setup, I think, there. It gives us plenty of cover if we're ever fighting from up here. Several zombies did walk up on us last night, and fortunately, the dart traps take right care of them, which increases our productivity so we don't have to walk down there every time and go and, like, check on things and make sure that the zombies are killed and all that. And it, I guess, is to be determined on um, what we're gonna end up doing on this area here gonna try something real quick before we go get that forget an elixir let's try i need like the pyramid tip Ooh, what about this one what does that look like whoop <laughs> oh poor morty down there i think got one shotted okay i just brought the alternative camera angle over to see how this looks and i think that looks pretty good i think we'll stick with that we'll just kind of replicate that a couple times here and then we'll move on there we go, all set. Wow, it feels good to finally get that portion done. There's still quite a lot more to do. In fact, let's just get started on this part here. I know I keep, I keep saying that we're gonna move on to something different, but uh, we, 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 gotta, we gotta just get this done, right? We got the frames for it, uh, at least for now. And I just want to get this stuff finalized kind of like once and for all. Yeah, we need to seal this up. And what I thought was that we can just leave these as open, like open-ish windows. I think what I'll eventually do is put bars in with bulletproof glass so that nothing can come through at us oh right and there was this system here we did this on the other side but i have not yet finalized it on this side so what we're just gonna do is sneak in a block right there build out this balcony just a little little bit and then if i could just do this without breaking a leg that would be great oh and uh one thing there, there was a couple questions in one of the recent videos on how and I've seen a lot of people that, on YouTube even, like creators, that don't know this. But if you do hit R, you can reverse the rotation. So uh, probably 
99% of you know that, but for the 1% that don't, that is kind of like, <laughs> that's a game-changing revelation there. And there's no shame in that at all. Uh, so, you know, we all miss something sooner or later. It, de it definitely took me a while to figure that out, so. All right, so that should do it there. We'll just replicate that on this side real fast. Okay, the one thing left to do for today, and that is suck down the forgetting elixir. Okay, now we just gotta get a, some kind of a spear loadout system going. But we do get a nice hunting rifle now, so at least there's that. Ooh, that looks slick with the black dye. I haven't quite seen it like that before. Put the silencer on it for today. And we've got a 4X scope. Man, that looks good with this DLX weapons fix mod. Look how it like blurs your peripheral vision and yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, let's get some breakfast into us, some water, and we'll spend these skill points. Pretty much by default now, just going full 10 and then we'll do three here, five here. We'll of course take five into salvage operations. I like breaking just random stuff down on this day. And we'll need one into lock picking. And before I forget, let's just get a bunch of lock picks, like 50 of those. That'll hold us over for a couple of weeks there. We continue. Dead Eye and Javelin Master, kind of a must there. Four more points. I'll take just the four into the penetrator, I suppose. I wish I could get some a uh, AP ammo. Can I get any AP 762? Ooh, I could. And I think I will. 441 of it. Yeah, just start working on that. Probably not going to help us too much today, but in the future, definitely will. And just keep this topped off on darts at all times. That is a super helpful addition to the base. Right, the first thing to do for today is going to be... I'm going to bring some coffee with us because we're going to have to do some digging. We're going to be digging up that treasure. We should have plenty of frames for what I want to do over there. Jump on the bike and I'm going to meet you over at the lake. You know, that... Is that on the island, actually? No, no, I do think it is in the water. It might be close to the island, though. Not that that helps us at all. Yeah, that's kind of right in the middle. Crap. Ooh, it's kind of like right on that island there. Okay, this is where we're going to park it then. We could probably save a little bit of energy by just driving in as far as we could and then bail off the bike and put it in the inventory. That's just too complicated. Let's jump in here. And here's a hot tip for you. If you want to go faster while you're swimming, you want to crouch. If you do this, it's really hard for you to tell, but um, look at like the plants on the bottom of the screen and look how quickly they're moving past. And now I'm going to crouch and do the same thing. Crouch, hold, shift for like the sprint. You go a lot faster this way. There's a freaking coyote down here. What the hell? There's also a zombie down here. Uh oh. Okay, we made it. But we've got company. Oh, there we go. So I don't know if you all heard. I just put a post on Twitter a couple days ago that the... The, the power attack, like the throw with the spear, is being removed for Alpha 21. It was kind of a surprise hint that we got on the forums there. Well, it was a hint, and then someone, like, knew what the hint was talking about. It was really complicated. It was something about, like, um, you'll have to watch Prebuilt's video. It is Prebuilt. I'll try to remember to put a link down in the description to that. But it was interesting. Like, uh, one of the, the forum moderators gave a clue. Someone decoded the clue. Something to do with... Um, the Hunger Games and some guy in that movie that, or the book maybe, that used spears. Man, that's still like way out there too. But yeah, so it's just going to be like a, a heavy power attack a la what you see in um, Undead Legacy or Darkness Falls. But here we go. All right, we're about on top of the treasure now. And the trick we're going to do is we're going to see if we can kind of disappear all of the water by doing this trick here gonna build a three by three tower all the way to the surface oh it is such bs that i can't there we go <laughs> having a hard time getting on the top of it there so yeah we do this here uh oh don't quite have enough frames to do this okay i don't think we need the corner ones do we we actually just need it all it only needs to be a cross just like that i believe because then i can start taking the frames out uh, and then go all the way down to the bottom and then there's no water down here because it's been replaced by the blocks And then I'm free to start digging Just try not to like, you know, dig into the water and <laughs> mess everything up uh Oh, that would be the water Okay, I found it right there Oh, just a well, we got some knuck parts and just a bunch of ammo really Could could have been a lot better, honestly. Now we just gotta pick up the best all right, we're back to shore. Where is my bike? Where is my bike? There it is. Okay, next thing to do is swing over and get the airdrop from yesterday. Oh, I'm just kind of cutting through the snow biome here, and that is the El Chapo Mansion. I think that has to be our first thing on the to-do list once we open up into the snow biome. 
And uh, I said I was going to avoid this one until we got snow biome access, but you know, we're right here and we've got the lucky looter points and all that stuff. So, oh, by the way, I was supposed to put on my um, lucky goggles for today. Melee mods bundle, which contains, oh yes, that ergonomic grip that I wanted and an antibiotic. And we're off to the next one, the one that came just today. Here we are. Check on this one. Get a pumpkin bread recipe and... Oh my god, no, 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 not the cobblestone cubes, not now, not after I just placed all of the blocks down that we need for the entire base build. Damn it, stupid bow! Well, I guess it is helpful, it's just gonna be a bit more of a chore than I would have liked. It's always easier to just use the nail gun than it is to, like, copy shape, copy rotation, pick up, replace, blah blah blah, and it saves us a lot of, bit of wood too, and, you know, come to think of it, the, the time saved on wood chopping and cobblestone crafting probably is made up for, so, um, yeah, I'm good with that. Oh my god, I'm cheating, I'm in the snow biome, <laughs> but I got some good stuff out of that. <laughs> but I think those are, what, what, are those the cool guy glasses, or the tough guy glasses, or, or what, I mean, there's two different types of glasses, tough guys, so that's the fortitude glasses, that's nice. Cool beans, oops, I found another, uh, backpack, and I accidentally opened it while I was over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, uh, I don't know, what, what else is on the agenda for today? What are we doing today? Definitely, we're not riding the bear, not yet. Oh man, let's see what it looks like coming up on it. Whoa, that looks so cool. It, it reminds me of the, the Night King from the Game of Thrones. The, the, cr or, it's not really a crown, but you know, the little fucking horns that come off of his head. Pretty cool. Also kind of gives me vibes of like, um, you know, Mordor, Lord of the Rings, um, like Barad-dur, some kind of, a uh, orc fortress. Very nice. Kind of itching for a fight, though. We got all these zombies over here, so I'm just going to take them out very quickly here. Hello! You got nothing on me until I run out of stamina, at least. Which is uh, fast approaching. And I'm, I'm not carrying any good, like, full auto weapons anymore. All right, totally out of stamina now. Come and get me. Morty. Ah! Whoa! Run! Oh, the, the dart is kind of shooting at them a little bit. Whoa, it's freaking super steel arrow here. Eat that. Hmm, yeah, so that camera can see them when they're down here. Just not ideal. Really, we'll be okay for Horde Night, I think, though. Oh, well, you know, while we're at it, might as well kind of fill some of this stuff in. A lot of people have been saying that they're worried that, um, you know, demos or whoever else is gonna knock out this pathway here, and I don't think that they will. I think it's possible that they would, but I don't think that they will. Here's a good use for these things. Kind of replace the stuff that all caught on fire and burned out <laughs> that last Horde night. Oh, of course. Of course I did that. Oh, man. Freaking cobblestone cubes. You know what I'd like to do, too, is on strength day, I want to start digging down here, because I was thinking we need to do clay mining anyway. Look at all those zombies over there, after I just went over there and killed all of them. My goodness, the wasteland is going to be a complete disaster for us. Many deaths await, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, so, um, I want to start digging up all of this stuff, because I know there's a bunch of clay down there. If we could just dig down a little bit, one or two layers, there should be a bunch down there. Oh, and, uh, one thing we could do is kind of get the... The pad, I guess, for the garage. Right, because um, it's going to go just like this, and then the automated drawbridge door is going to go in right here. Did I do this right? One, two, three, four, five. Um, no. What did I do wrong there? Wow, this thing is fun to use, isn't it? That was cool. Okay, yeah, what, what have I done wrong here? I've done something wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think the drawbridge is seven high, though, so I might have messed things up just a little bit. So, okay, no further modifications then until I have sorted that all out. Yeah, I've got the balcony too low right now. That needs to be two blocks higher, I think. Yeah, we'll get to that later, though. All right, just putting the off-road headlights and the reserve fuel tank on there, and should be able to just grab the gas and refuel, put a little bit extra in, and we should be good to go. Got both of those airdrops knocked off, and I suppose we just, the world is our oyster right now. What day is it? Day 26, we got two more days for the horde. I feel like we're 
thoroughly prepared for that at this point. So let's just head into town and maybe do another quick quest job for Jen or, you know, I probably, you know, prefer doing like a tier three or something at this time, time of day versus doing another tier two for her. So I'll meet you in town. You know, the church might ah, not might not be a bad place to uh, oh jeez ah, freaking coyote and a snake at the same time get the fuck out of here yeah i think this is a perfect place it's the perfect um you know sized poi it's tier three harvested up a bunch of cars on the way through that's why i have a bunch of junk there junk but it's uh you need it you need a bunch of junk in this game right check these duffel bags for two empty jars brilliant and are these like the ones you can dig up anybody down there Nope, I don't see anybody. You guys remember the Darkness Falls series where I lived here for the first, uh, I think it was three, two to three weeks of the series. I think we did the first two hordes at this place and then we did the third one at the big, big base that I built in that series. But what a nice place to live, right? Whoops. Yep, woke everyone up. Didn't mean to do that. That's a feral. Yikes. Fortunately, we are free to leave if we have to. We have no obligation to kill all the zombies here. Hello. Ow! Oh crap! Are you a feral crawler? He was! 750 XP for that guy. Hello? Oh, cr frickin' cop! Ah! No crap! No, 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 no! Oh, we got a fire now! Lovely! Just fucking die, man! Jeez. Okay, that's gonna spread quickly. We gotta move on now. Go, 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 go. We gotta get in here. We should be safe once we get down into the basement portion, but yes, just take that key box, get the books out of here, and no idea what I just got there, but we gotta get downstairs now. Oh boy, okay, just top off on healing. Make sure everything's loaded. I get two shots, basically. Bah! <laughs> no! These are not the two zombies I really wanna be facing right now. Ah, not so bad, I guess. Okay, we have to press on, though. Is there anybody in here? Yeah, of course there is. Pizza, Mo. Okay, come to the doorway. Oh, this is not gonna work. Yeah, that's a feral. Two of them. What the hell's going on here? Ow! Okay, back over. Uh, not where I want to be right now. Jeez, man. Okay, Spears freaking sock. I really should have carried a full auto weapon just in case, but you know, I'm trying to RP a little bit here. Oh crap! I fell for the trap. <laughs> Not much of a trap though, I guess. Okay, moving right along here, kind of in a hurry. Also, this is a trap. If I could just remember where everybody is. I think it's just like a random spawn chance. Oh, there's one. Here's stuff collapsing upstairs, I think. Was that the only one? Is there any more over here? No, I think we are to the main area. Pretty sure there's gonna be screamers coming though eventually. All right, we just have to do the best we can here. I think they're all gonna trigger on me here. We could play this game where we try to find them one by one. No, I don't like that game. Just trigger them. Just one so far. There they are. Okay. Arrow to the knee if we can. That always helps. Helps a lot more if you can actually hit him. Oh crap, through the door. Hold the door. Feral, oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, that's a good trap for them. Okay, take a quick break here, heal up. All right, what are we looking at? One Feral down. Karen's down. Lois, I should say. I gotta get my names straightened out here. That might have been it for the POI zombies. I think now we're just looking at, uh, you know, the um, outside zombies that have wandered up. I don't think there's any good loot here. We're getting a little bit of lag because the fire is probably really extensive upstairs right now. Okay, we can uh, lock ourselves in here and get the loot. Scramer outside and we are unlocked. Okay, and check it. Looks good, we'll go through it a little bit later. I'm really concerned about this screamer though, so let's get the hell out of here and see what is- go. Oh my god, the church is completely on fire. 
There's the, a biker that was kind of trying to beat down to get to us. There's the screamer. Okay. She's screaming at me now. Where did I park my bike? Oh, crap. I'm out of stamina. Oh, more screamers, more zombies. Get on the bike and circle around. I just want to get a look at what's going on here. Just tons and tons of zombies. Church on fire. Yeah, see, this is the stage where it starts collapsing and the collapsing blocks just generate tons and tons of screamers. The fire itself, not too bad, but once you get to like that end stage where the destruction's happening, you get this. What a mess. Get out of here, Karen. That's the new Karen right there. Whoop, we got another cop. We're probably gonna make the fire even worse. Anyway, that side of town is off limits now. We have an hour left until nightfall, so I suppose we could see if we can find another loot to gank around here somewhere. Something easy and quick would be preferred, although I did get a glimpse of a Mo Power over here, which I would be more than willing to take out if we haven't already. Still looking for the power drawbridges. Wait, is this this is the one we've done, certainly, yeah, because it's next to all the crack of books. And of course I've I've gotten this before, haven't I? I didn't get this before. Oh crap, not what we're looking for though. Oh, this should have some stuff in it that we can take with us. Whoop! <laughs> Still can't get it all. Just having a look at the loot here. Blueberry seed schematic, robotic headlight mod schematic, and the rest is basically junk. A little bit hungry, we can eat that lucky blueberry pie. And impact bracing mod, is that my first one of those? Indeed it is. So not too, too bad overall. Oh look, you can see the church still burning in the distance. So cool. Uh, we got the vet here though. The vet is like the easiest loot gank ever, so uh, I don't mind if I do. Just kind of hop up there real quick and grab that main stash. We got these sleepy guys right here. Too easy, take them out. Whoa, tough guy there. Took a steel arrow right through the skull. How about two? He took two of them right through the skull. And he took one too. <laughs> you fucking fools. Get out of here. Stand no chance against me. All right, let's see what this is like the easiest loot ever. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, oh damn, that's volume seven. That's more like lead and brass from plumbing and crap like that. Some bow parts. Yep, not too much overall. <laughs> it's just nothing but fire. <laughs> oh my god, let's drive up there and just see. Oh, it looks like the whole church has collapsed at this point. Screamers are still here, so... Oh, the... The, um... What do you call it? The spire or whatever is just finally fully collapsing. That is the... All that is left there. Wow, completely destroyed the whole POI. That is amazing. Ooh, turn my off-road headlights on. Check these out. Very nice. Okay, I think I've worn out my welcome in town for today, so let's head back to the base, and I'll probably just spend the whole night doing construction. Ooh, that was kind of weird. That fire just kind of appeared in front of us. Okay, so we're back at the base, and here is a look at the hall for today. Picked up a couple things on the way home, like this retracting stock mod out of some duffel bag, but otherwise... Nothing that I'm terribly excited about. So I'm just going to put it all away and I will start getting some stuff to get. Yeah, see this um, thing here is too low. It needs to be a little bit higher. And I think that will fix the issue we were having with the drawbridge. All right, let's put all this stuff away and get to work. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. I have 575 cobblestone cubes. I think I had some left over from the last bundle of 500 that I had and I forgot all about them. So, well, it'll be nice for this area right here. We'll just get this all replaced with cobblestone. This over here be a little bit more tedious to do, I think, but we have to do what we have to do. And I will do that on my own overnight. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And we finally made it full circle back around to Strength Day, and I did get everything. That's why we're getting kind of a late start today. We finally got everything upgraded up here. All of these blocks had to be pulled up and replaced again. It took quite a while, and it was pretty tedious, but at least it's done now, and we don't have to really upgrade it any further. Like, the ceiling, the roof, the floor here, the walls, they don't need to be anything beyond uh, cobblestone. Hello? Really all that needs to be made out of concrete are like some of the supports down below, 
uh, stuff down here that might be susceptible to demo blast in the future and the walkway, you know, just the regular stuff. Just getting the forges fired up for today, take up some breakfast and take in that forgetting elixir. And there's a look at how I spent the skill points. <laughs> I finally took points into pack mule. I don't know, it's been, I don't know how many years since I've done that, but I finally did it. But uh, I took five into Pummel Pete and Skull Crusher because I think if I come over here, I should be able to make a steel club, quality five. We've got plenty of club parts, so we'll work on that. And I should also be able to get a steel sledgehammer quality five. So we'll work on that as well. And as soon as that pulls through for us, we'll put some mods on it and grab it up into the inventory. For now, I'm just going to hang on to this sledgehammer, though, because we do need to get to work here. Oh, let's get the shapes. Whoops. Having a hard time getting up and down here. So, yes, we got to grab the rest of the cobblestone shapes here. I've sorted out what happened here. The automated drawbridge is six blocks tall, so it's perfect to sit into this little cubby right here. And we'll dig out the trench here eventually we've already got it kind of marked up over there for now though we can get the floor put in here so we'll do that very quickly okay that's it we got the pad in down here although we do need to rip all of this stuff up and we'll got that yeah today's the day we got to work on that we gotta get started on all that he's gonna move this out of the way but first give me up that awesome tier 5 quality 5 steel sledgehammer modify it up Oh, we are in business now. So the other thing I wanted to do, though, was see if I can get the extra blade traps crafted. How many of these can we do right now? Just one. We're short on oil. Unfortunately, it's going to cost a lot to do it today. But we have to do it today or tomorrow before the horde. So we're going to have to suffer and suck up this extra resource cost. Shouldn't be too much of a big deal, though. I can actually turn this on and get some more oil crafted to the, to the tune of four. <laughs> <'Cause I'm, laughs> I need empty cans of all things, damn it. There's some extra concrete mix for later. Okay, we're in business now. Let's head down here and start digging. It is a shame that um, Strength Day is our most powerful day to go questing, but it's also really the only day that we can do digging and mining, but <laughs> it is what it is. Let's get the proper tools down and get to work. All right, well, that is it, I guess, for Strength Day. Tried to be as productive as I possibly could. We spent the entire episode digging out this damn trench, which is a complete waste of time for the most part, uh, functionally at least. But in terms of just, you know, stylistically and for, whoops, that's an invisible ladders apparently. <laughs> um, but just in terms of like my vision for the base, I think this is going to be excellent and it will finally prevent the zombies from trying to dig through the garage and to get over here to us over here so i've been rolling on stuff up here we've had a one wandering horde and a couple of screamer hordes and just random screamers aside from that all right just getting ready for knuckle day and we also have these fortitude glasses we can wear and unfortunately it's still our best machine gun here this pipe machine gun should have a mag extender here somewhere not that it's going to help too too much but i guess every bullet counts on this thing grab some ammo what does that give us in this 22 bullets. That's not half bad, actually. All right, so we're equipped. I'm trying to get in the habit of equipping first, and then forget an elixir in case we get a whole horde of zombies running up on us. Not that it's too much of a big deal here now that we have the dart traps. Man, these things are totally OP. We had a, a wandering horde show up, and I literally, well, I almost died first, and then I ran over here to kind of recover, and the whole horde basically just walked up here. Bubbles! No, oh, oh, oh. don't want to shoot myself there. Uh-oh. Come here. No! No oh, crap. We gotta go reset the counter. Ah, I gotta get a fire extinguisher too. Ah, crap. Day of last fire, day 28. Plus it's the horde tonight too, so we might get another fire later on. And where are the fire extinguishers? Uh, I found one right here. Let's go put that fire out. Yep, yep, yep. 
Put, whoa. Oh crap, the fire extinguisher's broken now. Gotta get a new one. All right, we got the quality six out now. Oh boy, no, stop that. Put that fire out. Yep, I think we're good. Did a whole lot of damage here. I don't think I have any materials on me. We'll have to fix it later before the horde. I do want to kind of work on this at some point. Maybe not today, though. The base is reaching its final form. I'm trying to... I'm in a little bit of a hurry. I want to get it painted, like, ASAP. I feel like I always save painting for, like, the last couple days of the series, and then we don't really have any time to enjoy it. So that is the goal right now. Okay, skill points. Okay, nothing special there. Pretty much maxed out another what like six or seven skill points and we'll be all done with the with the tree and we'll be able to have memory points to go into the previous day's tree so the idea here is that um this is going to be the like the main portion of the base the main building we'll put the drawbridge doors in here we'll have a nice huge trench all around the outside and what that does is it redirects the zombie pathing they won't see this as a place they want to jump down into and um i'm not sure how we're going to get them out of the pit once they fall down, if I'll just put ladders in, because we don't want them to just stay down here. We just want them to, if they do fall down here, just get back out and head back around to the front over here. So kind of to be determined, and we got to rip out all the ground here so we can put in a nice cement pad or cobblestone pad, you could say, I guess. And I think I'll put like a window in the garage right there so you'll be able to kind of see out here from inside the garage. And same thing on the other side as well, just if you can see like if there's a horde sneaking up on you. So the garage currently will just be non-functional until we can get the drawbridge situation ironed out. Can I just make a drawbridge? I can make a regular one, which I wouldn't be too opposed to. It's not terribly expensive, but I really want the powered one. Oh, you can unlock that just with advanced engineering. Okay, so then on intellect day, we'll just go ahead and, you know, have the skill points in there and take it and get those built. Okay, perfect. So, what are we doing for today? We gotta get some um, blade traps put down. Those should be done by now. Perfect, and it's just a question now, how do we want to wire these all up? It's going to involve some new wires and switches, so I'm working on that. Let's get this put in, the balcony. Might as well lock this in, too. Okay, that, there might be some issues there. It's going to be a tight fit for the drawbridge, and sometimes the drawbridges are a little finicky when you're first setting them down, so we'll have to just wait on the cobblestone to make sure that we can slide those drawbridge doors in. But of course, we need a railing so we don't go flying off the edge. And we'll do the same thing right over here. All right, I have everything rewired. It's kind of like a crisscrossy, typical Temrecky guns, doors, and steel wiring pattern here. But I should, let's just test it out. I should have the top blade traps off of this one here. Just confirm that, yes. And on this side, the bottom blade traps. So when we get back to the fallback position, we can kind of like run the blade traps again. All right, just continuing with the upgrades here. Everything needs to be concrete that could possibly sustain like demo or cop blasts in the future all this structural stability type of blocks like those you know this stuff here not really as important okay, so most everything is upgraded down there i need more cobblestone though and i also made some extra vault hatches which should be done or mostly done by now so that we can finally get that upgraded and that one on the other side that one and then we need one here And just had an airdrop come by somewhere. Oh, in the wasteland. Right about there. We will save that one. The wasteland airdrops could contain the best items yet. That also means it's trader day today, but we don't have time for that. Just got to make sure that everything is all or at least mostly fireproof around here. And just because I don't want anyone jumping in there, I'm just going to put those in and upgrade it to wood just for tonight. And then we'll have to decide on like if we're going to make a mural here or how we're going to kind of fill in this empty space here. All right, so I think we're just about ready. So in a, a couple episodes ago, I asked for a performance goal to be reached, uh, 3,000 likes on the video. That has not been reached, but I'm not gonna let that hold us back. We're still gonna do a bear fight in the pit. So I'm just gonna get a couple of things ready for that. I might need a few frames, uh, not all of them, because if I die, I don't wanna like just completely lose everything. We're already basically risking the armor. In fact, maybe we should just look and see if it would be... All we just need is just more armor. So if this scrap armor here is worth more armor, then we just need to wear that instead. Yep, just put all that on... Oh, <laughs> all of my armor's broken anyway. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I think I have an extra helmet light or two over here as well. 
and so we can just slap that on here and turn it on and we're ready to roll the armor is not going to slow us down once we get into combat with the bear so uh the fight is going to be directly down here Temcam is set up. I'm going to pull these frames because we want to contain the bear down here. And the only question that I really have is, uh, hang on, let me just get some like rest areas set up for us. Get some lighting set up down here. Perfect. Okay, so the only question I really have is if we do the Twitch command, am I gonna get a reward for it at the end or am I just like killing bears for fun at this point? I don't know the answer to that. Also, I'm not sure if the the bear are gonna spawn like up here or what or what. So I'm gonna just stand in the middle so that um, I don't know. Maybe they'll jump down here if they spawn on the sides. I think there's there's more than one command here. So am I in developer mode? Yes. Okay. So spawn bear spawns up. We're gonna go with a regular bear first. But what about minor bears? Vote minor bears. Who's who's shooting? Is this a horde right now of all times? I'm trying to do a challenge here. Oh crap. Oh man, where am I gonna go? Here, get the beer into me. We're gonna get a preliminary pit fight here. Come and get it. Just getting warmed up. Oh, one thing that makes it tricky is these little things. I That might have been it. That was just a small horde. Okay, I'm all warmed up now, except for the fact that I'm hungry. I got the sham chowder just for that reason, though. So let's wait for that to kick in a little bit, and we'll uh, actually get started here in just a second. Okay, shift F6, spawn. Uh, we'll just do spawn bear for now. That did nothing. Vote minor bears. Ah, ah, they're here now. Oh, geez. I was just kind of running away because... Oh, that's a lot of bears. That is a lot of bears. Okay, come down in here, bears. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm going to hide up here so that they're stuck down there. And we'll get the fort bites. Skull crushers. Stock up on beer. Steroids. Multivitamin, just in case. <laughs> Let's fucking do this. Let's ride the bears. Ow. Okay, okay. Yes, and every once in a while, we'll just kind of jump up here, take a quick break, take them for another ride. Oh boy, now I'm bleeding. Ow, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we got first aid for that. We've also got another zombie here somewhere. Get out of here. Oh, I think the bears are breaking things. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm in prime riding position now. Oh, typical, out of stamina. This is painful. This is painful. Oh, crap. Oh, take a break over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Should have waited until we got all the barb rolling books to do this, but oh well. I got more zombies coming in. Oh, great. I think I killed one. I've killed two. One more. Ow. You and me, buddy, we're going head to head. Yes, I got him. Got zombies now, too. The remnants of the horde. We also, I think, have a crawler here somewhere. Here he is. I think there's maybe a screamer too. Nope, just our lead. Holy cow. <laughs> I got my ass kicked a little bit, but we succeeded. That was pretty fun, wasn't it? All right, I don't think we got a prize for that. So maybe we'll just spawn ourselves in a, our own prize for all that. Oh, look, here's like a whole bunch of zombies. Is this like the rest of the horde or are y'all just like regular people loafing around here? I don't have a gun to like draw their attention over. So I think what I might, might end up doing is I want to see if I can set up random events. You know how like hordes are kind of random? If I could set up a random event to initiate a uh, Twitch integration buff. I think that might add just a little bit of flavor. I'm not trying to like transform the series into something it's not. This is not a Twitch live stream for sure. But um, I just, um, I don't know. I, I feel like it might be able, uh, we might be able to tie this in somehow. So like, okay, let's just go up here and see if I can get myself a reward. Yeah, let's just not do something too OP. Let's just see what it looks like if I say spawn food water one. Ah, there it is. 
So I just grab that. It's got a, you know, some pears and stuff. <laughs> a little mini reward for our efforts there. Okay, uh, that's enough fun for one day. Let's get ready for the horde. Okay, I think I have everything ready for the horde tonight. Basically just gonna be brawling with machine guns and a shotgun for backup. I've got all the buffs and foods and things like that that we'll need. No construction supplies. I don't think we'll be needing it tonight. But the hour is late and our fourth horde approaches. So it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. All right, so I'm sitting here outside <laughs> against my better judgment so that I can get some melee action in here. I've disabled the dart traps just for now. We can easily go turn them back on. No big deal. Got cops spitting up towards us. That would not be good if they're starting to hit the blade traps. Yep, kill him. Oh, get back. So far, so good here. Eventually, you can see that the far blade trap is degrading. That's going to shut down. Then we'll only have two. And then eventually, we'll only have one. And then we'll have to fall back, probably. We'll get overwhelmed here. Yep, the first one, I think, is down. Traffic's about to get real heavy up here. Make sure I got plenty of beer into me. Uh-oh. Getting overwhelmed already. No, 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 no. Get back. No oh, crap. Now I'm bleeding. Great. What a fantastic idea this was. We got bubbles here. Oh no! Bubbles! Did you light anything on fire? Okay, it's it's about that time I would say. Ah! Okay, I didn't bring any vitamins. We gotta drink those real quick. Suck those down. We might be onto a different wave here. Let's get fort bites. Go ahead and take a painkiller. Take the steroids. Skull crusher, coffee, let's <laughs> just get everything. We sally forth. Uh, of course I have a sprained arm. That is like the death of the brawler build, really. Oh, I'm freaking kicking their ass though, aren't I? Let me out here. Get back, get back. Oh yeah, kicking your ass now. Whoop, burnt boy. Uh oh, get back. All right, here we go. Show me what you got. All the blade traps are down now. It's just me up here. I think I'm bleeding or something. I don't really know. Yep, okay, I can see again. Definitely not a good situation to be in with the dogs and everything. I can't deny it though, it's friggin' fun. Can I see the birds? We still don't have any bird defense. Here, fall back. Birds are inside. Ferals are inside. Uh-oh. All right, I need a break to figure out what's going on here. Turn the electric fences on. Lock ammo into the dart traps. Start clearing this rabble out. All right, where's the stupid bird? Stupid bird, go away. Ooh, man, it's nice up here. All right, back down. All right, things are awfully quiet. I don't know where anyone is. Oh, I'm shocking myself. Oh, crap. All right, I'm shutting everything down again. I'm heading back out. Well, unless the zombies are going to be heading in, then I guess I can just fight them in here. Dehydrated. Oh, dog. All right, let's go. Fight them back. Get back. More birds. Damn it. Why is the horde so light right now? I feel like this is pathetic. Get out of here. Where are you all? Oh no, 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 no. They're all down in the pit because I forgot to put the ladders back in. Oh no, crap. Well, we gotta get something to light them all on fire with. All right, let's re-automate the base. Fences on, clear them out here a little bit. Oh man, I'm looking for some bombs or something. I don't see that we have any pipe bombs or Molotovs. Oh crap, Molotov cocktail ammo. Give me a bunch of these. Okay, can we just hold them off for a minute while we're waiting for that stuff? Oh man, look at them all down there. <laughs> it's so bad. No, 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 no. Oh, I made a big mistake, guys. 
Oh, it's not going to do us any good either to go down there or to kill all the zombies down there unless we can get them away back out after that. Okay, we've got to risk it now. We're going down. Ha! Ah, okay, uh, Thomas. Oh, boy. Ah, crap. You guys, we can't be doing this right now. Copy shape. Oh, crap. Ow. Um, yes, we're coming right down here to... Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Ha! Huh. Okay. Oh, my God. There's fire down here, too. I'm something. I'm bleeding, maybe. Oh, definitely bleeding now. And I'm on fire. Oh, no, no, no. Bad. Put me out. Put the beer on me. Ow. Okay. Oh, man. What? I think the whole horde is down here now, which is kind of a win for us. Ow! No, Burt boy! Ow! It's weird, they're kind of I don't want to actually set them on fire or kill them right now. I, I want to get them out of here. Is that going to help anyone? No, 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 guys. We are totally fucked right now. Ah, no. Let's just lean into the chaos here. You fucker! No! Oh, no. Okay, we got to run. Ow! Crap! Bleeding again, bleeding again. Oh no! Ah, run, run, run! Oh no, no, no! I'm like, I got a broken leg or something. Crap! Ah, run! Okay, we're up onto the ladder. Fort bite. Leg is broken. Oh, I got nothing for it. Guys, this is the end. Get back! Get back! The dart trap's gonna kill me here. Just run! No, 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 no! I'm getting shocked! Painkiller! I can't use it right now! Run! Oh my god! I made it! Oh, my body! I can't do this anymore. Guys, it's... I gotta take a rest. Get a cast onto me. I'm busy! What am I busy with? <laughs> no! Let me put it on! Why am I so busy? <laughs> Ah, am I, am I busy bleeding? Here, suture it up. I'm too busy to suture right now. I don't know, my character is too messed up right now. I can't, I can't even figure out like how to friggin' do first aid anymore. Okay, there's a bandage that does nothing. Oh, I, I, I'm thirsty. Maybe that's what it is. I know I'm too busy to drink. Too busy to eat. Why am I so busy? Okay, I'm gonna go turn the other blade traps on. That might help. No, no, they're not, they're not working because probably birds knocked out the electrical system. Guys, I think my character is broken. I'm too busy to like put casts on. All right, the base is probably going to burn down at this point. It, this is a complete disaster. We've got zombies on fire over there. I think the, the ramp is burning and they're getting set on fire when they go through. We still got a ton of zombies that are just down here in the pit and they're probably making a real mess of things down there. I can't get any first aid onto me. It's, um, something's broken here. I feel like it has to do with my hydration, though, and I, but I can't drink either. Oh, I, I, I can drink it from my hot bar? Is this the issue? I'm having issues with the inventory? Oh, okay. So, yeah, something's going on where I can't use stuff from my backpack, so I gotta use it from the hot bar. All right, yeah, we'll be fixed up in no time now. Yep, get some sutures onto me. In fact, just, um, where's my first aid kits? Ah, we got a fire over here. Oh crap. Okay, my, my fire extinguisher is even broken. I gotta get a, an alternative fire extinguisher. It's not letting me repair that one. We'll use the quality three here. Ah! Okay, that averts major disaster, I hope. Let's check down here and see. Oh, there's zombies down here. How did you guys get in here? Ow. Yeah, we still got fire over here. Put that out. I think zombies can somehow get in here. Ow. I, I would have to venture to say that 100% of the zombies, I think, are probably downstairs. Into the pit, that, that is. Oh, and we've lost the damn frickin' walkway. Great. Okay, so if, if all the zombies are down here, though, it might be a little bit easier to get them out. So I'm gonna risk it right now. We just don't, we can't kill them. We have to set up a way for them to get out. Lickety split, no problemo, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this to me. Cop. Here. Just do that, <laughs> interrupt him. Okay, just like crap. Oh no, not again. Oh, not loaded. Fire! Ah, okay, that was bad. And we've got another zombie that's gonna be coming because I killed one. Bandage, stamina, huge issue right now. Drink beer. Okay, uh, fire, put that out. 
Oh my god, this is the worst idea ever. Damn it. Oh no, more fire. Please, just come out of there already. It's morning. The horde is over. We just gotta kill him off now. Kind of easier said than done. I, I'm, I'm ah, running as fast as I can. Ah. Okay, this is gonna have to be it. It's hold or die. Fuck you. Bert, zombie, Arlene, lumberjack. Ah, eat this. Stupid cop. Are there any more? Wow, okay, nope, nope. This is fixable, guys. We can do this. Luckily, there was a lot of ore here, so it was um, a little bit harder for them to dig, I think. Oh my goodness, just let it burn at this point. It's all gotta be replaced eventually. I just, I don't, I don't wanna set myself on fire though. <sighs> well, I can't imagine a scenario where that could have gone possibly any worse except for dying. <laughs> I think the electrical is all messed up, and uh, of course the pit needs serious, massive renovation. And um, my body and my the, the first aid we've like probably run seriously low on first aid. This is just a mess. Well, there's no sense in complaining about it. We just have to deal with it. Try to get some steroids into me. Except I'm still busy. I'm gonna have to like log out of the game and log back in, and then we'll see if that corrects everything. Yep, okay, things are working again. I can actually use stuff out of the inventory. Well, okay, let me get organized then. I uh, was just turning the power off there. Th I think that the issue was we were having um, too much power draw. That's why the bottom blade traps never turned on, because I just turned off the electric fences and all of a sudden the bottom blade traps came on. So we'll need to put some more engines in there. That's good to know. I've uh, specced into all of our agility stuff for today and I'm ready to loot up. Last one here, not much. Really disappointing loot bags there. Man, I don't know if I've ever had such a disaster of a horde night before in my entire life. But the first thing we have to do is get that stuff repaired. We cannot leave the base in this sort of condition right here. We did get one book there, 10% more damage with clubs. That's a good one. We've got a treasure map here. Take a look at where that's sending us. That is up there. We'll do that on perception day. And we got this armor plating mod schematic. Steel axe will scrap smelt down those doorknobs eventually and put the rest of this stuff away. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right, I believe that is the system I want to use for the ramp. I want to knock that out eventually and I want to knock, well, maybe not, maybe not. That looks pretty good to me. However, you never want this sort of situation because zombies, when they see a ramp, they, they feel like they can get on top of the ramp. And so what they'll want to do is come around here and jump on the side. And then there, if there's multiple zombies here, they get pinned there. Then they get angry and then they start beating on the side and eventually they'll knock it out. So what you got to do instead is put a block on the outside that they don't think that they can path on. So for this example, I'm going to use this shape right here. Zombies, if you just put this here, a zombie doesn't think that they can walk on that because it's not a centered piece. It's on the it's on the side. You can see how it kind of put it over here. It's um it's on the very far side of a block. So a zombie when they're pathing they they path over the middle of the block and so the, the fun the fun pimps have not coded this to be a, a block that zombies think that they can like jump on top of. And so when they see that block here, they want to go around it because it's it, it's to them it's kind of interfering with them being able to get on this block, which they can get onto. And so they will not try to kind of jump over the side of this shape right here. They'll go all the way around and then they'll start running their way up. Alternatively, you can put ladders on the side like this and that'll work just fine, but this is really all you need. Alternatively, what you could also do is do that right there. And then zombies, it's the same, this block right here to the zombies is the same as this block right here. They just want to go around it because they don't think that they can get over it so, you know, the easier pathway for them, the path of least resistance is just going around. Just kind of some observations I've made over my time kind of building some horde bases and stuff. So that's really all you need right there. All right, so kind of all along, that's been my idea for making the support. And then this is all I want to do here, just to kind of prop it up on the end. 
I almost knocked that out one more swing, and I think this whole thing probably would have collapsed. That would have been fun. Great way to cap off the episode after everything we've been through today. Oh, I just thought I'd mention it here. Another thing you can do on the sides here is put ladders. Just a, another way to kind of get the zombies, to prevent the zombies from getting stuck here on the edges and beating through. I like these though, because when you paint them, you can choose multiple paint colors and it looks kind of good. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, just, just scrap the wood, okay? And give me the rest of the planks that I need. There. That is a done deal. This was the issue here. We took out this little walkway here for the bear fight. Yep, should have been like this all night long and they would have come right up, no problem. Yeah, it looks like all those commenters that said that they were worried about the staircase being knocked out and zombies being trapped in here were right after all. What do you know? <laughs> I admit it, I was terribly wrong and this is a huge mistake. Yeah, what I want to do is just come down here with cobblestone shapes and replace all of this stuff. Replace all of the, the blocks that they've dug into here. Ah! Sneaky lion! Oh boy! Ride the lion! Ah! Crap! Oh, zombies too! What is going on here today? Give me that. Okay, that is just about everything all filled in down here. It looks like a mess. We'll work on this eventually. We'll kind of clear out the rest of it and we'll make a wall that goes yeah, probably all the way down to the bottom or something like that. Um, there was a suggestion to make this, um, like the stairway that we're on right here, to make two of them essentially so that if one does get knocked out, there is an alternative. Let's do that of wood temporarily until we settle on something then. So that's what that's gonna look like, unless we brought the ladder up to that one there so it's not as like kind of tight quarters. Yeah, I think I like that idea better. Does that mean that's what we want? Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. It's a bit more spread out. And then that means just, there's just an alternative late way for the zombies to come up. They'll just come up to here. And then we'll have like a ladder here somewhere to kind of get them up to the final step. Good enough for me. And I suppose the work with the cobblestone shapes just have to continue all the way around. I did dig out the part that we need for the wall. So this will be the wall going all the way around. And I think probably we'll just use the stone layer here for the floor of it. Yep, see, this is all cleared out. I still got to clear out the walls down there on those sides. Oh, geez. What is all this? The friggin' mess over here. On the bright side, I'm now more motivated than ever to finish off the base, right? The last thing that I want to do is just eat up, hydrate, put some stuff away, grab up the money, and I want to head over and see the new trader. We are in week number five, which means we have access to the snow biome officially. So, I'm gonna hop on the motorcycle and head into town. All right, here we are rolling into the snow village here and it is Trader Hugh, thank goodness. As long as I don't meet Trader Wrecked, I am happy. Okay, we'll loot his compound in just a second. Where's his vending machine? Right here. See what we can get out of this? Absolutely nothing, but some health bars. I was hoping we had some of those when we were all messed up last night, but we didn't, so we should be good now. In fact, I think I could just um, claw my way in here with the, uh, the fire axe and then smash this open and finally loot this stuff. Yeah, there we go. Very good. You, buddy, what do you got for me? Oh, that's the um, opening trade routes quest there. We'll get a job. Well, oh, geez, I don't want to do tier ones, honestly. Never mind. Hey, hey, ski goggles. We need those right now for agility day. Pop those on. How do we look? Ah, not too bad. He's got an urban combat book, which I'll take, and some machine gun parts, and nothing else. That's just about it for him. Okay, that's right, Hugh. Well, let's see if we can find anything good in the compound here. Whoa, that is a good find. Holy cow, we got Night Stalker book here, bladed weapons do 10% more damage at night. Nice, quality six punch turret already. Snow biome is gonna be great for the loot stage. And you know, on intellect day, we should be able to spec into the robotics tree. Oh, that's a good pair of pants there. I'll be wearing those. Gotta have my gothic pants on. First of two ammo chests here. Ooh, drum mag, nice. Can I put that on the pistol? Oh, I didn't actually put, I can't, but I didn't put any mods onto the pistol. And the knife's all messed up too. That's okay, we're just gonna be on this day kind of quickly, not a, not a big deal. Whole bunch of zombies outside. Let's just try to make this quick. Second one over here. Not much there. There is, of course, the chem station down here. 
couple of boxes too, I think. Ooh, electric foes schematic. And that's it for this place. All right, how bad is it out here? Not too bad. Oh, isn't this the POI right here that we just did a couple of days ago and we know exactly where the loot is? It's right behind that door. It's actually up there, isn't it? Oh, crap. I came over here and the boar came over as well. Oh, boy. Ow! Ha! Ah, and a fucking wolf! Running, running, running! Yeah, bad idea. We're not doing that. No loot ganking today. Instead, looks like we're doing hunting. Nope, oh, maybe not. Uh-oh. Why are you still chasing me? Get the hell out of here! I'm not giving up that easily, though. I'm trying to remember, where was the loot anyway? Was it there or was it over there more? I'm gonna find out. Yep, definitely in the right spot here. Zombies could come up here if they trigger, they trigger. Oh crap, where's the loot? Oh, I missed it by like two feet. It's right over there. Crap. Bullets and guns, please. Think we're good. Yep, yep, yep. Give me that loot. Oh, not bad. First piece of steel armor. And not much else. In fact, just take the painkiller now. And definitely worn out my welcome here. Let's get out of here. Well, it's official now. We are stuck in the snow biome where there are triple the normal amount of zombies. In addition to the wolves, dire wolves, bear, and mountain lions. Not to mention the increased spawn rate for lumberjacks as well. It's gonna be a real mess around here, but I hope you'll stick around to watch my back. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And this morning, we're outside El Chapo's mansion. Not sure if that's the official name for it, but that's how it was referred to in one of the Alpha 20 developer live streams by, I think it was Rick or Joel or one of them. Snow Biome sure is a busy place to keep an eye out for bears and things like that. In terms of loadout for today, we are in Intellect Day. I did get a new stun baton crafted. We'll just take a look at the points. Basically everything except for charismatic nature. We are that close from having some memory points. We could go, for example, back to agility and get some flurry of blows or parkour skills when we're on intellect day. But anyway, uh, I think we're probably ready to go. The inventory is a little bit clogged up right now just with a bunch of garbage. I'm gonna try and lean onto the robotics today. We have maxed out the robotics inventor and therefore we can have two robots at the same time. I'm really excited, ooh, to start getting into the steel weapons. We'll scrap that one because we can get the parts for it. But yeah, really excited to do this place. This would be my first actual run here solo in a series. I've, of course, I've been through here, you know, filming and doing multiplayer and stuff like that, but um, never done it all by myself. It's always different when you do it yourself. You, you pay attention a little bit more. No one's watching your back. Whoa, look at that landmine there. And just because I want to see it happen, I'm going to let him beat through there and set that mine off. Oh, you son of a bitch! Come back here! No, 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 no! Ow! Okay, it's not working. <laughs> Damn it! You asshole! Come through that landmine! There you go. Whoa! Got another landmine going off here somewhere? What is going on here? Is that a landmine? Holy cow, it is! Set that one off. Okay. This place is uh, apparently pretty dangerous. Speaking of Rick and Joel, I don't know if it's premiered yet or not. Oh, another landmine there. But I uh, I just uh, would like to announce that I did an interview with Rick and Joel, the founders of the Fun Pimps and the creators of Seven Days to Die. So if that's not already on my channel, you can expect it pretty soon. I had a ton of fun just talking to them about their company, their vision for the game, how development is going, talked about some Alpha 21 features, gold features. Yeah, got a lot of new information, so if you haven't tuned into that yet, go check it out. And if it's not out yet, stay tuned for it. I'm lost already. <laughs> Jeez, I'm stuck over here. Am I supposed to go up and over and then around here or what? 
Oh no, he's to come through the walkway there. Okay, all right, we're back on track now. Man, there's just no rest in the snow biome. There's freaking zombies everywhere. Luckily, this is a relatively well-fortified compound. I would love to do a series here someday and just live in here and kind of renovate it and turn the inside bunker area into some type of a horde base. Yep, we're just at that game stage where we're getting ferals everywhere. Oh, we're getting steel armor now? Nice. I can't say that the level ones really get me too excited. I'll have to scrap that in just a minute. I'm just harvesting up a little bit of extra forged iron, forged steel, stuff like that, and mechanical parts because we're going to be making the drawbridges later on today. And those are going to require a ton of resources. And someone behind me here. Oh, a couple guys. Hello. Here, <laughs> punch out the window and set it up for these guys. Come on. There we go. Oh, jeez. Got to remember how to do this. Ow. <laughs> there we go. Love it. So I just took a bandage and uh, I'm not someone that usually takes points into physician, but this is giving me 75% more health over time, meaning a bandage is probably giving me something on the order of like 50 health. That's not bad at all. Ow! No! This playthrough's just giving me all sorts of experience with the other, with the, with really just skills. I mean, I've tried all the skill trees, but um, you know, perking into salvage operations really makes me like always want to have salvage operations. And having the physician is super handy as well. Kind of gets me out of the, you know, the same old mold, the same old build that I always do, which is basically like a strength parkour intellect kind of hybrid. All right, let's get ready for this. Too easy. Oh, it's our first rev. Ah! Oh, king of the mountain. Set up a turret up here, covering fire. Dog. There, we'll, we'll hold them under the slide. Oh, no, it's not working. Ah! All right, we survived. Oh, Burton boy's in the water. <laughs> you, ah, oh, that's, there's just something funny about that. We are heading in. When in doubt, just to hip fire this thing. I don't even need a pistol. I'm not sure why I brought that. Just use this. No problem. Whoa. Try it on the feral. Yeah, not a really good knockdown power. Ooh, the recoil on it's just like a little bit jarring. <laughs> what I just ate that sham sandwich. Uh, one of the questions I posed to... Ooh, wow, nice pistol. It just switched that over immediately. Yeah, one of the questions I gave to Rick and Joel was, would you rather, in a, like a hypothetical survival situation, what would you do? Would you drink murky water that you found in the toilet or eat a sham sandwich, the old sham sandwich? So leave your response in the comments. I'm curious to see like what the consensus is on this. Oh yeah, snow biome paying off already. Okay, how do I get back there? That's where I want to go. 10,000 hit points. No bueno. 10,000 hit points here. That's not good. Oh, yes. We're heading up the stairs. I see. Okay, kitchen's all searched. Had a little bit of food. We're ready to move. Whoa! That's scary. Pistol Pete book here. 9mm weapons will degrade slower. Okay, we're into the laundry room. Spiral staircase going up and into the garage as well. Must be some zombies in here somewhere. Damn it with the crawlers. Hey, cowboy hat mod. I don't know. Do we like the cowboy hat? I, I like to change it up once in a while, so we'll go with the cowboy hat for a little bit. What I'd really like to do is go stash my stuff in the bike, but they don't make it easy, do they? Yeah, this place is on, like, full lockdown. Yikes. Perhaps this is the better bet. We could just kind of go out through the roof. One of the things we talked about in the interview is nerd polling, of all things. The developers kind of expressed their thoughts that nerd polling is basically kind of a against what their vision is for the game. They think it's like cheating, basically, which I do agree with. Uh, nerd polling is totally cheating. Uh, it's... You know, to some extent, it's so ingrained in the game, though, that it, it could be considered a strategy. Don't think I'm going to be using Molotovs here, honestly. <laughs> I don't want to have the whole place burned down. But they did say that something like that could just be an option so that you could, like, tick it on and off, depending on what your preference is. So I'm curious to hear, what would you do if nerd holding was a ticker and you could tick it off? For example, you could only use it within your land claim area so that you could use it for building, but you couldn't do it to do what I'm about to do right now and just pull back up to where I came from. Would you do it or would you leave it as is? All right, I think I'm past the stage where I need to like harvest cobblestone. I have so much clay and stone from all that digging that we did on strength day last time around. Oh, look at this. Little door there. 
So you can go stash your stuff out here. Oh, I like that. Okay, well, note to self, we can just use this next time. And then this goes to a little sneaky spot with some sneaky trash. Yay. Do I drop down here? Have I been down there before? Guess I gotta check. Oh, no, I haven't, because this is all barred off. Oh, I see. Silencer schematic. Chrysanthemum seed schematic. Hooray! Sneaky trash in the floor. Ooh, that's a, like a s sneaky little like grate going down into the basement. Ah, ooh, yes, and there's the ladder going down. Oh, hello. Ah! Key box going out to where we came from, okay? Ooh, nice wrench, too. Good find. Change that over. Ah, there's the shades. Okay, I was trying to think the other day when I found the tough guy glasses, because I know there's two aviator glasses. So shades are for perception, tough guy glasses for fortitude. Gumbo stew recipe. And with that, after this, ooh, wow, nice. Uh, I think we're heading down. Okay, that's that vent over there. They usually don't like to ambush you that quickly. They, they give you a minute to kind of get your bearings. Here we go. Any more? Just one guy. Is that it? Nope. Ah! Oh, junkie, you suck. I put that drum mag in this thing. It holds like 260 or something ammo. 245. Wow. Okay, we're getting... Oh, what is this place? Oh, it's like a movie theater. I'm coming in through the screen. Yeah, it's just a waste of time using the stun baton. We've got a button, and I don't know what that did. Maybe something further on in the POI. Oh, maybe this door right here? That would make sense. Another button here? Ah, to that door over there. This is cool. I love this place. Oh. Oh, wow. It's like a little killing corridor here. Whoa. Like, you could totally convert this place into some of some type of, like, a labyrinthine horde base. Okay, yep. We're out into... Uh, I don't even know what this place is. I'm definitely afraid to try to parkour across that, though. And that height right there... Well, we'd be good because we got the money on us, so we could try it. Yep. Oh, we're good. That's too easy. Oh, the prison area. Ooh, what's this? Oh, like a little spot to pee in or something. Yeah, I feel like I am kind of going the wrong way now, though. So, ooh, switch. Oh, it's like an electric chair. Wow, that is super cool. Or maybe that's like... You hook them up to the battery and then I've seen it in movies where they use like the jumper cables and they fucking zap people with them. Okay, got our first little bit of loot here. Hello. Whoa. Wow, this guy's really tough. Okay, got several zombies back there. I'll just make this easy on myself here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Triple mod. So up until this moment, I've kind of tuned out the zombies that are upstairs, but um, I'm just realizing that there's a lot of them. And I think it's a horde. And they're kind of smashing on wood and stuff, as far as I can tell. But yeah, I think we're going to have a big fight on our hands down here at some point. Yeah, I think they just give you two options. You can go that way or you can go this way. Let's test out our legs here. See if hopefully they, yeah, that doesn't do anything to us at all we can fall from 15 meters or less and not get damaged plus we got the impact bracing mod on so probably more like 18 or 20. hello it's nice when you can one shot a armored barrel with the the left click the regular attack that's those points into intellect coming in handy so this is just a big generator for the restore power type of stuff but go up there and see where this leads or that's no that's locked so uh, i i don't know maybe do just smash through it i can do that after i get some coffee in me sort through the inventory a little bit too easy here we go oh yes right where we left off here kind of in this spot oh look at the weapons and stuff back there i think we'll get there eventually just hit that key box and um head up here and see what that might have gone to oh the main loot Oh, okay. Yep, I'm just gonna kite them right over here, and uh, I don't know. We'll hold them kind of in this spot, I guess. I don't know. What we want is this and that, and then we want them to come right up the stairs here. Of course, they're not going to do that. Damn it! Trying to outsmart the zombies, and the zombies are just outdumbing me. Okay, <laughs> this works too. Oh, big boy, he's gonna resist the stuns and the knockdowns. Oh, come on! 
Come on! Holy crap! This guy's strong. There we go. All right, reload a little bit, and I'm just gonna jump over their heads right down to here, and whoa, there we go. Wow. Oh, getting messed up a little bit. Come on. Jeez, tough guy. Okay, I think we're good. We'll take a bandage top off. Yeah, they gave me like 50 hit points back. Okay, and I think we're ready to loot up and then uh, just hope that we survive the, the exit because there's a whole bunch of zombies like right up in that area there. In fact, there's a zombie behind that door there. They might have clawed their way down. Oh man, that would not be good. Yeah, I think they're kind of all in that room there, which means we might be able to fend them off with a turret set up there and, um, oh, I don't know, a, 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 a turret there. I don't know what to do. What we do is we get some stamina with that. And yeah, I left all the bombs and stuff. We're gonna have to just let them bust through and hope for the best. Let's do this. Whoa, that's a lot of zombies! Ow! Okay. Yep, don't want to get hurt here. Crap! I'm injured! I got an abrasion, and I'm fucking infected! Okay, that's it though. Any more in here? Oh, I see. It's like a stairwell. Yep, here, here's one. Got her. Okay, we'll leave these guys to it, and we'll open up the loot. First try, nice. What do we get here? Treasure map, not bad. Machine gunner book, automatic weapons have 20% less degradation. I found like four stun batons today. Into the ventilation system. I think this takes me to where we saw all those weapons. Ooh, I don't like the idea of like, falling down somewhere though, but I guess we gotta do it. Oh, wow. This is insane. I think this is my first set of shotgun parts there. I think this is the last case here for some steel arrowheads. Sure, I'll take them. And how do we get out of here now? Am I locked in? Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Yep, out to here and down. I guess I just have to go out the way I came. No easy way to get out of here, it, it would appear. Yeah, this is basically like the coolest POI in the game as far as I'm concerned. I love this place. Still a bunch of zombies. I mean, not, not a bunch, probably like three or four of them kind of just jumping around everywhere. Okay, back up into the house portion. Ah, here they are. Of course you would leave that loot bag there so I can't get it, asshole. Oh, I see how it goes. Yeah, that, that door that we found earlier just heads straight out here. Yep, so much for hitting up the trader today. We're missing out on that a little bit. We could have used our better barter perk to get some good sell value and probably some discount on things like SMG turrets and shotgun turrets for bird coverage, but um, I guess we'll just have to bite the bullet and buy those things full price. But that looks like it'll do it for Intellect Day. Let's head back to the base. There is some stuff that I need to craft. Um, most notably the automated drawbridge doors, and we'll get those set up overnight. Okay, there's a look at the full haul for today. Most notably, probably this pistol that we found, and there was a machete right there, so we can swap out the hunting knife, and that'll help us on agility day a whole lot. All right, I'll put this stuff away, and we'll get to building. Look at all this cobblestone rolling in. Oh my god, I, yeah, so I guess, because the output was full with 6,000, and the rest of this, I guess, has cooked off, and it's just fucking rolling in, like, a thousand per second. All right, ready to go here. Reinforced powered drawbridge door. We need two, I suppose. And we can only craft two anyway, being held back by wood of all things there. So work on one of those there and one of them here. Cancel the rest of that cobble. We'll just, uh, I think we have plenty. Take an antibiotic. And there's just one little thing that I wanted to work on today, tonight, while I guess we're gonna have to wait for, um, the drawbridges to craft, and that is last night I picked up the entire garden, all the plots there, and I put in these things here. There was a, another user, a, a friend of mine, I guess, that I play with on the multiplayer server occasionally, named Indian Doll, and she's also a patron, so thank you for that, Doll. 
And um, she, on a multiplayer server, on Echo's multiplayer server, she made a really cool garden system. And damn, the system works so good. And uh, she sent me some pictures of it because I want to copy it. And then, of course, uh, all credit to her. Okay, so I'm not going to do exactly what Doll did. Holy cow, with the freaking zombies here. Go away. But it's going to be, you know, very, very similar. Okay, so I think we wanted to do this because I want it to, like, perfectly... Well, we'll do it like this, because I, I want to have some room there. We'll do it like that, and I want it to be nice and symmetrical. Also going to have stair there, stair there, and then, um, yeah, I don't want to use regular blocks here. I want to use, like, something special. Probably a good idea to just kind of box this out so that I don't make any big mistakes. Right, that's just about it right there. So then we do, oh, we don't want to use these, though. We want to use the cool-looking ones, these ones. Oh, of course, there's going to be a electrical in the way ah, that needs to be moved then damn it you know what we should do though we should just put a light here facing that way there facing that way and then vice versa and so we'll have four lights kind of all in one line here and that'll free up some of the real estate on the sides here for the two gardens project for later these are permanent ah! <laughs> he came all the way in here you son of a bitch first of all how did you get past the dart trap I mean, I guess you're, you're a pretty tough guy, but can I please get down here? Why is this such an issue? Holy cow. Yeah, close that off. Just like that. And that's going to go all the way around the outside. No, wait. Oh, got bird. Check out the bipod. You can actually see it with the DLX weapons fix. Really cool touch there. Yeah, just want the one with the railing. So yeah, let me get this all set in. Okay, that's the idea there. And then there's gonna be some plots in the middle too, but they're gonna be elevated and it's gonna look really cool. I, just, I don't really wanna prop them up. Oh, what about these? I don't wanna put them on top of like, um, you know, just like a regular block. I want something that kinda looks cool. How about something like that? And then I, I do have a sense that I'm not gonna be able to paint these after I put them in. So I guess just regular wood color will have to do it, just for these really. Oh, I think that Dart Trap is seeing the stupid bird. Bird, where are you? I heard him. There he is. All right, gonna test out my perception skills. Oh, <laughs> perception skills, 100%. Okay, those are in. Now I just put the farm plots up here. Nice. Yeah, that's gonna look really good. Let's get this solidified and put some plants in. Out of wood, <laughs> scratch that. I'm so prepared today, don't you love it? I don't have a whole lot in the way of seeds been getting dicked over in terms of harvesting. At least we'll get uh, something in and growing. That'll have to do it for now, and it's officially morning, so let's go get that elixir. The elixir of life. Take that down and start spending these skill points. Should be pretty easy, basically just maxing it out, and I will wear my perception shades. I guess uh, I don't really know where I'll be wearing the lucky goggles. Probably on strength day, I guess, because we got ski goggles for agility, glasses for fortitude, for intellect. We're wearing the perception one. So yeah, lucky goggles will be for strength day only, I guess. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, we've taken all the points except for infiltrator and lock picking, and the drawbridge just have a few minutes left. So let's just get the other side of the garden oriented. There we go. We're all set here, and I'll throw up an image right now of Doll's version of this, just so you can see where I pulled my inspiration from. So appreciate that, Doll. You very, very talented architect and designer of bases, and especially, like, just aesthetics. Very, very cool. Okay, we'll have to wait for Strength Day, which would be tomorrow, I think, in order to get some more trees cut down. We pretty much chopped all the trees in the local area here. Might have to consider getting a tree farm going again over there. A couple more trees left in our old tree farm. Anyway, surprisingly, no horde yet today, but our drawbridges should be good. We can finally get this all set up. We're, in fact, going to need several motion sensors as well, at least four. 21 seconds apiece. I guess we don't have very long to wait. Ooh, that's using quite a bit of electrical parts too, but we have plenty for now. All right, let's finally get these things slapped in. Okay, the way I like to do things here is to just build across because it seems like the drawbridges just slide in a little bit more easily that way and we can just hope yes we got green light there that fits right in there snugly and so does that one wow Whew, that feels good to get that in and so we'll have to put a motion sensor right there right in the middle i think and then we'll have to hook everything all up 
It's a bit of a process, but I'll show you how to do it to get um, automation so that when you pull up with your vehicle, door opens, you pull inside, door closes. Man, I am starting to really like sniper rifles, especially the bolt action part of it. Reminds me of the old days when I used to play Call of Duty and stuff, using like the Car 98. Oh, those were the days. Oh, hello. Now Call of Duty is just all about fully automatic weapons that are dyed purple and shit like that. Can't stand it. Okay, there's our motion sensors. And let's make sure we have some relays just in case we need them. We don't. Should be good to get started though. I think I can probably reach where that uh, sensor has to be from here. Yep, right, right there, I think. And then what you have to do is you have to have one inside as well, which can go... Oh, geez, I don't know. Right there? Yeah, right there. I just had to check to make sure that the wire is coming off because if you do it on the other side, the wire will string all the way over and it won't look very good. So we'll have one there and then one more upstairs. Right there. All right, I might have to do some serious editing here because it's been a long time since I've set this up. So if I get it wrong and uh, there's a time jump from 7 a.m. to noon, you'll know exactly what happened. So I went... External camera to internal camera, internal camera to the door, and then power line to external camera. And then we want to set this to target self, target allies, instant and duration to be something like 10 seconds. And then for the internal camera, also something like 10 seconds. Okay, yep, I think I've had it all set up now. Oh, I didn't bring power to it. That should do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so real quick recap on how this works. We've got power source to some relays. The relays are kind of spread out in weird areas because, you know, it's me. But um, ultimately, you want to have power to the external camera. Have that camera on 10 seconds, tra targeting only yourself or allies, not zombies, because if a zombie walks by, the door will open. You can do 10 seconds, you can do 5 seconds, doesn't really matter. You do external camera to internal camera and then internal camera to your power door and then whenever you are inside or outside it will work so let's just jump on the bike for a second and give it a little bit of a test run all right so you're rolling around you're being chased by zombies you're coming in from a long night of looting and you roll around the boulder come up here camera should detect me open the door smoothly ride right in and it will close in 10 seconds. What you really want to do is um, orient these cameras in such a way so that they're not kind of flapping around every time you walk by them. So here, we'll open this up and we'll just point this like right there. So when I'm inside and I want to leave, I'll kind of like pull up right next to the door. It'll open right up for me. Let's fix this one and see how it works. Take two. So you roll around the corner here. You roll up in. That door opens, you roll in a little bit. The other one was closed because I just exited. And then you can park it right here and you can see... Okay, that camera actually is still detecting me, kind of. This one is not, though. So if I, if I roll up on that camera, yep, detects me, opens the door for me, and 10 seconds later, it'll close the door behind me. All right, so we're just not... We're not perfectly dialed in yet. This needs to be just like, jam this right out of the corner <laughs> where no one can see me. There we go. Same thing with you. You need to just look straight over there. And we'll see what the detection field looks like on that now. So now it's, yeah, only right when I get right up to it. I suppose you could like put it on the roof. Another like Echo, if you ever watch Echo's channel, probably a lot of you do, but what he'll do is he'll make like a, a slot right here. Like he'll put a little trench in here and he'll put some security gates over it with the motion sensor pointing up. And then whenever you roll over the grate, then the door opens. So that's an alternative way of doing it. So yeah, this one's this one's doing good now. You, you get right up to the edge, it opens the door for you, no problem. Let's give it one more test run. All right, the doors have closed. We're gonna roll straight up here. And you, you wanna be careful, you don't wanna be going full speed. But then you can kinda park it right here. And that camera is no longer looking at me. So that one closes, then you wanna roll out, pull straight through. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm glad that's done. Now we just have to kind of solidify the lip of the trench and pretty much, you know, that's it for like major base function. Oh, we gotta get the roof set up too though. Like, like with, with some turrets and stuff. Yeah, we need to go to the trader and see if they're selling any. I think today, yeah, today is trader day. So let's do that. Let's head in and see Hugh and see what he's selling. We have all kinds of stuff to sell here, but I think I'll just save it until next time around on Intellect Day. So as I'm heading back to the trader here, another thing that Rick and Joel and I talked about was 
Twitch integration versus, because I asked them, are there any plans to do YouTube live stream integration? And they said like, nope. But he also said, Rick said that he doesn't have any data, which this is like, you know, common lingo for any sort of a business person. They need data. So if there is data to support that YouTube live stream integration for the Twitch commands and stuff should be a thing, then that might be something that they put some resources into for us in the future. Because for one, I only watch like a couple of people, maybe even like one person over on Twitch, and I don't stream on Twitch. So I, I have been thinking about starting streaming Seven Days to Die over on Twitch because I just, I wanna play with the new Twitch commands. I know it's not for everyone, but it's fun. It's fun to just chill for an evening and use the Twitch integration stuff. And um, I kind of want to get into that scene. And I also want to stream other games. Someone had a really good suggestion there. I think when we were playing on the multiplayer server a couple days ago and said that I should start playing like new games, different games, games that are like not seven days to die basically and do that over on Twitch. So it doesn't kind of like drag down the YouTube channel, which is basically, you know, seven days to die focused. So I don't know, to be determined on that. But here's my question. If you have any way of like collecting that data, like is there a way to see how many YouTubers are streaming? Like how many viewers are watching Seven Days to Die streams per month versus how many viewers are watching Seven Days to Die Twitch streams per month? And if I could present that data to the developers, that might be some incentive for them to start working because I personally feel like there's more community for Seven Days to Die on YouTube than there is on Twitch. But then again, like I said before, I don't really watch Twitch that much, so I don't know that for sure. All right, enough blabbering, but do leave me a comment or shoot me a business email. My business email should be on my page somewhere and let me know if there's any way that you know of that we can do that. Oh crap, you know what? We're supposed to be digging treasure today. Hang on, hang on. Okay, we gotta go get that treasure map up there and we gotta go get Sarah's treasure map down there and we can skip the airdrop. Oh, geez. Okay. We also should do at least one good main loot today. So if we can find something here, we'll do some shopping first. We'll look for a loot and then we'll just have to remember to hit those treasure maps on the way home. You're getting lucky, Morty. Your luck's going to run out here. And I <laughs> shot his arm off. Nice. All right. Hopefully Hugh's got something good for us. And the other thing I thought of is I might not have even have enough money to buy a turret at this point. And nothing here is going to help me on that. Let's have a look here. Okay. He's got some machine gun parts. Really just want a turret and he doesn't have any. You asshole. Oh, look at the machine gun parts here though. Wow. My goodness. And we have to buy them because we're not going to be back around to intellect day for quite some time. Another three there. So yeah, that should be good. We should be able to get ourselves a good like AK-47 or something. Get rid of that damn pipe machine gun once and for all. Yeah, that's it for him. Okay, let's just blow into town here and see what I can find. I'd like to find maybe like a little tier three that we can do and then maybe like a tier three that we can gank after that. Something just real quick and easy. Popping pills here. That's kind of an all-day affair. Also, we've got the passing gas. That's an easy one, actually. Not too bad. Shamway Foods. Ah, the industrial part of town. This is like my favorite area. Okay. Oh, we got a uh, PB paper mill. That's pretty cool. Is that a tier two or I think it's a tier two? So not not too bad. Got this place here. It's been a while since I've done that. And then an airdrop coming in way over there. We'll mark that up. Okay. So we got quite a loop to make here. We need to probably get started on a quest somewhere and. Yeah, let's just, let's do this place here. I think this is a three or a four. Oh, there's also that uh, that place over there. We've done that one before, and I was just on the multiplayer server a couple days ago, and see that little ventilation shaft area thing right there? You can hop right up there and get the main loot real easy. It's tier three. So, okay, that's the plan. Let's do this place first. I gotta check and see if I can make a good spear, like a steel spear. Not sure if I can yet or not. Someone commented a while back and told me that the, the reason, one of the reasons why spears suck so bad is that if you take five points into spears, let's have a look at the skills here. So apparently in the game files, there's a typo basically. And so there is no javelin master or level five in uh, spears. It's only level four and there's um, an error in the code so that level five is not even active. So basically don't waste your time on spears level five. That is definitely something I could go in and fix myself. I just haven't quite gotten around to it yet, I guess. Ooh, 
Right in the earlobe. <laughs> nice. Okay, zombies coming in from the back. I'll just ignore them. We'll head down in the sewer. This is definitely not a trap. Looks like I got just enough stamina to kill maybe two zombies. Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. Four machine gun parts there. Wow. I wonder if maybe we can get a um, attack assault rifle or even an M60. I'll have to wait for Fortitude Day and figure that out. Definitely a lot of lag. I kind of think there's a horde here somewhere. I'm going to head topside and just check on that. Of course, it could always just be like regular old zombies. Nope, nope, it's a horde. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. Holy cow. Yeah, too many of you guys respond in. We got to kill them all now. I didn't bring any bombs with me. Damn it. I got demolitions expert too. Crap. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Well, we can try to use the penetrator perk to- Oh goodness, that's bad. Uh, I guess we're going inside. <laughs> Crap! Arlene, get the fuck out of here. Whoa, where'd I park? I parked over there and I'm out of stamina. I can't run. There we go. Okay, at a bare minimum, we've got to replenish our stamina. I'm gonna roll around to the back and see if I can get a good sniper position. Okay, how are we looking over here? Oh, the whole horde can hear me from over there? That's bad. This is 100% not how I wanted to spend my day today. We got landmines going off now. What the fuck, man? Jeez, okay. This is um, this is a losing battle here. We are, this place is just completely surrounded with zombies. We are going to a different POI. But I looped back around and it does look like the wandering horde despawned when I drove away. So, on second thought, let's continue here. Sometimes you just gotta take what the game gives you. Okay, we're into the warehouse now. Not sure if it's worth my time to pick through and pick out a bunch of nails. Oh, nice pickaxe there. Oh, hello. Oh boy, this is a busy place. I have vague memory of this place and getting totally ambushed by someone. Maybe it was these guys. Oh boy. Here we go. Come on. Line up for me. Oh, that was a good opportunity, but I whiffed it. Hey, hey, first ratchet. Okay, I think couple zombies in here. I think it's a trap, right? It's always a trap. Yeah, they want you to jump down there for that stupid poppin' pills box. I'm not falling for that trick. Oh, hello. Ah, yes, I knew it. Three friggin' dogs down there. Death trap. Okay, lots of just regular old construction boxes. Don't need to waste my time on that stuff. There's really rarely anything good in those. Alright, I can taste the main loot. It's right there. Just have to be careful here. Oh, look at him. It's <laughs> goodbye. Where's the rest of ya? There ya are. You just line up for me a little bit. I can get some penetrator action in. Ooh, one armed boy right here. Is that it? Just four or so? Yep, I think we're good. Okay, a bit of a time crunch now. We want to grab this and then we want to just head on and get the buried treasures and stuff like that. Okay, not too bad. Except for the fact that I can't carry half of this stuff. Get rid of all this. Oh, right, there was that working stiff tool place right there. I, I want to gank that loot. Do it while we have the lucky looter points. Yeah, they make it so easy. I mean, you gotta kind of cheat to get to it, I guess. <laughs> right? Depending on who you ask. But really, I mean, they're gonna put the main loot right freaking there. Oh, we got a rad in there. Wow. So we're getting to that point in the game, aren't we? Oh, goodbye. Where'd you go? Oh my goodness, he's a good jumper, isn't he? Yep, just here for the good stuff. Not bad. Let's set a steel chest armor there. Ooh, laser sight. I love that. And that's it for this place. How'd you get up here? All right, at this point, we are out of here. We are just heading over to the buried treasures. 
But first, we've got an airdrop here right next to the cathedral. Snag that. Iron armor bundle. Interesting. That would be our choice for, um, Fortnite armor. Hopefully it's a decent level. I'm kind of predicting it would be like a quality three. I'm gonna just save it though because we're a little short on inventory space. See ya, Hugh. Have a good night. All right, treasure number one. Nope, found it. What do we get today? Ooh, shotgun parts. <laughs> Probably the best thing in there, honestly. Off to the next one. And here we are. Whoa, we got birds. Probably because I've let my health get away from me a little bit. Top that off. And we'll see where this one is. Oh, I just put the laser on this? Look at the laser with the new weapons mod. That's super cool. Love it. Oh, there it is. Nice. Apparently, I should have put some points into lockpicks. Jeez, there we go. Another good robotic sledge there, and our first steel spear. Don't need sand, don't need paper, don't need rocks either, really. Give me the rest. And we're off home. Okay, rolling up on the base, get a good little test run here. Well, can't have this guy loafing around outside. Take right care of him and pull right in nice and smoothly. Yes, so good, I love it. And we can just bail off the bike, grab all of our stuff and dump it right into our dump chest. What a good system. There's a look at the hall for today. Pretty good day overall. So let me get this stuff put away and all we have left to work on for now I think is, we'll see if we can get some more farm plots crafted and uh, round out the garden upstairs. And also we probably need to get some exterior lighting at this point, see if we can get some spotlights set up here. The cell chest is almost overflowing with stuff right now, and I guess there's an argument to be made that we should be scrapping these couple things here for the steel tool parts. So we can then craft a quality five ourselves on strength today. Currently looking at 36 steel tool parts though, so I think we're all set there. 22 machine gun parts, that'll be good. Handgun parts, machete parts, what about steel spear parts? Only nine of those, so we can't get a good spear crafted, unfortunately. And check that bundle though, that is tier three, as I thought, so just go ahead and stash that away. We can kind of mix and match that with some of the steel armor that we found. Oh, and in terms of the farm plots, we can only make one because we're super low on rotting flesh. Crap, um, I haven't been harvesting the birds and stuff lately. Damn, that's my bad. Should be able to at least get this stuff solidified, though. Ah, jeez, ran out again to the motorcycle. Open her up and head on out. Oh, we could actually see see if we could pull over a uh, a zombie pair or something. That'd be good for some rotten flesh. There, that's all finalized. See any bear out there? Not a one. Although we're probably getting towards the game stage where we're start gonna start getting. Um, Zombie bears in the horde, I think. I'm not sure when I coded for that to start happening. Oh, this looks so nice though, once we get this painted up a little bit. Well, anyway, what I'm gonna work on tonight is getting the electrical system over here sort of rearranged and putting the spotlights in the way we talked about before and just getting it all rewired up. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And you'll have to forgive me if the time jump there is a little bit jarring to you, but I have to um, do all of the resource gathering and tree chopping and stuff like that. Unfortunately, we can all cram that into one day, and that is Strength Day. Um, I'm actually quite happy that I've found a way to present that to you guys without being too, too boring, because a lot of times you're, just, uh, you're forced to kind of <laughs> watch people do that, and... It's not something that I like to watch, and it's not something I like to, you know, put into my videos. So what we've got going on here today, I'll kind of give you the recap of what happened there. I basically dug out the walls of the trench. I've got all the cube shapes to fill that in, or, you know, hopefully I've got a whole ton of cobblestone from all the digging. We've got the ramps out. I have the walls of the pit done all the way down, except a, a couple need to be upgraded to cobble so that we don't have any wood that will catch on fire. I've dug out the entire pad so we can lay in a nice flat foundation, just mostly because it's going to look good. And I've dug out this wall here for the mural, and someone had suggested that we do like a great eye, like the eye of Sauron that will kind of fit the aesthetic of the base. And I did some practicing, uh, so I think I've found a way to kind of do the shapes here so that uh, it looks nice. And the reason I've got all these shapes here is to kind of prop up anything that might have collapsed like the switches and um, the sign that's back there and stuff like that. Got my new to-do sign. That's kind of a la Genosis. He's the only other person I've seen do that. And I have to figure out a way to get some boxes in. I made the boxes. I made five boxes for like our loadout. So we can have like an agility box and a fortitude box and just kind of make it easier to keep our stuff organized. But I haven't figured out a place to put it because um, it has to of course be symmetrical and um yeah, I don't know. I don't want to cram in like three here and two there. You know what I mean? I want to have like uh, it look even. So kind of to be determined. That's not the most important thing for today. What I want to do today is uh, first of all, get the forgetting elixir into me. Goodbye, strength day. You will be sorely missed. One shotting zombies with a friggin' steel club is just, oh, it's so nice. Definitely some zombies coming. We'll just kind of let them walk up into the dark traps. In fact, I should probably check on the, the ammo situation. Yeah, these things. Kind of blowing through the ammo here. Just taking a look at that steel spear there. Scrap that and put those four spear parts away. That brings us up to 13. I think we probably need 15, though, to get the steel spear crafted. Oh, crap. I was going to make the uh, steel battle axe, too. And that kind of reminds me. When I was talking to Joel and Rick on my interview, we talked about, like, skipping progression. For example, yesterday I crafted this quality 5 steel shovel. And if it hadn't been for finding that quality 3... That would have been a straight skip from a quality 5 iron shovel to a quality 5 steel shovel, which is a big jump. And so I think the learn by looting system that's upcoming is going to be good. It's going to kind of slow down the progression there. I know it's been met with a lot of, frankly, just outright negativity, which I think is really ridiculous. But anyway, I'm just keeping an open mind on that kind of stuff. I think it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to Alpha 21, regardless of what the... Um, minority, the vocal minority are saying in like comments and on the forums and stuff like that. Okay, in terms of skill points for today, basically everything except for one point into well insulated and two into healing factor. So we're really getting close to maxing things out here. And before I get going, okay, made some arrows there and I wanted to see if I could make any sort of machine gun. Ooh, I could... I could make an M60? Oh, more steel. Yes, how much of this can I get? 40, yep, start. Oh crap, it's gonna take a while. Yeah, what about like a uh, tactical assault rifle? I cannot make that because I've not unlocked it. I could also just make an AK-47. That would require a lot less in, in terms of like steel, but we can't do both. And I think probably the M60 is, well, of course it's far better. So we'll just cook on that for a moment. Can I make maybe some knucks too? Yes, I could make an, uh, an upgraded pair of steel knuckles. In fact, that's gonna use a lot of steel too. Okay, start working on that. And our goal for today will just be to get some more steel worked into the forge. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't do any iron mining when I was on strength day there. So we're gonna run out of that real fast. It's okay, I'm finding that you can get a lot of iron on Perception Day just by harvesting things down. Alright, let's get this mural done here so that there's not a gaping hole in the front of the base. Basically, I'm using the destruction blocks, and there's this selection here, these trim destroyed blocks, which have full HP, but they have like a variable painting area. I've messed it up already.
All right, there it is. Can you see it? It's going to be an eye. It's going to be so cool. Uh, and then we'll get it painted shortly thereafter because I just I want to show you what the, the kind of final look of this is going to be. So let's get this upgraded to cobble first. I made a ton, ton of paint. Wait until everything's at least upgraded to cobble before we start painting the entire base, though. I think we got a screamer coming. Yep, here, here she comes. Oh, arrow to the knee. And then one to the head. Okay, for color scheme here, well, the the eye is gonna be white in the middle. And by white, I mean medicine cabinet. This is like the nice, really shiny white. And then the middle is gonna be black. And then I was, you know, I think the, the whole rest of it has to be whatever color I settle on for the rest of the base. Oh, is it a dog? Holy crap, it's a fucking huge wolf horde. Oh my god, look at them running past. There's so many of them. Oh my god. Look at the wolves. Oh man, there's a bunch over there too. These are like mostly dire wolves too. This is crazy. Shouldn't be doing this. I don't have, I'm not specced into my, the correct stuff yet. Eat this. Take that. Oh, Nux are not a good weapon for this, apparently. Ah! Darts! What are you doing? Stop that. He's in rage mode. Okay, let him come up. There he comes. Yeah, animals have a hard time. Damn, I wish these were like bear or something because I don't need the regular meat. I need rotten flesh so that I can uh, finish out the garden plots. Speaking of that though, I think I've specced into living off the land today, so might be worth just checking and seeing if there's any that I can make. Because I get a discount today, because they only cost five a piece right now. If we could get like a, a couple, you know what we should do? We should go hunting for animals today, like uh, dogs, vultures, or zombie bears. So we can get the rotten flesh that we need for the farm plots. And uh, what I should do now, that this is all set and done right here, and actually probably pull these up now, is uh, I should probably get the weapons ready. And uh, we should head out into town and see if we can find any, like a bear den or something like that. Or or maybe that, like, um, the housing construction development thing that has that one zombie bear, you know, that we lit on fire that last time. Anyway, let me get that stuff set up and I'll probably just, I'll meet you over in town. Just rolling into the town here. We can, of course, just focus on harvesting those up for, oh, only three rotten flesh. Not... Not exactly what I was hoping for there. They've got that huntsman perk, so I get more when I harvest animals, but um, I don't, oh, I got five out of that one. That's not too bad. And it's five per plot, and I put in the rest of the plots that we had. We had something like uh, 11, and we still probably need, oh, I don't know, 15 or 20 or so. One to two bears worth, I would say. If we could find a bear den, I think we'd be all set. Where would a bear den be? Oh, there's the uh, the apartment place. Not the apartment, the like the housing development that's in construction. We know there's at least one zombie bear in here. So that combined with all of these carcasses that we're finding here, I think we should be good then. Yeah, there's another 13. All right, one here. And we got a bird somewhere. Here, ow, whoa, whoa, whole bunch of them. Damn it. Oh my God. Come down here. So I got the um, quality five M60 crafting. It's gonna take like five minutes though. So I was like, you know, let's just go. We're, we're okay, hopefully. Yeah, we're getting some rotten flesh off of these guys as well. Just gotta start paying attention more. I think we'll, we'll, we'll get the rotten flesh we need in no time just by harvesting. A lot of times I just ignore it because I don't think I, I'm like, I don't know, I don't need rotten flesh, but I'm a farmer now, of course I do. Right, so we know the trick here. We just gotta crack this door open and ambush the bear and hope for the best, I guess. I put the drum mag on the pipe machine gun, so hopefully that's enough bullets to get the job done here. There he is. Oh, look at that. With the drum mag, I get 30 rounds in this thing. Who needs an AK? Probably shouldn't have the silencer on, but um, yeah, that was, that was kind of a stupid move, but whatever. I will live with my mistakes. If I could just get one headshot in on him, though, that might kind of uh, drop down his health, you know, just a little bit. And we're going to get a tier four loot out of this as well. Oh, boy. I'm suddenly very afraid. Oh, that was too easy. Got a critical hit on him with a headshot. What do we get off this guy? Is it 50? 77 rotten flesh there. Not bad at all. Okay, now we just got to take care of these 
guys up here. Oh, that's a cop. Oh, I hear a dog as well. Oh, of course, the freaking lighting stuff on fire, you stupid cop. Oh, oh, many dogs. Yep, I got a feeling we're gonna be all set. Whoa! Broken arm! Ah! Run! No! Onto the bike! Let's ride! Holy shit, that was close! What the hell happened? Am I bleeding? I'm fucking bleeding! Quickly! Oh no, 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 no! Run! Wow! Overconfidence killed the cat, right? I guess that makes me the cat. Oh my god, Morty. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Can I just- can you guys leave me alone for two seconds? Wow, that um, that ambush there at the main loot is for real and all of our loot's gonna burn down if we don't get back there. Whoops. Here, go ahead and take the steroid that I found in that loot bag. That was kind of a godsend. And we got plenty of steel arrows just to ambush the rest of these guys. Except I got- I got no accuracy with this thing. Oh, it's not my arm that's broken, it's my leg that's broken. I- sometimes I- I have a hard time distinguishing that in the heat of the moment. Oh, fucking cat! And more zombies just fucking beating in there from the, the farm over there. Oh my god. Here we go. Suck on that, fucking cat. <laughs> I'm the king cat around here. <laughs> that was terrible. All right, I think we're done, except for we gotta get the loot now. All right, here we go. Come on, just duck down. Take a deep breath. I think we're gonna get this, we're gonna be fine. Okay, not bad, got a triple mod out of that. And just in time too, it looks like the boxes are starting to catch on fire, so let's uh, get the hell out of here. Oof, geez, started to collapse. We got out of there just in time, holy crap. While we're here, we might as well check this uh, power van here. Nothing much. And with my leg in this kind of condition, and no splint or cast, I think we just gotta go home now. Gotta love that. Rolling up in style. The wolves are still all over the damn place here. We're gonna probably just have to kill them all. See them all over there? On second thought, they're doing a pretty good job on the surrounding zombies. I did find a fuel saver in that first passing gas crate that we got. Just ravaging these wolves. I guess just let them all come all by themselves. Nope, 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 bad. Jeez, that's finally it. We've fended off all the wolves. Say we're doing okay on meat now. All right, we can probably finally put this damn pipe machine gun to bed. Once and for all, start setting up this M60. Ooh, yeah, baby. I've got laser sight, drum mag, and a muzzle brake mod. If I take that off... No, that doesn't appear to have any sort of, like, appearance on the weapon model. This doesn't appear to have been affected by the DLX weapons fix, although I... I don't know, I felt like when I had the pistol before that the laser was different, but now I can't really tell. Is the laser different or is the laser the same as vanilla? It looks different to me, it looks brighter. Does that look cool or what? You know, let me know what you think of this or if there's anything you think I could uh, do differently here. Maybe like <laughs> give it some eyelashes or something like that. I wish we could like have like a fire. Oh, I missed a couple paint spots actually. And then I'm looking at it. There, yep, that's better. Just for the time being, I guess, I'm just gonna kind of fill this in just so I can get a good, like, contrasting view of it. There we go. Looking good now. Just gotta kind of brainstorm on a color scheme for the base because we're kind of going, like, a uh, dark castle, I would say, like, evil castle now. So we'll have to come up with some kind of a cool paint scheme that goes with that. The Great Eye, I like it. Well, while we're on Fortitude Day, let's see about those farm plot blocks. 
just get the rest of those, however many we can. 35, that should be plenty. In fact, since I do need rotten flesh to make the hobo stew, and once we get all the farm plots, we're done. Let me just count how many I need. 21. Yeah, so me crafting this quality 5 M60, that's exactly what the fun pips are trying to avoid, because I went from quality 5 pipe machine gun to the best weapon in the game, the friggin' quality 5. I mean, except for the quality 6, but, you know, a pretty much maxed out M60. I mean, I can see why where some people would like that. So I had an idea for the windows here, but I want to kind of just test it out before I settle on this once and for all. And that would be to use the... Not the security gate block. Where is it? Oh, I'm on the arrow search. Uh, the It's like the dynamic grate. There we go. Because these, if you can get the orientation right on them, just like that, when, the, you, the, when it says dynamic, it means that... When you put multiple together, they kind of like have this seamless border. I thought that might be cool. Might give it kind of like an industrial look as well. Okay, and I want to just see what that looks like from outside before I commit to it. Yep, that looks pretty good from down here, I would say. And we'll, we'll maybe dress it up a little bit, put some window trim on it just to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, for the moment, though, let's spend just a little bit of time here putting in the wall and with whatever shapes are left over after that, putting in the, the pad. That's it. We're 100% on the walls and the pad. The whole trench is done. Made a couple of mistakes there. We'll fix that someday. Do kind of need to settle on a system here. Let's just get the HUD back on so I stop misplacing blocks. That was a bright idea of mine. And sure, let's just do this and replace some of these frames so we don't have to go through the whole process. What do you want? What we want here is just these narrow wedges so that we have a nice gradual incline going up here. And what we should do is in the areas that are sunken down like this, I'm just going to put like a regular ramp just like this so that zombies don't end up ever getting stuck there. I mean, is that going to look good or is that going to look bad? I mean, it's not going to look terrible. Should we do stairs instead maybe? What about these? Do these look better? They, uh, well, I don't know. I don't, no, I don't think so. What about, like, just full stairs? That's my favorite yet, I think. What do you think? Yeah, that's not too bad. And that's just gonna come right up until there. There we go. I think that's, uh, 100%. Still trying to decide on the pit system, though. I don't, I don't like how this looks, but functionally, I think it's probably, it, it'll be fine. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna table this kind of, work in here until the next time we're on strength day basically oh right these things here i forgot all about these yes 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 i do like how this looks in fact i'm just going to copy rotation and just fill it in because it's going to look like these are some like support struts underneath the base yep i think that'll look fine we'll just have to repeat that everywhere and then we just got to do something i don't like these angles here we got to put some spikes or something on here and make it look better all right that's what i came up with there i think that looks pretty good perhaps it needs like one more little spiky addition and we'll just see how that looks let's just check it out here what about this one this uh centered pyramid thing like so yeah yeah i think i like that and it's morning just gonna slap these windows in we'll change our skills to agility and then I'm going to do one big pass on the base to get everything upgraded from wood to cobble, and we'll be all done. All right, we're getting elixir in, agility goggles on, skill points in, and there's a look at how I spent them. Not quite filling out the stealth perks, but close enough for me. And first things first, let's see if uh, we can get anything crafted, like uh, an SMG. Nope. Desert vulture. Nope. Machete. Nope. Damn it. Agility sucks. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. It's like my favorite. All right, should have everything ready to go. Ooh, copper out there. Yep, coppers aren't going to be a threat for very much longer. All right, time to friggin' upgrade. Upgrade everything.
there we go that is the finishing touches on the base i believe just about everything except for like the ladders are upgraded to cobblestone at this point and ready for a nice paint job but we're gonna put that one off because i've been working for way too long on this stuff oh got a couple of things right there that we gotta fix up but we'll work on that eventually looking really nice in here and looking even nicer from out here i would say yes looking quite medieval now if you ask me we just need to get a nice contrasting paint job on it and it'll be ready to go for the horde which is by the way tomorrow what's tomorrow oh tomorrow's intellect day so we can max out advanced engineering and get a whole bunch of xp for trap kills we'll have to focus on getting some iron together for some darts probably work on that uh to, to tomorrow probably I've, I've had enough of the monotonous work for one day just wanted to get things done. I'm sort of, I'm tired of like dinking and dunking on the base construction. So I just wanted to kind of like settle into, you know, a, a five or 10 day stretch of just hardcore getting this base completely finalized. We will of course need to, you know, finish upgrading some stuff to concrete and then steel. And we'll have to, yes, tomorrow when we have better barter, uh, that's why we didn't find any turrets when we went to uh, Trader Hugh the other day, because we didn't have the better barter points, but, um, We'll have that tomorrow, so that will be the important thing on the list, is to get some turrets ready. Uh, I don't know, uh, we must be getting close to the the special waves. I think the first special wave in my mod is the woman wave, which is all female zombies. And then after that, you're kind of getting into, like, shady territory where it could be the mutant wave or the bird wave, for that matter. I think the soldier wave is last. And by the way, I think... Starting with the next horde, I'm gonna start cranking up the XP modifier. I think I'll, I might crank it up to like 200% too and just start ripping through the XP. Just cause like at this point, we you know, we've got the end game weapons, might as well just crank up the XP, crank up the difficulty as quickly as we possibly can. Hey, airdrop. It's one of the questions I should have asked to the, to the fun pimps is who the hell is the pilot that's driving that plane? And why does he occasionally drop shit in the water? Well, we'll mark it and um, well, Probably, you know, Perception Day with Lucky Looter is the best day to get it, but, eh, I'm tired of trying to optimize everything. <laughs> I just want to kind of wing it a little bit sometimes. The hell are we going to do with all these batteries, huh? Um, sell them or, or smelt them, I guess. Jeez, it just takes a, a long time and you can't really stack them in there, but, yeah, I guess we have to do it. Yep, and we're basically completely out of iron and there's really none in here either. Damn it. We will have to do some mining tomorrow because we are definitely, definitely running low on darts and we need more um, forged iron and forged steel for crafting as well. Okay, but I'm kind of feeling like that just about does it for construction. We can finally head into town again and see what we can find. Just make sure I have everything optimized here in terms of mods and stuff like that. I really need an ergonomic grip. I don't have the damn schematic for it though. Oh, you know what? We have uh, points into light armor today. We could look and see if, can we craft military armor yet? Oh, we can. We would need military fiber, more duct tape, and otherwise looking real good there. All right, military stealth boots, military vest, military leg armor, military helmet, and I'm out of military armor parts. Okay. We uh, will cut it short at gloves, I guess. You know, really, I'd rather have the gloves than the helmet, just for stylistic purposes. All right, I've got everything dyed and modified, and let's see how we look now. Not too shabby. You gotta get some dye for the boots, though. All right, enough of that. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. What's it look like? Oh, man, it's looking good. Just gotta get some paint on it. All right, all right, not too bad. Not quite into the water. What do we get here? Put that away. All right, let's head into perhaps the downtown area and see if we can find anything interesting to raid. All right, I've just rolled up on this place right here. Whoops, look out. And I don't think I've ever done this before. Olgity and Brothers, it looks like. There is a bear over there, and we cannot have that, though. So, park Gorby up here, and I'll take him out. Oh, nope, he's gonna fight that spider. I'll leave him to that for just a second. Remember, I have, like, super sneaky, stealthy archery skills now. Although, that did not give me any sort of sneak bonus. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, good thing I've got parkour. 
Not sure how to go about this. Oh, I guess we're just gonna ride the bear. Nope, too late. Oh, we got a working stiff tool there. Oh, we've got the Joe Builders and Bro thing over there. I've never done that like apartment skyscraper there either. We'll see how long this takes or what it even is. It looks kind of like a tier three to me, just judging from the outside here. Wolf boy. Oh jeez, snow biome is just a little crazy right now. Oh wow, one shot kill. All right, let's get in here and see what's going on. I should be trying to stealth this place, but I've just been itching for a fight for so long, I can't help myself but just roll in. Guns a blazing. Oh, hello, cop. I think we're just heading upstairs at this point. Pretty sure I cleared out the ground level here. Just sneak down and. These offices are like probably filled with zombies. There's one. Although that's gonna be glass, isn't it? So I probably can't shoot him through that. So we'll go with a lethal arm shot instead. Yeah, see, look at that. Whoa! Oh man, look what we've done. Okay, well, I guess we're just in a hurry now. Oh boy, hello. Wow, goodbye. Oh god, four. Getting some really, oh my goodness, the one shots. And these are on, this is a survivalist difficulty. Might need to crank things up. Nah, it's just agility. Agility is a really deadly build once you're fully specced into everything. Let me just check. Okay, so this is concrete. Oh, it's these, I think. These panels that are just on fire. So that, that fire is contained. We're good. Oh, someone's walking around on the roof there. I was like... Why is all this glass breaking? You see those couple zombies way, way up there? I don't know what they're doing, but... Yeah, ooh! Oh, goodness! Now I've got a dog outside. My word. This place is busy. Yep, they're coming around. I can't wait to see what the wasteland feels like with 4x zombies. Yeah, okay, there's the red dye for my boots right there. Looking spiffy now. Yeah, the laser beam on this is definitely different. I love it. Although, for some reason, the blood when I shoot them is, like, super duper red. A bunch of boring offices. I don't like this place. Nothing behind any of the paintings, either. Yeah, that fire is pretty big, though. Ah, not even a working vending machine. Guess we're just continuing to head up. Probably, I would say, a tier three at this point. Pretty confident in that. All right, well, let's... Wake him up. Maybe if we're lucky, tier four. Oh, getting the sense maybe it is a tier four by the look of all these zombies. Okay, they, they got nothing on me up here. I would go on ground level, but I don't really have the stamina for it. Or maybe I do because I got flurry of blows, so I get that kill stroke bonus on my stamina. Ow! Okay, yep, immediately out of stamina. And I got nothing to jump on now. Ah! Oh, the pistol is so good. Okay, probably half of them have jumped off the building at this point. And then they're running back up. Oh, that's uh, interesting. We're getting a weird glowing effect from the sun. All right, let's loot up. Where is the loot anyway? Not in here. That's where we came from. It's probably, nope, this is a just a generator. So, could be up there potentially. Nope, here it is. Oh, tier four, nice. Okay, not too bad. Get out of here. So, let's go see if maybe there's something else we can loot up around here while we're here. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, get out of here. There we go, skill point, immediately go into hidden strike, I guess. More zombies working their way up. How much money do I have? I have 5,000 dukes in my pocket, so I should be able to just bail off of here, no problem. Oh, yep, not even a single hit point lost. Also, I've been thinking about the conversation we were having in, I think it was the last episode, about nerd polling and how, at least in the developer's eyes, and kind of in my eyes too, it's, it's cheating. I can concede that. Uh, to, to some extent, I guess. I mean, it's a it's a game mechanic, it's there, but it's kind of, uh, you know, exploiting the intent of the game, I guess I would say. Not a damn thing in any of those. 
Uh, I want to run through here though. Yeah, so I've been thinking about nerd pulling and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make an effort not to nerd pull unless I'm at the base. So if I'm like within the land claim block area, I think I'm okay to do it. But otherwise, I'm going to try to avoid it. And I think that that will enhance my experience playing the game and just, you know, make it a little bit more challenging. But yeah, when the game becomes too easy for you, sometimes you have to kind of self-impose some restrictions onto yourself and... You know play that way yeah, i'm not sure what this place is comes it's like a pizzeria down here but then it's like a big apartment building up here I, or something i think or an office building perhaps not sure i've never been here is this a remnant or is this an actual pox there's no zombies in it as far as i can tell Except that guy from outside some uh, fortifications here that's pretty cool oh there's a zombie hello another one off with your arm not much else going on here. Got a ladder to the next level. Yep, I think this is just a remnant. So the only real question is, will I be able to survive jumping off the roof without getting hurt? <laughs> We're gonna find out. Oh crap, pistol needs repairs. That puts us in a lot of danger. The bow is pretty damn good though, I'd say. This is a pretty nice place. I, I would imagine that um, this is not going to be a remnant in uh, A21 or, you know, perhaps even further than that because why would you waste such an amazing building and not kind of flesh it out with some more stuff and uh you know put a good loot at the top maybe there is a good loot at the top and i'm just uh speaking too soon though yeah it, you can tell that it looks like they have like the framework for like a tier 4 poi but they haven't quite you know put everything in here there's not a lot of loot not a lot of zombies they've made like their first pass but they've yet to kind of fully complete it up to level six yeah i mean in terms of zombie count which i think is what the fun pimps go by when they determine the tier of a poi i mean we've only encountered like five zombies here i haven't seen squat for loot oh man look at the view it's gonna be nice all right keep pushing we are to the the main boss fight oh i don't have a pistol either which might make this a little bit challenging Ooh, not too bad. Lawless victory there. Yeah, this is your main loot right here, isn't it? It's just a ammo chest. A stupid purse with 12 bucks in it. I'll take it. So it is just a remnant after all. Kind of disappointing, but I, I guarantee that they're going to make this into like a tier 4 questable POI. Ooh, that's the um, apartment complex right there. Okay, can I survive that? Oh, what do you think the chances are I can make that jump? and then get to the main loot down there because that, that's that bypasses at least half of the poi oh boy i'm gonna try it. i mean it's not like we could take a little bit of damage but we can't break or sprain a leg with max parkour so off we go Ooh, landed that nice i'm just gonna stealth our way right to the bottom whoop waking people up here We are going to be in rough shape, too. We don't have a gun, and I don't think... Nope, I don't have any glue, either. Can't make any duct, duct tape. Can't get any forged iron. Can't make a repair kit. Long story short. Whole room full of zombies in here, too. Luckily, I've got sweet stealth skills. Repair kit, repair kit. Come on, come on, come on. No. Ah, here it is. Found it. Yes, this should go all the way, basically, to the bottom, I think. Oh, making a lot of noise here. Oh, shh. Freaking Lois is sleeping over here, too. How do we go down? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, just closing the doors behind me. None of these vending machines work, which is a disappointment. Ooh, there is some duct tape. And in here is some forged iron. Craft me up a repair kit. Take out Lois there. Repairing my pistol. That's through. Reload. Okay, we are in business now. We can probably take out these zombies, I hope. Yes, I think that was all of them. Anybody else? One or two more, including a biker, of course. Well, that's what we got the gun for. All right, I think we can go lights on again and loot up. Just in time. What do you got here? 
Ooh, shepherd's pie recipe and just a bunch of junk. Pretty much on par with the usual. I feel like it's been ages since I've just found a gun, like in loot. Where are all the guns? Whoa, zombies. Oh yeah, this laser appears to be just a little bit bugged. It's just super bright, I think, is the problem. Whoa. It's okay. <laughs> we'll roll with it for a little bit. All right, it's time to just officially roll out of here and hope that I can figure out where I parked my vehicle. Do I remember that there's a hidden stash back here? <laughs> just like let it all sit on the ground. I don't even care. There's something back here. Just a weapons bag? Well, I'll take it. Watch, I get a gun out of this after all that. Oh my god, yes! Definitely take that. Although, really, it's, it's kind of a moot point now because I have... Ooh, that ergonomic grip. That is a good find as well, though. Because... Oh, there's another lever-action rifle. What I'm trying to say is because I got that M60. <laughs> Cat food. That's how we close out the night. There's the bike right there. All right, well, we got nothing left to do but ride home and get ready for the next day. Tomorrow is Intellect Day and it'll be the Horde Night. And we have a ton of preparations to make before we fight the Horde. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today is Intellect Day, and we're here at Trader Bob's to do the big sell-off. Unfortunately, no sugar butts here, and we have more sellables, in fact, back at the base. So we'll have to try to do, like, half the sell-off here and then half over at Jen's. Hopefully, Jen will have a sugar butt, and we'll be able to kind of benefit from that. However, let's look at these skill points. I believe I did... I uh, was able to max out Better Barter there, so we should have access to the good secret stash. Uh, special jobs here? Sure, okay. Anyway, we should be able to get a turret for Horde Knight tonight. All right, that's all that I was able to sell right there. Not everything was repaired up. I did repair a lot of the items, but didn't have the time or the resources to make enough repair kits to repair all of it. So let's do a little bit of shopping here. We got uh, some, uh, what is it, shotgun parts there. I, I thought I saw, oh yeah, an AK-47. Damn, we don't need that, we got the M60. Bow and crossbow parts, we do need to make up the compound crossbow next time we're on agility day, so I'll just make sure we got that just so we have enough. Oh, an auger for five grand. Light stalker book, I'll take that. Just seeing what else he has before I commit. Yeah, he's got the shotgun turrets. I, I'm partial to, to getting a um, SMG turret, maybe one of each, I guess. We have a lot of shotgun ammo to burn through, but anyway, Let's um, just go ahead and get that auger. That way we can do some iron mining today. We need the iron for darts and in the future for steel and stuff like that. And that'll probably just make like mining much more manageable for us when we're not on strength day. So in fact, let's head over here. Oops. And get some gas for it just really quickly. Okay. That should be a pretty big help. We'll just stop by an iron node on the way home and pick up some of that so we don't have to do it later. For now though, oh, the motorcycle is actually, the inventory is full in the motorcycle. So hopefully we'll get a sugar butt at Jen's uh, vending machine and then we'll be able to do the remainder of the sell off there and buy whatever else we need. Hopefully some SMG turrets, at least one and maybe a shotgun turret as well. Nope, Jen doesn't have the sugar butt either. I guess we're not benefiting from that plus 10% sell bonus. That's fine. Let's just check her inventory and do another big sell off. And that's it for her. We'll check and see if she has any good parts or anything for us. No, there's nothing really noteworthy here. I just got some blade traps, but um, I thought that it was kind of a guaranteed I'm gonna buy that pump shotgun I'm sick of not having it um yeah I, I thought it was more or less guaranteed that they would have some type of a turret but they don't so I guess we have to go to Trader Hugh and hope for the best over there
Oh, finally, Hughes hooking us up here and a nerd tat for tonight. Lucky me. All right, let's see what this guy has. Sell him three batteries. He won't take any more than that. That's fine. We'll hang on to the rest. Oh, there we go. SMG turret. Yes, just give me one of those for now. Shaka Messiah book. And uh, we have a lot of money left over, so let's just go ahead and buy the other SMG turret. I should have eaten the sugar butt for that. <laughs> Whoops. Got a great heist book here. Is that the one I just bought, though? No, I just bought volume two from Jen. Now, this is volume four here, so I'll take that. That'll be for... More jewelry and precious gems when looting, and this one for 20% more damage to land claim property. That is a great one to have. And this uh, Shotgun Messiah book will be for the shotgun slugs. Good luck with I that. think that will do it. Thank you, Hugh. Let's go home and start preparing for the horde. All right, so we're back at the base, and I just noticed there are two good loot bags down there. We'll have to get those in just a second, but I wanted to just set up these turrets before we run out of time here. And let's just put him right here. Now, someone had commented on the last, I think it was the last video, that said, uh, what are we going to do about a gyrocopter landing pad? And one of the ideas is to just kind of carve out these crenellations here and put it right in here. But another alternative would be to build it out here somewhere, kind of like hanging off the edge of the base. So kind of to be determined on that. We'll have to figure it out soon, though, because I, I'm feeling that we are nearing the gyrocopter age, probably here sometime this week. So we got 450 rounds each, more than enough just for tonight. I don't think we're going to get the bird wave just yet. And hopefully there's not a lot of collateral damage here onto our garden. And in terms of wiring, just, uh, oh, I never showed you that spotlight, but that I just put that there to kind of light up the entrance and I'll eventually I'll probably hook another one up here. And on the to do list is going to be rewiring the base here at some point uh, i had meant to do that uh at some point and i just totally forgot about it and this is um this needs to just come off the spotlight there we go it's powered now yeah i got a plan to rewire the base to make it uh, a little bit cleaner up here and <laughs> pretty much everywhere else it just looks terrible it always does in my case but yeah we're gonna fix all this here let's just check on the power draw we should be fine i put six engines in there for this round all right we'll do whatever we can here to get some darts out of this before the horde night 392 four minutes yeah that's just gonna have to do it i guess hopefully we won't need to lean into it too too much oh yes let's get these loot bags Okay, yeah, I'll take it. Oh, I wanted to check. Yes, we still have some wood down there. Let's go fix that. Definitely, we don't want any more fires. We've had enough of the fires around here. Yep, this should be fine. They should be able to get out of here just fine. No issues at all. Yep, they've got two ways out. So if one breaks, then we've got a, a backup plan for them. Then they'll just come right around here, up the ramp, and then recycle over to the front of the base here. And hopefully this stuff doesn't get all broken down either. Do we need any repairs up here? So that could be a problem there. I don't, I don't know that it would, and we have the backup plan. Oh, and some people were saying that this might have some sort of a... It, look, it, it might look a little bit like something else. <laughs> uh, we'll just leave it at that. I, I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. We'll get to it eventually. So I have these robotic sledges. We might as well get some use out of it somewhere, right? I mean, there's got to be something I can do here. Like, uh, I don't know. We could even just, like, put it here. And, and then every time a zombie comes around the corner, they just get punted off the edge here. Yeah, sure, we'll give it a try. I mean, worst case scenario, it's just going to, like, degrade, right? No big deal there. Just gonna hopefully make sure that the blade trap's not gonna hit it, because I th think that would damage it. Just give that a dry run. Why is that not working? Something go wrong with the wiring? Hmm, yep, that's getting power from this, getting power from this. Don't know quite what's going on here. Oh, it's, um, these switches never got hooked back in. Wow, good thing I checked that. What is it with these stupid ladders? Come on, man. Yep, last minute stuff here. There we go, working now. Then you into e oh that was that one was hooked up, yep that one's working. Okay so yep that's going to the bottom actually. The other side is going to the top. Okay close that. It's gonna have to do it I guess. Okay just gonna just top this off with a little bit more dart ammo. That's just gonna have to do it there. I think we'll leave the dart traps on initially, and we'll use the blade traps initially. We want to get as many kills as we possibly can. We want to kill the whole horde tonight. That's the goal. I've got the forgetting elixir. We're just gonna focus on murdering zombies and getting as much XP as we possibly can. In fact, I'm gonna actually do one more thing. I forgot to do it. I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna turn XP up to 200% and then we will prepare to fight the horde. Well, the hour is late and our fifth horde approaches and it's time to lock and load.
My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Guys, I think this is it. This is the woman wave. I've seen nothing but female zombies so far. We had a screamer come by too, which is interesting. I'm pretty sure she got murdered. She was screaming though. I'm not sure if she screamed in zombies or not. The more the merrier though. Okay, the zombies aren't even making it to me. But, oh, there's one. Spoke too soon, I guess. All right, I think we're pretty much in full swing now. Let's go ahead. Oh, another screamer there. Take down that uh, grandpa's uh, <laughs> learn of elixir. And we'll get grinding on the XP today. Trying to get as many of the kills as I can with the M60 so that we don't lose that 50%. Even with maxed out advanced engineering, you're only getting 50% XP for your trap kills. So try to mitigate that as much as possible. Just use the traps to kind of whittle them down a little bit and then use the M60 to get the kill shot. I'd say it's working. I'm sitting on a cool 63,000 XP right now. We've lost the first blade trap. That might have been it for the whole woman wave right there. It might have just killed the entire wave. Oh yeah, here we go. We've got soldiers and bikers coming in now. Oh crap, we got a zombie bear. Ah, holy crap. Yeah, my mod, it's, it, it gets a little hectic pretty quickly here. I think we're at the stage where the tables kind of turn. If it wasn't for such a good trap layout on this base, the zombie threat would be getting really, really bad. I haven't seen any cops or mutated zombies yet. Uh, it might just be a wave where they're not supposed to... Ooh, we lost our second blade trap. Yeah, they might not come at all in this wave. We might maybe expect to see them in the third wave. Oh, <laughs> goodbye, Lumberjack. Couple zombies are just feeding on the base down. Oh, no, zombie bear again. Yikes. Whoa. Okay, get a little thick and crazy up here. Yep, ow, okay, get the melee. No, this is bad, very bad, ow. I was just thinking about it. We do not actually want to use the nerd tats today because I, do, I don't have the repulsor mod yet. So unfortunately, the nerd tat would be uh, a little bit lack, whoa, 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 lackluster. Okay, the wave is over, or seemingly very close to it. I'm gonna reload this. How are we looking on? We got one more blade trap left. I have a sprained arm of all things. All right, we got a mutated coming up now. Careful with him. Cops as well. Just laying into him with the turret. They're still not able to get up to me. Even with like limited defenses up here, we can still hold the line right out here in the front. Oh crap. Oh, barrel. Eee, reload. I can't really reload, reload that well because I've sprained my arm. So I think it's time to just hold the line back here. Alright, junk turret's down. Let's just see if I can scoop him up and reload him real quick. Get out of here. Get back, get back. All right, just uh, set this down really anywhere. Right in front there is fine, I think. Hopefully things are going well elsewhere in the base right now. I don't really know if they're cycling out of the pit very well. Although I don't, I mean, the flow seems good. I don't think they're stuck anywhere. Let's put it this way. With the darts going full tilt like this, we're definitely not um, gonna get overwhelmed here. Cop. Nope, nope, nope. Whoop, he spit it with the blade trap. Good thing I bought a couple extras today. I figured I'd just buy them. They're pretty cheap. Only like 800 dukes a piece. Three skill points to spend. That's not bad. And that might be it for the horde. Eh, a couple stragglers here and there. Let's get out there and see what happened. They didn't even break through all three blade traps. That's how good this dart trap system is. And by spacing them out down here, I they're at like a really low risk of being lost entirely. So you're saving a lot of resources that way. Got, got a, quite a few loot bags to go through here. It's only 1 a.m. too, my goodness. That was fast, man. We are gonna be ripping through the hordes from now on. That's good, I needed a little bit of reprieve after the, the horde night before this one where there was like just fire and chaos and fucking destruction everywhere. <laughs> I'm glad we had an easy one for once. Well, I'm gonna go put some stuff away and then we'll start getting ready to loot up. I think I do have some eye candy this time around. Let's just check around. Yep, there's one right there we can use. All right, let's head down there and see what we get.
All right, I just double checked around and it looks like that was it for the loot bags. And we did eventually burn through all of the darts. I think like just in time, the darts ran out right there at the end. So here's a look at the loot haul here. Nothing particularly exciting though. I'll read that, we got 20 friggin' doorknobs. What the hell, man? We could build a whole fucking house with that many. All right, we'll just get this stuff put away and we'll start our perception day. All right, everyone, we are ready to go now. It's perception day. I've fully changed everything over and we're wearing our shades for plus one perception, which made me think it's time to finally get the boxes. We'll get one box for each day. And the only way I can think of to do that symmetrically is to put them right in the floor here. So here we go. Okay, good. I already have these boxes pre-made and we'll just slide them in like so. There we go, all labeled up. Now I just gotta put the appropriate things in those boxes. Okay, before I forget, let's go ahead and now take down the forgetting elixir and spend up these skill points into perception. I think I should be able to just max everything out now. Let's give this give this a try. Let's just, you know, five points, max points into everything. Rip right through them. Yes, we have a perfect amount to get all the skill points unlocked. We are 100% here on Perception now, and I will bring the timed charges with me. I've heard that with Demolitions Expert maxed out that the time charges are pretty much, you know, really, really good at that point, so. And the dart traps keep on cycling. There must be a zombie lurking around out here somewhere. Where are ya? Oh, it's the crawler. Just hanging out down here. Well, let's put a uh, armor-piercing 762 round into him. Or two. It's unfortunate that this is only a quality one, but I suppose it'll do for now. In fact, let's just run over here and see if we can craft a, a spear or a rifle. I indeed can craft the lever action rifle. I only have two rifle parts though. Oh man, that's terrible. I could scrap the hunting rifle that I have now though and get four out of it. That still puts us nowhere near where we wanna be though. And in terms of a steel spear, we're one spear part short. What a bummer. Oh, and before we do get going today, can't craft anything, so the loadout is 100% set. Just make sure, do I have any like random frames kicking around here? I, I think I need some more frames. Open up, any zombies? No, and hopefully none come, because I have some work to do here. Well, there's one right there. Hello, where are you going? Oh, the, the reload, I love it. Not the reload, but like the racking of a new round in. It's really fast. Man, perception's not so bad once you get some skill points in it. Okay, there's a project I gotta do out here. So on the episode before last, there was a comment from someone named Alchemist Prime, and I'm gonna put that comment up here and I will read it to you as well. It says, thank you, Tem, Glock, Cap, and Josh. Josh being Jewoodle. I've been fighting brain cancer for the last six years and y'all have been my support system for all these years but I fear my time is almost up. So I really am just going to reach out to all four of you with this same message. Thank you sincerely. All right, so there it is. This base shall now and forever be known as the Alchemist Prime Base in honor of Alchemist. Thank you so much, Alchemist, for reaching out to me and letting me know. I don't know, I feel like this is, you know, the least I can do here and I wish you the very best. And we got a couple zombies out here, but I'm not gonna worry too much about them. I think we just need to head out now. It's 9 a.m. We've kind of blown through half the morning here. And uh, we'll head into the snow biome and enjoy what will probably be the last day with maxed out Lucky Looter, or one of the, ma the last days here in the snow biome before we have to be forced into the, the, the wasteland biome. I'm really not looking forward to that day. Anyway, I'll meet you in town and we'll see if we can raid some kind of a tier four, maybe tier five if we can find one. Aha! Yes, Seymour Bank. That would be a good place to start off with <gasps> the crack a book. No, 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 no. We gotta do the crack a book. Yes, 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 this is the one. We're gonna give it a try. All right, I wish I had some parkour skills, but we're just gonna have to make the best of it. I don't think I brought enough ammo for this, <laughs> really, honestly. Um, and I don't have the bow either, so we're, we're gonna forgo kind of any sort of a stealth tactic here. Yeah, 
Yep, here they are. They're just waiting for us. A lot of them, too. I can get one sneak attack on businessman's crotch right there. All right, here we go. Oh, it's kicking off now. Ow, ow, whoa, 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 jeez. Oh, boy. <laughs> I fell down. Luckily, I got the 15 dukes in my pocket. Or the, the 5,000 dukes. Well, if I'm lucky here. Oh, <laughs> that's not going well already. If I'm lucky here, I can string them out kind of linearly so I can benefit from the penetrator perk a little bit. Here, let's just stay topped off on health. They're all bailing out of the roof there. Bailing. Oh my god, there's just so many of them. This place, man. This place. What the fuck, man? Why? There's like 30 businessmen here. Ow! Okay, I'd say we're up to a good start there. Come on, reload faster, please. And spin. Frame rate's getting better at least. Several of those zombies might have just been like ambient zombies that got drawn in. I don't, I don't know, most of them were business men though. Oh, there goes like half of our ammo already. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be relying on melee very much today. Okay, well, the journey continues and we're like almost hungry and thirsty, so. Hopefully there's a kitchen in here. Ah, Pistol Pete book there. Uh, 90 millimeter weapons have 20% more range when using the scope. Honestly, I'm really, I shouldn't be wasting too, too much time kind of like picking through all this stuff here. Yeah, we need to move on. We're not searching trash and toilets and stuff like that while we're here. Officially hungry, great. Yep, up we go. I think there's a cafe here somewhere, isn't there? Oh, yeah, right there. But where are the zombies? Did I perhaps wake them all up already? That's why we had so many. Nope. Oh god, there's a lot. Oh jeez. Ow! Whoa! Oh, I'm gonna get hurt here. Ah! I don't know where to go. Here, go down. Trying to do just controlled bursts here. Okay. A little bit less control now. That's okay. Here we go. Oh, please give me like a sham chowder. Ooh, nice axe there and some tuna fish. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that a little bit later. I'm not too worried about switching tools right now. He's like, it seems like a third of them are friggin' ferals too. Great. Hey, a sham sandwich. Uh, we are quite hungry. Let's just hope we don't get dysentery with it. And we can just top off on a bandage. Yeah, we're in rough shape. This is not gonna go over very well, is it? A lot of times I go into a POI hoping that, like, the looting can kind of keep up with my needs, like my food and my first aid needs and stuff like that, but, um... Yeah, I think we're going to be burning through our ammo, food, first aid, and everything like that way too quickly here. But we're committed now. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, we're onto the rooftop already. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's, um, make sure we have plenty of hit points. Make sure that we have plenty of bullets. About as good as it's going to get, I guess. There we go. Two for one there. Let's go, everybody. Let's maybe not go not too far over there. I don't want to wake everybody up right now. I woke everybody up. Great. Cop! I was hoping that would, like... You know, hurt him enough to make him blow up, but no, no good there. There we go. Oh, I should have brought some bombs, shouldn't I have? That was a big mistake. Well, the good news is we're alive. The bad news is we're not gonna have any bullets for the big boss fight at the end. You know, the biker book club. We all know what's waiting for us down in the basement. Okay, surely there's some kind of a loot here that can help us though. Ah, not really. Right, a little bit of ammo there, not useful. It's the part where we kind of skirt the edge here a little bit. Kill that guy. Right, this is the main event right here, I think. Uh, no, not quite. We're down to the main level, though, which is another big fight. Oh dear, oh dear, this is just, this is just totally bad. That's my last bandage, so hopefully we don't start bleeding here at any time. And get zombies outside. Oh, get the drop on at least a couple here. Okay, no, we're good here. Okay, try to use the melee just a little bit here. Probably not a good idea. Oh boy, yeah, that's bad. Ow! Oh, you bastard! Ow! You bitch! You seriously hit me like that! Oh boy! Just one season, two season. Oh, they're coming in from somewhere outside. Jeez! Here, hide! 
Open the door. Close the door. Let one in at a time. That works, I guess. Oh, man. We got no choice. We just gotta rinse him with the M60. What's left of the ammo here? Hope for the best. There we go. Could be better. Could be worse. Oh, man. The stupid spears. Oh, cat. We're gonna have to deal with him sooner or later. What was I thinking coming into this place? Yeah, they, they seem to like kind of coming up through the scaffolding. You think I can run out the door from here without getting too hurt? Oh, there he is right there. Yeah, maybe like drag the zombies in through those spikes? Is that is that a thing that I can do? Hide up here, I guess. Yep, I don't know. I don't know where everyone is now. Here, give me some coffee and we're just gonna run through here. See if we can wake everybody up. I know they're in here somewhere. Oh, crap. Yep, we're gonna have to risk it on the spikes. Ow. Seems to be working, kind of. Yes, I think it's good. Who's left? Gotcha. Holy crap, that's not good. We are sitting really low on hit points right now. See if I can find any food in here at all. Ah, yes, a food crate. Oh, sham chowder, nice. Okay, looks like that's gonna do it though. I really can't take a hit from this guy. Oh crap, the whole sham ch chowder just basically evaporated. All right, well, I'm just gonna sit here for just a second and like recuperate the uh, the 56 hit points that are rolling in and then we'll head down for the final battle, which is right down there. All right, the last of the hit points are rolling in and look at this, this quality two steel axe is su far superior to the quality three, so. Oh well. Well, without further ado, I think we're just about as ready as we'll ever be. I'm gonna suck down all three of these coffees so that we're nice and hydrated and have plenty of stamina to run our ass away. We are. We're down to four bullets in this. And we have 60 of the HP ammo. Uh, not the HP, the AP. So, oof, jeez, I don't know, man. I could put the rest in the M60. I guess that's probably the best way to do this because we're not gonna have like run and gun we're not going to really be able to reload the rifle very much so we'll have six bullets there 60 here the rest will just have to be <laughs> be with the spear i guess i don't know if this is going to work or not my strategy is just going to be to run right straight through though here we are okay this is where it usually goes down the exit's over there on the far left corner so let's just go ahead and head straight there we've got a rad i saw it out of the corner of my eye already Make sure that we have plenty of stamina, and where's the button? There's the button right there, open it up, and we just gotta get out of here. Oh shit! Wow, this is going bad already. Just get him out of there. Ah, cat! Shit, cat! Go ahead, go get the zombies, damn it! Okay, we're gonna go up the ladder and over here and see if we can just hold or die in this position right here. Okay, wait until we can get some armor penetration health and just use the bullets sparingly. Holy cow, spit. Here we go. They're really coming around the corner now. Just waiting so I can get that sweet armor penetration. Just onesies and twosies here. We should be just fine, hopefully. All right, need to, need to lay into him a little bit more. Good. It's going well, guys. It's going really well so far. Okay, they're getting close. They're falling down. They're sliding down the scaffolding. Okay. We are down to eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get the rifle out. And I think all we got left is maybe a couple of zombies. And uh, after that, just cats and dogs and crap. Hello, Arlene. Whoops, I fell down. Not exactly sure who we're dealing with here now. Cats and dogs. Oh, what's new? I think I'm in a good position here. Whoa, whoa, fire. Ah, onto the bike. And we just need to relocate right now, I think. String them out if we can. Here, the main loot area. Who's waking up in here? Someone in the sewer? Ah, dog. Cat. Whoa. Got one bullet. We've got one bullet. Maybe we should just save it for ourselves. No, we've got two. We've got one in each gun. No, 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 not the cat. Not the cat. I need the cat to fight the zombies. Oh my God, there's still rads over there. Shit. Oh no. Pop blew up. Okay, we're on like the back end of the building and all is quiet. I think I lost him going around the corner there. So let's just try and loot up while we can and we just have to make a run for it after. Whoops, woke up some zombies. Uh, I don't know where they are though, honestly. 
Can I maybe just hide in here and, and get the loot? Here. Whoops, some dog just died. Oh, crap. They're coming. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Get the bombs on this thing. We're in. Grab the loot. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay, honestly, I'm okay with not getting the poppin' pills stuff. Any first aid in here? First aid kit. That is a godsend. Here they come. Just jump over their heads. Ah! Go, 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 go! Run! Onto the bike, and we're fucking out of here! Oh boy, I need to just pull over and let my heart rate come down a little bit. Well, my body is a little bit battered and bruised. We're completely out of ammo, so I say we just head back to the base and call it good for today. We return safe and sound to the Alchemist Prime base, and I did make good use of our salvage operation skills on the way home by harvesting up some cars. I hear a zombie. Are you gonna try and come in here? Yeah, no thanks. Come on around. Where'd you guys go? Waiting on you, Thomas. Taking forever. Well, let's head down here and see what we got for loot, because in my haste, I did not even check. Looks like we got a sledgehammer. We got the shotgun auto turret bundle. Ooh! Two shotgun turrets. That is a win. Okay, we'll read that. And otherwise, yep, just, you know, the regular stuff. We can read that treasure map. And honestly, if that's somewhere close by, I'm going to go get it right now. It's um, not close by, <laughs> but it's close enough where I'll go and get it. Sort of have the sensors a horde here. We might have to take care of this first. Yep. How many of you are there here? Lock and load, baby. Nightfall is upon us. Oh, yeah, we can test by theory. Well, let's just get the freaking... The, uh, the electric fence is on here. And then we can test my uh, method here of trying to use my armor penetration to get multiple hits per shot. Get back, get back. Gun's almost broken, like that. Two for one. Get out of here. I think that's good. Let's go dig up that treasure now. Oh, what are you doing up there? Oh my goodness. <laughs> kind of scared me there. All right, we're almost there. Oh yes, right under the boulder, of course. Well, let's start ripping in here and see if we can find it. Yeah, snow biome, probably the, the easiest place to dig up a treasure because you can just take off the snow layer and that counts as like a block taken to reduce the radius. That should be it right there. Almost got it. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, whoa, holy crap, so many of you. How dare you, get away from my treasure. Oh my God, I'm just drawing them in even worse. Yeah, you know that thing I was saying earlier about- Oh! Perception not being too bad? Yeah, I was wrong. You just have no way of dealing with, like, multiple zombies. Other than lining them up perfectly and using Penetrator to your advantage. Holy crap! Oh, good thing we got plenty of ammo today. Okay, I'm not sure how many of this is gonna take this time, but uh, I'll assume at least two. That did it. Open her up. Hey, good magnum there, finally. That's kind of nice. And some knuck parts. Would prefer spear parts or rifle parts or shotgun parts for that matter. Anything in here? Spear parts! Oh goodness, we can go get our spear crafted today. Sucker. Eat that. Let's see if we can do that now, or if we're gonna be short on steel. Yes, indeed, 30 forged steel. So that's what I'm gonna work on for tonight, and I'll get that crafted before morning, before we have to do the forgetting elixir. And, oh my goodness, was that down uh, that door all night long through the horde, and I didn't even notice it? Wow. Excellent, no, no, no. Yeah, we gotta get the darts back in. This is just, just annoying to deal with. All right, so I'm gonna get to work on the steel and we'll get the spear crafted. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And today is strength day, so it's time to get the learning elixir into us. Not the learning elixir, <laughs> quite the opposite actually, the forgetting elixir. And I've got the whole kit switched over, I think. Yes, I do. So we just need to spend all these skill points. We should be able to max everything out here. Careful not to take that extra point because I have the cigar in. Nope, oh, not quite enough in fact. 
We need one more skill point. That's unfortunate because I would have not spent one into, for example, Pummel Pete there. <laughs> we have to do mining today as well. So, well, we live and we learn, right? So I should have everything I need here. Coffee, rock busters. I'm going to forgo the auger, which is sitting right there because it's only a level two. And I guess I'll bring it with me and, and kind of do a little bit of both. I'm just not sure which would be faster because we have the book where we get more resources when we harvest if we're using a regular old-fashioned steel pickaxe. So I kind of want to benefit from that. But anyway, let's head over here to our one of our... I think we have a couple of iron mines at this point, but let's find an iron mine and get all the iron we're going to need for the next week or two. Yep, got a couple right here. These will do just fine. Well, I guess we'll start a brand new fresh one right here. Right, that was quite a bit of iron. I got uh, 12,000 going in there and another 12,000 or so up here. So that should be good for at least a while. And last night I crafted up some jars. So we do need to run over and fill these up real fast. And this trick right here is going to be a thing of the past here pretty soon because you're going to have to get your water from dew collectors. You won't be able to pull it directly from a water source like this. Kind of a la what they're doing in Undead Legacy where you can't just very easily get murky water like that. So yeah, it'll be dew collectors, and I think you'll still be able to find, like, jars of murky water, like in maybe toilets or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what all the changes are going to be around that. So we're going to need this murky water and all of the chrysanthemum seeds that I, or the chrysanthemum flowers that I got earlier today to make paint. And we should have plenty of paint to at least get us started here. Is that an airdrop? I just barely heard that, man. That one was far, far away. Let's, uh, ooh, wow, that's way off the beaten path over there. I'll mark it nonetheless, but I don't really feel like going out there right now. Uh, let's see here. Where would I put the paint? I put the paint over here. Oh, wow, we have a ton of paint. That might be enough paint right there, so I might just hold off on making any more of it for just a little bit. And with that, I think we can get started on painting. And I just wanted to show you real quick what I was doing overnight. I just repainted the mural there. <laughs> Got a lot of criticism regarding, whoops, ah, whoa, yeah, uh, apparently that was not a popular decision of mine, so I, I concede, we'll just use this little geometric pattern right there, and that'll have to do it. Anyway, let's turn these off, right, and uh, I, I think we'll just start out here, wait, should be good here, just checking to make sure I have that 15,000 dukes in my pocket so I don't break a leg out here. And this is it, this is the big paint job here, I'm not upgrading, really, much, if any, of this stuff to concrete, it just doesn't make any sense to, because... Uh, look at last Horde Night, uh, the, the zombies didn't even do any damage anywhere, so we don't need to waste the resources. If we get the resources and we want the XP later, we can just do something simple like upgrade the pad or, you know, upgrade the foundation of the, um, the castle here. But anyway, let's get started. Alright everyone, and with that, Strength Day is over, and we're on to Fortitude Day. Man, we never get to go outside and have fun on Strength Day, do we? We always got other priorities, like getting all this iron put in so that we can get darts back, and more forged steel, and everything else. I do think that I got uh, at least 95% of the base painted, so we should be kind of all set on that for a little while until we do further upgrading, and then we'll just have to sort of repaint the areas that get upgraded. 
Just getting the kit reorganized a little bit. Okay, I've got the loadout changed over. Today, let's bring some extra bullets, right? <laughs> we don't want to run out of these things like we did there a couple of days ago. And it's time for that forgetting elixir. I don't know that I got a single skill point yesterday. I might have gotten one when I was mining and just forgot all about it. But anyway, we should be able to fill this completely in. Yes, and we have four memory points. Wow, I think we did... Uh, last week we had some memory points, uh, one time when I was changing the skill points back over, I think we had one. I don't know this for sure, but it seems like some of the, the perk trees require more points to fill them out completely than others, but, um, anyway, let's get into, uh, Sexual Tyrannosaurus. Finally, we can get Sexy T-Rex on more than one day, and we've got the cigar as well, so we might be able to get several points into it. I think that'll do it though right there. And oh, I didn't switch the armor back over. Yes, we want to wear all of our good armor. We don't really have to worry about switching the mods off of the armor when we're on strength day because um, uh, we can take um, pack mule to, to max out the backpack there, which I might take a point into pack mule today just to kind of get that little extra bonus. Put the heavy armor away and sure, let's do that. Let's take one and two pack mule and that should Pretty much open up the entire backpack. Very good. Oh, that's the other thing. We got to bring beer with us and have that on the hot bar at all times. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's get out of here and, uh, well, we'll take a little bit of a tour of the paint job now that we have good daylight. It took about, I don't know, almost 24 hours of full, full on painting, I would say. I think it's looking pretty damn sharp. There are more sort of aesthetics that I want to put on the base, like some nice window frames and some more spikes, but. I think this is the gist of it. And we got the Alchemist Prime sign painted all up. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah, you can see some spots there on the balcony that uh, need to be touched up. We'll get to that another time. Let's head into town. Just stopping by Trader Hughes here to see if there's anything good for us to buy, like some rifle parts for sure. Machine gun parts. Don't know, but I think I'm all set on that. Uh, Molotovs might come in handy today. Now, just a matter of finding something interesting to take down today and get a little bit of extra loot. Let's have a look at the map and see what part of town I have not been to. Have not been to the northeastern part of town. So let's uh, just skip over there real quick. I don't think I've been through doggos since Alpha 20. Ah! Because I did my my last series, it was called The Last Act. I did that series in doggos. We converted that into a really cool horde base. I really enjoyed that series a lot. So I'll be curious to see what has changed in here ever since. Definitely a new paint job. Oh, hello. All right, let's get in here and see what's going on. Okay, yeah, this was uh, the premise of my horde base is I knocked out this wall here and I created a ramp up to a little corridor system here. And then like you can see this floor, this wrapped all the way around in a big U shape so that when the zombies came up here, I had like a huge field of fire to kind of shoot at them from. We don't need to go up there though. We need to go around the traditional way and that's good. Got some water for the rest of the day. Whoa, oh Jesus, damn, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, we're getting close to the spot. Ooh, biker. Ooh, one shot. Getting close to the spot where the dogs used to be, at least. I think the dogs are in here. Is this correct? If I can sneak up on them, maybe? Yeah, here we go. Oh, he's stuck in the cage. Oh, but it doesn't look like there's, it's going to be difficult for him to get out. Okay. Holy crap, there's a lot more. Yeah, we've got multiple zombies now trying to beat their way in from outside. Might as well just help her out. Jeez, just three barrels in a row. Out and around. Anything cool in that remnant that we can see from here? Oh, a weapons bag. I see it straight over there. I'm gonna go get that. Gimme. Oh, not, not terrible either. All right, back over here and I'm heading inside again. Ooh, resources. Well, at least digging is dramatically easier now with just a couple of points into sexy T-Rex. Aha, <laughs> up on the vet table there. Okay, don't wanna make any noise here. Hello there, buddy. Any friends in here? Indeed. And the vet tech Arlene. She strikes me as the type of person who would have been a vet tech. 
Oh, look at that. A motorcycle chassis schematic hanging out in some trash. That's why you got to search all the garbage. All right, this is different. The ladder used to be on the other side. And there's... Oop! Dire wolf. And garbage right there. I think that'll probably trigger him. Well, we haven't taken any beer yet. We'll take one now. See how much damage this will do. Apparently quite a lot. Although that's not a kill. He's going to get back up. Come and get it. Oh, flawless victory. Is there no one else up here? Whoa. There is. They are all in here. Here we go. Don't stand a chance. All right, totally encumbered now. It was a, just a struggle just to get everything out of those boxes that I wanted. Let's stash this and see what other kinds of trouble we can get into today. Yeah, I think of everything that's around here in this neighborhood, this one probably would have the best loot. How am I looking on lockpicks? Yeah, not that great and it's about to be a lot worse. Not bad, that was only like three. Holy cow, I got so much money out of that. That was like so worth it. Holy crap, I got a whole bunch of zombies that heard me do that too. Celebrating too loudly. Right, I do believe this is the one with like the big vault underground, isn't it? Pipe bomb recipe. Whoops. Hello, nurse. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know what I need is electrical parts. That is something we've got to do. Let me jump down here. I think I put my wrench away. There it is. Put the knife away. We don't need that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now we need to just basically wrench down everything that's in this building. Ah, whoa, dire wolf. Hello there, buddy. What are you doing here? Freaking endless supply of threats in this freaking biome. I'm not gonna go all out. I'm just gonna get the high value items like TVs and stuff and we'll we'll do like a more of a dedicated session uh, for harvesting electrical parts once we are on perception day and we have salvage operations active. All right, we pick up where we left off here. All right, we're back down to the ground level. You just saw that door get broken a little bit. Couple zombies trying to claw their way in. Oh, cop! Ah, holy crap, feral cop. Let him blow. Oh boy, no, 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 no. Not next to me. Ah, whoa. No, oh, geez. How much of this is wood? Uh, apparently quite a lot of it. All right, pushing through. Oh, I'm on fire. Definitely on fire. Okay, open that. Yep, I'm taking lots of damage now. Put myself out with some beer. Holy cow. Well, I'm hungry anyway, so we'll head over to the bike. I think I have some salmon in here. Damn. Fortitude's like my favorite melee build now. Okay, this floor is under construction, I think, looks like. Oh, that's for the repulsor mod. Very good. Aha. Hello there, my friend. Who's in here? Morty! Oh, no, no, no. None of that stuff. Man, this place just goes on and on and on. This is a big place. Oh, jeez! Where did you come from? I'm curious to see what a fire would look like in this area, so I'm gonna let him just blow up. Ow. Ha, <laughs> there we go. Okay, finally, I think we're getting the cue to go down into the the vault room down here. Okay, go ahead and take this, co uh, not the coffee, the beer. Zombies are gonna try to claw their way in there. That's okay. We're just in a hurry. Oh. Not, ooh. Oh, electrical parts city here. All right. Well, we got the final fight to do, though, so let's get to it. Where are you all? Ooh, rads. Yikes. Bring it on! 
This is why the fun pimps gave us pain tolerance. Yeah. I've got an abrasion. It's not looking too good. Nope, I think we got him. And yeah, that's kind of why I'm carrying the first aid kits with me from now on. I heard a block break though. There's definitely some stuff going on over here somewhere. Ah! Ooh, where did you come from? Whoa! Lois! Ah, I see you. All right, checking the loot bag. In a bit of a hurry now. Suit jacket, that's a weird thing to find. All right, into the loot vault and unlock everything. All right, not too bad overall. I got an impact driver schematic, so at some point we should look into crafting that. Big upgrade over the wrench we have. I'm not sure where the zombies are at this point, so I'm just going to get ready and harvest all these up. There's only a couple left anyway. I'm not terribly concerned about it. Yeah, I think that's everything I care to get out of this place for now. Ooh, one more TV. Got it. And we'll, let's go face the zombies that are up here. I'm not sure. I heard them beating on glass, so I'm imagining... Yeah, they're all in, like, that area over there. Hit the key box, and we are up and over and out of here. Let's see who's in here. Oh, I see you guys. You're making me all nervous and sweaty. Go away. All right, time to leave. All right, and just as I'm about to roll out of here, I've just noticed this place right here, which isn't this a tier three? Okay, I'm not allowed to pull. I'm not allowed to pull. <laughs> We're not doing that trick here today. However, I would really like to get up on top of this fence. If I can maybe vault over onto this one, run around the circle here. Yeah, I gotta use my brain a little bit more. There we go. Is that it? Is this no longer like a questable POI? Or is this, I'm just thinking of a different one, I think. Yeah, this is just like a mini one. Cause isn't there one that's like a restore power? It's just like this. Or did they maybe change that and I just never noticed? All right, well, whatever, we'll just get out of here then. On second thought, I still have a couple of open spots in the inventory, so I'm gonna claw my way into the laundromat here, which is just like a tier one or two and try to fill it up. Open her up, making lots of noise here. That's fine. Oh, I can just sneak right in here and close the door and no one will care. Ah, yes, just tier one. Oh, I just read some tech junkie book and that was the last in the series, in fact. Got company here. Hey, vehicle fuel saver mod schematic, the auger schematic. That's a good find. So on strength day next time around, we'll get a quality five crafted, hopefully. And take that extra wheel, and we're out of here. And I've said that like three times now, but this time, I'm for real. I couldn't carry any more loot if I wanted to. All right, I'll meet you back at the base. See how many zombies I can hit on the way back. Yeah. All right then, there's a look at the hall for today. Nothing particularly special, but we did get a couple of good schematics which will come in real handy here in a couple of days. Now that was an interesting noise. Okay, so half the reason behind all getting all those electrical parts was that I could start getting some more spotlights. How many now? Okay, we'll do three on each side, short on duct tape, but we're making glue over here. What I'm gonna do is put like three on each side, maybe two on the front, two on the back, so that we can like illuminate the area around the base and then eventually maybe also get some that are shining directly up at the base so that we have some like, you know, light casting onto the walls. All right, that's it. I got all the little supports and all of the spotlights put in, just time to wire it up and hopefully we can get a look at it and see what it looks like before dawn. And since I'm gonna be rewiring the base here, probably in the next episode, I'm just gonna daisy chain them all the way around. There they go, they're all set up. They just need to be oriented down. All right, they're all pointing more or less down the way that, that I want them, but 
the sun is rising and we're not going to be able to get a good look at it until the next episode. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Just kidding, guys. We got the power of editing on our side. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And we're off to a hot start this morning here outside Chuck and Messiah. Uh-oh. Yep, this is already really bad. Of course, oh my god, look at all the zombies. This isn't even a horde, this is just the regular zombies. Okay, just uh, go inside, close the door. I didn't bring any bombs with me. That was probably a mistake. I don't even think I spent my skill points yet this morning. Also a mistake. Oh boy, let's just get into that right now. I got about halfway and then got distracted with something. Just give me all the points right now. Go, 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 go. And that should do it. Oh, and they just broke in. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think there's zombies in here too, aren't there? Uh, they're somewhere. Let me back outside. Oh, man. Mountain lion here, mountain lion there. Uh, can I get on top of that little rooftop there? Yes. Oh, good. I got the parkour skills back. All right, just going to take a moment to recuperate and get my weapons loaded and actually we'll go and spend the memory points as well i think all i really want today is pain tolerance just get as many points into that as i possibly can and then uh we'll take one into oh geez i don't know healing factor i guess i got plenty of food with me today whoa they're blowing up cars down here doing me all kinds of favors look at that whoa <laughs> the cat is like out of here now I'd say that could have been worse. Right, well, let's get into it then. Probably should have brought some just regular bandages, but we can use the meat stew for first aid if we need to. And then hopefully we'll come across a bunch in here as well. Man, it's been a long time since I've been in here. Hello there. Gonna be nice to run through here again and see what's going on. Ooh, got some stuff to buy in there. If my knife skills are holding up, yeah, not doing too bad. But today's not going to be a day for looting every little thing. Mostly just looking for, like, upgrades to weapons and armor. Ooh, nice. Slap those on immediately. See what else we can get here. Okay, out into the courtyard and in through the window. Got to remember the sort of sequence of things here. This is one of these awesome... These are my favorite types of POIs. The dungeon style where... It's like, it's like an open building. You could go any way that you want to, but um, if you just go like the way they want you to go, it's a lot funner. Yep, I don't like all these ferals running after me particularly. That's better. Check out this Magnum, man. This looks sick. And this is without the DLX fix. You can tell by when you look through the scope. He's uh, The DLX weapons fix is only good for a handful of weapons. I do you know, hope that that gets kind of finished off here at some point. Not sure if the creator has given up because I haven't really seen an update recently, but you know, I don't really follow it that closely either. Whoa, hello. All right, see if we can get some better tools today. Did I bring? No, I thought I had a, a looting candy with me, but I don't. Agility day was just the perfect day to select this POI here. We might have to come back on intellect day though. We have to do the trader. Whoa, hello. Might have to do the, we have to do the trader runs tomorrow anyway, so yeah, might have to come back here to finish things off, and I'm really not looking too good already. I'm <laughs> taking a lot of hits here. Yeah, we don't need to spend all of our time digging up cobblestone and stuff like that. We have more cobblestone than we'll ever need. Holy cow, look at the zombies just loafing around outside. Okay, here we go. Whoops. <laughs> Jeez, I'm so good at agility, aren't I? This is what I was trying to do here. We've got like super sneaky stealthy skills, so, and there, missed my first shot. Oh, out of stamina. 
Maybe that arrow. Ooh, I really embedded that arrow in there, didn't I? So wait a minute. If I wrench these, what are these giving me? Electrical parts. Quite a lot of them, in fact. Wow, that's, that's not too bad. I can make the impact driver, but I think I have to wait until I can, like, max out salvage operations so that I can craft a really good one. Oops, spider. Hello. Get the big guns out for these guys. And then proceed to miss at least half my shots. Is this... Where is this going? Into the elevator shaft area? Oh, I remember this. There's, like, um... Uh, I don't know, a, like a furnace over here or something? What's over here on the, on the left? Um, I don't know what you would call this, but I think there's loot in here. Oh, yes. Hey, that's a really nice compound bow. Probably far better than the wooden bow I have. Are you <laughs> you're kidding me? The friggin' t Quality 6 wooden bow is actually better. That's incredible. And this is like, this is comparing the, um, not including the modded values too. So, yeah, I guess we'll be sticking with the wooden bow then. Which is nice, I prefer that more over the compound bow anyway, just in terms of like, look and feel and, um, aesthetics, I guess. Holy crap, I just one-shotted four zombies, five zombies in a row. Morty there taking two. Another one, wow. Get wrecked. Oh, speaking of those motor tool parts I just found, we need to also get the auger crafted next time around on Strength Day. Lots to do, lots to remember. It's kind of difficult, I have to write stuff down. Kind of fits my uh, my memory problem thing anyway. Oh geez, like more, just tons of zombies out there. Oh, I'm getting those weird black boxes. That kind of happens, I don't know if that's an occlusion thing or what it is. Here we go. Oh, not getting the one shots now, am I? That will do. Boom, where'd you come from? Go, oh, geez, heading up to the rooftop, I guess, or maybe they're all gonna head down here. Oh, bird came through the glass. Holy goodness, okay. I think they were, weren't these guys supposed to ambush me? Any more of you just hiding in here somewhere? There's a bird. Ah, the businessman area. Whoop, bird. <laughs> ah! Oh man, I'm getting crazy now. Hello, hello. Get out of here. Off the building with you. <laughs> man, <laughs> there's gonna be so many zombies downstairs. Whoa! Oh, damn it. Time for a first aid kit, I think. Yep, for sure. Here we go. They're running to the front door. Oh, hello, goodbye. I'm sure they'll find me eventually. There'll be a big freaking wave when I turn around a corner. Ah! Yeah, I can hear. This is is this an ambush? What is this? Hello? Close that. Oh, spider. Into the elevator shaft. Nothing going on here. Is there? Or is there? Nothing going on here. Okay. I don't know where the zombies are. Are they in the stairwell? I have no idea. Moving right along then. Close the door behind me. Oh, geez. Okay, we can get the drop on some zombies here. I get the sense that I could just basically sneak past every zombie here and probably like do this whole place without killing only a handful of zombies. Oh, right in the toe. <laughs> oh, and off with your leg too. There's a bandage for me for a little bit later. Aha, yes, this is where all the uh, the burned zombies are, right? Open this door. Can I maybe? Oh, ooh, that one's a feral. Oh, thank you. Got, ooh, several of them. <laughs> oh, right in the, well, whoops. Oh man, yep, yeah, starting to wake up now. Come on over here. Oh, the burnt zombies are so soft. No challenge at all. Maybe they should be able to, like, set you on fire when they hit you. Whoop! Okay, first aid ward. We kind of probably should stock up on some of that stuff. Speaking of that, I crafted a chemistry station this morning. Just a gold nugget sitting in there. Great. Yeah, I crafted up a chemistry station. I looked, we have eight wheels. There's a bar brawling book there. Um, whoa, 5% more damage with each kill up to 15%. I'll take that for sure. That is it's kind of one of the critical components there for the invincible brawler build. Whoops. Yep, so we got eight wheels, which means tomorrow, and I'm crafting a bunch of steel. So tomorrow we should be able to get uh, a gyrocopter, maybe crafted, maybe that, or maybe we'll do a four by four. Probably not both. I don't think we'd have enough steel, but gyro definitely top on my list. Okay, 
way out and over and onto the balcony with the birds. Go around here. These, I think some zombies are trying to beat their way through. Oh, ow, getting flanked by a feral. A couple of them, yikes. Ah, not the gun I need. Oh no, no, no. That's bad. Whoa, almost died. Get a first aid kit into me. Oh, I accidentally pulled out the bow. That almost cost me my life too. And all of my gear for that matter. Oh, I'm fatigued as well. That's not good. And infected. Nothing I can do about either of those things. Whoa, we can just hope for the best here. Ah! Oh, you early, you bitch. Doesn't the last shot in the chamber do double damage? Did I ever get that book? I don't know. Oh, the Magnum. It's fun to use, it's just not exactly the most practical weapon. Gotta, like, channel my inner Rick Grimes. Oh, there we go. Got a whole bunch of zombies coming over here. Okay, jump over everybody. Ooh, got a rad there. Yikes. That's exciting. Wonder what we have to look forward to at the boss fight up on the helipad later. Okay, I can't be doing that all day though because I'm gonna run out of ammo. I've only been finding like 762. Trying to use the Magnum more. Okay, what time we got? We got 1541. I'd say we're halfway through. We're making pretty good time here. It's not like, you know, we can go into the night. That's no big deal. Who's awake? People in there? People up there? I don't know where everyone is. Definitely a lot of people downstairs on the ground level. That's gonna be fun trying to get out of here later. Right, oh, here they are. Ah! Oh, the bird, ah! Oh no, oh my god! It seems like if you're using the knife, you know, it's it hasn't been too bad in terms of stamina use. Check that bag, grab that. Oh, get out of here, that was some more magnum ammo. Yeah, because um, I think Flurry of Blows, it grants you a bunch of stamina on kill strokes, so you're able to kind of keep up with things. Hey, skill point. Oh dear, let's go um, healing factor again. Um, I'm just peeking in there. By the way, I think I missed a uh, secret stash earlier, but you know, I'm kind of okay with that. Can I just beat through here to see what's behind this? Secret stuff? What's back here? Oh, ooh, some like gear shafts. Ooh, is that another, is that a hidden stash over there? Oh, I bet it is. Give me that. Yeah, isn't there one in the water? I'll jump down there later if I remember and try to get that. Yeah, it's it's down there. You jump in the pool, you go underwater. I'll probably forget to do it though. Is this something secret? It is, oh, more secret stuff. I don't know about if I've ever been through this section here. Oh, I see, you're supposed to go around like that. Huh, interesting. Well, moving right along then. <laughs> Parkour just opening up all kinds of new possibilities for me. Hello? Where's all the workers in here? Oh, a bunch more. Come on over here. Okay, got uh, where did all you guys come from? Wasn't I just over there? Okay, and then we got a bunch that are coming in behind that door there. Well, I don't know, I can't just leave you guys back here. Okay, let's go. Oh, they're coming in through the stairwell. Great. Whoa, where, where are you guys? Holy crap, is that a rat? Why are you here? Oh, you're the rat from earlier that I saw and I never ended up killing. You must have fallen down. Holy goodness, lots of zombies back there. Also dying. All right, Rad's down, primary threat. Put the friggin' cylinder back in the gun there, there you go. Oh, jeez, that, that freaked me out there a little bit. A random gun safe here with just some parts in it, really. More zombies, great, ah, ow. Okay, just bring them over here into this mess. <laughs> I'd say it's working pretty well. They're all caught up on it. Looks like a World War One scene. All quiet on the Western Front. Oh, jeez. 
I don't know where I was supposed to be going. I was just kind of exploring and found a lot of zombies here. Maybe just be very quiet. <laughs> He'll stay asleep. Okay, because the stairwell back there was open, but I'm not sure if that would have just led to a d dead end. So I think I'll just continue this way. Man, the detail in this place is just insane. And then in Alpha 21, when they get the environmental hazard system set up, I bet it'll be even better because you'll have some like uh, fire obstacles and things like that. Ooh, right up the butt. Oh, another one. Ah, I remember this place. There's a bunch of zombies over on this side. Bah! Oh, no! Oh, jeez. Of course, when you need it, it takes four freaking headshots to kill them. And I woke everybody up, including a rat over there. Whoop, that guy just teleported away somewhere. Oh! Getting close to death here. Is that our teleportee? He teleported back? Right, just sorting out the first aid and hunger situation. Okay, this is the side where all of our sleepy friends were. They're very sleepy now, kind of like a permanent slumber. We're getting close, we're almost there, aren't we? Yeah, because we just came back here, which is where we were a second ago when we were fighting. Oh, and then we go outside, right, into the office, and any... Oop, 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 oop. Close that. Any good drinks? <laughs> Piss all. Nope. Oh, some beer. That's not too bad, but we don't need that today. Or or do we? Like, what happens? What, what is this again? Just basically stamina regen and stun resist for 45 seconds. Yeah, we'll take it. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely, I definitely, definitely took a wrong turn somewhere because it just looped us right back to where we just were. That's the problem with the zombies kind of breaking in everywhere is that uh, they've opened up all the doors that would have been locked and would have directed me on the right way because then we would have come out here. We just did this place backwards, didn't we? I don't know. I'm so freaking confused right now. Yeah, because we would have come through here. That door would have been locked and we would have gone up the stairs that I was talking about earlier. Here we go. Oh, yes. We're onto the freaking helipad. Okay. For this... Um, okay, it's almost nightfall. We got to hurry up here. We've got a... Um, skull Crusher, which a lot of people think that that only works with like sledgehammers or clubs or whatever, but it works for all melee weapons. And that's just about the best we can do there, I think. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take a meat stew. That'll kind of like give us some more health to roll in. And um, coffee. And oh man, this is about to break, which is just not good at all. Oh crap. Reload this then and let's do this. Okay, what do we got here? I think I got a full auto mod on this. I know I do. Oh, red. Oh, jeez. And another burnt, uh, burning burnt zombie. Ah. Oh, there's just no place to hide here. No place to hide. We've got to roll back to. Ooh, this is not a good place to hide either. To here? Oh, jeez. Wish I had some bombs. I don't know. All right. Show me what you got. You got more than I do. Oh, jeez. Reload faster. Oh, come on, Morty. Holy shit. And is that it? Just about. Ooh. Ow. Oh, finally got a deep laceration. I'm freaking bleeding. I got nothing to do. Uh, we're, we're bleeding, but we in fact have more health rolling in faster. So it's not even a big deal. I just let it clot all by itself. Would be a good idea if I had some bandages that I could do up real fast. Uh, don't I have some like gothic pants and... That's leather. I don't want that. College jacket. I should be able to make a bandage with that. Two of them. So if I start bleeding again, I'll just use that instead of the first aid kit. All right. What's next here? Down, over, around. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, jump down there and get the freaking bird nest. Real smart move. What is this here, anyway? They expect me to jump up there without parkour skills. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh. Man, this is just all, there's like a lot left, it seems like. We've got to go through all of this stuff. Well, that's good. We've got a strong door here we can fall back to if we need to. A couple of them, it seems. Okay, and then another one over here. Another one here. Holy cow. Okay, this just is all connected, isn't it? No reason to go down. Oh, that's our main loot up there. Oh, do I really want to go down here? Do I have to? There's so many zombies down there. Wah! Close that freaking door. Ow. Oh, no stamina. Okay, we're good. Please give me a repair kit. Crap. Um, if I could find some forged iron, I could make one because I have one duct tape up and out. Nope, no forged iron in here. Wait a minute. These give you forged steel, maybe. Uh, no, I guess you can't wrench those. I'm totally lost again. Where am I supposed to go? 
Where are you supposed to go down this way and then out over here? And we're doing things backwards again or what? Oh man, I don't know at this point. I feel like I've done half of this place backwards. It's kind of embarrassing. Well, at this stage, I'm just gonna use parkour to get to the top and probably call it good. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh no, that was a rad that I just woke up there. Yep, okay. We're just going up here and just wake everybody up. What the hell? Get that last first aid kit into me. Where is everybody? Birds. That's not what I want to fight right now. Ah! Oh no. Um, nope, nothing's broken, but I'm moving really slow. Uh, oh jeez. Just keep running. Um, okay, up here and over here. Just gotta deal with this bird. Are you kidding me, you teleporting son of a bitch? Hurting real bad. Nothing I can really do about that. Eat meat stew, I guess. Doesn't seem like there were many zombies down there. At least I didn't maybe wake them all up. All right, control tower is secure. At least one more zombie down around here somewhere. Oh, is this what I was supposed to do? What the hell? Am I supposed to... Oh, son of a bitch. I was supposed to come in through this way, wasn't I? <laughs> and then go right up the stairs and then right out to the, the end right here. Well, it's over with anyway. We've got to go into this tower here, I think, because there are like shotgun messiah boxes in there. And we can grab up the main loot here, but the inventory is a little messed up, so I'll have to work on that as well. Hey, there's my vitamin. Oh, nice lever action rifle. Ooh, a good stun baton. Wow, getting exactly what I was looking for here. Lots of upgrades of weapons and a bunch of parts to boot. First try. Okay, nothing great there, honestly. What is this? Security camera bundle, whoopee. All right, I gotta sort through all this stuff now. Oh, yep, more shotgun messiah boxes in here and there's, are there more down there? Or no, I already got the ones that are down there. Or up here, maybe? Um, oh, hello, ow. Weapons bag, that's it. We can scrap that, take the spear parts, and, oh. Is that Rad still there? Did I not kill him? <laughs> and he like, he teleported back into his sleeping position. And I can easily just jump right straight down here. No problem at all. Wake him up. Can't have you sleeping on the job here. Come on. Whoa. Damn, they're strong. Right, and from here I promised I would try to remember to go down and get the... Hidden stash that's down there, so down we go. That did hurt quite a lot, actually. Yes. Am I in the right spot now? Okay, I see a secret passageway here. And uh, up here, zombies kind of everywhere. Ah, they're behind me. Oh boy, yes, this is tight quarters around here. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is, nice. Oh, motorcycle handlebar schematic, stupid. Okay, is there like an easy way to get out of here? It looks like there might be over here. Oh, yes, just gotta break through this and jump. Ah, oh no. Oh, they tried to pin me in from the top. Oh, it's not good. I really don't have any stamina. Just hold the ground. Ah, oh, oh my God. Why, why are there so many? Oh my god, there's just so many zombies. I think they're all just ones that wandered in from outside. Oh boy. They move fast too. Even the fat ones. Oh, they hit really hard. Goodbye. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna run out of ammo here in a minute. Grab this loot. Of course, nothing really that I need in there. Get rid of that stupid blood bag. 
I don't need to make first aid kits. Yeah, and how, how am I gonna get out of here now? This will do right here. Just run around the building. Cat! Oh, no, 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 no. Just skirt the edge of the building. Yep, he's not gonna notice me. Oh, man, I'm so done with this place. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'll meet you back at the base. All right, so we're back at the base here. I have everything put away. We didn't really get anything special there, but we need to start working on all of these debuffs. Let's take an antibiotic after that, and the abrasion will heal by itself. And yes, 25%, that'll be plenty to get rid of that infection. Um, yeah, we're still on agility day, but I have the intellect weapons kind of ready. And before we left yesterday, I think I crafted a repulsor mod so we can start benefiting from that on the stun baton. And I'll get a couple extra mods for it as well. Achoo! Wish I had a couple more rad removers, honestly. Can I make those? No. So, <laughs> wood splitter it is. And it's officially morning. One last thing to do, though, before we take the forgetting elixir, and that is... Oh, yes, my knife. I would like to make a better knife if I could. Ah, oh, I can't. I don't have the thing unlocked. So that, that'll that just have to do, I guess. So yeah, machete. Machete goes there. Machete stays on the inventory here just for our animal harvesting on the off chance that we have to do that, which honestly, we we really don't have to do that anymore. That's fine. Start, start kind of like simplifying things on the tool belt. I'm also making a big box of AP turret ammunition, and I think it's finally time we can uh, put this down, although... I made a mistake earlier, and I, I didn't do things quite right, unfortunately. So maybe where we don't need it just yet, we'll just start making some preparations. We're gonna have to rip this out, which basically will just consist of not putting any more stone into it for cement, and making sure that we craft all of the cement out. So put a pin in that one. I'm also getting like a lot of kind of lag here at the base now. And so I tried to turn some of the lights off because I think I might've overdone it with all the lights. But what we really need to do is get all of these lights here on like a timer or even just a switch so we can kind of just like turn them off when we don't want them. Oh, oh, I'm shooting myself with darts. Yikes. Yeah, I'll just let the, let the dart trap do it. It's doing fine. Yep, so that's the to-do list. Rewire the base and visit the traders. Oh, also, we're gonna see if we can craft some vehicles. So grab up the forged steel and things like a gyrocopter chassis. What's, uh, oh, <laughs> of course we can't do that. We haven't taken the forget elixir yet. Take that. And of course we should be able to go full into intellect, no problem. And a bunch of memory points, which I really want to put into flurry of blows and probably parkour. That will do it. Oh, would you please just kill these zombies? What the hell, man? Die! Finally getting XP for those kills now that I have advanced engineering. That feels good. Right, so gyrocopter chassis. Short on tape. You can make plenty of tape. So get started on the accessories. Grab up the 165 glue here and start making tape. We're going to need an... an yeah, just turn that off for now. I think we'll be okay. Just make sure this is sealed up. Yeah, seal that up. Okay, so we, now we can get the gyrocopter chassis, no problem. And then after that, we should be good there. I used a lot of steel though. So while we're working on that, let's head over to the traders and do a big sell off. Is there anything here that I really, really need to repair up? I mean, I don't really think that there is. I'm fine with that stuff. We, we're, we're not at a point where we really need to buy anything anyway. One thing that sometimes people don't quite uh, grasp in the comment section is that uh, I'm on a bit of a timer here. Like if I was gonna sit here and repair every little thing and I was gonna get all the materials ready for it and make a whole bunch more repair kits because I only have one right now, uh, that could take like well into like noontime one o'clock and I wouldn't see very much benefit from doing that So we're skipping it. Whoop! the problem with having the power off is the doors don't work <laughs> scratch that idea Yeah, we just need to get all of the lights on a timer relay so that they'll shut off when it's daytime All right, here we are at Trader Bob's we'll take the sugar butt and do the big sell-off Okay, we made a good amount of money there. It just occurred to me, and I think someone was commenting about this a couple of episodes ago. I should be having the Magnum out, because didn't I read that book? No, no, I don't even have that book, so eat that. <laughs> no, you can you can remind me about that stuff all you want to, but I'll still forget to do it. Oh, yes. Pipe bombs? We want pipe bombs? We want pipe bombs. Of course we do. We want grenades? Hell yes. Oh, bellows. Like, yeah, we definitely need that for the, the other forge. We have two forges and only one really has anything in it. Oh, I was just looking at the steel crossbow bolts. I forgot to make the damn compound crossbow again yesterday. Damn it. We do have a sniper book here. Also have a an awesome sauce recipe. Might as well get that, although... 
we haven't we don't have the super corn yet anyway and i honestly don't know if we're gonna get there so we're gonna do the secret stash trick again i know i said i would never do it again but <laughs> this is like the regular secret stash trick not like the the forgetting elixir super duper secret stash trick advanced level you know so what we do is we have uh we have 10 points right now because one is that the green one there the 10th point is coming from the, the nerdy glasses and so if i take those off just put them in the inventory that bumps my intellect down one and it disables the better barter level five and so it bumps us down to level four so we get an entirely new secret stash um to inventory to go through this is the secret stash trick you can do it at any if level so if you have an intellect point and you take off your glasses your nerdy glasses and you bump yourself from five to four four to three three to two whatever uh any one of those will unlock an entirely new secret stash uh inventory for you to go through and look at that we got an extra book out of it too nice that would definitely be it though nothing else here really exciting at all fair enough i don't even think it's worth it to go to the other traders today i think we might as well basically just head home and get to work on the base a little bit there's a couple paint touch-ups that we have to do anyway so get my right glasses back on read these couple of books what was this for anyway automatic weapons do 10 percent more damage it's freaking the best book in the game and uh t weapons do 10 percent more damage when using the scope i like that as well all right let's go so one thing that i wanted to talk about briefly here on the way back home is that whoa we're getting some major lag here must be all the trees in the area maybe uh is that you might have noticed the last uh i don't know week or two i've only been releasing two episodes per week on borderline and that's going to continue until the end of the series and that's because it is currently november we're heading into december and I'm just going to be perfectly honest with you, you know, when YouTubers head into the November, December timeframe, it's time to make money, right? Because advertising budgets are about to run out for the fiscal year for a lot of companies. And so they're pumping a lot of money into YouTube. And that means that YouTubers make bank in the, at the end of the year. And so my strategy to capitalize on that, because this is my business, it's my primary means of income, and it's my full-time job right now, is going to be to release a lot of videos that I think will probably get more views than a typical borderline video. So things like uh, I did like the top 20 mods, we're going to be doing more videos kind of in that vein in the future. I'm going to release probably pretty soon, maybe even shortly after this video, I'm going to be working on like a top 10 survival games coming to 2023. So uh, you can expect some different content. You can expect the series to slow down just a little bit here, but um, we're, we're definitely uh, going to finish this before the end of the year. That's the goal. I want to finish this by December, I would say. I think it's going to be mid-December. I'd have to look at my schedule. I have uh, I have the whole like release schedule done up for the rest of the year. Oh, Repulsor mod. Nice. But yeah, so uh, anyway, I was kind of being a little bit tangential there but um so we're going to do two episodes a week i can't i can't really commit to whether that's going to be tuesday thursday or tuesday saturday but um either way you'll get two episodes of borderline until the series completes which will be day 56 i think i don't know we're gonna do two weeks in the wasteland and then we'll have the finale after that and hopefully by then alpha 21 will be out or at least we'll be closer to it so that i can maybe do do some like like a little mini bridge series in order to get us to the conclusion of Alpha 20. All right, so we should be ready to make the gyrocopter. Get that done. Got myself an electric timer relay. And really, there's no way for me to make this entertaining. So I'm just going to sit here for the next uh, several hours and get everything hooked back up the way I would like to have it. All right, so I've got everything rearranged here. I've redone the wiring system, but honestly, I was expecting better. It really, it just looks like trash up here now <laughs> instead of looking like trash downstairs. Oh, boy. I'm just so bad at this. Someone had suggested that, I think it was Mikey, uh, had suggested that next time we build a base, we should make like a two block high area between levels that we can kind of like a crawl space, basically, that we can put all the wires in. And I think that's probably a good idea. I'll have to incorporate that into the next big base design. Um, the lights are on a timer, and I don't think that they're on right now. I don't even think I set the timer. So I'm going to jump up here and see what I can get for this. Okay, we'll say start time... 2100 end time four just like that and hopefully they will come on and everything else should be working should be powered it's just when you have a lot of spotlights and you have this reflective type of paint it becomes very difficult for the game to kind of handle all of the reflections and stuff like that so that's why i think i'm having some lag difficulty here at the base now anyway let's grab the leftover steel and make sure that we have the well the, the fighting position for sure yes definitely want to get this upgraded fully 
And oh, that was 49 right off the top right there. Yikes. Well, keep going. Get these just done once and for all. And just, yes, make sure these are all repaired after that. And otherwise, I think we're good for repairs out here. Looks pretty good to me. I'm sure we're going to lose a lot of this cobblestone if there's ever a demo blast out here. But the goal is just has to be <laughs> no more demos. No, no demo blasts, please. Oh, the bedroll. Of course, this is going to be a problem here we'll just sleep right there how's that <laughs> that's awful we can't do that we got to build ourselves a little bunk bed oh geez but the question is where where do i want to sleep not only where do you want to sleep but also you need a i think a three block height above where you sleep yeah because i look I, if i put a block there oh no it's just uh just two blocks i think so i could put a bunk bed here, we could just knock this sign out. I'd rather sleep above the um, cement mixers than I would the forges. And um, I like using these supported scaffolding planks for like a little bunk bed. And of course, you need, need a little ladder to get up there, right? And uh, we'll change the color of the bedroll to red. Although, probably black's better. Army green, gray. Uh, is there black? There's no black? I guess we'll take gray then. And jump up here. And yes, oh, it fits good try to keep the theme here but we want something like comfortable to lay on right like how about this awning color does that look any good doesn't look bad i guess yep i'll take that let's just be a, a little sleepy bunk bed up here <laughs> i like it sounds like we had a cop out there we also got an airdrop but might as well wait till tomorrow it's right there so we can get uh, we can pick that up and there's more, like, way out here that I haven't picked up. So tomorrow on Perception Day, we'll have to make it a point to scoop up all three of these airdrops while we have Lucky Looter. Right, and that leaves us with just a couple of hours left in the day. Not quite sure what we should do with that. And have a little bit of fun with the stun baton. Oh, you know what might be killing the frame rate is these stupid torches. We'll scoop these up. Yeah, now it's very, very dark in here. But we're not really out here much anyway, so I think it's okay. We've got the gyrocopter. Oh, I got these lanterns here because I want to put them in the garage so we have some sort of permanent lighting down there. I figured just the lanterns would be easier than trying to string down some timer relays and all that stuff. So we'll just on face them. I'll try to center them a little bit here. How about like that? That looks pretty good. So let's head out here and we put the gyrocopter down. Of course, don't have any gas right now. Gas and how about an extra fuel saver? Short on acid. That's that's a bummer, but we can get the reserve fuel tank at least. Funny we haven't seen a horde unless there was one at the shotgun. Mess. Whoa! Anyway, shouldn't jinx it like that. Refuel, and we'll take her for a little bit of a test drive here. Gotta get my uh, gyrocopter legs, if you will. And here's where the big question is. What what are we gonna do for a landing pad? I mean, we seriously, we could just like land it <laughs> right here and like just kind of scoot it right inside the base, just like this. Give or take, right? Just make sure the other vehicles are pushed off to the side. I'll grab that black die off that stupid mini bike that's been on there this entire damn playthrough. Throw it on the gyrocopter instead looks much better on that. I just like whip onto the bike, it kind of like flips it over so they're kind of leaning against the wall. Funny you don't get a kickstand with them, but anyway. I think this will do for now, and just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see us build like a big gyrocopter landing pad somewhere. Um, theoretically, we could put one right here and just make like a little catwalk bridge over to that portion of the base there, but honestly, if you're going to do that, is that really saving us a lot of time? But anyway, let me know what you'd like to see. I think for the rest of the night, I'd like to, well, come on this side because there's a little bit better lighting, and I'll show you what I might have in mind for like, um, a window frame for these windows here. Okay, so I... There, isn't there probably a couple of ways to do this here? Right, because you want these like whole corners, not that one, that's centered, that one. Because we could make some pretty nice looking window frames like this here. What's that look like from out here? Um, not bad. It's like, it's less flat, so I do like that. And if we paint it red, it'll contrast well and I think it'll look good. And then I have plenty of room over here for some spikes. Question is, do we want like the bulky spikes or the little spikes? Okay, that's that's bulky, and those are the the smaller spikes there. Mm, whoa. 
I don't know. I would say that I, I quite prefer the smaller spikes, but there's another option. I was playing on the multiplayer server there a couple of days ago. I think it was actually, it was last night. And on the multiplayer ser server, someone was experimenting with some really cool designs that I kind of want to actually want to compare them and see what they would look like here. Uh, it was in the destruction blocks and it was this one right here. This makes like a really interesting order, especially because there's a, like a unique way that you can kind of like put the paint behind it to give it some like dimension. Oh, and you can also like flip it around like that. That kind of like breaks it up. Oh, is that? No, that, I think that's the same. No, it's not the same. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Uh, what was that going to look like there? Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't go well with like the ramps that we put here for these columns. Where, where, where could I put those where they would look good? Anywhere? Nah, I'm probably screwed. I'm probably gonna have to like think of a way I can incorporate this sort of a design into a future base and we'll just kind of stick with the spiky base for now. All right, so that's what it's gonna look like right there. I think it's looking good. I'm just gonna repeat that uh, on like five more windows. But that is definitely a task that I can complete overnight. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Gun, Nerds, and Steel. And so when we left off last time, I was working on these borders, so let's get a good look and see what they look like. Looking good on this side. I also put that red frame around, like, the um, balcony area right there. Let's see what it looks like over here on this side. Oop, bubbles over there. We'll kill him in just a second. Yeah, looking pretty good over here. I like the contrasting colors. I think, I feel like it could have been better. I wish I had put some sort of a black, like, um you know, backdrop to, is this like a horde or what? There we go. Yeah, I was trying to say, I, I wish I'd put some sort of a backdrop. There's actually a really cool way that I, I have made signs in the past um, where you kind of leave the block behind it open and you put like lanterns in it so you have a nice backlight. Let's get back inside, get the forgetting elixir into us. It'll be perception day today and strength day tomorrow. After this episode, I'll probably crank up the XP to 300% and we'll just like crank through as much XP as we possibly can, try to like max out the character. And that way our final horde will be the worst one ever. Okay, so let me just uh, get everything. I mean, we've done this, what, 41 times now. So let me just spend the skill points and uh, I'll meet back up with you when I have the kit all set and we'll decide on what to do for today. Probably some looting because we'll have maxed out Lucky Looter and we got the gyrocopter. So probably head into town and um, see what we can find. So I'll probably just meet you over there. All right, coming in for a smooth landing here at Trader Hughes. I figured we stop by real quick, check the vending machine and see if there's anything here that we need to buy. I did spend my memory points today into, I think it was better barter for two points and physician for one point. Anything good here? We got a skull crusher, that's it. Check Hughes inventory and just, uh, you know, see if he has any parts and things like that. Yeah, not too much, he had some shotgun parts there. All right, so what I'd really like to do today is, whoa, get up in the air a little bit and, uh, See what we've got for, we've got the gyrocopter so we can just land on the rooftop of many buildings and just um, take the main loot that way. It's one of the big advantages of having the gyrocopter. I don't feel like that's cheating. That's like airborne assault right there. So I, we've got the Deshong, we've got the town hall over there. That's an easy one to land on top of. We have the Shamway factory there. That is definitely like target number one right now. And <laughs> I don't know if we can land on top of the, um, They've changed the top of the Deshong Tower, and I, I don't think I've really been there since that happened, so we'll have to go check that out. In terms of downtown, we might have to do a fly over there and see if there's anything there. All right, let's do this. All right, I should be able to land right on this, like, slanted part of the roof here. Oh, no, 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 not, not going good, not going good. Oh, nope, I think we're good. Just drop it here, hop back in, hold the space bar, which will activate the emergency brake. Just hold that for a second or two and that way it won't slide off. The space bar emergency brake trick is like uh, super Velcro, basically. You can stick yourself to an almost vertical surface. So here's where we wanna go. I think, I think the zombies could get up to me if I'm up here. So I'll just take that out real quick. And this of course is a um, false floor, so don't fall through that. Just in fact gonna go whoop, just like that. 
<laughs> Whoops. Hey, there's very sleepy zombies here, aren't they? Right. So, oh, there's got a rad over there. And otherwise, it's a pretty tame sort of um, retinue of zombies, I guess you could say. But we've got demolitions experts. So, we're just going to leave a present there for them. And leave a present there for them. Maybe like two or three over there. And whoo, one more. And then we're gonna do one there and light another one real quick for one there. Ha <laughs> ha yes! And then just pick the rest of them off with my rifle skills. Ooh, in fact, if you're gonna cluster up like that, have another one. And then we assault, ooh, 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 fire. Ah, I'm on fire. I have nothing to put it out with. We're gonna have to just burn. Ow, ow. Oh geez, check this loot bag over here. There might be a, like a, a drink in here. No, damn it. Here, just take that stuff. Oh my God, I'm gonna die here. First aid kit. Holy cow, man. Probably a bunch of drinks right in these shamway crates. I think I saw a couple of zombies like dive off the edge, which is really kind of fun to see. Anyway, oh, yep, there's a beer right there. Could have put ourselves out with that. Okay, we're all set. Just gotta do this. I think probably I have maxed out demolitions experts. So let's just try two and see if that does the trick here. Oh, that, that was perfect, actually. You, you can see both charges do the damage there. Yeah, you probably don't want to overdo it. You could probably uh, blow the chest up. And we've got a blade trap bundle and otherwise batter up book here. Power attacks to the legs will slow the enemies. Nice. And that was it for the batter up series. Let's see what we get for that. Hard to remember all these perks. Power attacks that kill your enemy refill your stamina meter. <laughs> that is just so OP. I guess we're doing clubs tomorrow. And I just watched a video by Genosis. And if I remember, I'll see if I can remember to put a link to that in the description for you to check out. It's like a four minute video or something, six minutes maybe. And it goes over every single hidden stash that's in the game including, I think there are five here in this Shamway factory. Now, I don't remember where all of them are. I know that there's one in that tower right there, and there's another one kind of further on. So I'll try to get a couple of them. This is just like a hidden little weapons bag down here. But yeah, it's a, it's a, those types of videos, like even though it's five minutes, it, the extent of information that's covered in it takes so long to make. In fact, oh, got a couple more zombies over there. I just made a video that was like the top 10 survival games coming to 2023, which came out two days ago for you guys, and it'll be coming out tomorrow for me. So um, I'm not sure how popular that video is going to be, but it took a lot. And I mean a lot. Three days of consecutive like 10, 12 hour days working on that video for research and dialogue, script writing, all that stuff. I don't know why I'm killing all these zombies, and I don't even know why I'm trying to open up all these Shamway boxes. Because I'm hungry, I guess that's why. <laughs> Perfect timing. But yeah, mad props to Genosis for making that because I know that that was a high effort video. So you all should definitely check it out. I mean, I could be like air assaulting a tier five POI right now and I'm sitting here picking chili and murky fucking water out of these boxes. What the hell? <laughs> Cornmeal to boot. Okay, yes, moving right along. We've got to go find... Uh... Oh, hello, zombie. Whoa! Get back! Okay, I got a nerd pole here just a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of nerd pulling here and there. Never hurt anybody. Because we got to go up here, I think. And the... Is it uh, over... Yes, there it is right there. Hidden stash number one. I don't know where the... Um, where all of them are, but I know where this one is. Okay, there we go. Okay, now it's getting real bad, though. Okay, and the other one is... Um, I don't know how to get there from here, but it's like way over here. Up here, through the door. Oh, it's it's down in that building there. That's that's kind of far and hard to get to, isn't it? Is it not too bad? I guess I can zip right over there. Shouldn't be too bad. I think it's just in here, isn't it? Oh, that's bulletproof. Um, bird. Whoa, more birds. Ooh, ow. <laughs> you bastard. Get back. Okay, bulletproof on this side too. I don't remember how to get... Oh, from the rooftop. Okay, can I can I make it from this way here? Oop. Nope. Ah! Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes. Okay, <laughs> I've ventured too far. Let's get out of here. Oh, no, no, no. I'm waking all kinds of zombies up now. This is not what I wanted. Close that door. Yes, I want to be in this room 
Kind of, not really. Oh, I want to be up there. How do I get back up there? Up the tower, maybe? Is this a vi- Um, is this Ooh, this is weird. But yeah, oh no, no, that's way too many hit points. Yeah, I had to sin just a little bit to get back up here. Whoa, hello there. Okay, can I just make this jump? There we go. Bring it on, buddy. Oh, lovely shot there. Hello. Right, I think we've wasted enough time here. Let's get out of here somehow. Was there a hidden stash in there? I feel like I have to find out. What was in here? Or is it, it's at the very, very bottom, isn't it? Oh, there's a bunch of loot down there. Oh, can I get down there from here? Oh, it's just a bunch of Shamway loot. I'm not even gonna open it. I'm literally just going to search this animal pile. <laughs> animal pile, ammo pile. I was thinking about that friggin' cougar that's out there. And uh, is this nothing down here? I think there, didn't there used to be a, yes, here it is. Yeah, I knew there was something sneaky down here. There we go. All right, if there's one of these in the wasteland biome, when we get to the wasteland land biome, I want to kind of focus on the tier fives a lot because I really haven't spent a whole lot of time doing that so far in Alpha 20. But yeah, we'll do this place for real and see if we can find all five of those hidden stashes. Okay, let's try. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 not that way. Go this way. There we go. Where are we off to next? Oh, by the way, I usually mention it every time I get the gyrocopter because a lot of people don't know it, but there is a glitch exploit in the game that I'm proud to use. And that is if you're in the gyrocopter and you hold the, you know, you hold w, w to go forward, you hold shift to get a little bit of a boost, right? We all know that. But if you hold the pitch down, which is C, and the pitch up, which is spacebar at the same time, so in other words, you're holding four buttons at once, you can hear the engine idle down and you stop consuming so much fuel. It's like a massive fuel saver. So when we fly home tonight, I'll sort of time lapse it if I can remember to, and uh, we'll see how much fuel we make the flying like two clicks across the map. Uh, in terms of right now though, okay, we've got this um, town hall here. I wanna see if I can land on the roof of this place. We can uh, gank the loot there, and then we'll probably do Deshong after that for the grand finale. Okay, nice and easy now. Nice and easy, yes. And then space bar, gloomy down. Um, that's not very glued. I, I've glued the one wheel. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, of course, it's going to fall off the edge, isn't it? No, 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 no. Okay, e-brake back on. And we're good. Going to have to sin a little bit more here to get up here. Unless I can, like, jump on top of the gyrocopter. Yup. Yep. Oops. Uh, sinning it is. Here, we'll do a combination. Gyrocopter to frame. And good. Okay, I got some pipe bombs for these guys, too. Uh, if there's a way for me to like squirrel one up there into the ceiling to get them, that would be great. Can I, do I have to like shoot a hole through the rooftop? Is there a window maybe that I could like lob one into? There are some windows. Um, where do you think this is gonna go? I think that went inside actually. Let's try another one, lit. No, nope, that one didn't quite do it, but it broke the glass. I don't, oh, they have all fallen down now, so I'm kind of wasting ammo, wasting my time. Ow! Oh, man, why am I so hurt? Did you hurt me like that? Oh, wow. Ooh, those pipe bombs definitely did go inside there. Are you dead? Everybody's dead. <laughs> and the roof is on fire. Oh, look, there is one dead up there. Nice, that worked. And quickly now, I think, what did we settle on? Two, two time charges for these? Oh, ow, ooh, fire. And uh, I felt I felt like that hurt. And this is still locked. Oh, it's still locked by a lot. That's gonna require like at least two more, if not three. Still locked. Okay, one more then. So five to get a little one and two to get a big one. Now we know. That's it. All right. So we're out of here now and off to the Dajong Tower. Right. So I don't know where the best place to land is. I just, I usually land on that one kind of on the, the back right corner there but it looks like there's some air ducts there. I'm gonna still try and plant it 
right there, I think. And uh, if we have to, we'll just like make a box, empty out the storage, you know, move it if we have to. Ooh, there's zombies here. Ow. Um, just uh, oh Jesus Christ. No, 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 birds. Not loaded. Ah. Oh no. Oh crap. Biker. Whoa. This is not going well already. Oh shit. Okay. Ah. Nope. 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 Just the birds. Just the birds. It's just the birds. Ah. Quickly now. Um. First aid bandage. I put all the first aid kits away. That's bad news. This place is traumatizing. Ow! Okay, yes. Um, we need to leave. Careful now, careful. We're gonna run out of stamina and die. Into the gyro, please! Can we just take off? Oh my god. Oh, this is bad. Really, really bad. Holy shit. Well, I've woken everybody up, and a lot of the zombies are, in fact, jumping off the building. Oh, the birds. Oh, no, no, no! Ah! I'm gonna run these fucking birds over. Come and get it! Oh, I've got a broken arm. Lovely. Can I just put it down now? Ooh! Okay, right here. Reload. Put some bullets into these friggin' zombies. Where's the other bird? I can hear it. Where are you? There he is. Okay, the last one is... Okay, before we get going here, let's go back to the gyrocopter and get the first aid kits back out. Jeez, man. Holy cow, that was brutal. First aid kit, and... I doubt that I have the material to make a splint, or have a splint. Of course not. We'll be okay. I think all of the zombies did wake up in here. Is there one in here? Where is this bird? I don't really know. Most of the zombies dove off the edge. You can see one of them right there. Yep, and the bird flew kind of in here somewhere. Ah! Ow. Oh, that did it. Sprained my leg now. Okay, there's a scenario here where this could get really bad really fast because if the zombies go too far away from where they spawn, they will then despawn and go back to their original spawn spot. So it could be that when we come back up here in a minute, We'll have to build a ladder to get out. In fact, I don't really have any frames. Oh, geez. This, this, this is bad. Okay, so drop down here. We've got bubbles. Of course, we all know that that could be really bad. There we go. I need wood. Wood to make frames so I can get out of here. Frame shapes. That's one more. Got some first aid here. There are zombies here. I'm not sure if they're on this floor or another floor. Okay, I'm feeling pretty confident now that we're going to be safe enough to loot here. Oh, nice magnum there. Nice. Oh, geez. Tell me there's going to be something good here. Just bullets. Ah. Okay. We'll open this up. Should take two, right? One and two. And we're in. Okay. Gyrocopter accessories, schematic, security camera bundle again. I guess I'll take it. And I am... I need wood. Okay, wood to make frames to make a ladder. Okay, that should do it. Up and over. How are we looking up here? Not looking too bad. I don't think anything has changed here. The bird is still stuck downstairs. Nope, there's a bird in there. That was one. There's still another somewhere. Zombies did manage to get back up here somehow. And now we've got the issue of the gyrocopter. We've got to get this thing off of the building. All right, just hope for the best here. Come on. Not working. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. 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 This bad. This bad. Oh, well, that's actually getting better now. Yes. Climb that wall, baby. Let's do this. Almost there. And we're free. Almost. Here we go. All right. Wow. What an ordeal, man. I regret that 100%. All right. Let's take a brief look at the map. There are two airdrops we need to pick up. Number one and number two. Let's see how much fuel we use in the process of going there. All right. There we are. So we made it all the way from the snow city to here with 5% fuel. It's not too bad at all. Most of it being just on takeoff and landing. Really shouldn't be power attacking. Oh boy. <laughs> Hide behind the airdrop. Ah. 
that. And a level up to boot. Ranged mods bundle and a grandpa's learn an elixir recipe. All right, well with that, we gotta head home. We gotta do the first aid thing, put all of our stuff away and we'll get ready for strength day. Okay, okay, yep, uh, this is difficult, but um, oh boy. Oh, these things are just so difficult to turn and to move. All right, try that again. I'd say that works just fine, really. I'm pretty satisfied with that. All right, let's take a peek at the hall for today, and uh, I don't know, we'll have to compare that magnum against our other magnum. In fact, I think that this level five, I think the, the one that we have is like a level three, so that should be a, an improvement there. And otherwise, not too much. Just a ton of fun to go like air assault all those POIs there. That was a blast. <laughs> all right, we're all patched up, fed and hydrated and everything is put away, I think. Yes, we just have these four bundles to open up. So security camera bundle, nothing good there. Ranged mods bundle. Hey, got a reflex sight. I like those. Barrel extender mod. I think that's my first and a good scope. Leather armor, all level three. Blade trap bundle, 10 blade traps. My goodness, that's interesting. Guess we got some backups in case things go south. Guess we got some backups in case things go south. And I will save this as like a backup set of armor in case we die. In case we die. And uh, how about heavy barrel for our rifle here? Otherwise, actually, let's see what this looks like. I kind of like the look of that, and I like the, the red dot sight. You don't really need the long range stuff. Oh, is the heavy barrel like a different appearance? It does look a little bit different. It definitely is. You can see that like long kind of muzzle of the, the, the gun. I like that. It's the DLX weapons fix kicking in there a little bit. Got this nice new magnum to change over to. Look at the shotgun ammo. This is insane. Gotta get some shotgun turrets. Can I craft those? Shotgun turret, yes. Although, oh, and we have... Plenty of shotgun parts, but again, I think I'm still saving those so that I can craft a good shotgun. Uh, we only have the level three right now. Okay, so I need to get my list going because tomorrow we have a couple of things to craft. I think auger is like the big one there because I don't think we can craft the impact drive. Oh wait, the impact driver. That's what we can do today. Yes, level five impact driver. Excellent, get that crafted. Otherwise, there's not much we can do. I mean, the leg or the arm there is still broken for another 20 minutes, so. I think what we'll do tonight is we'll take the Forget an Elixir a little early, we'll move into Strength Day, and then I'm just gonna spend the night probably augering down in the pit to kind of get the resources and dig that down deeper. And let's see, yes, tomorrow is the Horde, so we'll be a Strength Day Horde. We'll see like how long maybe we can like hold them here, kind of like we did a couple times uh, nights ago, and then we'll kind of fall back if we have to. I guess the question is, um, so I wanted, my plan has always been to like crank up the difficulty and crank up the XP modifier as we move through, but we might be able to do that. Um, like we'll crank the XP up to 300% for this horde here, and then the whole two weeks we're out here, we'll have um, like 300% XP gain so that we can kind of fly through the rest of the, um, uh, the horde, the special hordes that I've developed for my mod. So yeah, I think that's the plan. I've talked myself into it. We'll do the forget an elixir right now, I suppose. We'll do strength day. We'll get the auger crafted. We'll head down in the pit and we'll do some extensive mining. Scare the crap out of me! Uh-oh! Oh shit! There's a lot of zombies here now! Oh no 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 no! This is bad! Real real bad! Luckily I'm so far down here that um, they don't really think that they can get down to me. I think they're trying to use the ladder. In fact, I'm gonna need that ladder soon, so <laughs> give me a couple more pieces of it. Yeah, oh yes. Okay, let's go up then. And oh boy, <laughs> oh, it's a whole horde. Okay, just quickly now, shoot them all and they're probably gonna try and come back up. Oh, what a great, oh my God, Big Mama, did you forget to wipe or something? Oh man, <laughs> this is bad. 
Okay, just up, 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 and then we'll go back down for the rest. Here we go. Holy goodness, that must have been a whole horde that just came down here and tried to dig down to me. Right, well, we are almost there. I'm almost out of gas too, so hopefully Bedrock is not too much further away. We're gonna dig down to Bedrock and then we're gonna collapse this whole chunk here. Uh oh, Screamer though. I heard her, I don't see her though. Where is she? There she is. Was that a real scream or pseudo scream? Hello. It's okay, it's strength day, basically unstoppable right now. Yep, that's only the second screamer I've seen all day, despite the fact that I've been auguring since like 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. or whenever I started this project here. Yeah, just making sure there are no connection points. This will probably mess everything up. Better it would just collapse down with it. Okay, that's it for that. Uh, not only this though, but we have to build the whole staircase coming back out. So hopefully this doesn't take a whole lot longer. Just gonna grab a little sneaky present for later. <laughs> Look at all this stone we have. Holy cow. Okay, back down into the pit for the last run here until we can get to bedrock. Only three more layers to go. Okay, there we go. We are all the way down to bedrock on all four sides. We're not gonna need this ladder anymore. I'm gonna just carve into the edge here just a little bit. Okay, now this whole thing is standing on, on I think it's a, gonna be a three by three column. So I'm gonna center myself and dig a hole inside. Which means this right here is where the dynamite's gonna go. Hello there. Nice of you to join us. All right, my friends, it all comes down to this, the big collapse. The only question is gonna be, am I going to die in the process or am I gonna be safe to kind of stand over here on the edge? I guess worst case scenario, I can like build myself a little hubby to kind of hide in over here. I'll just like emergency auger my way into the wall. All right, well, no time like the present. Let's let this stuff rip and just run to the other side over here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yes. I'm not getting hurt at all standing way over here. It seems to be working out just fine. And if that doesn't call in several screamers, I don't know what will. Holy cow. What a pleasure that was. Okay, no time to waste. We've got to get out of here now before a whole host of screamer zombies come down here. Yeah, I can hear the dart trap going off. Definitely zombies up here. Oh no, 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 oh shit! Oh my god, I just fell. I tried to like grab frames to let me in. Oh man, that's <laughs> that's a bit of a setback there, my bad. I hit my head on something up there. Try this again. I don't know how I didn't break anything, probably because I have all the dukes in my pocket. This should bring me perfect. Oh, I hit my head like right on the edge of that uh, the staircase there. All right, here we go. Where's the screamer? The dart trap might might have killed her? See if I can see a body up here anywhere. No, no body. I thought for sure I heard darts going off, but I don't hear a screamer anywhere. Well, they, they might be bugged a little bit, I guess. Whoa, oh geez, that scared the crap out of me. Well, anyway, let me grab some wood and some cobble and we'll build ourselves a little bit of a staircase out of there. <laughs> Put away that thousands and thousands of stone I just got and grab me a nail gun and we'll head down. We should be just about ready for the horde. We, we shouldn't have to worry too much about uh, getting anything except for this staircase, we need to get this, uh, at least one of them, done up a little bit here. Okay, that is it. It looks, it looks bad, I'll be honest. But it's gonna look good once we get it all dressed up. It actually looks pretty cool down here. It gives me like Harry Potter vibes, that weird like library with the staircases and stuff like that. Anyway, we should get at least the, um, the stair portion here upgraded to cobblestone and well really several of these supports like that will probably need to be connected to it should the, the the staircase needs to be connected to the wall at least periodically so that if there is a fire it doesn't just all come crashing down so i'll work on this and then uh, we'll lock and load and get ready for the horde oh that off to a bad start here Oh, I see. Some of these things were actually, I think, not... They were connected to the sand, maybe, on the side. Here, that one should be solid there. Starting to get a little bit nervous here. We're getting awfully close to the horde. Yep, connect that up, and that should be secure now. One more. Stick it right there. 
And there we go. We're all set here. Not making any guarantees, but at least the zombies should be able to get out of there if they do get stuck down in the bottom of the pit. All right, my friends, the hour is getting late and the day 42 horde is approaching. So it is time to get into position and lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Holy crap, this is the fat wave for sure. I thought I could be cute about it and fight outside the base, but that is not the case. I'm about to die. Oh, the cops, they're everywhere. It's so much that the sheer mass of a might collapse the base. Collapse the base. Oh man, oh man, way worse than I thought this was gonna be. Oh jeez. Um, whoa. Uh, my helmet lights off. Okay, uh, just get things oriented here a little bit. There we go. Oh boy, oh boy. There's a lot of rads. I wasn't quite prepared for the amount of rads. Yep, these specialty waves are no friggin' joke. We've got to turn the darts on. Hello, Temcam. Keep up the good work, my man. Yes, turn those back on. And while we're at it, start spinning the bottom blade traps. What's left of them anyway? Oh, and and that that's it's good though. They don't actually want to go over there. There's a spider. That might have just been someone that wandered in, I think. Okay. Luckily we didn't have any serious injuries in that whole debacle there. I might be able to kind of come out here and do some melee a little bit. We've got some fallback options. Whoa! Okay, use the shotgun. We're specced into that. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. Whoa, got a rat in the base now. Holy cow, man. Can we get some pipe bombs in here, please? I did use some of my memory points into, like, demolitions at... Where did the, uh, the thing go that was there? Oh my goodness. Things are just not going too well. Why did that break? They, they must have... There must have been a rat there that could basically one-shot it. Oh, oh, um... <laughs> Oh, the cop's gonna blow up. Oh, I don't want that. No. Oh, I saved it last second there. Got another one that's about to blow up, though. There we go. Okay. Um, just let's get some fire here for a second. And we gotta turn on the electric fences now. Wow. This is going crazy. Here. Give me a break. Go, go, down, th <laughs> go down into the pit. Now, see, now they just all want to come over onto this side. I guess we can uh, give them a break on this side as well. Let them fall, fall down. Cop blew up somewhere. Not exactly sure where. We gotta try to prevent that. Would you just die? Okay, they don't. They don't have a way to get to me anymore. Oh, that door. We probably should have upgraded that door at some point. All the blade traps are down. That's kind of not surprising but also it's it's surprising and it's bad and that door just burnt out okay zombies are breaking the base this is not good here close that door i am um i'm gonna need to get some forged iron maybe and fix that door up we'll get wood um iron and i think i made forged iron today i did give me the nail gun uh make me an iron door craft that and yes fix that door up there this is like the alamo now until we can get another oh my goodness what happened painkiller i got whacked and it hurt a lot ah they're breaking in get back okay i need a break again man i don't understand this i put on heavy armor so that i wouldn't uh get hurt so bad man they are lighting me up and um i feel i have a feeling that um 
Why aren't the dart traps going? Uh, lock ammo, lock ammo. Oh shit, what's going on here? We're at max output. Turn those off. Um, that turned on some blade traps. Oh my. <laughs> this is bad. Well, if the blade traps fail, or maybe we could like disconnect them or something, um, or, or some of the lights maybe, uh, yeah. Turn these off. There we go. Okay, we got dart traps again. That helps a little bit. Yeah, I took an engine out this morning to make the auger. That's why we're having such a hard time here. How are we looking on that door? We got 18 seconds. Also, let's just start taking the recog in. Screamer. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh my god, this this is crazy right now. Uh, what were we doing? We were taking some recog. Okay, oh my. Yep, they just collapsed the entire freaking walkway. What the shit? Yep, that, that was bad. Oh, that should have been upgraded, shouldn't it? Oh, now the darts are gonna run out of ammo. All right, lock the ammo again. Um, jeez, guys, I I don't I, I don't know what to do right now. Uh, we're gonna have to go on foot and take this freaking horde down. And for that, we will need coffee and steroids and skull crushers and freaking coffee and whatever else we can get into us. Go oh, great, screamers screaming. And we'll take a fort bite to kick things off. And uh, why don't we just get a. a couple more first aid kits with us. All right, let's get down here and fight this horde properly. Where did you all go? Did you all go into the pit? Oh crap, getting beat up already. They're all in the pit. In the trench, I mean. Oh boy, yes, here we go. I sprained an arm already. Give me some fire. Holy crap, getting my ass kicked. I've broken my arm now, holy cow. All right, leave a little present there. I'll try to kite him into it. Oh, that helped. <laughs> no, no, we gotta do this for three hours, guys. This is this is terrible. Here, let's hide down here. Reload. Oh my God, they they're carving into the walls. Ow! Yeah, the broken arm is not good right now. That's doing pretty good. That gun's broken though. Hello. Oh, they're spawning like right in front of me. No! I thought I interrupted them. Okay, let them blow. All right, we're bleeding. We're bleeding bad. We can air burst some uh, pipe bombs over them. First aid kit. Ah, oh, I heard a demo. What the fuck? Tell me I was just mishearing things and that was not a real demo. Yep, that's definitely a fucking demo here somewhere. Ah! Let him blow! Where's the demo? There he is! I see him! I was not expecting a demo today! What the fuck is going on here? Okay, there should be a big cluster of them down here. Let's see if I can get him with a grenade. No, Lois, no! Oh my god, not having run and gun is just killing me right now. Every time I reload, which takes forever with my broken arm, uh, oh, geez, I need some hit points, please. Oh man, then they just catch right up to me. Oh, there's that demo. Try, try to use him to our advantage. Here. No. Ow. Ah. Oh, come on. You want to hit the button and you can't hit the button. Should I try some melee? No, we got a broken arm. We can't do that. I need to go inside real quick. Please don't follow me in here and go to the medical cabinet. Get me a plaster cast and we've got five minutes of steroids. Let's stack the steroids. Let's get some more first aid kits. Just take one of those. Take one of those, please. And coffee, please. And we'll head back out here before the zombies destroy the base. Oh, no, no, no. Look out. Can I maybe do some meleeing now? Nope, nope, still super duper slow. Oh, geez, just get some fire onto them. So oh, they're, they're in the garage, yikes. No, this is chaos. Wish I could think of a good way to... Oh, oh, the old rock. The old rock, I knew it would come in handy someday. Let me up here. Yes, whoa. Okay, they can't get up here. We know that. Back on like episode freaking one or two, whenever we showed up here, we used this place as a fortification. And we'll do it again. Ow, whoa, look out. We're taking fire. They're digging down, it's okay. We don't need this rocket for much longer. It's just another hour. Let him dig. 
The demo's down, finally. Oh, they made it up here. Get him down. No, get back. Get some more freaking hit points into me. Okay, we've got the grenades now. Oh, there's another demo over here. Come on, there's a whole cluster of them right there. Let them have it. Yes. I'd say we're doing really well now. Oh no, 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 I'm doing really bad, it hurts. Ha, ow, ah, I'm bleeding again. Ow, no. What do I do, guys? What do I do here? Get back. My guns are about to break. I can hear a cop about to blow up. Yikes. All right, I think they're all like right under the rock. We can get a good, um, a good Molotov in there. Oh my. Okay, I leveled up. Ooh, run, run, run. The base is on fire. Why is that on fire? That should be all cobblestone. My leg is sprained. Ah, run. Ah. <laughs> There's nowhere to hide. There is nowhere to go anymore. I could maybe get back up on here. Here, um, staircase, please. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Up, up, up. There we go. Okay, that's broken. We're down to the magnum. And it's morning. Perfect. We've just got to kill the 60 or so zombies that are left down here. Hopefully not that many. And we're done. And there's a demo, so if I could just get my eyes on him and blow him up, that might seal seal the deal here. Whoa. There he is. There he is. Come on. Give me some bullets. And just hit him in the button. Cop as well. Oh, I killed him by accident. Crap. I think I killed the demo. Crap, that was my only plan. Okay, I guess this is it. We're going on foot. Give me the club. Ow! Abrasion! Okay, gonna die! Leg is broken! Oh no! Ah! Oh my goodness. This has been a complete shit show. Although that should do it for the horde. Uh, no, those fuckers are still out there. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh, geez. Okay, well, we've got a sledgehammer. We have, uh, we swapped over for the heavy armor today, so we now have the light armor. Let's grab the cloth. I think that'll work to fix that and then just slap everything back on. Okay, we're armed, we're armored, and that's pretty much all we need to do. We'll have to kind of assess the, the damn. I sprained my leg because I didn't have the money in me. Ah, no. Okay, into the garage. No, 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 no. Run to the other side. We do not want to die a second time here. What are you doing in here? Get back. Let me out of here. I got no pants on. Okay. We can probably get them one by one now, I hope. Why Why are you all coming over here? I thought you'd trickle over one by one, damn it. Okay, one at a time now, please. We use that trick where we uh, throw rocks and distract zombies. Yep, you see them all move? That's because they heard that rock that I threw over there. We'll just pick off the stragglers one by one. And there's a good painkiller for us. And a steroid to avoid our sprained leg. All right. You guys can hear that? Go ahead over there. I think all I'm doing is like clustering up even worse. <laughs> yep, here we go, here we go. That did it, didn't it? Whoops. Okay, just do the dance now. Oh crap, miss, oof, I'm bleeding. I got nothing for bleeding. Okay, just, just run, run, run. Into the gyrocopter, no, just jump up here, please. We're running out of stamina. Oh, jeez, man. I'm bleeding bad. Tem Cam, help me. Okay, at this juncture, we just need to get some type of firearm and pick off the rest of these zombies. Okay, first things first. Are any of you in the garage? Nope, garage is clear. Let's just hop on the bicycle this time. I forgot where I left the motorcycle. It's way over here, I think. Here we go. And, man, this looks good. I like this. Yeah, just gotta pick off the zombies now. It's almost like this is a wandering horde that came, like, right when dawn struck. Oh no. Come on, man, get on the bike. 
Where'd I even leave the motorcycle? It's like way over here. All right, I must concede at this point that this base was a, just a complete abject failure, but we will learn from our lessons here and construct it bigger and better than before, or else we'll continue dying and losing our equipment permanently. For now, let me just address the myriad of critical injuries that we're facing right now, such as infections and deep lacerations, fractured bones, abrasions, and I'm gonna just head down and loot up. I'll show you what we get in the next episode and then it's off into the wasteland. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, it is time to call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And the devastation here at the base is real, and my body is still battered from the night before. I did collect up all of the loot. There's not much of it. There's another loot bag out there. We might have to go grab that in a minute. I think this was basically it. I don't really think that uh, at the end of the last episode that I did very much. <laughs> I was kind of in a hurry to, to just close things out there. Anyway, um, we still have a few debuffs. Let me just work on this for just a minute here. We'll get a bandage. In fact, probably more like two bandages. And we'll hydrate again. Take that health bar just for the heck of it. A couple of steroids so I can run. Okay, so the big news was that we died last night. And we lost the entire kit. So, notably, we lost the lockpicks. So I have the time charges now. And for tools, what did we lose for tools here? We lost the axe. I had that on the inventory for some reason, so we're, <laughs> we're down to the iron fire axe. Uh, we're getting withdrawals here, so we'll just go ahead and take that forget and elixir, and we should be into fortitude day now, so I'll spend these up real quick, and we should also have some memory points for strength day. In fact, 11 of them. Holy, that's really good. So we just went sexy T-Rex and some into minor 69er there. Okay, I've got the new weapons down. What am I missing here on the hotbar? Oh, the, the bow. Okay, so grab the bow. I thought something might have been lost there. We lost the good magnum, which is unfortunate. That quality five that we had and all the mods that were on all of those things as well. But I've been saving the mods, so we should be okay there. Otherwise, I think the hotbar is good. I usually have this extra spot here for like the knife or grenades or something like that. So probably can grab some bombs here. Although, oh no, we lost like all the grenades. Well, actually we used all the grenades. So oh, the money too. Oh no, we lost all the money. Oh, we had like 20K on us too. We have no money now. Oh no. Oh, that's okay though. We, we can sell some stuff on uh, intellect day there. Oh, speaking of intellect day, we need to make the, um, the automated vault doors that are going to go in here, the the final version, I just, ah, oh man. I, I guess I was thinking that I needed to wait until I got the, um, uh, the schematic for it, which we never did, I don't think. Did we? No, we didn't, yeah, so I, I would have probably caught on to that. But yes, advanced engineering, we should be able to unlock that, so on uh, intellect day next time, we're going to have to get those doors made up, and for now... That's probably what we need to work on right this minute, is we gotta get this place buttoned up so that it at least the base functions, right? Yeah, even though it, we're officially into the wasteland weeks, um, I don't know if we're gonna make it out <laughs> today. We'll see what happens, though. We might have to go just like take a quick gyrocopter ride in, but we've gotta get the base fixed up a little bit, at least back to like a functional form, just in case like a wandering horde runs by. Oh my god! <laughs> I broke my leg again! <laughs> I guess I'm kind of used to having the money in my pocket so I can kind of make jumps like that. Oh, airdrop in the wasteland. We like that. There should be two in there now. Yep, kind of like right in line with each other too. We got to wait until perception day to get those though. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> try not to fall off the base this time. And uh, I would jump down there, but I don't know if I can make it. I just ease my way across here. Yep, there we go. Ooh, ooh, that's not in good shape over there. Should be good though. Okay, yep, that's fine. And can I just jump down here? Ah, uh, yep, we're good. Okay, so definitely what I'm thinking now here is that we just have to, um, ooh, what's this? We, we need to just, this, this just needs to be like a, a continuous support structure here. No, no more like 
fancy looking pillars. This just has to be a wall here. And that wall will pretty much slide right up with this stuff here. I'll have to get the auger out in a bit and carve through this. We'll just have to completely redo all of this stuff here. Okay, that's the idea there. This here being like the center. So maybe we give the zombies like a little bit of a doorway through here so that they don't think that they're stuck and like end up doing it themselves. Okay, that should be much more secure right there. Just something fancy like that. Okay, perfect. So zombies can walk through there if they need to. As for over here, we just need to do the same thing we've been doing. On face a door just like that. Well, that'll work. I mean, I kind of like it in this orientation. So there's some controversy here. So if I were to do an automated vault door or any type of a vault door, the, the, the frame on the vault door is much thicker, and so zombies can kind of stand on the side of it. But these regular doors, they can't do that, and the iron doors, they can't do it either. So it doesn't matter if you're using iron doors or wood doors, if you do it vertically like this or horizontally like this. But with the automated vault doors and the vault doors, you have to have it in this configuration here, because then the zombies can't really stand on the side. They can stand on the side, but they don't think they can, like they do think they can if you have it in this orientation here. I hope that makes sense. We'll get to that when we get the automated doors. We'll have to rip those off anyway. Okay, so just bring this over. No big deal here. And then we should be able to disconnect that. No problem. And oh man, <laughs> lots of stuff just got broken. This is all from cops. Cop spit and, and probably cop explosions as well. We did surprisingly get the demos last night, which that's because of my mod. Usually it's like game stage. Oh crap, what is it? Like 153 or 154 is when demos start showing up. But apparently it's like... 115 with my mod. <laughs> I kind of forgot that I did that part of it. Yeah, so the huge mistake that I made during the horde is I just underestimated how difficult it was going to be. I tried to stand out here. All of the traps were off. I had taken one of the um, engines out of the generator to make... I don't even know what I was making. I think to make the auger that day. And then with just the volume of cops and the fact that there were radiated cops and everything, it, it, things just went south so fast. Like, we designed the space around having cops. Like, we put this wall here because originally I thought that this window over here would be open. And so we, were, we just wanted to hide here and let all the zombies come around, hit all the traps, and, uh, and then we just proceeded to fucking stand out here. We, I... I try to imply that it's like your fault as well, but definitely not all my fault there. But we, but now we know. We, now, we know how difficult the hordes are going to be, so we will be much more prepared for what's going on next time. And we are definitely, like, on strength day next time around. Hopefully we have another strength day before the horde. Yeah, we're just going to have to focus on iron, though, because we need steel. This all needs to be steel in this area here. Even, really, the walkway and even... Potentially some of these blocks down here need to be steel. I'm pretty much fine with all of this stuff still being cobblestone though. It's There's so much structural su support down here. I'm not really worried about uh, like a full collapse of the base. I mean, things went just about as bad as they possibly could have <laughs> on the last Horde night. And they didn't even really come close to collapsing anything. Uh, apart from <laughs> this piece right here. We were asking for that though. Okay, a little bit of patchwork to do back here. Doesn't look like anything too serious, though. Oop, first zombie kill of the day. Yeah, if we could just not get a wandering horde today, <laughs> that would be freaking fantastic. All right, I'd say about 90% of the base is all patched up now, and I just ran out of cobblestone, so we'll just finish things up here a little bit and call it good. Fortunately, looks like we only lost three of the six blade traps. So we need another one of these. Whoops, come on now. Right there? Yep, that's right. All right, we'll upgrade that fully later on. I just want to get these kind of placed back in. Luckily, we did get all those blade trap bundles, and so it's not too much of a big deal. Although, wiring this up is going to kind of be a big deal. All right, I think I have everything wired back up properly, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't think I can make it back on the base from here. Oh, hey, free loot bag. Nice. Okay, oh, we gotta change the day of the last fire, too. We definitely had fires last night. Well, actually, it was more like early this morning. Oh, and that's the other thing. I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> oh, crap. We've gotta get new clothing. Oh, boy, I almost forgot all about that. Can I get, like, a, a college jacket here? 
We don't have any cloth. No, we have cloth somewhere, don't we? Yeah, I just kind of left it in here. Okay, college jacket. Also gonna need pocket mods. We need three of these, but we're, okay. Now we're definitely gonna be out of cloth. Okay, so work on that. Give me the damn college jacket. Oh, we're gonna have to get all the dye again. <laughs> no, man, that sucks. Well, we gotta get cloth, so, um, wait a minute. Don't I have living off the land today? So we can just go outside and pick some cotton. I think that'll work. Oh, I can wear these hazmat pants. <laughs> what does that look like? Yeah, <laughs> that's our new look, baby. There was a loot bag out here, too. It's probably despawned by now, if I had to guess. Uh, where was that? Oh, there it is. Mmm, terrible. Damn it. Oh, yeah, and I... <laughs> I left the motorcycle out here too. Wow, I'm so organized today. Ah, we'll get there. What am I getting out of this? Three. Okay, just need lots of cotton. How much do I need actually? If, if I can make a one cotton per cloth. Okay, so yeah, just need like a hundred of this or something. Yep, that'll do. That's like 105 right there. All right, where's the motorcycle again? <laughs> Look what they did to that rock. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's like our new our new sculpture outside the base. All right, here's the bike. Okay, right, what are we on right now? We are on Fortitude Day, which means we could craft a machine gun maybe if we wanted to. Cause, oh, we lost the M60 too, that's right. So um, how about another M60? We could do that. That's gonna use all the machine gun parts and a good chunk of the steel too. But it's either that or the um, tactical assault rifle which is locked, or the AK-47, which would use far fewer machine gun parts. But honestly, the M60 is probably the best bet, I would say. M60, craft that up. Just for now, though, let's make sure this is doing as much damage as we can possibly do with it. Just in case. They were starting to roll on these pocket mods, so slap those on for the inventory. Although I'm on steroids right now, so that's why the inventory is all opened up. <laughs> I might I might just want to look into uh, getting some cloth. Okay, wait. Last pocket mod, please. One more of those. We need a shirt as well. Uh, what about BDU stuff? Can I just make some of that? Okay, BDU top. Uh, ooh, that's using a lot of cloth. Um, well, I need the top at least, right? We, do, we need some kind of a shirt, unless I have like a t-shirt laying around here somewhere. I do not, and of all things to run out of here, this late in the game, it's cloth. Just getting some final upgrades done with some of the new cobblestone. Oh, and look at that, just like that, we're, oh, we're all healed up. The, the broken legs, everything is done. That's nice. Right, well, we might as well do it right now, and we have some points into minor 69er, so I think it's okay to just do this with the pickaxe. But yeah, we need to knock this out. We need to knock, okay, I don't know how quite I'm going to manage getting this to work. We'll figure something out here. Oh boy, <laughs> I got a horde here, and I'm ready to fight. Almost, hang on. Beer, 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 beer. Here we go. Show them what we got. Okay, that's the first wave. Wave number two's coming right at us. Wow, that's it. That was awesome. We got one more. Sprinting power attack. Yes. Eat that. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to turn the XP modifier up to 300% for this episode and beyond. So, I'm gonna log out and do that. Three hundo. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, we're back. I'm hoping that we can push into like the 170 game stage by the end of the series. That would kind of be like a goal. Not sure if we're gonna get there or not though. Really the only reason being is because I think it's at like game stage, what was it? Um, 170 or something? I made a wave that's like soldiers only or armored zo zombies only, which is like soldiers and whites and bikers and demos and it's just crazy. And then there's also gonna be Grace in the hordes at some point. It's a very, very rare chance, like a 0.2% chance, but it is possible. And my idea here was just to do this. And that should be okay. I should be able to paint this side of it eventually, I think. Let's just take this out so it looks better. There's also a Grace Wandering Horde, which has two Graces in it. We haven't seen that one yet. 
We've seen the massive wolf hordes a couple of times though. Right, just wanted to do that. Oh, I get so many comments. People love it when I use this shape, but like no one knows um, how to use it. So this is just a security gate centered diagonal. So if you're ever looking for that shape, that's the one you want. And you just have to advanced rotate it so it's not in like um, this orientation here because this is like the default orientation. You want to kind of just slide it around so it's a ramp. And of course, I don't have the wood on me. Great. Um, let's do... The same thing here, potentially, that we did over here. Does that kind of make sense so that the zombies can kind of bob and weave? Oh, more like, so if we're ever down here again, we can kind of get through and run around and, and kite the zombies a little bit better. I think that's a good idea. Let's, let's do that. Pop that in there. So we have a little bit of a doorway to go through. Eh, that looks pretty good. I kind of liked it better open, but we got to kind of balance the uh, form versus function. And this here, oh boy. Do we want to just simplify this a little bit over here? Maybe just do that. I think, I mean, I didn't like the way it looked before anyway, and I don't think this looks a heck of a lot better, but it is what it is. Let's just roll with this for now. Okay, we're, we're pretty much done up almost to 100% here. We'll have to make another pass with the concrete here at some point. And after thinking about it, I accidentally upgraded that one, but we might just do one lap around zombie head height like this level right here in order to kind of prevent them from knocking out blocks in the future. Oh my, look at that door. Whoa, that's gonna require so much forged iron. What about this door over here? Yeah, I think zombies were trapped in here during the horde night. Ha, ah, whoa, jeez, you scared me, Lois. Where are you going? Why is your behavior so weird? You jumped all the way down into the pit, didn't you? Are you coming back? Hello? There she, she she's, she's coming. She's trying to come up anyway. Oh, there's a bit of an issue there where they want to kind of, you know, kitty corner the, the bottom of the ramp. We'll have to do up some sort of a different system there. Oh, and her momentum is carrying her off of the staircase. Okay. Yep. So we need to kind of prioritize making all of the cobblestone shapes and filling in this wall down here. It's going to look real nice once we get around to doing that. Where'd you go? <laughs> she went up the other staircase. Oh boy. Where are you now? I just heard her fall down. Where'd you go? Hello? Oh, there she is. I'm on the wrong staircase again. Here we go. Come here. Oh my goodness. This this is just turning into a whole ordeal. All right, how many cobblestone shapes do you think? Uh, probably like six or 800, I would say. Jeez, even these things took damage. There must have been cops spit flying in through the arrow slits over here. Oh man. Yeah, next horde, we are hanging out right here. <laughs> no more cop spitting, please. Oh, you know what? I had a list of things that we needed to craft here and cigar was on that list. So yes, good, we can make one of those. Plenty of stuff for that. Oh, geez, finally get my shirt back on. The backpack almost fully opened up. We're on the lookout for another pair of gothic pants or military pants. <laughs> I'll just save the cloth for now. Well, that was good. We took a whole day there to just kind of get reset and re-equipped. We'll need to get a better axe at some point. Axe, steel axe. Uh, we could, oh, we could make one of those right now, in fact, because we had the memory points into minor 69 nerf. So, in fact, I think that's an upgrade from the one that we had before as well. So, yeah. Craft that up. In fact, let's just put that in this one over here. Okay, I think we're good to go now. So people, many, many people have suggested that we put a sign for every day so that we can remember what to do on that day. And uh, we might as well do that once I make some more nails, once we get some more iron. <laughs> oh geez, scratch that. But I'll just put on here now, uh, bow because we need to make a compound crossbow, I think. But that will be tomorrow when we're on agility day. We should have plenty of stuff to do that with. Oh, there's that cigar, pop that in my mouth. Yes, iron, iron, iron. Iron is the shortfall right now. So, for the rest of the night then, tonight, I'm just gonna head outside. We'll grab the auger, I suppose. Got the level five auger. Do we have any repair kits? We do not. Probably can make some of those. Repair kits. Yeah, let's just get like 20 of those. I'm sick of not having any. And gasoline. Oh, yes, we don't really have much gas. We need oil shale as well. So let's head into the desert tonight then. Do some iron mining and some oil shale mining. And in fact, I can't even find the gas that I thought that I had. I thought, I, I know I made some. Where is it? There it is <laughs> in the chem station. Yes, okay, so um, iron and oil shale for the night. 
All right, there we go, it's morning. I mined up a good amount of oil shale. I'm just gonna stick around in this mine here today until I get two full stacks, so 12,000 total. And then that way we can fill up the forges, get ready for agility day, and then head out into the wasteland. All right, I think that'll do it. Yes, two full stacks, let's go home. Ah, and as we're rolling back in, there was one more thing we need to do here while we're on Fortitude Day, and that is harvest up the garden, and that way I can plant some more seeds. See, this stuff all here is growing. Yeah, I wanna get some more seeds so that we can get the entire garden finished out. All right, that's the whole garden all planted. Okay, let's just take a moment to check on how we're looking here. We're looking good, we've got all the mods that we need. And it's time for Agility Day. Oh, and that reminds me, I'm just sitting here trying to put the mods onto the Magnum. I got a comment, so I think in the last episode I was commenting that the Magnum had not been affected by the DLX weapons fix yet. But then someone commented and said the very same day, or at least around the same day that I had said that, the DLX weapons fix update came out. And so I'm gonna just log off here briefly. I'm gonna go check on that and see if I can install the newest version of the mod. Okay, here we go. And does it look like the barrel is longer on this? The front sight post is definitely different. That's cool. By the way, if you're ever wondering, yes, oh, the barrel is definitely longer. I love that. Yeah, if you're wondering how to install mods, shameless plug here, there is a link in the description to my video on how to install them. Wow, so cool. Okay, I wanna see what the scope looks like then. Didn't I have a 2x scope in here? Uh, no, I have 4x, but I have a 2x scope on this uh, lever action rifle here. Let's check on that, ooh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, wow, you can see, actually, like, I, I don't know, can't tell if it's the reflection. It is the reflection. You can see the reflection of what's going on behind you in the scope. That is so cool, and yeah, that's totally fixed. I like that a lot. Oh man, I really, really hope that they work on the weapons because they just suck so bad in vanilla. It was Alpha 20, they were fine in Alpha 19, and Alpha 20, they messed up all the front sight posts. Uh, yeah, so let's spend the skill points then. 12 memory points. Man, we are getting to the point where we could probably get most, if not all of two skill trees by the end of the series. I think the ones I want though are probably cardio, pain tolerance, Probably pain tolerance, then cardio, then maybe healing factor and iron gut in that order. Yep, that'll work right there. Speaking of iron gut, we are running out of food here. Ooh, shepherd's pie. Yes, please. Steak and potatoes, 38. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, we're almost ready here. No lock picks. We got the time charges. That should be fine. We don't have very many of them, but enough to get into... Uh, one tier four chest and a tier five chest after that, because that makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, checking everything. Yes, I think we're good to go. I'm kind of notoriously bad for leaving completely unprepared, especially these days when the difficulty is so much higher. All right, carrying the repair kits on me from now on too. Let's load up the gyrocopter with everything that we just don't need in any sort of pressing manner and lock up our inventory. And we're heading into the wasteland. Well, probably should get some gas. Got lots of that crafting. Refuel, stash it up, and now we're off. Whoops, oh, <laughs> we cased something with the tail end of the plane there. Ah, yes, we've gotta go explore the yacht. The yacht is a POI that the fun pimps have made, however, not implemented into the normal rotation. I'm not sure what's inside, I've never explored it before, but I can tell you I there are no zombies that I know of inside. So this is more of just like an exploration mission. And I do in fact think that there is a helipad on the back. Not that that would be the wisest move with the gyrocopter. In fact, we probably just wanna plant it on the beach. Um, Is that a helipad on the top there? Yeah, we just wanna put it on the beach because um, the, the gyrocopter is not affected by water. So if we have to take off out of here. Oh, got a zombie here. If we have to take off, we can just kind of ride into the water. Hello there, Arlene. Take care of you. Yes, the the lucky. Well, let's see how lucky we are here. So there should be some loot. And there, uh, there might be a main loot in here somewhere. But I just want to kind of take a look here. A little bit of a preview for hopefully Alpha 21 when they redo the water. I think that, that might be what they're waiting for here. Okay, wait. Looks like we will have zombies lurking in from outside. Including a dog. Oh, look, it's that block that we were playing with the other day. That is a cool design, I like that. And a broken vending machine here, we can take part. 
Oh man, they put a lot of time into this. To not have this in the, the regular rotation is just criminal. I don't even think this is on Nava's game where all of the POIs are kind of hand placed. Oh, here they are. They're coming up to this door here, which is unlocked. Oh, oh no, 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 no. We don't want bears. Oh, I see there's a ladder coming up here. Oh dear. Do we want to ride the bear today or what? Maybe we weaken the bear a little bit first, and then we ride the bear. Also, <laughs> zombies coming in from way out there. You gonna blow up? No, you're gonna spit. There we go. All right, here goes nothing. Let's go. Ow, ow. Yikes. Ride him. Ah, ha, ha, yes. Got a good bear ride in today. Oh, that is a good segue into a little bit of a, you know, channel update. So I know a couple of days ago I was talking about um, uh, my end of the year plan, and I think some uh, I might have um, uh, presented that in the wrong manner, I suppose. So I didn't mean for that to come across as me being kind of greedy here towards the end of the year. Um, I, it's not really it's not really about the money for me. It's about growing the channel. That, that that's ooh, going down. That is my uh, my my number one goal here. I want to you know reach out to more viewers. I want to increase the uh, the variety on the channel. There's a real pair of pants there. Nice. There we go. Looking a little bit better. And so, you know, part of my goal in growing the channel is kind of doing more variety content. And you guys, you guys have seen this, right? It's no, it's no joke that, um, Seven Days to Die is kind of in the waning months here of Alpha 21. Uh, for most Seven Days to Die viewers, I guess I'll just speak for myself, but, um, you know, views kind of trail off towards the end of an alpha. Ooh, a working vending machine, but we have no money, of course. And so a lot of the other Seven Days to Die YouTubers are doing different games. A lot of people are doing Conan and Ark and uh, Grounded, things like that. And But I personally, my, my viewpoint, what's that? My personal viewpoint is that uh, I don't really... Oh, that's part of the ground, I think, because I had to kind of embed this in the ground for structural stability. Yeah, I, I want to get away from the episodic content, like the Let's Play kind of stuff. I like to do what's what we refer to as evergreen content, uh, content that's going to have long-term success and sustainability over the months. Because uh, a normal Let's Play video like this, this is going to be dead in a week. So it will not be getting very many views at all. You know, people will, will kind of like watch it and catch up on the series later on. Like people are still watching the Darkness Falls series. Oh, look at this, a main loot. Oh man, nice. I'll take a little bit of it. I'm not gonna take the main the whole thing though, because this uh is definitely a little bit cheaty. And got another zombie outside. Anyway, I'm probably just kinda rambling right now. So uh so what I wanna do anyway is um is I wanna do more like uh guides, tutorials, um you know, upcoming games, game reviews, game news, stuff like that. Uh instead of doing like, you know, a new game and then doing a series in it. Not to say that I won't do a new series in a new game because like games like Nightingale I definitely want to do a series in that and maybe make that like a kind of a staple thing on the channel sham chowder recipe nice um anyway so I do appreciate all of the support I I don't know if any of you or many of you watched that video it um it, when that video first came out it did not do very well but as of right now this morning when I'm filming it's picking up, and that's the that's the that's how that kind of content works. So if I do like a, a borderline video, it usually does very well in the beginning and then trails off. But if I do like tips and tricks, tutorials, game news, you know, Alpha 21 stuff, uh, it usually does poorly in the beginning and then picks up later on. And then you know, weeks and weeks and months from now, it will still be doing well. It'll still be getting more views. I think those are the videos that. Ooh, nice the deck. Oh, this is cool. Those are the kind of videos that really make a channel successful in the long run. Okay, that's where the zombies will be. Okay, I'm just getting a bunch of free loot at this point. <laughs> it's just shamelessly looting this POI that has absolutely no zombies in it. All right, I think I've probably seen enough. I don't want to, like, spoil all of the surprises here. I'm sure they'll change it up anyway before they actually release it, but I just wanted to check it out. I, it's been in the... Um, the POI editor for a long time, and uh, I thought it would be cool to kind of put it in the series and just take a quick little sneak peek at it here. Take a look at the back here. Is this the back or the front? This is the back. Man, super duper cool. It's like one of those multi-million dollar yachts. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get into the actual town. Okay, there it is. You can see it off in the distance there. The main city. We could, of course, do some sort of like um, 
perimeter POI. We don't actually have to go into the city here today. We've got a bunch of ranger stations that I can see, and oh, that's the concert venue over there. Oh, you might notice that the reason why we can see so well is because of the clear skies mod, and in addition to the clear skies mod, I made some changes to it myself so that the sky and the weather is the same as it would be in the snow biome in every biome. And the reason I did that is because every biome has its own, like, shader or this its own tint its own fog level and so if we were at the base and we were walking between the four quadrants the lighting would change and it's like a you know very abrupt change and it's kind of jarring so i just i made the weather universal throughout so that we wouldn't have to deal with you know weird um twitching weather effects uh oh there's a shotgun messiah right there that actually uh, tickles my fancy more than anything else. That's a uh, tier three, so we can kind of blaze right through it, and we might be able to get a good gun out of it. Specifically, looking for like an SMG. That would be the best thing to find today. Okay, bringing it down nice and easy there. Yes, the wasteland is so much better with better weather, man. This is like 100% tolerable here now. Look at this, this is nice. All right, let's get started here. Try to clear out the area a little bit. Remember, 4X zombie spawning here. Okay, I need to actually stash the gyrocopter. All right, we're waking people up in here already. Just bring them outside. Oh, they're coming out both doors. I thought you might want to come through here, but if you guys prefer it that other way, that's fine. Oh, they're coming from, like, outside as well. Okay, this might get a little overwhelming here. No, I do think we got this. We're, we're pretty strong. Famous last words, though. What are you doing up there, Morty? Oh, Arlene, hello. Ow. Okay. <laughs> got a little cocky there. Nice. Okay. In we go. And we have no looting candy and no money, so I guess we're just looting as we go. That'll be fine. All right, so I was, uh, <laughs> we rode the bear, and I made that little segue into the little channel update, and we talked about the, uh, the new video content and stuff that I'll be doing here. But, um, so anyway, uh, the reason I remembered that right offhand there was because I've updated the merchandise store, and it's not something, oh, wow, nice piece of steel chest armor there. I don't really talk about the merch store very often because, frankly, I don't know. I mean, if you want it, you can seek it out and you can go buy some merch. But I did just get a new shirt, shirt design. It's uh, Order of Steel, Ride the Bear, and I will put that up for you right here. Uh, I struggled a lot with finding an artist that could make anything even close to what I wanted to have. So, oh, there's the BDU bottom there. Nice. We are getting there again. Right, so anyway, I, I, I changed over to Spread Shop. We were doing Teespring before, but um, a lot of people don't like the quality from Teespring, and I agree. I mean, I, I bought, I've bought a lot of my own merch just to kind of uh, QC it, so to speak, and uh, I wasn't very happy with it. So we've moved over to Spread Shop, and uh, I've bought some merchandise. I haven't gotten it yet, so uh, if you want to wait, I'll probably put out some sort of a little update video just to um, actually show you what the quality looks like. And I'm just going to run outside while they run inside. But yeah, we got that. And I've also updated, like, the the, the icon, the, the channel logo. I did all that myself. Uh, I, I figured I have a little bit more skill in Photoshop and stuff like that now. So I, um, I just upgraded everything to make it look a little bit fresher and um, more professional. So uh, there's also a merchandise line with just, like, Guns, Nerds, and Steel uh, channel logo. Anyway, I would never press you guys into buying any of that stuff. It seems to be reasonably priced, and uh, if you're looking for like a nice cozy sweatshirt or something like that, then by all means, head on over there. I really appreciate that. But just having you guys watching here today, that's all I really need. Okay, so fortunately, we are on Agility Day, and we can go up here to the Sneaky Weapons Bag. Ah, Reflex Sight. Nice. I don't think there's anything else up here. Whoops. There is, of course, the loot that's in here. Um, oh, time charges. So yes, it's going to require a lot more of these now, isn't it? Now that um, we don't have Demolitions Expert. Let's try two. Go oh, great. Well, that, that'll that that'll do, I think. Oh, no! Ammo pile. <laughs> Crap. Oh, also, zombies outside. Okay, just get that stuff and we'll deal with these guys. Oh, jeez. Just a... Just a mess here. Holy cow. Right. Don't catch me on fire, please. Yep. Just open this up fully. Yes. This is uh, not all wood. This is wood. Okay. 
Whoa, where did it go? Oh, no way, no way. The, uh, oh man. Did the time charges open it up and I thought, yeah, it was unlocked and I just actually fully destroyed it. Wow, I'm such an idiot. Well, <laughs> I should just freaking burn to death for that. Oh man, the fire's spreading into here. Oh boy, let's just move on. Well, that sucked. Luckily, there's a lot more loot that we can go through out here. All right, what are we dealing with out here? Sometimes we get really tough zombies here, so I just want to double check. It's just a yeet a couple pipe bombs down there for them. Soften them up at the very least. Good chance for the magnet here. Oh yeah, that's a feral. And we're good. Should be a weapons bag here though. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, when you're here, don't forget to go out here. This is um, a secret stash right in there, I think. But there's also a zombie ambush, I think, as well. So just be cautious of that. Where's the zombie? There she is. Is there another? Yep. Also, a bear coming in from over there. Hopefully that doesn't become a big issue. Nothing good there, just a bunch of ammo. Okay, that fire is getting really big in there. <laughs> That's gonna start calling in screamers at some point. We should probably just hurry up here. Let me back in the POI, head on to the rooftop. At least we're safe up here, I think. Hello, who's in here? Uh, just a couple here. Nice shoes. I like your shoes there, bud. Okay, and then we might be able to get a our stealth on just a little bit here. Although I don't think they spawn in until you jump down. Okay, a couple woke up and several did not, so we'll use our stealth skills then. Oh, look at the bikers. There's so many. Alright, I'm ready to head down. Ooh, feral. Let's do this, buddy. Show me what you got. Yes. Flawless victory. I'm very glad I have the silencer because there's so many zombies around, I think having the silencer around is going to be good to kind of avoid too much attention. Screamer somewhere. Okay, we're going to have to blow this up at least a little bit. Let's just be careful this time. I don't want to lose the chest. Let's try one at a time. See what that does. Still locked, but... Okay, yeah, we need one more. We are in a hurry now. There we go, it's open. Not too bad, continue moving, there's more loot here. Hello, friends. Oh boy. Um, getting pinned here a little bit. Nope, I think we're good here. Close that, still alive. There we go. Oh, grenades, nice. So. I used, didn't I use two the last time? And that, that unlocked it. And then I, I thought it was still locked. And that, oh, I see. So two would have been plenty for it. All right. Well, you live and you learn. Okay. Oh, wow. And more ammunition and loot. Got that quality six machete there. Okay. Now we got a little bit of a fight. Take care of that guy. Are we good here? We've got the screamer somewhere. We've got a couple of bear. All right, I think we're ready to just get this last bit of loot and move on. Yep, that's it. Let's get out of here. Screamer, where is she? There she is. Did I kill her? I think I did. And I, oh, though the bear is aggroed. Isn't there a box back here? There is. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to get trapped in here. Are we going to be okay or probably not? Yeah, can I can I jump on something for safety <laughs> while I get those grenades that we found? Get back! Get back! Oh, can I can I get on top of this? Okay, and then on top of this, yes, agility. Oh, that was close. Here, have a couple of those, and I'm just gonna can I just jump so I don't damage myself? Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> we could always just leave. I do want the box that's in there, although with the fire raging, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. All right, ride the bear on the on fire. <laughs> yes. Okay, we did it. Oh, yeah, I don't know about this. I'm going to catch myself on fire. Do I have water on me at least? Anybody sneaking up on me? No. I do not have water on me right now. Here, let's just... Come on. Yep. Uh, nope. Not going to work. 
What did you get out of here? Okay, five second rule. Yes. Okay, we did it. Quickly now. Yes. Is this a? Oh, get out of here, man. Are you? No. Oh. Crap. Just a shotgun messiah box here. Open it up. Uh, shotgun messiah book. Targets with full health take 20% more damage. I like that. Okay. Yes. Let's just uh, just sneak out of here somehow. Eee. Oh man, look at the fire in there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I just want to take a little peeky here. Oh, oh my. All the walls were made out of wood. <laughs> this whole place is gonna burn down. Here, grab that fire extinguisher. We'll do a, a service. Put it out, put it out, put it out. Go away. And broken. <laughs> Ever just dropped that. All right. Well, that was fun. What time is it? 1836. Let's see if we can find the trader and then probably call it quits for the day after that. Oh, look at the skull mural right there. See that skull? Yeah, that's what we should have done over there at the uh, at the horde base instead of experimenting with, um, <clears throat> shall we say, different shapes. Oh, got a Mo Power Store there. Oh, that's a quickie too. Let's uh, let's hit that up real fast. See if we can maybe find the um, the door schematic. Yep. Drop it down right here and hello, hello. Don't mind me. Just gonna just quick little raid. Just looking for schematics only here. What we should really be doing is uh, harvesting cars tonight so that we can maybe get another engine. No, I don't really know what the percentage chance is. Whoa, we got a dog horde. A whole bunch of dogs running up here. Whoa, look at them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven at least. And a bear. Just all the more reason to make this quick. Let's just go get, get the main loot if we can and, and get out of here after that. Can I just parkour it, do you think? Yes, okay, up and up. Ow, Ooh. Oh, the birds, man. Come on. Yeah, all I really wants is Mo Power Crate. Ooh, a good large uh, motor tool tank mod. Should be getting even good loot out of little wooden crates like that. Okay, we got a book, but not what we're looking for. Okay, I can see a scenario. Put the cylinder back in, please. <laughs> Interesting way to shoot a gun, I guess, but if it works, it works. Whoa, where'd you come from? I just want to make sure that these dogs are cleared out. What are you doing? He's gonna blow up and catch a bunch of stuff on fire. Look at the dogs over there. Yeah. Guess I'll take the XP. Oh, I aggroed the bear. The bear is on us now. Okay, I think that's all the dogs taken out. The remainder of them are underneath me here somewhere. Um... What are we gonna do? <laughs> I think we just gotta get on the gyro and get out of here as fast as possible. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there's no fire, that's good. Holy a wall! Oh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, what can we do real fast? Okay, so we don't wanna do any air assaults because I wanna basically mostly do all of these tier fights. Let's do the apartments maybe in the next episode. But yeah, we've got the Higashi, I wanna do that. Uh, we've got Deshang. Maybe we'll close things out there. And we've got the apartments there. I definitely want to do that. Man, this city is big. Oh, there's the Poppin' Pills factory over there. I want to do that one too. Oh, look, a loot. Just hanging out right there. Uh, do you guys want to do that? <laughs> I kind of do. <laughs> See what we can do. I'm encumbered and probably all of my guns are unloaded as well. But we're at full health and uh, we're also hungry. So we're going to have a stamina penalty. <laughs> what could go wrong here? And there's probably no way to uh, take off the gyrocopter. Oh, there, there probably actually is. Let's just do this. And I think we'll be okay here. Got like master stealth skills. Yep, we'll be fine. In fact, two zombies up here and a bird, that's it? Is that, that's the best you can do? Oh, maybe not. Oh, <laughs> just a, a rad, that's maybe a little bit worse. There we go. All right, just stash up the inventory. Doing really good on parts today. If we could just get the schematic or something for an SMG, that'd be great. Then we could make one. Oh, ow. Definitely don't need Shamway stuff. What's in here? Machine gunner book. Fully automatic fire is more accurate with each shot fired. I'll take it. We actually do need the food. We're quite hungry. There we go, hobo stew. Oh boy, lots of zombies coming in. Can I just sneak this around and off the edge? Yeah, yeah, this is gonna work. There we go. <laughs> What's next? Uh, you see that diamond there? 
That diamond has a hidden stash in it. I wonder if I could either A, land there, and then, of course, the more in question, the more important question is, can I take off after I do that? See, I've never, I've heard of the secret stash that's in the diamond there, but I've never gotten it myself, so, oops, that, yeah, um, we can do this, yep. Oh, the bird problem, man. If I had a dollar for every time I've said that. <laughs> Fucking birds! All right, here we go. Take these guys out. We should have a clear shot to the diamond. Although, if the developers don't want us nerd pulling, I'm not sure how else you'd be getting up there. But from what I've heard, it's, yeah, right here. I can see it. Yeah, just want to get this so I can say I've done it before. And there's gonna, is, is there a bird coming after me? A friggin' baseball bat schematic, are you kidding me? Where did you all come from? Get out of here. Okay, there should be plenty of runway here. Just gonna back it up gently. Oh crap, whoa, <laughs> zombies coming from somewhere. Nightmare speed now too. All right, what do you think? Does that look like enough runway for us? Let's give it a try. And lift, 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 lift. Oh, just cleared it. Parking garage loot. <laughs> no, I don't think we can carry anymore. Anyway, let's head back to the base. I'll meet you there. All right, everyone, we made it back. And here's a look at the hall for today. Of course, this being the crowning achievement, the quality six machete. Oh, geez, the bow. I <laughs> almost forgot about that. Oh, and there's the ax as well. Very good. So can we do the compound crossbow now? Certainly can. So let's craft that. And that will certainly be better than the quality six wooden bow. In fact, I think we had a um, compound bow there a couple of weeks ago that we found somewhere and I had I was like comparing it back and forth and I forgot that you have to have an arrow and the quality of the arrow that you put into the item actually affects the damage so I don't know why it would be like that because it doesn't compare modded values when you're comparing two items so see it says item does not compare or does not include the modded values but it also it shouldn't include the ammo values either in my opinion but anyway uh we should have had the compound bow all along i i do like the um this uh wooden bow better anyways just kind of like the sound of it's a lot better but that's beside the point let's go ahead and start getting this stuff put away and we'll figure out a plan for the night all right the steel situation is going to be looking a lot better for us real soon there with 307 more rolling in and more cement please Let's head over here. If I stand in just the right spot, it's kind of just like the Undead Legacy uh, series. You have to kind of stand closer to your boxes and you're able to get the materials, you know, registered for the storage broadcasting. Get all that cement mix, uh, concrete mix rolling there and should have all sorts of fuel hanging out in there. Perfect. Oh, there's that M60 and a whole bunch of cobblestone. I'd say despite our setback, we're still looking really good there. Can I even make maybe a better Magnum? I could just make another quality five, just like we had before. We have plenty of handgun parts. We've got the steel, we've got the tape, we've got everything. Let's do it. And just start rolling on those cobblestone shapes. Oh, look at the lock picks. How did I... I don't know where those all came from, but... <laughs> They're definitely going back in the inventory. Did I maybe like take them out of my inventory before the Horde night? And that way uh, we didn't lose them there. Okay, well, fair enough. Not complaining, just didn't realize I had those. And there's the new bow. Oh crap, I just made steel arrows and not um, steel crossbow boats. Crap, I always do that. I made the wrong ammo type. Well, that stinks. <laughs> back into the friggin' forge with you. And more steel arrowheads, please. Okay, so there's the new Magnum again. I can't seem to find a third mod for it, so we'll just settle for the two for now. And the crossbow bolts. Excellent. Here we go. Love it. Well, we had a big setback in the last episode, but I think we're right back on track for this episode. So I'm just going to make some final preparations and organizations for tonight, and we'll be back off into the Wasteland City tomorrow, and we'll also get these doors finally crafted and get those set up onto some switches. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And welcome to the Tier 5 apartment complex that I haven't been in since Alpha 20 dropped, and so this is going to be quite an experience for me, especially with 4x zombies spawning out here in the wasteland. And speaking of which, I just killed that dog there and leveled up. So we're in intellect today, so we're rolling with the stun baton and some other really shitty weapons. <laughs> but um, let's see here. I did have some memory points for agility, so I did go like run and gun parkour and flurry of blows and hopefully that'll prevent us from dying today because I also brought the M60 and we don't have enough machine gun parts to make another one so if we die today and we lose all this crap we are boned so I think we can just head right in here and hope for the best just make sure there's not like a wandering horde coming in or anything like that looks clear all right let's do this oh crap and I was making some more crossbow bolts this morning but I forgot to pick them up out of the workbench but I know that there's usually a cop in- Oh, there he is right there. Cop right there. All right. Test out the new crossbow. Works great. What would you expect? Oh, electrical parts. Yes, we need lots of those because we don't not have enough- We don't have enough electrical parts to make the um, vault doors that we need at the base. So that- Oh, nice. More arrowheads for more crossbow bolts. Yeah, we got to do some like car harvesting or something on the way home today. We might have to do quite a bit of harvesting anyway because um, we'll be able to make more turret ammo. Only brought about a thousand and hopefully enough other materials just to keep us alive today. I got a, so much flack. When, what was that? We were doing like when we were landing on the roof of the Deshong Tower. Uh, there are zombies outside. Let's just open this door and not have that as an obstacle. Yeah, people <laughs> were not happy with me on that episode. I apparently am not allowed to kind of wing it and improvise and, and, and fail but um yeah i i would admit i was being very reckless and uh, i probably do need to take a second to plan a little bit more and make sure that we're um adequately supplied for these big missions so thank you to the commenters for keeping me in check right you know making sure that i'm nice and topped off on oh my goodness lots of dogs yeah <laughs> just drop that down and hopefully they'll run into the field of fire a little bit Oh, not working. Whoa. Did you guys see that? Where did that dog go? All right. Hello, Bubbles. Kind of hoping that... Um, oh, there he is way over there. Kind of hoping that um, Bubbles doesn't wander in from outside because he could probably light the whole building on fire. Could probably light the whole building on fire. In fact, it kind of reminds me, if we find a fire extinguisher here, I'm going to have to put that down on the hot bar because I would really rather not have a prolonged, massive house fire in this apartment while we're here. Okay, sir. Yeah, I was gonna say, surely there's more zombies in here. Why don't you- Whoa, there's a lot of them over there. Here. Come over to this end, and we got more zombies from outside. Okay, drop that down. Only 40 bullets left in it, though. So, while we're waiting, reload. Oh, look, Lois over there. <laughs> Lois lost me. Hello, Lois. Good morning. Yes, exactly what we, what we want here. Just cluster all up so those armor-piercing bullets can penetrate and hurt most more, more than one of you at once. There we go. Whoops. Yeah, look, wait, we got more zombies rolling up from outside. Hello, Cole. Ah, oh no, out of stamina. Oh, you elastic armed motherfucker. Oof, speaking of, oh my god, more of them. Oh, a rad. Hello there. Well, I got a rad remover on this. How do you like that? Okay, we're hurting already. Let's go for a first aid bandage. We do have maxed out physician today, which is awesome. We can use the first aid for really good healing efficiency. Did I just hear a bear? Did that, was that a bear? Yes, that's a bear for sure. I heard him. He's kind of over in that region there. So certainly he's going to try to break in and get to us one way or the other. Can I just parkour over this? Oh, here we, here we yeah. Too easy. All right, here we go. A pipe shotgun. Are you kidding me? I go like weeks and weeks without finding any weapons anywhere. And then you give me a pipe shotgun. Oh, hello. Feel the electricity. Speaking of that, oh yes, so this just breaks right open. Where does this go? Aha, just a little ammo pile. Just some sneaky loot there, no big deal. Probably gonna go face to face with that bear. So I'm gonna just do most of my walking with this out until I find him. Coffee would be nice. Hello, close that. All right, you gotta be careful here because some of the floors fall through and um, you, you fall into like a room that's filled with zombies. Goodbye. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Oh, that's a rad. Uh, on second thought, just get the rad remover out. Still takes it like a champ. Wow. Not that the rad remover is really the best weapon, in my opinion. It, it deactivates rad regeneration, but it doesn't necessarily do more damage to the rads. So, I don't know. Of questionable benefit, I guess. 
I feel like we should maybe, like, go out here and kill zombies. Alternatively, oh, there's zombies coming in from the back, too. I just would like to get up to, like, the third floor so that we don't have to worry about um, the ground level zombies as much anymore. Okay, just go away. Yeah, yeah, I think we're moving in the right direction now. We want to get to where there's, like, a staircase and then maybe knock the staircase out. Okay, good morning, Arlene. Oh, and friends. Man, this thing's fun sometimes. Yes, okay, stay topped off on food and water and I'll take that stamina regeneration and keep the inventory nice and clean, please. Okay, lots, a lot of zombies over there. I think we're just, every time I let a round off in the M60, a bunch more zombies hear it and come wandering in from outside. And of course, they're just gonna keep spawning and running in and yeah, yep. Yeah. We gotta get a move on here. Okay, what is this? This is all suspicious to me. Uh, no, we were just here. Weren't we? No, this is entirely different stuff over here. Okay, yep, use that to my advantage. Working good here. Excellent, and a loot bag. Something good, please? Ooh, good set of chest armor. Excellent. Another loot bag. Not too bad. Another zombie. Oh, look out. <laughs> oh, man, that was, that was a fast death there. Wow, what a mess. I wish the zombies would stick around longer. I wonder, like, how that would affect performance if I changed that so that they didn't despawn so quickly. Okay, I'm gonna swap over that chest armor because that is of immediate benefit. So that's a good find. If anything, I mean, it was worth it just to come and get that today. Whoa, hello, Arlene. Whoa, jumped the gun a little bit. Wouldn't be the first time. Okay, I can't even tell where I've been and where I haven't been because it's like everything looks alike here. It's all quiet though, which is good to hear. Okay, I've been in that way. I, I wanna go up the stairs, which is right over here. And we got a spider coming, so let's just hurry up. Yeah, so so much for knocking up the staircase. It's made out of concrete. I guess we're just gonna have to hope that... Um... Ooh, this is the room actually. This is the one that's like a big false floor, isn't it? And there's probably a fight to be had here as well. So... Just pop that down, and, uh, like, the floor is lava here, so we just run over and jump onto this. Oh, that worked, and there's, uh, I didn't wake anyone up, oddly enough. Are there just, like, no zombies in here? Is that how it is? Or are there definitely zombies in here? Oh, that is a little bit scary there. So, yeah, you just knock that out. Oh, look, I think these are all false frames. Are you kidding me? Holy cow. Oh, my- Who did that? Bubbles or a cop? Damn it, it's a cop. Oh, boy. Yes, oh my! Whoa, where did you come from? Get the fuck out of here, man. And that cop over there is gonna ruin our whole day. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Yes, uh, the building's gonna probably mostly burn down at this point. We don't, is there a fire extinguisher here anywhere? Crap, I don't see one. No, no, no. Did you, oh, that's just gonna make things a lot worse. Oh, geez, all right. We gotta move fast now. Yeah, we're not stopping for hooded sweatshirts. We are moving. Move, move, move and don't get stuck in small, confined spaces. Oh no! Okay, out, out, out we go. Ah, crap. Just get the M60! Whoa! Oh my, this is, this is very not good. Um, can I get out? Yes, I can. Close that fucking door and reload. Feel the fire and let them have it. That was freaking close there. Wow, okay, note to self, do not go into the small rooms. <laughs> Stay in the big rooms. Okay, yes, we're just moving on here. Trying to remember the kind of sequence of things. There's a lot of like ins and outs and around on the balconies and is this the floor that breaks or? Oh, <laughs> nice Arlene. Just face planted the nightstand. Oh, there's a friggin' uh, fire extinguisher over there. Okay, depending on the quality of that, that might be really helpful. Okay, let's just run over here and grab it so I don't accidentally shoot it or something like that. All right, first aid's becoming an issue. That's okay, we've got the uh, bandages and stuff like that. Pick up some of these medical pile stuff, things, and uh, yeah, splint in aloe cream. Aloe cream shouldn't be too bad with the physician perk. You might get like 20 health or something back with that. Right, well, if I had the time and the patience, I think I'd probably take down all these beds for the cloth and stuff like that, but uh, I'm starting to feel lots of frame rate stuttering, so we might have to just kind of suffer through that for a little bit because 
you know, like the whole house is on fire right now. And uh, I'm not making things any better. I was going to kind of backtrack and see if I could maybe put some of it out. But um, at this point, I feel like it's probably just raging just out and in here. Oh, no, not who I want to really fight. Oh, jeez. All right, come on down here, big boy. Oh, it's just, just raining zombies now. <laughs> A lot of them. Oh, boy. Yeah, we can see some fire going on over here. Um, yeah, I think the fire is on the next floor. Oh, no, it's right here. Can I maybe fight this fire? It is a quality six extinguisher. This uh, puts out a five by five radius. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough or not. There's also just a lot of zombies coming right now. Oh, boy. Bah! Bah! Screamer! Whoa! Oh, a burning zombie. No bubbles! You son of a bitch. That is just totally against what I'm trying to do here. Oh, he's doing it again! I think we're fighting a losing battle here. We just gotta press on. Yeah, we'll just save the extinguisher for... <laughs> uh, something else. I don't know, man. Let's just, um... Where the frig am I going now? Lots of burning zombies. That's kind of thematic, right? Fortunately, I don't think that, uh, where I am right now, that, um the zombies can kind of get here from the ground level. Oh, what if there's like a catastrophic collapse because of the fire? Catastrophic collapse. That would be fun, but also I don't really want to see that or experience the frame rate drop when it happens. Okay, I think we're back to where I fell down before and I think this floor probably emptied out with zombies. So, I mean, proceeding cautiously, frame rate's getting bad again. I think the fire is just raging downstairs. Yeah, and the screamers are knocking. Oh, lovely. Jesus Christ game. Trying to kill me. Okay, certainly we've got a fight on our hands here. I can see the zombies already. Okay, set that down. Gather up all the zombies if I can. Um, that, yep, okay, working. Okay, that worked. I might have to do some, like, aggressive cutting here. Wow, there's a fire in this kitchen up here? Are you kidding me? What is going on here? Stop that. Yeah, oh, there's another fire extinguisher. Oh my god. Okay, yes, give me the extra fire extinguisher. Yeah, what I was saying is I might... Oh, weapons bag. I might have to do some aggressive cutting here. If the frame rate gets bad, I'm just going to probably skip over most of that. Oh man, the fire. Ugh. The fire is moving up the building faster than I am, okay? This is not good. Oh my god. Get rid of the fire. Oh my... It's just so bad. It's so aggressive right now. Oh man, I can't breathe from the smoke here. Is this really where you want me to go? Oh, crap. I can hear major collapsing going on inside. Oh, dear. This is where I'm supposed to go, I think. I did bring some frames. We'll just have to see if we can slowly frame our way across. Yeah, not, not going to be able to parkour in this kind of a frame right here. So just slowly picking up the frames behind me until... Yeah, there's, like, there's a bear downstairs. There's, like, so much going on down there. There we go. Just jump across here. Oh, man. <laughs> Is this like like a concrete floor? Is the, is maybe the fire gonna like stop here? I mean that would be that would be really lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Maybe the fire will just burn out eventually if there's like um you know fire breaks here and there made out of concrete, right? I mean, maybe that's just wishful thinking. Okay. Yeah. Stay topped off on first first aid, first health. That's what I almost said there. Uh, is that fire extinguisher? We could just repair that, couldn't we? Yes, we certainly could. In fact, I will. And yeah, repair that. Wait, no, I. I can't repair it because I don't know why, actually. Yep, cough blew up. That's going to help. Okay, get out of here, biker man. Yes, so if I can't repair the fire extinguisher, I have the, the level four here. We could just roll with that for a little while. I don't need a freaking pipe shotgun. Get out of here. Okay, I just took a minor break here to kind of sort the inventory and stuff. And um, yeah. Oh, there's the bear way down there in the basement. This is a, such a mess right now. I the, the frame rate is barely moving. I'm not sure if the base might collapse here any minute. Okay, am I meant to go out this way? Oh, I hate it when the game makes me do this, especially when my FPS is currently at like 26. Major collapsing, major collapsing right now. Oh, it looks like this place already burned down. <laughs> oh, that's just interesting. Oh, ow, oops, walked into the spike traps there. This is not how I wanted to do this. I want this gun. See, this is what I wish the burning did to blocks. Instead of, like, completely destroying them, uh, it just made them burnt and maybe had, like, a random chance of destroying them. 
Major collapsing going on again. You can see the fire kind of spewing out the side of the building over there. The fire is right underneath our level here. You can see the smoke kind of rolling up through the floor. Oh boy. Ah! Oh boy, ow. Yes, just run over here. You can't follow me, can you? Ooh, you, these are acrobatic ones, aren't they? No. Oh man, I'm getting real hurt here. Quickly, get a... <laughs> Wait for it to load quickly. Yes, first aid kit. Oh, I see. They're trying to come in through the, the window here. Well, okay. Ow! Die! Get out of here! Ooh, the fire now. Ooh, there's like... Flaming zombies rolling around too. A whole lot more collapsing going on. Okay, the game wants me to go out here and up the ladder. And it wants me to dump off here, but presumably, couldn't we just go to the top this way? And I think you could do this if you wanted to beat through <laughs> this little tiny piece of cobblestone here. Because this is gonna be 10,000 here. Yeah, they don't want you to go through there. Yep, this is gonna work, I think, except for the major collapsing going on. Not sure if that's affecting structural stability yet or not. Uh-oh. Yeah, whatever I'm doing here is pissing people off. Oh, here they are. Hello, friends. Can I just drop this in, in front of your face? I don't think I can. Oh, now the birds are mad at me, too. Oh, wow. Is this, like, the boss fight at the end or what? Uh, here, take that. I don't want them to be able to walk over to me once they break that block there. Are we doing it? Is this like all the zombies and the whole POI here? Whoops, I just dropped my turret back there. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Should be able to get it back here in just a second. Oh, hello friends. Do not push me off this ladder. How dare you even try that? Okay, are we? Yes, this was the rooftop area. Make sure we're reloaded. This is reloaded. Is there any sort of a power up that I can get here? Yeah, we can get some water for the stamina regen bonus and Oh dear, yes, there are still zombies here. Here, set this up. Defensive field of fire here. Take out the birds. Seems to be working. I think the back area is clear. I'm just gonna hang out here and hope for the best. Ow! Bird! Oh, getting flanked! Yikes! Yes, I'm just gonna run it. Bleeding quite badly. I need my turret again. Here, jump up here. Can I just quickly get a bandage on? Oh, man, I think... We're gonna do okay here. The lag is still really bad. I do apologize for that. Nothing I can do, okay? <laughs> this building was destined to go, to get set on fire, and uh, there's probably just like a thousand screamer zombies down at the bottom now. But there's a, oh, look at the structural stability problems. Yes, this place might collapse at any minute. Let's try to get the, the loot here. Isn't it in here? Where is the loot now? It's right here, okay. We've got birds, but I think we're clear to loot up. Major collapsing is going on. Quickly, get this thing open. Go, oh boy. Yes. Okay. Get out of here, Bo. I'm trying to loot up. Okay. At least we'll get this. Ooh, that was a that's a good sledgehammer there. Uh, just freaking read these things and start ditching some of the stuff I don't need. Just read the freaking schematics for now. Don't really need motor oil. Whoa, we're getting more collapsing. Oh, it's kind of bad here. More first aid, some food. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I don't think I need the food, guys. Oh my God, more stuff is falling apart. The bird like right behind me. Okay, I'll take the extra frames there. One more box to search. Okay, ooh, good ratchet. Supercharger mod schematic. I do want that ratchet. Get rid of the aloe cream, I guess. Yeah, we need that cloth. And otherwise, oh my God, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, oh man. Get out of here. Oh crap, oh boy. Come on, birds. Oh, look at the frame rate when I try to look down because of the fire. Oh man, look at that. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, look up, look at the sky because I get better frames when I look at the sky. Okay, so what's what's the way to get down from here? Do I just wanna like parkour my way down? Did I have any skill points? I do. I could take one more into parkour. That means never get a broken leg. I have another point too, so run and gun. I guess we'll take that. Uh, maybe the stairwell is okay. I, I don't really think the stairwell is okay. Let's, let's We gotta just dive off the side of the building, I think. Yeah, the fire is like right below us. It is crawling up the building here. Well, the gyrocopter is on this side. I think we'll be able to make it if we just kind of scale down on the balconies like this. Oh, if things are just breaking off as I land on them. The, the weight of my, my body weight is just kind of like tipping it over the, the edge there. And yep, 
we made it to the ground level. I'm scared to turn around though. Oh, look at the screamers. Okay, I killed that one. Look at the fire raging in there. Oh my goodness. And I'm honestly almost out of ammo here. So I wonder maybe, can I get on top of this truck here? Hey, no, no, I cannot. I can get on top of this bus station here. Yep, jump up here, jump up there, please. Uh, I can't jump up there, crap. Uh, yes, onto the shopping cart and up. And there we go. Oh, crap. Oh, no, a bird. Where are you even coming from? Stop that. Yep, okay, screamers are screaming now. We got zombie bears coming in. That's kind of a, a new addition to my mod, I think. Also, rads, also just tons and tons of zombies. I wanted to take a look at the building. Maybe I'll be able to get some when I do like the cinematic stuff a little bit later on, but for now, I think just surviving is, uh, is the most prudent choice. So if y'all could please get away from the fucking gyrocopter, that'd be lovely. Oh no, 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 no. This is not good. We gotta get them cleared out. All right, set that down up on top of this thing, whatever it is. Oh man, I don't know if I can draw them off here or not. That and the gyrocopter is suddenly like very much, where's my bombs? Uh, very much pointed in the wrong direction. Um, give me a first aid kit going. Oh boy, here, into the gyro and just get it backed into the right position, more or less, and light some bombs for him. There's so much lag that the zombies like can't even move right now. It kind of works out to our advantage. Okay, back to the gyrocopter. Gonna try this again. Swing it around. No. Crash. Oh no. Back it up. Back it up. Cover me, junkie. Let's go. Let's go. Not working. Not working at all. <laughs> oh, we gotta try this again. And I'm freaking. My leg is sprained. My arm is sprained. Oh boy. This is not going well. I don't know if we can get out of here or not. And that's it for the pipe bombs. And we don't really have any 762. So we're out of it, out of guns basically. No more firearm options. Can we try one more time? Oh no, no, no. Just get out and run over here. Yep, there goes that. Hmm. Yeah, this is not looking very good. Okay. The only thing I can, th I can think of is to just do a lap around the building and see if maybe I can like um, bring them over this way, clear out the area around the gyrocopter. Oh, the fire too, <laughs> still raging. Okay, we're coming back around and there's a bear right over the gyrocopter. Guys, we might have to just walk home at this point. Yeah, with, with nightfall approaching and the bear in that position there, I don't know what to do, man. Okay, reload that. Gotta draw that bear off. Oh, that hurt. Here, jump onto this temporary reprieve up here and get a first aid kit onto me. One more lap around the building, maybe. Okay, they're coming this way. At least the bear is over this way now. Catch my breath on top of the ambulance. In fact, check the ambulance to see if there's anything good in here. Like a steroid. Oh, yes! That helps so much. I think that gives me extra run speed, but also disables the effect of my sprained leg. Oh, hello. All right. This is it. It's now or never. Come on. Into the gyrocopter. Just carefully swing this thing around. We've got it. We are in the air, my friends. Yes. Oh my god. What a fiasco this was. You can see through the windows there that there is just nothing left inside. This is just a shell of a building now. Many parts of the rooftop have collapsed especially in the central portions where there's just no more structural stability. We should get a good look in here. Oh my goodness, there's just barely anything left. Some of the floors, it appears, were made out of wood and so the fire was able to ascend all the way to the rooftop. Oh man, that is gonna have to do it, I think. Well, while we have some time left in the day though, we might as well uh, see if we can find the trader. Where is it? It's, uh, is it trader? Trader Joel. He should be around here somewhere. Oh, I see him. He's right there. Right, so I just want to say hi to Joel and watch out for the birds because I don't really have any bullets anymore. Come on, big boy. Give it up. Asshole. Oh, thank you. Worth the wait. Almost, maybe. Right. I, my, my loot is like a little bit crazy right now, so put some stuff away. Hello, birds. Oh, <laughs> you fainting son of a bitch. Whoa, we've got four birds here. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, I don't have anything to wait. What what's today? Today is day forty-five. But I think I think that means tomorrow is Trader Day, right? Uh, yes, forty-six. So I was thinking I could just check his inventory, see if there's anything good, and then you know we'd come back tomorrow and do the big sell-off because we'll have memory points tomorrow, so we can put some of those memory points into better barter. But you know it's not really going to make any difference because he's going to have an entirely new inventory. But at least we've met him. We know where he is, and I'm just out of here, man. Oh, and since we, we got a long way to fly and I've got nothing better to talk about, I've been doing some community votes on the community tab. So if you're watching right now and you haven't seen the votes come up for like who would win in a zombie fight, head over to my community tab and check out some of the votes that we're doing. So far, I think we've done like Screamer Horde versus Dog Horde. And then we also did Zombie Biker versus Feral White. And I'm using Mid Journey, which is an AI image generation program. And you might have seen some stuff like this on the news or on Twitter or things like that. But I've been using them to generate pictures of zombies that we're familiar with from the game. And then I'm going to pit them like 1v1 in a vote so that you all can like kind of decide on who you think would win. So I'm going to see if I can come up with some cool matchups uh, with these like really, really cool um, AI generated basically 3D pictures of zombies. I think they're really cool. And I think it'll be a really fun way for us to kind of interact. So go ahead and check that out. I got a whole bunch more planned. I, I literally have a folder like full of all the zombies. And so I'll be posting them basically on like the off days. If I'm not posting a video, I'll post some sort of like a vote or something like that. Also a little bit of a public service announcement. Um, so today is Saturday for you guys. Oh, so by the way, happy Thanksgiving for those of you who celebrate that. And if not, then I hope you're having a great week and a great weekend. Um, on Thursday, so a couple of days ago for you guys when you're watching this video now, I posted a video on the problems that 7 Days to Die has, and I'm going to link that in the description. It's like uh, a video kind of going over negative reviews on Steam, and I tried to make it lighthearted and funny, but also kind of pointing out some of the problems that 7 Days to Die face. It's by no means like just me flaming on 7 Days to Die like some people like to do. I'm trying to be constructive with it, and I think it's worth your time to watch, so go ahead and check that out when you're done with this video as well. And we really need to kind of decide on uh, if we're going to build a gyrocopter landing pad up there and, and just pull the trigger on that. Maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow. <laughs> Tell you what, man. It's nice to have my frame right back, even though it's kind of still stuttery. I might need to log out and see if that helps. Aha, there's those crossbow bolts. Oh, by the way, got to get the stuff out of the gyrocopter and see what we got today. So grab and stash. Such a convenient system there. Whoops, I forgot to... Uh set my lock slots again so everything's gonna be all disorganized again all right so we got a nice ratchet we got a nice steel sledgehammer and we did get a nice set of chest armor so overall definitely worth it oh slightly better steel shovel as well let's check i think didn't we lose did we lose the sledgehammer when we were fighting the horde there no we lost the club so put that club over there uh compare these quality five spears here the new one is better. So give me the old one. We'll sell that. And a quality six ratchet. I'm going to put that in the toolbox just in case we uh, die and lose the impact driver. We'll still have a good tool. Oh, and on second thought, is this going to be better? Yeah, quality six is better. So we'll use that on strength day and we can just sell all three of those and open this up for 10 gumbo stews. And I'm hungry anyway, so we'll celebrate our success today with one of those and a bandage, which... Uh, Probably? No, it's not going to help the abrasion. That's already treated. Well, just like that, we're good as new. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention, I installed two new mods. The first one is the hide the wires mod, except for like trip wires and electric fence wires. So we have no more wire problems up here. Everything should be hidden. And the second one was the, the automatic turn off for the forges. And so these will just kind of shut down when they either run out of stuff to smelt or they stop producing stuff. Those were mods that were featured on my top 20 quality of life mod uh, video there. So they, you should be familiar with those if you watch those, that video. And hopefully I'll re remember to put the links to that down in the description so that you can download those if you'd like. Yes, powered vault door number three. And I can, yes, we did get enough electrical parts after all to do that. So how about one here and one here? Holy cobblestone cubes. All right, so we'll do one of these at a time, I suppose. And yeah, let's just knock this out. I'll keep this one open for now, just because, you know, zombies need a way to be able to path up here. Oh, look, the forge just burned out and uh, we're good. We're all set on iron there. Well, still four minutes left on that stuff there. So let's grab up those cobblestone cubes and our project for the remainder of the night then will just be to um, set these in where the wall is down here. 
Oh, geez. Hopefully a horde doesn't come by. But yeah, we want to kind of dress up the wall here all the way down. Yeah, I do hear an awful lot of footsteps. And the camera is seeing something up here. I think I spoke of the devil and the devil friggin' appeared. So let me on up here. Oh, yes. Lots of zombies. Oh, they don't seemingly notice me, though. Okay, lights out because they can detect that. These are awake zombies, and so they do see light. Sleepy zombies, I don't think they see light, though. Okay, where'd they all go? They're all just running off over there. Oh, many, many zombies over there. Okay, set this up. We'll have a bit of a fight right straight out here. Lock and load, and let him have it. Fire at will, Junkie. Let them all have it. And reload. Oh, getting flanked. Yikes. A little bit of lag stuttering here. Not sure what that's all about. Probably the apartment still burning up. Whoa, what a massacre here. Look at that. Oh, boy. No, no, no. Got one loot bag. Oh, NBGs. Nice. Oh, there's another loot bag. I see. Nice. Okay, I made some good progress. There's still so much more left to go, though. And we still have to clear up the bottom there and make sure that the zombies have a good pathway going up. There was a comment, like, weeks and weeks ago that someone said that uh, a lot of people, when they watch a YouTuber, they'll try to recreate their base and kind of... Sometimes they drop some hints and spoilers along the way. <laughs> but someone said that they built this exact style of pit and that uh, bears cannot get up out of there. So that's kind of not good, but... It is what it is at this point. There's nothing, well, other than making like a double wide staircase going all the way up. Otherwise, there's really not much I can do about that. But otherwise, it is first thing in the morning here and we should have both of these doors finally done. And I can finally, finally, finally show you guys what to do here. And if you want to do this yourselves, I mean, it's not like overly complicated, but it's a really cool trick. Okay, so you just hold R, you select on face. And this is the way it has to go right here. It has to be this way. If you do it this way, zombies can path on that like thick border on the outside. So you can't do it that way. It has to be this way. And you can see the hinges there in the middle. If you do it this way, it'll open up kind of downward. So the, the zombies kind of have to jump down to get to it. So I'm sure there's a use for that, but not here, not right now. Just like that. And uh, yes. Oh, so by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, but... Um, I actually did a community post about a week ago. The Fun Pimps in Alpha 21, they're going to do the mod that we have active right now. That's going to be vanilla. You'll only be able to see the wires when the wire tool is out. So you can anticipate this being a vanilla feature st starting very soon. I mean, I'm anticipating Alpha 21 coming out uh, by the Steam Winter Sale, which would be like end of December. If not, then probably in... Um, late winter I would say. Here let's put the switch in here since we're not going to see the wire anymore. I'm not too worried about it and we'll just connect that up. Oh I'm so glad I can't see the wires anymore. It is just such a quality of life fix. Excellent. Very nice. Okay this one can default to off. Okay so we're all good here. I do have some extra steel though so let me grab up some of that. I have 339, which is quite a lot, and see if maybe we can uh, get some of like the, the main structural components here fixed up. Oh, the other thing I have to do is, uh, oh crap, we gotta do the, the forgetting elixir, I almost forgot about that. Right, get it in me, and we're over to perception days. Grab up all that stuff, get it modified at least a little bit, spend up those skill points, and there's look at how it all shook out. Of course, full into perception and some into better barter, one into advanced engineering. And yeah, just definitely wanna get uh, a lot of these things fixed up and then get this upgraded to steel and then also get everything on zombie height down here upgraded to steel. And the biggest danger probably is if like a demo goes off here. If a demo goes off here, it's gonna mess a lot of stuff up. So maybe just kind of embed that this pole right here in and that will help with the stability. Oh, and we're out of steel just like that. Oh man, we still gotta upgrade this whole thing. When's the horde anyway? It's in like three days which means we will get a strength day in. So strength day, it's just about the iron. That's, that's all we can do on strength day is just mine iron all day long. For now though, I think I'm gonna head back into the pit and still continue working on this wall. And then we have to head over to the trader after that. There's another horde coming down here. What the hell guys? Oh my God, another terrible view of Big Mama. 
There's no way you guys are just ambient zombies. Where the hell's all your friends? Ooh, one shot kill. No, I don't hear anyone else, so whatever. Seal that in. And yeah, we are 100% down here, except for this mess down here. So let's just rip through this real fast. I think that was it there. We just gotta plug in all the holes now. And we got five blocks left, which probably is gonna be perfect here. So we're gonna put the staircase in there. And then all we need to do is put something here on this edge to block this corner so that zombies don't think that they can kind of get stuck here and all that stuff. So we just need a block that zombies don't think that they can jump on. Let's just experiment with the one that we're using upstairs on the main ramp there and just do something like this and that and that and that. And I think that will be good. Just get these upgraded fully. Wow, it's really cool. Yeah, the only real risk to these portions here is our explosions from cops and demos and stuff like that. <laughs> Not really stuff like that, just that. Yeah, these are all, like, some of these are just, like, incrementally damaged from, I don't know, cop vomit, maybe? Who the hell knows? Okay, I think I need to head into town now and do some selling at the trader so we can get some money, and then we can finally get that bonus back where if we have 5,000 dukes in our pocket, we don't take any damage when falling from 15 meters or less, which is a good one to have. Prevents a lot of sprained legs. Just gotta get organized a little bit. Wow, after that little extravaganza there at the apartment complex, I'm suddenly really low on 762, down to like three and a half stacks maybe? All right, and with that, I think we're ready to grab this stuff. Just barely fits into the inventory. Oh, another airdrop coming in. Please drop something in the wasteland. Where is it gonna be? It is gonna be... Oh man, I have like airdrops marked all over the place. Oh, it's uh, there's one there, but I think that's the one that's been there. I think it is that one. I think we've just got several to get into the in the wasteland there. And then once I get them all, I'll clear them all off the map. Okay, well, I can envision a scenario where we need all of those extra parts. So with that, I do think I've collected everything. I'm gonna take some ammo with me to sell some of the shotgun rounds. Don't we have two shotgun turrets that we got in a bundle somewhere? Yes, we do. Two shotgun turrets. We should probably see if we can set those up somewhere. Where would be a good place to set up shotgun turrets? Uh, yeah, we always have the option of kind of having them up here somewhere to kind of point down. Of course, they will kind of damage things, so I wouldn't want to put them over in this area here. Oh, you know what? We could put them like right, right there, like on top of where that block is right there, and kind of like point them down to shoot at zombies as they're kind of like running around over here. That could work. We could put them even on like little, um, little platforms like the lights are. That is probably the best idea I have. So the gyrocopter is packed up with a lot of stuff, so let's just head over to Joel. Say hi and do a big sell-off. Oh, before we go though, we've got to pick up all the crap that was in those airdrops. Yes, yes, we should have like three airdrops right now. My goodness. And we've got to figure out how to land. Oh, I didn't think this through. I should have done this on the motorcycle or something. That's as good a spot as any there. Oh, ooh, wow. 500 steel cubes? Okay. I have to think about what I can do with those. Whoa, landmine. Hurting a bear over there. Okay, what, what can we do here in terms of takeoff? I don't, oh, I see a good runway right here. This should work. And we're off. Should be two more. We've got the one over there from today and another one over here, which is, oh, actually right close to the road. Perfect. Yeah, honestly, if we're gonna do a big mission again in the future, I'm just gonna walk it for both of these. Then it probably would be best to, what is that military armor bundle? Okay, we'll grab that in a second. Yeah, it'd probably be best to bring the the motorcycle with us, hop out of the gyrocopter, park the gyrocopter off-site somewhere, take the motorcycle in, and take the motorcycle back out, because I don't want to have a big issue like we had there a second ago, whoa, where we weren't able to take off. That was almost really, really, that was really, really bad. It just could have been a lot worse. All right, catch my breath here, open up that bundle, and just quality three, which is okay. We can store that in case we get hurt at some point or die at some point and lose all of our armor. So there. Oh my goodness, stupid spears. Yeah. Oh my God. You asshole. <laughs> Am I just bad at this? Is this just me or what? Oh, that, that did it, didn't it? That's gonna bring in a lot of attention. Up here, please. Rubble of safety. Not very safe though, apparently. All right. Cop, look out. Yep, full auto time. Don't shoot the, uh, whoa. Uh oh, look out. Yeah, don't, don't shoot that though. I would imagine that's probably flammable too here. Just grab this real fast. 
Steel armor bundle, interesting. That'll help us out in strength day and fortitude day. Be able to do the proper, uh, what's it called? Where's the uh, gyrocopter? Gyrocopter's down there. Do the proper um, invincible brawler build. Uh, every once in a while, just shoot a zombie, turn on my um, super sprinting skills where the armor doesn't weigh me down when I'm in combat for 20 seconds. Doesn't help me on the stamina department though. Suddenly very thirsty. I didn't really bring any drinks with me either, except for a whole bunch of beer that I'm going to sell to Joel. You just find so much beer. I think it's usually like, isn't it loot bags where you find? Well, you find beer everywhere anyway, but I think you get a lot out of loot bags. So like, especially on Horde Night, you find a lot of beer. You know, when I was doing that negative reviews video, a lot of people complain about the loot that you get during Horde Night and how it's not uh, worth it to expend so much ammunition. And I guess... You know, that's true to some degree, because if you play, like, beyond day 70, it's all about the ammo grind, basically, to keep up with Horde Knight. But at the same time, if they put all kinds of good loot, like, you're just, like, pulling tier 6 gear left and right out of it, I mean, you wouldn't really have that much incentive to go, like, looting in POIs, which is kind of what they want you to do. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't really think that the Horde Knight loot needs to be terribly OP. I just think that if they made it so that the loot bags didn't despawn so quickly and maybe you get like a slightly higher probability to get a loot bag, that way you can get a little bit more more of your ammo back at the end of the Horde Night. That's kind of the only thing I'd like to see change there. And reportedly they're kind of overhauling the whole looting system again, kind of like they, they I think they overhauled it for Alpha 19 and I think they're going to overhaul it again here for Alpha 21 because they have to overhaul the loot to include all of the magazines for the new progression system. Ooh, hey, and Red Mesa right there. Didn't see that before. That's a fun one. Always a good one, especially if you just want to kind of gank the loot because you can break right into that bunker there pretty easily. And, um, you know, if I'm being honest, <laughs> today's the day to do it. We've got the... Well, we don't have the auger. That would be helpful. But, um, yeah, we have the lucky looter skills and it's the wasteland, so I might have to stop by there on the way back. I'm also going to swing by the apartment there and just take a peek. Oh, Bubbles, yeah, we definitely don't want you around here. You can set his whole compound on fire. Go away. Oh, looks like zombies have already kind of broken their way in there a little bit. Bird coming in here somewhere. Where'd he go? Ah! Finally got a throwing spear hit. Ooh, real quick, though. What do you got back here? Oh, just a casual pair of Quality 6 leg armor which I'm gonna put on right now. Yeah, better armor, but less explosion resistance, which, yeah, whatever. I just like saying that I have quality six leg armor. Look, I can sell these cubes for 20,000 dukes. I'm gonna do it. Yep, screw it. <laughs> I don't need those steel cubes. If you misplace one, you're done for. It's, you're gonna have to waste like 30 seconds trying to grind it out. Okay, let's get the rest of it. Oh man, I was just out here and there were no zombies. Now I got three more to deal with. You assholes, get the hell out of here. Oh, my thirst is uh, giving me fits here. Uh, and that's not loaded. Ow! Nothing's loaded, as usual, right? Okay, so there's our set of backup military armor that we can put on if we die later. We're definitely keeping that. The rest of this crap we can just sell. Hello. Yep, they're in. Guess we're gonna have to defend after all. Get the fuck out of here. Real quick, Joel, do you have anything good to buy? Yeah, really not at all. He has a couple of books. I'll take those. And fingers crossed, these are the last. Nope. In the series? Nope. Crap. All right. Moving right along here. Oh, this is going to be messy. Yeah. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, let's go check on the apartments real quick. Oh, yeah, I was just thinking there might be some loot bags here, and I can see a couple already. Just nice and soft. Plenty of room to take off here. I wish there was a quieter way to do it, but uh, we've got to use the guns here to clear this area out. Whoa! Nice one-shot kill. Check the loot up. I'm surprised I haven't had more luck with the books this, this time around. Probably because I, I don't know, am I not looting enough or something? All right, we'll just kind of head up here and whoa, man, look at this place. Wow. Yeah, and see over here, this is the section where the wood or the concrete floor kind of gave way to a wooden floor and then it just went right up to the top. <laughs> hovering vending machines and everything here. Well, I'm glad we came back to take a quick peek, but I think it's time to probably just get out of here and call this place good for good, right? Call it good for good. Uh-oh. 
Getting hit by a bird, of course. You guys are the bane of my existence. Spears are a close second. Yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd kind of pick around here for a few minutes, but we're really not pulling anything good out of here. I think we're kind of wasting time. Not that I'm in a hurry to get anything done. Ooh, Feral White. No, no, no. No thanks. Well, if you're just going to stand there. Ooh, come on. There we go. To cool 2000 XP for that. All right, up we go, and let's just kind of scout the area and see what we have left to kind of take down. Definitely. Okay, we got Deshong. That's kind of like a two-day thing. We'll have to, like, bring a forgetting elixir with us and everything. Unless we just want to, like, kind of speed run it. Also, we've got the Higashi. That's a fun one to do. Can't wait to do that. I really like that place. And somewhere here, there's the Poppin' Pills factory. Yep, yep, yep. There it is. It's right straight ahead. Right there. So that's three big tier fives left to do. I think for now, though, what I want to do is just head back to the base, and I'm probably just going to call it, and I'm going to start brainstorming like how we could put together some sort of a gyrocopter landing pad on the rooftop and then see if I can get the shotgun turret situation sorted out. Otherwise, it should be a pretty chill day back at the base. So we could just relax, refit, refuel, recharge, and we'd be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Oh crap. Yeah, we definitely need a gyrocopter landing pad. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. It's kind of weird to say good evening <laughs> for once, right? Well, yep, it is 20 hundred hours right now, and we've had a very productive and busy day here. Let's check on the forge. We're smelting in a bunch of iron. I think I got uh, around about eight stacks or so of iron this morning, and then we went out and we harvested a ton of cars because I had some memory points here to put into salvage operations. Got that fully maxed out, and we needed a bunch of engines. I think we're going to need two generators. I hooked up some shotgun turrets last night. I'll go show you that in just a second, but I wanted to show you what we hauled out of all those cars and stuff that we just broke down plenty of engines but check this out some quality six steel tools right there which is excellent great find there also a mining helmet which is light armor i wonder how that compares to say like the military helmet that we've been using which is that one right there 
Oh, the mining helmet's far better, actually. And it will give us more mod slots as well. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> We've seriously been using this padded hood and I didn't even notice it? Oh my god. <laughs> well, good thing I found that and corrected this massive error here. Um, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm still doing the heavy armor thing right now because we're on strength day and, you know, it's just, it's better to do it when you can have all of those points dropped into it. So, uh, let's not go with the cowboy hat. How about that? We will just roll with the plain Jane, uh, whoops. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, I almost scrapped that. Jeez. Didn't I? Or did I almost repair it? I don't know what button I pressed there. I think I pressed repair because I don't think you can actually scrap it with a mod on it, but I still panicked. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to get myself sorted out here. Put the freaking red dye on it and wear it and see how it looks. Yeah, terrible, but <laughs> whatever. It'll look better when we get the light armor back on. Oh, and the one thing I wanted to do today while we're still on strength today is hopefully get some more forged steel. Yeah, plenty of forged steel out of here. I want to make the shotgun. I had a double barrel shotgun and that's all we had and I scrapped it and I should have gotten all the shotgun parts that I need. We needed 15 to get the quality 5 pump shotgun so that should set us up nicely right there. I don't even think I can make the auto shotgun. I don't prefer it anyway but it's pretty undeniably better. It would require more shotgun parts too and more steel. Anyway, so while we're waiting on that steel, what else did we craft? We crafted a bunch of 762, still rolling on it in fact. I finally got the signs set up so that we can kind of remind ourselves what to do on each day. Oh, and speaking of supercharger, I think I do have the radiator I was missing, don't I? Oh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of them. They're right in here. So you just broadcast that for a second and get me... I'd like one for the motorcycle and one for the gyrocopter, please. Just quickly get my tools switched back over to the quality six new ones and see if I just have any other mods I can put on them. They're not going to make a whole lot of sense at this point, but uh, that little 10% boost to base damage uh, is always helpful. Look at that, just popped a whole bunch of new mods onto that mining helmet. Okay, so what I was working on last night is I got a gyrocopter landing pad done. I haven't tested it out yet though. I think this would work, right? It's very low profile. I thought maybe I would uh, make it out of these security gates because um, the shotgun turrets or the SMG turrets can see and also shoot through them without damaging it or without this obstructing their view at all. So if there's vultures uh, flying around, it still should be able to shoot through that. Uh, easy access, no railings because I don't want to get hung up on them. So let's do a little bit of a test flight and see if that's even going to work. Oh, that reminds me. Whoops. I also got some um, spotlights out here on the front, which are, which are shining up on the base. And if we have the materials now, I will craft uh, at least, I would say, four more to kind of get like a 360 illumination of the base. But let's give this landing a test run while we still have some visibility. Oh, it's not going so well already. Okay, just ease it up there. And yep, yeah, not a good approach there. Let's try that again. Yeah, I've never made a landing pad this narrow before, so I'm not sure how comfortable this is going to be to land and take off from. But looking good here so far. And just bail out. Drop it right in the middle. Should be fine. And let's see how taking off feels. Who are you shooting at? Shooting at Mo? Is that you, Mo? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, that shouldn't be any problem at all. It has really, like, it requires only a very short runway if you're elevated. So that works really well. I like it. It might get a little bit tricky when you're taking a sort of angled approach to it. But, um, oh boy. Yes! How's that? Perfect, actually. Nice. Okay, let's get that solidified. Definitely want that to be made out of at least cobblestone. Because if a, a zombie... Or not a zombie, like a vulture bird... <laughs> vulture bird. <laughs> what am I trying to say? A radiated vulture... If one of those swings by and spits some puke at it and catches it on fire, that would just be a complete waste. And we're actually, like, pretty much out of wood. So, uh, and we don't have a chainsaw, do we? Can I make a chainsaw? I sort of can. I need more steel and a, and a bicycle handlebar, of all things. Okay, bicycle handlebar. And, yeah, today's the day to do it, too, because it's strength day. And I should have steel rolling in here. So that I can get the chainsaw in just 17 seconds, I guess. Well, in the meantime, I'll work on the superchargers. And just like that, we're fully modded here on the motorcycle. That's pretty cool. All right, chainsaw it up for me. Nice. Oh, got a pack of gunpowder here. And that will help me make more 762. Kind of the question is, though, do I want to get some AP 762? I have a little bit of it. That's what I like to use in the rifle more so than, like, the M60. Yeah, yeah. Let's just do uh, regular then. All right, there's our pump shotgun crafting. And in a second, the 
chainsaw will be done and we'll just put the mods from like the axe onto it temporarily get like a motor tool tank mod and that'll be good so up here on the front of the base i put the shotgun turrets and i hooked them onto the power lines that uh, control the blade traps for now but i'm gonna rewire that i had a uh, i thought about it for a little bit and i don't want uh, a situation where they're not uh, both on basically because two shotgun or one shotgun turret can pretty much last almost the whole night without expending all of its ammo. So I wouldn't want to use like one for half the night and then the other for the other half the night. Let's just run both of them all night long. We've got plenty of ammo for it. And these, I wanted to kind of experiment and see if I could just put this railing here to protect them. I don't see a scenario where a zombie might jump up on top of this and then start hitting down. That would be kind of weird. I mean, zombies are pretty weird though, so. I guess I wouldn't be surprised, but um, I don't think that that's what's going to happen. And then what's the horde? Oh, shoot. The horde's tomorrow. <laughs> Great. Well, um, hopefully we'll have enough steel then it, by then to uh, at least upgrade this one position here. And then we'll make sure that the most critical components of that one are upgraded and that the hatches are fully upgraded. And uh, we should be good to go from there. Make sure a couple of these extra blocks are done. And uh, I did, at some point, I thought maybe... Let me just uh, go over here real quick so I can get uh, frame shapes. Just craft me another 10 of those or so. Yes. What if there was a way to connect, like, th whatever we're calling this, the, the causeway, I guess, to the base right where the doors are? Because the doors, they don't have, like, structural stability. But presumably, I could put a block there that does have structural stability. What? What one do I want here? I want like this this one right here, the 0 0.025 meter pole or pillar or whatever that said. And if I put that right there and there, I think that technically connects this thing to the base and zombies, although they can walk on this type of a block, they can't walk on the, the corner one. They can only walk on the centered one. So the zombies won't see that as a path to um, to like walk over to us. Um, hmm, I'm trying to envision, like, what this is going to look like. I think I have to put it on this side here, kind of like this, and then I'd have to go one more as well to connect it over. I just kind of feel like if I did this here, that, um, zombies, when I close the door, some of them would just kind of, like, accidentally be standing here, and they wouldn't drop off in a, in a timely manner. I don't know. I'm gonna, um solidify that in a little bit and we're gonna see how it performs at least just gives us like a little bit of added stability here and this just looks awful here so we got to do something some sort of like a an archway or some sort of a support pillar or something okay does that <laughs> jeez it doesn't look as good as i had hoped kind of no 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 i don't think so not not this way it's got to be a better way oh whoa that is a long way down there <laughs> don't fall. Yeah, I believe the solution lies in the incline block. So that would flush it up on that end with a wedge tip. And that would look good there. And then what do I have to do here? Oh, this is the part where I need the wedge tips. Wedge tip like so. Like that. And that. And that's going to have to do it. <laughs> Spend enough time on that project. Right, what are we working on here? We have the shotgun. We also have the chainsaw. So bring the chainsaw down and just find me a couple of mods to put on the shotgun here. <laughs> silencer on the pump shotgun? Sure. Well, I at least want to see what it looks like. Looks terrible. Why Why do they do this with all the silencers, man? I'll never understand that. What? Why that appeals to them so much. All these, like, homemade rustic freaking oil filtered silencers and crap like that. I gotta find a mod that replaces all the silencers with real silencers. Anyway, we're on a wood gathering project tonight. So for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna go chop down some trees. Whoa, just got ambushed in the trees here. Yikes. Hello. Oh, this... I am not getting any hits in at all with this thing. Wow. And good morning. Oh, jeez. Freaking bear right there. Did not see him earlier. All right. Uh, is that going to be enough wood? 3,000 or so? Yeah, that's plenty. 
kind of mostly chopping these down because I think trees contribute to lag quite a bit, so <laughs> might as well clear these out, help out with the performance. We need every frame that we can get, especially with all the lighting that we're going to be having around the base. Ah! Damn, nurse! Holy cow, get out of here. Oh, somebody gave me an infection too, damn it. Kind of running low on antibiotics too. We got plenty of honey though. How are we looking on darts anyway? Really not too bad. Probably could afford to get some more though. Let's just get like 300 more and follow that up with a bunch more steel. Top off the forge. We're getting elixir in. Spend all the skill points. Check that out. I got full fortitude with full heavy armor, almost full pack fuel, and full sexy T-Rex. And goodbye, pump shotgun. I barely knew ya. All right, I pretty much got myself all organized. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to take with me for today because we're going to be heading into another tier five mission. I will, I'll just upgrade this tonight when I'm not doing anything better. And uh, we'll look at getting the shotgun turrets rewired, maybe getting some more spotlights set up. That, those are all kind of nighttime projects. But for now, let's hop in here and head over to the Poppin' Pills factory. All right, we're in. So I think if I park over here, that should be enough in case this place gets just swamped with zombies like we did over at the apartments the other day. All right, just make sure we are locked and loaded. I think we're as good as we're ever gonna be. So this should probably be the real test here. I, I would imagine we're gonna start seeing like the special zombies, like maybe demos at the, the main boss fight, kind of stuff like that. Eat that. Ooh. <laughs> That went in a very inappropriate place, didn't it? Oh, speaking of inappropriate, that uh, top 10 survival games coming to 2023 video, that got flagged by YouTube and it got an age restriction. So I actually got a strike on my channel for that, which is a wicked bummer. So I had to like re-upload it, but man, it was getting, it got like 50K views in one day. It was like, it was gonna be definitely the best video I've ever made. And then all of a sudden got hit with that age restriction because of excessive violence, it said. Which is surprising because all of the um, video that I used in that video was actually from other YouTube videos, like official gameplay trailers. So I have no idea why all of a sudden... Oh boy, <laughs> we're getting some fires in here now. Not sure that rads are the ones that I really want to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with here. Well, give it a try anyway. It seems to be going okay. Oh, got a snake over here. <laughs> and I get the M60 out for the snake. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta remember the beer. Yep, so anyway, big learning experience. I, I'm sure I missed out on a lot, a lot, lot, lot of, you know, channel attention and and, and money. And yeah, it was just, that whole video turned into a disaster. Not only that, but I gotta be super careful now that I don't get two more strikes here in the next three months. Oh, there's a demo right there. Do you see that? Ah, look out. Demo, well, I don't know what he's doing or where he is, but uh, I hear him and I see some fire in here. I'm kind of, I think it's the couches that are on fire. Yeah, yeah. Can I get in here without catching on fire? Looks good. Oh, he caught on fire though. Okay, take him down. And yeah, give me a beer just cause you know, it helps with like uh, not getting stunned and stuff. And can I just set him up? Ooh, nice. Wouldn't mind just setting off the button if I could. Hello? There we go. Let him blow. <laughs> nice. Oh, I don't. Is this all wood here? No, I don't think there's a whole lot of wood, so I hopefully will be good to not burn the whole place down. Oh yeah, get wrecked. Okay, same as before. We're not here for like every little bit picky piece of loot. Couple shotgun parts there. That's always nice. Just gonna be here. Whoa! Good pair of steel knucks. Let's compare those immediately and see if those are doing more damage at base. Wow, they certainly are. These are way better knucks. Take my wood splitter mod off. Hopefully I can find a couple more mods. Maybe, maybe I put something on that's like from um, like this stuff here. Yeah, take the iron breaker and stuff off. That's gonna give me plus 10% base on this anyway, regardless of you know what it does. So that'll help out the Nux way more than it will help out on the pick. Okay, do I need motorcycle chassis schematic? Not really. I don't really need bandages either right now. I do need water though. Please hook me up there. Thank you. Right, moving right along. Exciting already, we got a demo. Wake up. 
Ooh, wall safe. Well, we're in the wasteland, so this could be certainly worth our time. Hey, hey, time charges. That'll help out later, I think, when we get to the big main chest, especially if we're in a hurry. Whoa, hello. Like that guy. Wake up, my friends. Let's see, we got the points into Iron Gut. How long's the beer gonna last then? Oh, the beer's only gonna last like a minute and a half, even with maxed out Iron Gut. But if we're going into a big fight like here, might as well take one, I guess. And let's uh, top off on Shepherd's Pie to get that max stamina bonus and a little bit of a, like a bolus of health rolling in. And then uh, the way to do it with the Brawler build, in my opinion, is to just kind of wake them all up, get them all together. Hello, my friends. Oh man, yes, come on guys, wake up. I want some action here. Oh, a bunch of soft regulars here. Oh, a couple of ferals, hello. Take care of you guys and grab this loot bag. Well, nothing good there. Some salmon, just eat it. Really nothing in these chemistry piles that I'm ever gonna want at this point. Uh, is there, are there secret stashes in here, I wonder? I don't really remember. I, I, I'm trying to think back to Genosis's video that he did on all the secret stash locations, and I'm not sure if there's one here. I'm not sure if I've ever found one. Isn't there one in, like in the, the smokestack thing? We'll have to try to check that out a little bit later. All right, keep on rolling. I'll take all the extra first aid that I can get. Although with maxed out healing factor. Oh, by the way, how how much does this give me back? Five? Oh no, I don't have the physician. I was thinking if I had the physician, like that actually might be pretty good first aid, but really not so much. And we got the fort bites. That'll be good for the main boss fight there. Right, anyway, moving right along here. Okay, of course we've got, oh yeah, those guys. Oh, the big fight on the roof. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. I think my beer wore off, didn't it? Well, should be fine anyway. We're doing good here. Oh, the knockdown on these is, is very pleasing to me. I like it. And I have to say, for a late game build, like once you get a good amount of health, and here, we'll take the beer for this one. Once you get a good amount of health, good armor, and some good perk points for like stamina regen and stuff like that, this is like, this is a really good build. I mean, sledgehammers and clubs are good and all, but the attack speed that you get with this is just awesome. Okay, so I don't see any like, you know, massive threat here. So let's just do, yeah. And then one more for the money and then just send one for them as well. That, that worked very well, I like that. All right, the rest of you come right over. Should be nice and softened up at this point. Oh, geez. I'm having flashbacks to, I feel like I've done this before. Ow, oh, abrasion. Well, in that case, first aid bandage. Yeah, isn't there something in there that's um, some kind of secret loot? Oh, he hello there. Where'd you come from? Yeah, sometimes they, they hide stuff like behind those, but I don't really think we have the time to go through every little nook and cranny here. Oh, what's going on out here? Oh, uh, just a random dog. Haven't seen a horde yet in the last uh, day or two. Must have just missed them. Sometimes they just go running right by ya. Whoa, hello. Okay, let's just go out here and get some space. Whoa! All ferals. Yeah, just part of the brawler build. You gotta kind of stand there and, and take a beating a little bit. And let's just clear out the riffraff out here. Copper. Oh yes, don't pass up the cars. You pull quality six steel duels out of these things. Still looking for a good shovel. Hey, there's a chainsaw. I don't think I need that. And I don't think I need the parts either. I'll take the parts for now, but like low threshold to just toss them. Okay, this is the way out. There's a way into the smokestack thing here though. Just keeping that in the back of my mind. Oh yes, there's the, isn't there a spider in here? Whoa! You may never know, because I'm not going back up to find out, am I? No, I don't need to. I can open that door. I thought I, maybe that button upstairs might have gone to that, but no, I think we're good. Here. Let's uh, soften him up a little bit. Okay, it's really important that we do not get a sprained and especially not a broken arm. That would be terrible. Let's in fact uh, use a repair kit on these so I don't, that doesn't happen in the heat of the moment. And uh, yeah, definitely stay topped off on health because I think, I feel like the, lo uh, the lower your health is, the more likely you are to take a critical hit. I don't know if that's true, but it does definitely seem that way. And that's just a piece of garbage. Hey, a Night Starker book here. Never encumbered at night. I'm really never encumbered now anyway. Or very, not, by, not by very much anyway. Right, so the beer is still active and this is quite a fight here that we have on our hands. So let's just try, take out that feral first. Here we go. Whoa, they're all ferals. All right, let's do this. 
Okay, that's good. I brought a bunch of painkillers. Start taking those. Shouldn't have any hydration problems here. I, I hope not. Oh, I didn't wake all of them up, apparently. Nice. Hey, hey, rocket launcher schematic. Not bad. Extra vitamins, some ammo. Extra first aid kit. Just put the aloe vera onto me, I guess. This is where we come back out, I think. And, um... This over here is is unlocked, so we, we could go that way. Oh, right, because, uh, oh, yes. Ah! Yep, that's the way to go behind us. We just uh, kind of took a roundabout way of getting here. Oh, another abrasion. I have, like, an abrasion on top of my abrasion. It's okay, I'll take the abrasion over, say, you know, a sprain or something like that. Couple extra bullets there. Please give me some extra water here. Excellent. Yeah, okay, so that's just like a kind of a, an offshoot. We're heading this way over here. And we open this up. Is this a big fight? What room is this? I don't think it is. I'll just, I'll roll with the beer out so you can suck some down real quick if we have to. Yeah, these are just cardboard boxes. Yeah, it's junk in those things. We got this area here. Hello? Uh, this place here is, this is like the calm before the storm, I feel like. Yeah, I remember doing this before and being like, hey, where's all the zombies? And then I like, oh, nice, awesome sauce. Then I, like, you wander into a, a whole crowd of them. Where are you all? There is a cop upstairs, kind of thrashing around on the fence out there, I think. Okay, I think this is it. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely it here. All right, things are gonna get real, real tight here. Make sure we've got the inventory cleared out, top off on food, water, and health. We're gonna take three beer, one first aid kit, a fourth bite, a steroid, and let's rock and roll. Come on, everyone. Show me what you got. A sprained arm already? No! Wow. <laughs> Made short work of them. Okay, well, while we have the power-ups, um, got the sprained arm, nothing really I can do about that at the moment. Just punch, just keep punching. Ah! Oh, I sprained my leg as well now. <laughs> Man, oh, I broke my leg, yikes. Well, we brought casts just for that occasion, and I did level up. Just take Pack Mule. Got some honey there for that infection I just acquired too. Oh, bubbles. And another bubbles. You just hanging out in there or what? So if I just break that glass and huck a pipe bomb in there for you, what'll, what'll, what'll happen there? <laughs> Whoop, set some stuff on fire. Oh boy. Yeah, not gonna bother with the Nux on this guy. Too strong. Another rat here. Oh, a bunch of construction workers hanging out under the staircase there. I remember you guys. You know what we're really missing is the, the fortifying grip. That we should have a fortifying grip on these so that, because when your HP goes below 50%, you start getting one HP per second. So it really helps you, you know, not die. Oh, hello. I heard a bunch of zombies. So I was like, is that a, is that a wandering horde? Nope, just a bunch of POI zombies that got stuck up here. Man, wouldn't it be crazy if you like walk in that room over here and all of a sudden all of these zombies woke up? I mean, it's bad enough as it is, but I wouldn't mind the extra challenge. Well, we're at the main loot now. There's a bear up there somewhere. I think he's fighting a zombie. I don't think he's onto us per se. On second thought, he, he kind of sounds like he's onto us. Well, let's at least get the loot so we can say that we got it and we can get out of here if we have to. Hello? What are you doing? Stop that. Yeah, just let him blow. Goodbye. Okay, we're in. And what do we get? Hey, hey, a really good compound bow. Although I do prefer the compound crossbow. A sniper rifle. Another security camera bundle. What the hell, man? I do not need those things. I think pretty much the last of the loot is right down here. Scrap those, and I think we're good. Let's, there's more to this place, I know that, but I don't think there's more really to loot, is there? If that's the case, the thing I'm most curious about is what the hell is in that, uh, the, the smokestack, or whatever this is over here. And then how do I get in there? There's a bear around here somewhere, so kind of <laughs> watch, watch your corners. Okay, what's in here? 
Like literally nothing? Is there nothing in here? I'm going to the top. Oh, there's a weapons bag up here. Oh, wait. Oh, is that a hidden stash down there? No, I remember. There's some sort of a tunnel somewhere that I missed. Oh, no, it's not a hidden stash. It's just a poppin' pills crate. Some good stuff in there. Just uh, definitely don't need the level one sniper rifle. Man, things are getting tight here. Just read the books. Oh, you got another poppin' pills box. Where's all my secret stashes at? Eat my vitamins and <laughs> read another bar, bar brawling book. Surprised I haven't gotten all of those yet. Oh, this is the... Is this the way out? Oh no, this is, uh, oh yes, some weird pipe that we go into. I see, I see. Well, I don't wanna be here, I wanna be back where we were. Only been in this place a couple of times, man. Maybe cleared this out uh, three, four times now, so still learning. This is a very like complex, well done POI. I just hope that there's more stuff like this coming in Alpha 21. I mean, they've said that they're working on a lot of new POIs, uh, kind of like they were doing in Alpha 20, where they released like hundreds of new POIs. And I hope that that continues, like, in every update. Just keep making more. I don't like getting to the point where I know it like the back of my hand, you know, and you just roll right through. You're not surprised. You know right where to go, where all the good stuff is. I like discovering new things. Who doesn't, right? Okay, so I think we uh, made out pretty well. I don't see any massive wandering hordes kind of lurking anywhere. There's just the bear there. And my sprain is healed. So really, there's only one way to handle that bear. And that is to juice up a little bit and get down for a little bit of a ride. Hello. Ah. Oh, it's not going well already. Come on. Big Baba, hold him down for me. It seems to be working well. I'm abraded again. Whoa, he's, he's trying to get away. Oh no, oh no, not good. Ow, get back on the bear. Get the guns out. Oh, the bear evaporated. And uh, what's going on? I'm bleeding. Help. Oh, that was fun. You still around, big mama? Right, well, was there anything else to do while we're around here? Check this vending machine. Ooh, it does work. Whoa, two eye candy. Oh. Uh, what can I, I don't need glue, do I? Give me those eye candy. Honestly, I want that health bar too. Give me that. Eat that. And the inventory's pretty weighed down now, so I guess we can just call it a day. Looks like it's gonna be a long, dreary flight back as well. I figured I'd stop by Trader Bob real quick. It's been a long time since I've seen him, and uh, tomorrow is Trader Day. Neither eye candy, nice. <laughs> Should definitely be coming by here more often. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to see if he had any schematics or books that we'd like to have, like the SMG schematic. A couple of spotlights saves me from having to craft them myself. Yeah, unfortunately nothing of any great importance other than maybe those handgun parts there. I'll take those and I might just make like a lightning round flight over to Trader Hugh and see if he has anything. Okay, made it over with plenty of time to spare. Be careful though, I don't have 5,000 dukes in my pocket anymore, so. The slightest fall could snap my ankle. All right, Hugh, tell me you got something good for me. Yeah, bow parts, don't need those. Machine gun parts, wouldn't mind having them, but really just looking for schematics that I don't have. There's a hunter's journal there, 10% more damage to wolves. And that's it, man. Just a bunch of garbage. Honestly, Hugh, it was nice knowing you. I don't really feel like we need you anymore, though. So, uh, <laughs> have fun with that, buddy. Well, crap, tomorrow's trader day, so <laughs> we might have to go back and check on you. I actually get a really cool look at the map from here. There's the desert city, the temperate city, and the snow city. And way, way off there is the wasteland city. All right, rolling in on the new gyrocopter landing pad. We're gonna do a bunch of base work tonight. Come on, easy does it. Whoops. It helps if you have the HUD on so you can actually get out of the vehicle. Take two. Got a better angle here this time anyway. Maybe not, not the best angle, but yes, drop it right there and perfect. See, now what we need is some sort of a box to kind of like transfer our stuff down. Yeah, for now though, we're just gonna plop it all right in there. Well, we have a ton of stuff to go through here. So there's the haul for today, most notably the steel knucks and the bow, but crossbow's still doing just so much more damage. Well, no, because we don't have the right ammo loaded into it, so scratch what I just said there. Uh, but typically, the crossbow does do a lot more damage. It's just the the fire rate on the compound bow is much better. So anyway, give me that, and give me whatever the hell's in here. This is all the stuff from this morning, harvesting all those cars. Start getting all this stuff put away, and then we gotta start crafting and getting stuff wired up and moved around and everything else. All right, so we're all organized again, and I was just testing out the power by putting all six 
engines into the generator here and it's still not even close to enough. So what we're gonna have to do is just set up two of these and there's a good spot for them right there. So we'll just pop one in there and then we will have to grab this one off. Just take that up and I think, don't I lose all the fuel when I do that? Nope, I get the fuel back. That's convenient. So pop that in there. And then uh, we have to kind of solve this dilemma again. Okay, that's all the lights hooked back up. I think, and like two of these are on the left generator, two of these of four are on the right. And then they kind of like splay out. This is all right generator. This is all left generator. Get those lights hooked back in. And I think we're 100% at least on lighting. The other problem was going to be the turrets. This is just destined to be a massive mess at all times. <laughs> it almost characterizes me at this point. Yeah, just hopefully... Oh man, the bird wave is coming soon too, isn't it? I, I think. Unless we happen to get lucky and skip over it, like our game stage advances too quickly or something. Okay, got the shotgun turrets hooked in finally. Oh, and it's morning, which means we gotta cut things short just a little bit here. Just go into this and point it straight down in. I don't know, but I don't think that uh, this shotgun turret will actually shoot this frame I put here. And I think technically it's connected to this block here anyway, so I'm not too, too concerned about it. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, that is almost going to call it a night. I kind of want to see this in action. There we go. I like it. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And I have to say, we are looking really good up here. I had an idea, though, on something that we could do to further make this uh, landing pad look even better. I think I want to get it fully upgraded, and then I think that there's like, isn't there like a road ticker marker? What would that be called? Like a road? Yeah, one of these ones. Which one of these? Okay, that one right there. Road paint quarter centered. And then if I flip that on face just like this I think when I paint that I'll be able to see that from above right and I could put some like um some uh well we'll do we'll do red I mean sometimes I do yellow but I think red would look better we'll do like a red stripe all the way down we'll like paint the edges red and then we'll leave the rest as like solid black and then I was also looking at this here and I was like you know that just doesn't look very like realistic that it would kind of bolt up in there like that so I think I'm going to replace these um, support structure pieces and just make like um, a frame that kind of runs the whole length of it, just so it looks a little bit better. So let's get, uh, I don't know, like 50 frames for today and get to work. Tonight is the horde, but I think we've prepared quite well for it. We'll just need to get, uh, let's see, little things like this need to be upgraded and um, painted and stuff like that. I have a couple of extra spotlights in the inventory, which we're going to put uh, somewhere over here i uh, maybe that spot right there to kind of shine up and then we'll see if we can get two more i also crafted some lanterns this morning because i want to put some lights down in the pit because it gets really really dark down there during the horde night and i want to be able to see what's going on but okay so yes this is definitely we can solidify all of this and no yes we're not going to have this as wood because <laughs> someday there's going to be a zombie vulture that comes by here and sets everything on fire sets everything on fire okay so that's what i got right there I think that looks better overall. Just like it, just more realistic, I guess I would say. And I got this stripe in, so we just have to solidify all of this. And unfortunately, we are going to run out of cobblestone, I think. Probably. I mean, very, very close. And I think we're kind of really, really hard up for clay as well. So um, let's just make a little bit of cobblestone then. Oh, crap. Storage broadcasting is on. Careful there. There we go. Craft that. Turn storage broadcasting back on. That'll give us a little bit more cobblestone in the inventory. All right. Just got to hammer this down. Okay. That's everything upgraded. A couple went up to concrete, but that's okay. And yep, we got some more rolling in. Let's get the paintbrush and see. Okay. So I want this to be black. I think we just do paint surface. I don't think you have to paint all sides on this one. Okay, I would prefer the supports to also... These might have to go paint all sides as well. Uh, may, not really, actually. That's good. That saves us a whole bunch of paint there. Nice. And ooh, we can do something interesting here, maybe. And how about some red steps in keeping with both the channel theme and the the theme that we're going for on the base here. You know, I was thinking, though, maybe it'd be cool if I, like, 
you know, hired a painter. I was watching a Genosis video because he's playing his um, Apocalypse Now mod, and I'm very interested in that. And uh, he had his wife come in for an episode just to paint his base for him, and I was like, whoa. Just, like, task out the, the whole painting job to someone else, save a whole bunch of time. That definitely might be something that I look into in the future. Plus, that'll allow us to get a little bit of variety on the paint scheme, because if I'm painting something, it's going to be, like, black, red, and white. Because <laughs> it's just... Well, first of all, like... The, the paint color selection is just bad. I hope that sometime before gold they put in like a good influx of colors. We have 174 and uh, we're, we're really wanting for some more paint textures. All right, so I this presumably this only has two sides, right? Oh, it's doing the thing where it's it's hard to paint it. Okay, so the, did that paint the the top side there? Yes, it did. Okay, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on paint all sides. So how much paint is this using though? It's using like six paint. That's ridiculous. There are not six sides on this damn block. If I just do not paint all sides, yeah, I have to do paint all sides because I can't see through the security gate. Well, six paint it is to paint two, two sides here. Is there anything I'm overlooking for the horde base that we, we were supposed to do? I took a second before I started the episode to kind of update the to-do list over here. So we've got rocket launcher for perception day. We're good on the shotgun. We got the shotgun already. Uh, we want to get a fortifying grip, although I, I can't make it yet. I don't have the schematic SMG, and I guess that's about it. Everything's hooked up and powered, and I did a test run last night to see how much power we use at full capacity, and it's only like half. So the at maximum capacity, the generators are using like 170 watts out of 300, so we should be fine there. Right, so this is all done, and that looks really good, how you can kind of like see through it. I like that a lot. Yes, definitely a good call there. I wonder if farm plots are flammable. Or did I ever upgrade this stuff here? I did. This is all cobblestone, so that that was a good call there. I don't know if things like shotgun turrets or spotlights or um, relays or anything like that, if they are fireproof, but I think we're done up here. We've done the best we could do anyway. I just want to give it a quick test run here with the gyrocopter. See what it looks like coming in for a hot landing. Oh man, that looks really, really good there. I got, I'm way too high right now. I am agility though, so if I had to, I could probably just drop out of here and not suffer any consequences. And we've got the 5,000 dukes in the pocket, so, you know, at, you can jump off the Deshong Tower. I don't know if you know this. You can literally jump off the top of Deshong Tower if you have maxed out parkour and um, survive with no, no ill effects, except it'll almost kill you. If you have the Impact Bracing mod and you have the 5,000 Dukes and you've read that book, then um, you barely t you take like half your health and damage. So, okay, drop it off right there. Ooh, bit of a hard landing, but that's okay. Just uh, talk that up. Took a whole nine hit points to do that. And we're like way off-centered now. Oh, Gyrocopter, why do you just suck so bad? All right, I've definitely had better gyrocopter landing pads in the past, but I've not ever had a cooler looking one, that's for sure. Okay, off we go here to see if we can set up these spotlights. Now, I was thinking maybe putting one here, but this is a, a corner that the zombies are going to be taking, so I don't want them to kind of get obstructed, you know, by a um, just a spotlight being there, because then they might destroy it. So now I was thinking this spot right here. So let's put one in here. And we'll have to just hook it up and see what it looks like, I guess. I mean, the alternative is just putting it, like, way out here. But uh, if you can see the arc on this, it's got a super, like, wide range. So this might be all that we need to illuminate the whole side of the base here. So set that in. And I'm using railing blocks. Or not not the railing, but, like, um, what do you even call these, anyway? Uh, the, the catwalk rail to kind of shield these. And I guess these ones here on the edge are just kind of floating there. Hopefully this works. And then I gotta get you some power from something. How about from that? Ooh, that's uh, a little bit too far away. There we go. And we got an airdrop somewhere. Check the map and see where that landed. That looked, it sounded like it was far away, and it was. Okay, so... Well, unfortunately, that's on a timer, and so we'll have to wait until that's powered in order to rearrange it. Okay, same thing on this side, opposite direction. Oh, hello, friends. One shot kill, what about you? Yes! Got bubbles way over there, let's get a sneak shot on him. Oh, that killed him too, nice. What about you, Cole? You want one? 
<laughs> this is kind of turning into my favorite gun. I just love that long barrel on it from the DLX weapons fix. That is just really cool. Okay, well, we'll fuss around with the power there in just a second. I do need to get this solidified and... You know what we should probably do is um, is put something on the bottom of this. Would that make a little bit of sense there? Uh, just in case that one block there does get broken so that there's like something for the zombies to kind of stand on. Just going to keep it simple with, well, we can do the catwalk plate, I think. Let's do the catwalk V2 plate and we'll do it upside down like that. And then on the other end, we'll do the v2 plate just to give it that much more stability okay and that's about as good as it's gonna get i think let's solidify all of this oh and then there was those little like pipe pieces that we put over here we need to fix these up as well yeah yeah we're gonna commit to this for tonight and see how it goes just as a reminder this gives it a connection so that uh, for example if this block here was broken and that block there was broken and this little platform was disconnected from the main causeway, it would still be connected to the base proper from these little tiny pole pieces right here. Because the these um, doors, they don't confer any stability. So if um, they're stuck on one end, but if you, the like this block here would, would just uh, break off, I guess. They're not very um, sticky. I don't really know <laughs> how to describe that. Hopefully that made some sense. Oh yes, yeah, we need to get some steel and do some upgrades. How are we looking on that? Okay, we're looking... We're trying to get rid of some of the batteries. My goodness, I got so many of them. So yeah, I'm just putting those into the forge there. And steel, yes. We're rolling pretty good on this stuff. It's gonna take all damn day though. And we got some extra darts, which uh, I'll just put into here right now so that I don't forget to do it. Oh man, these need to be repaired. Oh geez, electrical, mechanical, and forged iron. Still actually really low on electrical parts. I thought I would have gotten more of those when I was doing that big car harvesting montage. But I suppose next time we go into a POI, we might have to um, focus a little bit and get some some like lights and stuff broken down right so this has to be steel and that for sure why not just do those as well and then at least this position here needs to be like 100% steel which means we'll need to repaint everything but that's fine okay that's that's well we gotta do these as well I suppose might as well right and should we do like the walls here those are not not particularly important I don't think might just make these concrete and then probably call it good from there. How are we looking on steel there? Oh my god, I used all the steel already. Oh my god. Jeez, this is like really expensive work here. Well, on this side, how much do I have left? 28? Oh boy. Let's just get the most important blocks done over here. Like the, the hatch and things like that. And then that's it. <laughs> Great. Well, if all goes well, we won't have to switch sides anyway. We'll just stay here the whole night. Well, okay, so let's do some uh, repainting then. Because I believe... Oh, you know, there was like one more thing that I kind of wanted to do. And that is... I wanted to... How are we looking on the concrete mix? Pretty good. I wanted to just like make a lap around at zombie head height. And um, just, you know, solidify some of this so that... You know, just in case we don't have any like catastrophic collapse issues you know if like a demo were to go off over here for whatever reason it kind of reminds me too um oh we gotta go no we don't have to go down there um yeah we gotta set up some lights down here i need to go see if those are done they must be oh yes there was this as well is this all not concrete okay well it will be shortly let's get this whole thing upgraded to at least concrete there we go. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to feel the crunch here a little bit. It is 1500. Okay, what did we have here? We had duct tape. Put that away, and we had six lanterns. We'll go set those up. Trying to keep it, like, somewhat uniform all the way down. Probably that one will get destroyed, I would imagine. Well, yeah, at least we can see what's going on down here now. And it'll probably be a little bit messy, but I'm just wondering if I could slap a bunch of paint on here. Actually, this is working good. Yeah, there we go. All the way down. I'm not too worried about the staircase just yet. I'm thinking probably we should spend some time over the next week getting um, some of this upgraded. I'm just imagining a situation where like 
a demo's going off and then the demo falls down and then like explodes midair and you get like an airburst that knocks out the whole staircase. Ah, it's okay. What's the worst that could happen? They go, they go down there and they start digging into the walls. Not really a big deal. All right, so I think I just got everything finally all painted. Probably should work more on that later in the week. I did miss some spots like down here, but uh, I don't want to fuss about that too, too much right now. Oh, you know what? We never actually upgraded those. I think we should get some hatches and fix that up. And while we're waiting, I'm just going to turn the... Uh, the, where's the timer relays? Where did I put those? Oh, here they are. Just gonna make sure that these are on because I want to rearrange the lights that are downstairs. Let's do that real fast. Here we go. And just see how well this even, like, works to illuminate the base. Uh... I don't know, we'll have to wait until nightfall and see. Just aim it up a little bit higher. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll look okay. We'll probably just need one or two lights there on the back end. I was kind of thinking that a red stripe here might look good, but no, I now, now I don't think so. Let's try a black stripe. If anything, just to kind of remind me that that is a steel stripe going through there. And uh, okay, let's just go black all the way up and black all the way across. <laughs> When the thunder starts striking, I get a little bit nervous. And I probably make paint decisions that are not going to look very good. All right, let's hammer these down. And if I had it to do all over again, I probably would have left it at that nice, like, shiny metal color and not the rusty ass one, but that's okay. Well, okay, lights are on, turrets are on. Everything should be good to go. Batten down the hatch here. Get this up or get this painted here and swing it around. And yep, we gotta do some painting over here, looks like. Always focusing on the important things right before the horde. Okay, that will do it. Let's get the inventory squared away and get ready to fight the horde. All right, everything is all squared away and the day 49 horde is fast approaching. So it is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. Okay, so I'm hearing the distinct squawking of birds, and I can see a whole bunch of radiated vulture bird things outside, which means we're on the bird wave. All right, we go. Oh my god. Yes, we gotta stay topside. We can't let them just spit at the base all night long. Oh my god, the garden's on fire. Oh jeez, get the M60 out. Let it rip. Oh no, 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 this is bad. Oh crap, guys. Well, we gotta fight them off the best we can and hope they don't knock out all the sensitive electronics and hope that we don't catch on fire and die. Yeah, but it's not looking good, guys. Oh, jeez. Uh, I need a place to hide. I need a place to hide. I'm fatigued and infected. Oh, and abraded. Ow. Damn it. Come on, guys. Okay, uh, <laughs> panicking here. Just get a first aid kit into me. They're... Oh, did they just... No, we gotta be careful, too, that they don't destroy the gyrocopter. Oh, my God. Jeez, I'm like a... A World War II anti-air gunner on a ship or something. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at the bird cor car carcasses, corpses. <laughs> what do you call a dead bird anyway? The SMG turrets do appear to be helping though. Okay. All right, there seems to be stuff on fire in the base. What the hell, man? Oh, now I'm on fire. Gah! Okay, I've got to go downstairs. I didn't bring any drinks with me. Oh, I can't see. The birds, they're going to follow me down. Okay, okay. Oh, there's something on fire outside. Um. I can't see. Get a yucca juice onto me. 
and just drink a smoothie because that's going to dehydrate me a little bit. I think the uh, the Alchemist Prime sign is... What? Is, what are, I'm bleeding. Jeez. Ow. And now there's birds in the base. Oh, now I'm just fighting them through the opening in the base. Not ideal. We got to get back topside. Okay, repair the M60 and up we go. Oh, would it be worth it to maybe like air burst some pipe bombs or is that just gonna be a complete waste of time? Oh man, just keep shooting. Just keep shooting and backtracking. Try not to fall off the base. This can only last for so long. There's only so many vultures in the world, right? Okay, I don't wanna go catch on fire again. So I'm just gonna try to hang out in the center of the base where there's no fire. Whoops, almost fell off the base again. All right. It's 23.30, which means, at best, this can only last for another half an hour. And suddenly it is very quiet. Can I just... I don't have any bandages with me. I'll have to go get some in a second here. Shotgun turrets are shooting. Does that mean there's zombies here now? I do hear regular zombies, but I think that the, uh, the, the bird body situation up here is causing, like, a lot of lag. So I'm going to just spend a couple minutes... We'll, uh, re we'll lean onto the, the automation of the base to kind of fend off the zombies. And meanwhile, I'll try to get rid of some of these birds. All right, I've got the birds cleaned up well enough. Let's head down here and see what's going on. I think the fences... Oh, a bear. A bear and a demo. That's what's going on here. Uh, can we just get a magnum round or two into this guy? And he fell down. Goodbye. Get this, get this bear out of my way. Just add to the massive pile of bones that I have in my inventory right now. Got another bear here. There we go. Took him out. There's another demo here. Do not shoot him in the button. Just, you know, pop shots into the forehead will work. Well, he fell down, but I'm sure he'll be back eventually. The automation part of the base seems to be working very well. Dart traps are working. Not getting any XP for any of these kills, but that's just the way it works here. I hear the demo. I think he's back. There he is. Take him out. Oh, he fell down again. And he's back again. <laughs> Hello there. There we go. Ooh, left me a nice boss loot bag. We'll save that for later. I got a looting candy just for this occasion. Might be able to risk getting out here a little bit. I know I said that I was going to try and stay inside the base to avoid cop spit, but we don't seem to be on a very cop heavy wave. So if I do start seeing them, I will tuck myself right back inside. Just trying to capitalize a little bit and get a little bit of XP out here. There we go. Got a couple kills there. Might have better luck, actually, if I get up on the roof and see if I can wander over here and just get, like, a, a top-down look at him. Here we go. Use the full auto uh, pistol here with the 9 mil. Here we go. This is working. Oh, we got more fires. Is that a bird? You son of a bitch. Here, we'll go ahead and just risk it with the fire extinguisher. We don't want to use it too much because we'll run out of juice for it. Yeah, this is working really well. I wish I had kind of thought of this earlier because I might have kind of planned it out so that I could I could see better because I'm, I'm not really lined up perfectly with the ramp there but it seems to be working just fine the way it is and just like that it does appear to be all quiet now I wonder if that was it I wonder if we just ripped right through all three waves just like that in four hours well it does seem like there's a good amount of loot bags out there from what I can see and I can see some orange ones as well so I'm going to drop off all my stuff, and then we'll head out there with a looting candy. All right, bailing off the side here. What do we got? Eh, we got a couple of loot bags. Not too, too many. And unfortunately, the whole design of the base was supposed to be so that all the loot bags would fall down into the pit, which is in the wasteland biome, but it looks like a good amount of them are going to be either in the snow biome or, you know, otherwise not in the wasteland. But whatever. Just semantics at this point. And I suppose we'll save the best one for last here. Anything good. <laughs> well, we got a wheel and a motorcycle handlebar, so we can almost make a motorcycle out of today's hoard loot. Otherwise, I think that is it. Let's survey the damage, if there was any. It doesn't seem like I didn't hear any cops go off. I didn't hear any demos go off. I didn't hear any blocks break during the night, but it does look like they did a little bit of damage here and there. Incremental, really not even worth upgrading. Spotlights look like they're intact. I don't think the zombies bothered them at all, which is nice. And yeah, just like the base is probably all going to be like, it's, it's going to look bad now because um, the zombie vultures, they spit on everything and just, you know, 
degraded a couple of hit points off of it. Oh, one more loot bag. Nothing. Oh, another couple up here. Oh, my bad. Here, jump over that. And, oh, we are hitting a electric fence there. Last one here. Got a nice steel pickaxe out of that. All right, let's get all the stuff turned off that will hurt us. And then drop all the loot in here for a moment. And so I don't forget to do it later. I'm going to... Oh, the electrical parts are in, in rough shape right now. But I need mechanical parts. I think I need forged iron, which is over here. And the forged steel. And just make sure that all of these are... These ones are good here. It's the ones over here that should be damaged. Yep, lost that one. That one was half done, and that one's half done. And we didn't lose any blade traps. Nice. We just gotta fix that one, and that one, and that one, and the rest are 100%-ish. Just like that, it's morning. Okay, the thing to check out, though, is, um, first of all, what the hell What happened up here? And did they destroy any relays? I don't think so. These all look like they're good. They beat that up a little bit, that one spotlight, and these all look fine, actually. I was I was really worried that this would um, be very susceptible to the bird wave, but I think we made out just fine, except for the garden. The garden is <laughs> totally destroyed, basically. The gyrocopter landing pad, which was a nice little rooftop when I needed a break. I could just hide under this. That worked out pretty well. And uh, SMG turrets only burned through less than half of their ammo, it looks like. Nice. Did we lose the Alchemist Prime sign? <laughs> yeah, yes, we did. That I think that was only... Was it just frames or did I ever upgrade it to wood? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to replace that anyway. All right, well, I just got to put all this stuff away and get a little bit organized and we will be good to go for the rest of the day. It'll be intellect day, which means we'll probably have to make a trader run. I want to go to the traders, all four of them today anyway, to see if they have... The Fortifying Grip schematic or a Fortifying Grip. The SMG schematic or an SMG. And uh, I think that's all we really have to do for the day. A lot of activity here right now. I was just going to put this sign back up because I think it burned down. Is this, this is definitely a horde here though. Hello? Uh, yep, def definitely a horde. Oh, a Screamer. We don't want her. Oh, another one. <laughs> now that it's not Horde Night, all of this stuff is just going to be generating a ton of heat. Okay, was that it? One more. Two more. There's another Screamer here. I gotta get more bullets. Pretty much just gonna be rolling with the M60 here by default. I also crafted a drum mag for it last night because I found that schematic, I think, in the last episode. So I crafted two of those. One yet to be used. So now I have a drum mag on the robotic turret and on the M60. And one for something else someday. Not sure where that last Screamer is. But the shotgun turrets should take care of her if she wanders in. Anyway, we're just getting ready to head out. Hang on here. Day of last fire. That was uh, today, this morning. <laughs> so we'll say 50. There we go. And I was just collecting up some stuff to sell. So I'm going to start selling off some of these parts here that I don't think we're going to need. At least some of them, not all of them. Really nothing else to sell. I could still sell a couple stacks of meat, I guess. Got plenty of that. Just saving the extra armor and tools and... Nothing to go through in here, I think. Nope. Oh, we could sell some feathers <laughs> just to get rid of them, right? Yeah, give me a few of these. Give me, like, all of these, in fact. As many as I can carry. There we go. Oh, there she is. She's way, way out there. What are you doing out there, anyway? There, got her. Okay, so with that, we are totally weighed down on the inventory. Let's head to the traders. Whoa, look at the condition on this. 40%. I'm not sure what it was earlier, but it certainly wasn't that low. <laughs> all right, I'll meet you over at Bob's. Hello, Bob. Any sugar butts in here? Of course not. So, I don't think we have anything to take except for this grandpa's awesome sauce. So, yeah, we might as well. And sell him everything we can sell. All right, that's it. Anything to buy? Pistol Pete book. Another Pistol Pete book. Wow. Well, that's good. Let's do the secret stash trick. All we gotta do is take off the nerdy glasses and check his secret stash inventory again. Really unfortunate. They're gonna be taking out the secret stash in the Alpha 21 update. And I, that makes sense to me. I mean, it doesn't make sense that you'd put on a pair of glasses and all of a sudden he's got a whole new selection of things. Easy to exploit, like I am right now. And you know the fun pimps, they don't like exploits in their survival games. That's actually a direct quote, so <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. All right, that's good. Yeah, you know, I get it to some degree, right? You got, you can't have people kind of breaking your game on you, but at the same time, uh, you gotta kind of call it somewhere, right? I mean, how many exploits do you really have to kill? A lot of people make the a good point, or at least I think it's a good point, that it's not like this is a, a competitive multiplayer MMO type of game, so 
it's just a survival game. Most people are playing with themselves or with a small group of friends. So uh, why why such a huge focus? Oh yeah, that's the house that burned down. I was like, whoa, where'd that house go? That was uh, episode two, wasn't it? Uh, anyway, so I, I don't want to get into the whole Alpha 21 update fun pimp drama business. You can kind of leave that to the comment section of the Seven Days to Die Has Problems video. <laughs> Quite a controversial place if you want to go take a visit. All right, I'll meet you over at Hughes. What's up, Hugh? Oh, lucky goggles. You know, I did lose mine that time that I died. That's what I was wearing on my head. So I suppose I'll take those. Hey, ooh, he's got a sniper rifle and an SMG. Oh, wow, that's kind of expensive, though. Fireman's Almanac, Wasteland Treasures. Um, I want both of those, actually. And we've got the money for it, so let's just pull the trigger on it and do it. Good luck with that. <laughs> Thanks, you. And then I will check a secret stash again, the secret stash trick here to get a whole new set. And this time, it doesn't really look like anything good. I'll take that banded armor plating mod. Ooh, rocket launchers. We can make our own, though, so we will do that once we get it back around to Perception Day. And that's it. Those damn things Meet you at Jens. Like Ooh, look at this sniper book here and the robotic drone schematics. We can finally get a drone. Now Excellent. Well, what about your other secret stash? Machete schematic. You know, I'll just take it because I don't have it. And if we, whoa, Thanks what was that? It's freaking someone breaking stuff out here. Oh, there's a snake outside. <laughs> Buying up these rocket frags because, you know, you never know. Probably need some of those. They're a little bit pricey to craft. She's got a sniper rifle too, but not as good as the one I already bought. You watch, I'm going to find a level five at the next trader. Well, Thanks that's it. Business. Well, that was a cool landing. All right, we've got eye candy, which is good because I didn't bring any with me. And I will like I would like to do a raid after this and sugar butts. After all this, I finally get sugar butts at the very, very end. Well, hello there, Joel. Tell me you've got some schematics. I was looking on the way back. We, we can make the drone now or we will be able to in just a minute. Got the schematic right there, but we can't make the medic mod, which is really the only function that I like from the drone, which I have to say that I'm really looking forward to that part of Alpha 21 where I'll be able to go and look for magazines, some more rocket frags, cripple a mod i guess i'll take that I'll that's it now. next secret stash one more round here shaka Basaya book that's nice Ooh, couple of books here sniper volume two i already have a book over here that's sniper volume four though so we'll take that hunter's journal more damage to humans look out temcam <laughs> and that's it for that okay so trader rounds are complete we've got a bunch of zombies breaking in here so you know for example I cannot craft the SMG, the sniper rifle, or the drone medic mod. They are schematic only. And in Alpha 21, you'll be able to focus on getting magazines to get those things unlocked. And so even if you haven't been lucky and gotten the RNG to pull it out of loot, you'll be able to focus, in the in the case of like the SMG and the sniper rifle, just focus on raiding places like Shaka Messiah or the, um, what's it called, Red Mesa, you know, things where you're gonna find firearm related loot and you'll be able to pull out the magazines that you're gonna need to be able to unlock that yourself. You know, I, I personally, I, I like that. Some people think it'll be a little bit more grindy. It is gonna take out like the the RNG, the luck of just like, oh, you know, day, day three, I pulled a SMG schematic out of a trash pile and that might like redirect your playthrough towards an agility playstyle. So I'm hoping that they can kind of keep some element of luck in the game but also like give you some control like if you need something you can go get it and it's it's relatively late in the afternoon we've got red mesa right over there we're just talking about that but we also have that ranger station that's right next to it which is a tier three maybe tier four and i haven't been there in a long time so i'm gonna land down there at the ranger station plus we're on intellect day and i <laughs> i don't really want to go into red mesa right now uh and yeah we'll just knock out that ranger station and see what we have left for time after that Oh, with the bounce, that messed up my landing. Whoa, I recovered though. All right, right over here is fine. We gotta read up all these books and schematics. What do we got here? More accurate when rapid firing nine mil. Leg shots have a chance to cripple. That's the last of the series there. You can harvest coffins and get some crap out of it. That's the acid for medical equipment and cars. Would have liked to have had that weeks ago. 10% greater hyperthermal resistance. Machete schematic. Shotguns do 10% more damage. More damage to humans. Reload rifles 10% faster. And leg shots will cripple all but the strongest of opponents. Cripple a mod and dr uh, robotic drone. And <laughs> just get rid of these stupid feathers. I forgot to sell them. Whoa, hello there. Also, maybe watch that. Is that a landmine? No. Very active around here. 
All right, let's get in here. I think this is the one that has the, um, there's like an underground portion here, is it there? Oh boy, put that down, open fire. Oh, you know what? I made a bunch of ammo for this, but I forgot to bring it with me. So we'll have to roll with what we got here. Oh, and I just thought I'd mention real quick, the Undead Legacy server is finally up. Undead Legacy did just go stable, and so we've got the server up and running. You can find out more information about that on my community tab. So click on that, it'll have a little bit of info about the server host, which is Frag. We're hosting it with Frag this time, and it's been going great with them so far, so I highly recommend them. Basically, the gist of it is that in order to get on our servers, you have to, uh, whoa, hello there. You just have to be a member of the Discord. So hop on the Discord, you'll get the password, you'll get the live map, you'll get access to commands and teleports and all that kind of cool stuff. Man, come on, I'm in the wasteland, I'm like really high level and I'm pulling <laughs> stupid rotten flesh out of things. Oh, I'm super excited though to get maybe an acid out of something like that now. Oh, there's the fortifying grip mod schematic, excellent. And we really need the electrical parts, whoops. Yeah, so wherever I can get them, I'm gonna get them. Probably gonna end up being here all day. What about that one? There we go, there's our acid. I used to think that this was the medical equipment that they were talking about when it says like, you know, you can harvest acid for medical equipment because there's never, there's no indication that it would be those stupid boxes. Or maybe there is and I'm just <laughs> too dense to figure it out. Okay, quality six pipe shotgun, love it. Not, oh, that's ridiculous. I think we're just gonna have to deal with this. <laughs> we're just gonna be surrounded at all times here. Okay, still looking for some good schematics. Iron tool schematic, just gonna read them from now on. We don't really need the money for anything. And this should be a lot of electrical parts in these. Aha, I just jumped up here because I was suspicious there might be something going on, and there is. Just kind of reach my hand over there. Ooh, good pair of knucks. Nice. That's what we're looking for. Tier 6 stuff. Oh my goodness, a whole bunch of zombies broke in. Here we go. That was alarming. Oh, look at that sledge. Nice. Holy crap, a bear. Wow, that scared the crap out of me. It's going to be nightfall relatively soon, so I might have to cut it a little bit short here on the harvesting. But who could pass up all these computers? Okay, we've got up and down. I think up just goes to the rooftop though. There's not much going on up here. Is that, that the case? Nope, soldiers. And otherwise, what's up there? Sneaky loot, sneaky junk. Okay, now we're down to the basement, I think. Okay, what's the deal down here? Okay, there's the loot room and there's where all the zombies are hiding, I think. That means we are almost there. Okay, here we are. So, should be able to expose them like that, right? Oh, jeez. I don't want to set the loot on fire. Yeah, whatever. So, <laughs> you can see if I'm going to huck one. Oh, that's not far enough. Okay, try to get one behind them. Maybe a couple. Eeh. Yes, that's perfect. Another one, please. <laughs> no, no, no. That should work. Yep, close enough. Okay, let me back there. We got a weapons bag. I might have destroyed the weapons bag, honestly. Uh, no, yep, destroyed it. Oh well, had fun in the process at least. Not too bad, and I do have the demolition charges here. I'm just gonna do one at a time. Someone told me that doing one at a time is better than doing like two or three at a time, so put that to the test. What's that down to now? Okay, we need one more then. Okay, and we're in. What do we get? Oh, really not much at all. Damn it. Well, take what I can and let's get out of here. It is almost nightfall and I really don't want to try to take off a gyrocopter in the wasteland at night. So it's imperative that we get to the gyrocopter as fast as we can and get the hell out of here. All right, we're in. Lots of zombies start to zo spawn in as soon as it ticks nightfall. So let's just try to ease it up out of here. 
There we go. Perfect. We're out of here just in time. I'm quite glad that we, uh... Oh, I was gonna use the looting candy, wasn't I? Well, whatever. It's okay. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't decide to go into Red Mesa, though. That place is uh, a much longer process to get through there. And we needed all those electrical parts anyway, so I'll meet you back at the base. Try and bring it in for a nice, smooth landing here. That should do it. Perfect. All right, so there's a look at the loot hall. Plus, uh, no, that's just the loot, actually. Really good steel shovel, which, does that replace the one that we had? I don't really know. I haven't been rolling with it. That does replace the one that we have, I think. Yes, definitely. All right, so I gotta get all this stuff organized, and I gotta get all this stuff from the Horde Knight organized, and I'll meet back up with you in just a minute. All right, that is everything all put away and organized. Let's just get the forges rolling again. Oh yeah, there's the robotic turret ammo. Oh, and the spotlights. Yes, let's see if we can hook those up real fast. Just boing out of here. We'll do one, two, three, and then light. And then same thing here. We gotta go four on this one. So one, two, three, four, and then it's right there. Now, can I just sneak a wire down here, please? Come on, come on, there we go. Oh yeah, I'd say that looks really good. Oh, we got Thomas running around the corner here. What do you want, Thomas? Oh, interesting. Wasn't there a ladder here? <laughs> of course there was. I think it caught on fire at some point though. Wow, we might be discovering the effects of the, the fires that we had there during Horde Night for many days to come. Well, let's just make sure that's upgraded so we don't have to worry about it again. We'll nail these down and just aim this up at the corner of that window right there. That should be fine. I just love not having the wires. It makes everything look so much cleaner. Wow, that actually looks really good now. Man, it looks really, really good now. I'm loving it. I do wish that those ones were a little bit further back, but it still looks nice. All right, well, I gotta get the Alchemist Prime sign back up on the back end of the base there. So I'm gonna park the gyrocopter and get to work on that. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. <laughs> Jeez, I was just talking about how nice it was up here, and look at it now. We've lost, like, probably three quarters of the crop, which is okay, because we don't really need the crops, but I do want to, on Fortitude Day, get the plants planted again, so at least it looks a little bit better up here, more cozy. Okay, so in the last episode, we went to the trader, and I sold off all my uh, robotics parts, so I can't craft the... Uh, the junk drone, which we have a name for that. We'll get to that in just a little bit. So anyway, I went into perception today and with the memory points, I went back into intellect and pumped up robotics inventor and it's not trader day. Trader day is tomorrow. So what was that? Oh my God. Oh geez, a whole bunch of stuff still in here too. Okay, give me all that. Let's try that again. There we go. Right, so anyway, tomorrow is Trader Day, and we went to Bob's to do all the selling, so all of my robotics parts must be at Bob's. <laughs> I brought a whole bunch more stuff to sell. I'll sell them my kidney if I have to to get those parts back. All right, check the vending machine first. Only skull crushers. We'll take another one of those, and Bobby! <laughs> hey, tell me you still have those robotics parts. I see him right there, 23. How many do I need, actually? Make the drone I need only 15. I just will take a sugar butt for the extra discount. We gotta sell off anyway. 15 of those, I can't afford it. <laughs> Bobby, take these boots off me. That will do it, 5,400 to get the parts back. That's almost all the money I have. We should be able to sell off and get at least 5,000 dukes back though. And yes, more than enough, perfect. Just kill him, we're gonna scoop up that airdrop on the way through, so I'll meet you there. Oh, cloth armor? Are you... You've gotta be joking me. I mean, it's good quality. Oh, but it's just terrible. Super corn seed recipe, just read that and pack all this crap away into the gyrocopter, and I will meet you over at... Red Mesa. Here we are, dog already. 
<laughs> Against my better judgment, I did that, and I paid for it, too. There we go. Oh, boy. Yes, drawing in some attention as well, it seems. Yep, that's not the melee weapon I need. There we go. Whoa, spider boy. <laughs> I did it again. Oh, this spear sucks so bad. And I also suck really bad too. Oh, that's one thing I did not bring with me today was any food and water, but now eh, we should be able to find some in here. There is a kitchen in there somewhere. Wait a minute, don't I have that thing where I can pick up landmines? Is that a thing? I've spent such a little time playing Perception that I don't even know. What is it, the Infiltrator? I could pick up landmines. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is gonna be a ton of fun. All right, man, that is at least 100 landmines. Oh my god, that's so many. 195 hubcap landmines. Oh my god, I'm gonna scatter those all over the base for Horde Knight. No! Did I get credit for that? I don't think I did. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't have a use for these right now, though. All right, we triggered the beginning zombies here. Dumpsters are, however, a great safe place to stand. Oh, nice. Steel boots already. So, let's just get right into it. All right, what are we dealing with here again? Kind of forgot, wow, what's going on here? I am gonna miss the spear at least some of the time. It is fun to get that nice, like, killing stroke. See, what they just need to do is they need to keep the throw in. Make it less buggy, of course, because sometimes you like your spear gets embedded in the ground and you can't pull it out. But they just need to have it as, like, a third option. Power attack, regular attack, and then throw attack. I'm gonna miss the Red Mesa from Undead Legacy, where Subquake added all those like ventilation shaft things to explore and there's all the cool sliding doors good stack of first aid out of that that'll hopefully not come in handy but <laughs> at least we have it if we need it all right who's hanging out in here anyway ah whoa a rad not sure i have any rad removers do i not even one and we've got some other zombie Is that pizza and track. No, he's outside, I think. Great. I have to listen to him all freaking day. Oh, the bellow schematic after all this time. Yeah, I haven't found much here so far, and it seems to be kind of sparsely populated with zombies. Don't really need that, do we? Should be getting into it a little bit here soon. Yeah, there's several zombies in here. I, I'm having memories now. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got the money, so we can get some of this stuff. Just grab the food as well, so I can uh, have a snack here a little bit later. Hello there, Mo. You guys gotta check out the community page. We're still doing the votes. The last vote that we did was... Mo versus the Lumberjack. Lumberjack overwhelmingly winning in that one though. So what we're gonna do, I have, uh, I, I went into Excel and I made a big like tournament bracket. So we're gonna see like who's the toughest zombie. We're gonna vote all of the zombies in and, and just like kind of rank them at the end. So uh, make sure you're subscribed, right? <laughs> so you get to check that out. Yeah, now I'm having a hard time holding on to everything here. Oh, hello. Ah! All right, ambush out here. No. Yes. Ah, yes, the kitchen. Not that we need the food anymore. Ooh, I see a rat over there. Is that Arlene? Couple zombies down there. I think there's a cop over here somewhere. Not quite enough to take her out. That'll do it, though. Who's in here? Ah, yes, the big fight here. Question is, where are you all? There you all are. Oh, I was just hoping there was like a door I could get him to. This one here, maybe? Uh, he's too strong. Damn it. <laughs> what I wanted to do was, like, pile them all up and hit him with a grenade, but... Yep. Missed my opportunity for that one. Might just see about getting all these electrical parts, though. That will probably do it. I just got like a thousand electrical parts or something like that. How many do I have total now? 
427 out of this place. We're good for now. Oh, someone breaking something. Even a cop just tried to spit at me, I think. Did you hear that? Yeah, what the hell? Where is this guy? I'm sure we're about to find out. And I gotta keep this in mind. This place is the place to go if you ever need electrical parts. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're at the top now, and this is where the big fight is. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, prime these guys with a grenade down there. Then I'm not exactly sure... They all come from around the corner, don't they? Lock and load. And wakey-wakey. Here we go. Come on over. Yep, I think that did something. Oh, the armor penetration. I love it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, and the last guy. You asshole. How many did I kill over here anyway? Eh, just one? That's it? Okay, zombies are knocking. And hopefully the loot is safe. Yes. Okay, key box opens that. In fact, we gotta go stash the gyrocopter. So we will be right back to do the looting. I feel like that was a really good call, picking up all the landmines, because typically a whole bunch of zombies come wandering in, and then all the landmines get set off, and that generates a ton of heat. Something just collapsed. <laughs> What are you guys doing over here? No! None of that, please. Uh-oh. Come on, man. Get out of here. Got zombies running in. Are they behind me? Whoa, where'd he come from? My goodness, is this a freaking horde or what? It feels like a horde. Oh! No! What the fuck is going on here? Whoa! My goodness. Definitely feeling like that was a horde. Where's all your friends? Anybody else? Just gonna try to get a ladder back up here so we can grab our loot. And how did that even get knocked down? It's kinda weird, isn't it? Eh, who cares? Anyway, let's take the eye candy. And, oh, we gotta blast our way into these things. Uh, I'm just gonna be super careful and make sure that I grab up this loot first. Ooh, nice spear. Nice machete. Ammo. More ammo. Okay, do one at a time here. Remember, I got the demolitions expert, so... Oh, that was a good call there that I picked that up first. Okay, that did open the gun safe in one crack. I might just take this before I accidentally break it. All right, last thing. Right? No. See, these hardened chests are just... They're too strong. I don't know why these take so many timed charges. Yeah, it's, it's gonna take four, basically, no matter how you cut it, unless you want to, like, break into this- Whoa! Last bit! Where did you come from? Well, thanks for the quality six shovel. Really appreciate that. I think they can get up from the ladder here. Just gonna blow this open. All right, let me in there once and for all. There we go. There's a treasure map there, too, and, you know, we've got the treasure hunter thingy, so that's probably- this, Today is probably the day to do it, tonight, before we spec out. Well, we're in the middle of the wasteland, so right now is the best time to read it. So read it up, check the map, see where we're going. Way the hell off there. Well, it is what it is. The hell out of here, Cole. All right, hopping in the gyrocopter, and let's get the hell out of here. Although, this is not a good runway. Oh, yep, just barely got it. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have a good road that's right next to it. We're gonna have to park a few hundred meters away. Run through the wasteland, dig it up, grab it, run back, and try to take off all in about 40 minutes because it's almost nightfall. All right, just gonna ease it in here. There we go. Okay, stash anything that I can, and we're just gonna start rationing stuff. Get rid of everything that I don't need here. Okay, that should be enough to carry the loot. Make sure we're locked and loaded. Got zombies chasing me already. Yep, this is gonna have to all happen at nightfall. This is really not ideal at all. Crap, soldier here. All right, we're at the site. Let's start digging. Oh, and of course, it's gonna take three strikes to bl to break one block. Oh, and I I don't even bring the shovel with me anymore. There. Oh crap, man. Well, there's a there's a quality six shovel that we just pulled out of the. Uh, I don't know what we pulled it out of, but we pulled it out of something over there at Red Mesa. So I'm gonna have to run and grab that. Zombie's chasing me. No, no, go away. Oh boy. Kind of getting the impression we might have to do this some other time. Go, oh boy. Yeah, this is um, this is not going to happen tonight, guys. I'm leaving. Don't I have that, like, machine gunner book perk where if I, like, 
what is it? You get a kill with a machine gun, it refills your stamina meter or something like that. Doesn't help with reloading though. Eee, ah. Yeah, I don't think it's possible in the wasteland at night to um, kill off all the zombies. They just, they spawn in too quickly. They immediately respawn when you kill them. Ah! Oh man, and I'm gonna die here soon. Oh, watch out for the gyrocopter. That's our freaking landing strip. Ah! Ah! Screamer now! Oh boy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Um. Yes. We need to go back here now and just take off and leave. Here, zombies, come over here. Ow. Oh, Jesus. Fucking lumberjack. Okay. Into the gyrocopter and just run. Go, 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 go. And we're out of here. Okay, yes. No! Nosedive. Uh-oh. Fuck, man. Get it off the ground. Okay. That's over with. All right. Well, there's a look at the loot hall for today. <laughs> so many landmines. I'm going to wait until like the day of the next horde and then just going to like lay them all over the perimeter of the base wherever I think that zombies will step on them. <laughs> it should be quite a show. All right. Everything's put away. There's just a couple things for us to do today. And the first was going to be uh, not baton parts. We needed robotics parts to make the robotic. Dro what is going on out here? What? What is going on? Stop that. You. Ow. Eat that. Whoa, look out. Are we good here or what? Right, the drone needing a whole lot more duct tape. Which, oh my god, we don't have any cloth again. Crap. Oh, jeez. And picking cotton. It, oh, jeez. No, no, I don't want to do that. We're not on living off the land day. Damn it. Oh, if only I had the book that turns the plant fibers into cloth. Oh, that would be such a lifesaver. Well, we only need about 10 more duct tape. So I guess we get we just got to do it. We just got to head out and pick cotton. Okay, while we're waiting, I'm just going to check on the rocket launcher. Of course, using duct tape. Well, we should have all the cloth that we need to make the duct tape. So we'll start working on that. Grab the duct tape. Start working on the drone. Excellent. Level five on both of those. And with that, I think we're ready to go on to Strength Day. All right, so there's the drone. And I went to Patreon to select a name for him, I guess it'll be. And the name was Freebie. So we're going to be calling this guy Mr. Freebie. So thank you so much to Freebie for being a patron. And if you want a chance for your name to be used, you can check out my Patreon for more details on that. Okay, so I've got the shotgun. Oh, you know what? I need the tube extender mod for this. Can I make one of those? Tube extender mod? No. And I don't think that I even have one, which is... A bit of a bummer, but that's okay. I got the choke mod for it. Had to make one. There we go. We'll still roll with the M60. That's fully modded. We've got the sledgehammer for today. That's fully modded. Let's make sure we bring some food with us just in case. Pack up Mr. Freebie. And I don't... Do I have mods for him? I could have sworn that I had like a cargo mod or something, but nah, it doesn't appear that way. See, I can make all of the mods though, except for the medic mod. What's it going to take to at least get this? Just another minute or so? Okay, I do want the morale booster. What does that do again? Stamina regeneration. Okay, definitely want that. We definitely want the cargo mods. Have they patched that out yet where you can stack the car cargo mods? I guess I don't really know the answer to that. Oh, there's the rocket launcher. Save that for Horde Knight. And uh, what... Where'd you go, Mr. Freebie? There you are. Yes, and we get three slots. So let's pick one more here. Let's just try the cargo mod and see if that'll slide in there. Oh, I was just checking on that spear that we got. Actually, the the blue spear is better. However, with the extra mod slot, this new steel spear will be better. Okay, oh yes, you can stack the cargo mod still. That's still a thing. Okay, welcome back to the world, Mr. Freebie. Stash you up with just the, the non-essential items. And with that, we are good to go. For today's adventure, we are off to the Hagashi Tower. But first, I'm keen on picking up that treasure so that we won't have to do it in the middle of the night again next time. Whoa, just clearing out the area here. Forgot my shovel again, but I think I have like a... The, the, what is it? The Grave Digger mod on my pickaxe anyway. So, and with maxed out Miner 69er, it's like, I think it one shots. No, no, it doesn't. Oh, big mistake again. It's okay. If I just peel off this top layer, I should be able to see where the treasure map is really quickly because I did use my memory points into Treasure Hunter. Yep. See, this makes it way easier. Oh, look, my sledgehammer is a better digging tool than anything else. Son of a bitch, though, I didn't bring any lock picks. Okay, we're in. Oh, really nothing worth it either. Ah, oh, crap. I take my anger out on that bear. All right, well, we're running late, so no bear riding for today. We gotta head over to Hagashi.
Bringing it in for a nice smooth landing here. Hmm, not exactly the direction I want to park, <laughs> right directly for the bridge, but I don't have time for rearranging it because I don't want to be here all freaking night. So let's get into this. And as a strength player today, I can finally just roll through here naturally and kick some ass. Oh crap, I got a concussion already. Not good. Ow. That's why we brought the first aid kits. Well, I can tell already half the problem is just going to be the zombies on the outside. Oh, crap. All right. Well, that's not going to help anything either. Man, the wasteland with 4x zombies is like Horde Knight all the time. Well, we got a long way to go, so let's get to it. Holy cow, man. Come and get it. Ah. I was going to wear the heavy armor today, but I totally forgot about it. Oh, man. The sledge... This is what I get for not practicing with a weapon for weeks and weeks. I end up using it and I'm terrible with it. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna run out of first aid here. Jeez, man, I should have gone with a club. That or should just roll with the guns out. I'm trying not to use the guns because I don't want to call in a whole bunch of screamers and create that sort of a problem for us later on. Ugh, but we're probably gonna have to just do it. Okay, level three. Oh, crap. I remember level three. Level three sucks. Ah! Oh, I saw a rat out of the corner of my eye. Got the rat remover on the shotgun, though, I think. Whoa, dogs. Oh, I told you, level three sucks. Whoa, I'm trapped. Ah! That'll go over well with the screamer situation, and I broke my arm, so <laughs> no more sledgehammer. Yeah, outside it's really, really busy. Man, of all times to break my arm, it's today. Come on, man. Well, I break my arm pretty much every day these days. Okay, we should be able to find some first aid here somewhere. Okay, we're up to the chem lab. I'm just kind of waiting for Mr. Freebie because he's got my food and I'm hungry. Just so many zombies downstairs. It's ridiculous. I would kill them too if I could figure out how to do it. But I've got more pressing concerns on my hand right now because of this place with the... Yes, the feral whites. Oh, nice one, buddy. Whoa! Acrobatic one. Here, there's a bunch of zombies in there. I can see them. So, work on them. Whoa, you ducking motherfucker. Get out of here. And what I would do just for a splint or a cast. Mr. Freebie's freaking lost in the sauce down there. Ah, ooh, look at the zombies outside. Okay, I did find some glue. Glue can be used to make duct tape if I could find some cloth. Ah, ah damn it. Not okay, there's some cloth right there, though, to make duct tape. Now I just need some wood, so get some wood out of these. And I just need a couple more cloths to get the splint, which should be easy enough. So there's loot over here. I just gotta kind of sneak over here. Isn't there a... Wasn't it a weapons bag or... Oh, this. No cloth, though, and very, very laggy right now, unfortunately. Hi! Oh, crap, I fell down. Really not the worst thing in the world, because I'm going to end up killing all these zombies that are over here. Here they are. Yep, just uh, help them break this window open here. This one over here as well, it would appear. All right, let it rip. All right, you guys are next. Oh, boy, where did you come from? Get back! Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, I got more jumpers down here. Fucking wolf! Where did you come from? Bubbles is in there too. Holy shit, man. What the hell is going on here? Okay, that was the last two there. What a weird confrontation that was. Yeah, because then, no, nope, we're not back here. We gotta go all the way around, right? Ah, oh geez, yes. He Hello? Hi there. Okay, up to level five. I think we got, what, three or four more to go? Looking good on bullets. Look how long it takes to reload. <laughs> this is pathetic. I never did find the cloth. I'm still looking for it. Oh, here we go. Right, splint, finally. And while I'm right here, I'm just gonna kind of stock up in case I need another one later on. Ah, Mr. Freebie, you scared me there. Steak and potatoes, please. Ah, nice, that was another glue there. So we can just get the tape done. Okay, moving right along here. 
Oh, concussion kicking in. Ow. Typical me forgetting to bring all of the critical first aid items, and I meant to do it too. I was gonna put all of it into Mr. Freebie. So I forgot the heavy armor. <laughs> I forgot all the first aid. I remembered food and water though, at least. I just turned the video quality down a little bit to medium because I was kind of feeling like we were getting some like frame rate issues. We, we still are only getting like 42, 44 right now per second. That's just the nature of this building combined with being downtown. The downstairs is starting to fill up with zombies again. <laughs> oh crap, didn't see you there. Oh boy. Yeah. Whoa, hello. Ah, up to DNA testing. Oh yes, where all the whites are probably. Friggin' evil pharmaceutical companies. Always messing things up for the little guys. Definitely getting into first aid kit range now. Yep, let's do that before we run into a whole bunch of zombies. Cause yeah, I think this is where it all goes down. Ah! At least uh, a lot of it. Yeah, here we go. Here, let's just see if we can maybe set a trap for them. Hello? Wake up everybody. Let's see if this works. No, oh, it's too late. I think I got like one of them on the tail end of it. Maybe more. That, no, we got a couple more. At least soften them all up. Yeah. Okay, not too bad. Holy bubbles. Oh my God, three freaking rads in here. Are you kidding me? After everything we just went through? Okay, well this is one where we can use uh, the grenades to our advantage a little bit. So we'll just, one there. It's kind of far away. Can I get that back please? Yes, one here. And, hello. And, uh, just drop that there and hopefully that works. Yep, started a bit of a fire. That should be okay. Okay, don't catch on fire. Whoa. Okay, up to clinical trials. Oh, the concussion again. No, 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 bad. That's gonna hit me probably at the worst possible time. Whoa, hello. And spin. Counter attack. Oh boy. Bird. Oh no, stop that. Two skill points to spend too. Let's just take a look at that before we get to the top here. Oh, the concussion's killing all of my skill points. No, that's so bad. And we have like an hour and a half left on it. Well, if I spend the two skill points, that at least gives us lucky looter back for now. God, this guy's strong. All these medical rooms and no medical supplies. Oh, there's some. Oh, not what I'm looking for though. Ah, here we go. All right, same thing for these guys. Drop that and open them up. Nice. I got like 6,000 XP, so that must have been, yeah, four kills, four or five. Whoa, nice. Oh, the concussion again, I can't even move. Ah. Oh, steroids, that's helpful. Just gonna put both of those into me right now. And we'll make sure we hydrate after that. Oh, there's our painkiller right there. Nice. Much, much better. Right? I think that was it. And we're up to the rooftop now. Yes, we are. And this is the quiet part of the rooftop. You gotta kind of start spinning around upstairs to stir up all the zombies. Okay, so what do we need here? We need four bites. That's only gonna last me two minutes though. So that will save that for last. I just juiced up on a bunch of water, but I'll take a coffee anyway. And... Mr. Freebie, where the hell did you go? Oh, there you are. Give me some food so that'll give us a max stamina bonus. Just lighten the load a little bit, and I think we're good to go. Let's just repair the M60. Yeah, just go ahead and give me the repair kits then. Repair that, make sure we're locked and loaded here. All right, and with that, we're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's do this. All right, zombies, where are y'all at? Here we go. Yep, they're waking up now. Oh, I got them all lined up right here perfectly. Oh, bird! Less than perfect now, ah! Just gotta get a beat on the birds and I think we're probably good after that. Yep, all these zombies have all woken up. Come on birds, where are you? Reload while I got a second. Here we go, oh come on, just rack it in, there we go. Want nothing to do with that guy. How about some grenades? Yes, over there, ow! Oh, not good, first aid kit please. Here we go, are they coming behind me? Watch my back here, okay? Ow! Watch the back, watch the air as well. Oh, there's a big fire now. Okay, I'm heading back into the freaking stairwell to, uh, oh, take the fort bites that I fucking forgot to take. Jesus Christ, reload. Okay, they're right on the other side of this door, at least a couple of them. Yep, close that door up. 
Oh, that red. There we go. Oh my god, a cop! Yeah! Whoa! Holy shit, man! The fucking rat is still alive! Hide! Get a fucking grenade for him! You asshole! Ah! I think he's dead now. We got, like, fires everywhere, though. Okay, I definitely do feel like that was the gist of it. Let's just get out here and clean them all up before the whole place burns down. Got major collapsing going on. Still got a white somewhere. I can't quite pinpoint where he is based on the sound. Here he is. Ooh, strong one. All right, let's get to the main loot then before this whole place comes crashing down. Yep, a whole lot of fire going on over here. That's gonna call in screamers too. Okay, hit the button, open the door, and jump on in here to get the loot. There we go, that's what we came for. Another one, oh nice. And because I'm an idiot, there's no other way to do this. Okay, we're into that. Whoops. And I forgot to use the eye candy, but that's okay. I also brought this uh, pair of lucky goggles with us, the plus four variety. So let's put those on, eat the eye candy, and I just wanted to check the loot stage there real quick. 351 right now in a tier five POI in the wasteland at level, I think 75. Let's see what we get here. Oh, the auto shoddy quality six. There's some lock picks of ammo, another blade trap bundle. I'll take all of it. Time to go home. But exactly how we go about doing that is uh, up for debate. Let's just get the good guns down and lock and load. Okay, I have three fully loaded M60s and one fully loaded auto shotgun. And I've got the Dukes in my pocket, so we should be able to just jump our way down. We'll like scale all the way. Whoa, got some company here already. Okay, just carefully now jump all the way down. <laughs> so many zombies inside too. Uh, we're just gonna ignore those guys. And there's all kinds of zombies in the street too. Oh man, yep, here we go. Here's all the zombies that are inside, many of them at least. Okay, down to the gyrocopter and into the air. First, we gotta go under the bridge. There's a nice little lip there that should launch us though. There we go. And up, 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 up. Climb, climb, climb. Yes, we are home free. There we go, perfect. Ish. Mr. Freebie? Mr. Freebie? Oh, there you are. Well, that is a look at the Hall 4 Dashong Tower. Sans, the fact we got, yeah, that, there you go right there. The two M60 machine guns. Looks like this is the better. And it's, uh, yeah, it's it's a little bit better than the, the blue one that we have. New pair of Nux we'll have to compare. Just to patch up all of my injuries here. All right, so tomorrow is Fortitude Day and Agility Day, and I think the only thing left for us to do really is do the Deshong Tower. So that will be the plan for tomorrow. We'll bring a Forget and Elixir with us so that if it draws into the night, we can switch over to Agility to close things out there. And then the day after that, it will be an Intellect Day followed by Perception Day for the Day 56 Horde. And fortunately, we'll have a Rocket Launcher, a good Steel Spear, and a Sniper Rifle for that. And hopefully over at Deshong Tower, we'll pull a better Sniper Rifle out and or maybe get a better SMG or the schematics to make those things. So what I'm gonna do tonight is just focus on crafting some mods and getting all of our weapons changed over, get the kit ready for tomorrow. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Scratch that, there's a fucking horde coming. Yes, here they are, let's go fight. We do have the broken arm still, so we'll just have to be super careful. Yep, okay, they're running in from all directions now. We'll fight here so that we have some shotgun cover. Ow! Oh no! I'm dying! Yep, full auto time please! Not the crossbow! Here we go! Alright, and with that massacre out of the way, I think we can call it a night.
morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And this is it right here, the Deshong Tower. This will be our crowning achievement for the series, but we'll probably have to kick things off in a classic manner here by riding the bear a little bit. He, uh, I aggroed him on the way in. Oh boy. Oh, not going good. Oh, I don't have like agility. Oh, Bubbles is here too, yikes. Yeah, it definitely helps if you have the parkour, right? Well, let's do the best we can here. She's out of stamina. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. That's enough of that. That was a good ride, but sometimes you just gotta cut it short. No one to accept your defeat. Well, we're off to a rough start here. Mr. Freebie, there you are. So I have packed up with basically everything that I can think of that we might need today. I even brought the light armor and a forgetting elixir so we can transition to agility day midway through if we need to, if we don't end up getting out of here by sunrise. You can't knock me for not being prepared today. I brought everything. Whether or not it'll make a difference is the real question. And every time you let a round off around these this place, it's just zombies galore. Get away from the gyrocopter. Okay, let's get into it then. Okay, do I recall that it's relatively quiet here on the ground level? Yeah, not too bad. Going well so far. I wish I had the medic mod though. That's the only thing that we're really missing right now. Otherwise, we are like, you know, top tier, un unkillable. Well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say unkillable, but we're pretty close to like the invincible brawler type of build. Is that a working vending machine? Of course not. That's fine. Who else is in here? Oh, hello. Oh, of course. Lots of zombies outside as well. Oh, and a dog. Jeez, where'd you come from? Spider. Oh my god, man. What the hell? Can I just clear out a POI in peace? I think the answer is clearly no. Oh, where did you all come from? What the hell? Oh, right in the face. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I'm still missing the book where it's like every punch you gain one... Yeah, uh, HP. That's like the really critical book that you have to have for the brawler build. Just stock up on whatever I can for first aid. Hey, little crack book back here. <laughs> what are the chances I pull out the one book that I need for the brawler series? Very low, of course. Ooh, a fire extinguisher. That might come in handy. All right, we're moving up here. All right, look at these dummies. Stuck on that. Okay, it's just never gonna end. If we don't get onto the second level soon or the third level, <laughs> we're just gonna have to keep dealing with this all damn day. All right, who's in here? Nurse, get out of here. Oh, beer. Beer, that's the one thing I didn't bring today, isn't it? Oh, crap, no beer. I've got one beer now. I even had the empty slot in the hot bar. I think I was thinking about taking that, but I just forgot to do it. It's okay, we should be able to stock up a little bit on it here. It's such a common loot item. Okay, little pharmacy here. Yes, exactly what we need. Okay, it seems like the ground level zombies are starting to kind of leave me alone. Oh, who did I wake up there? Did I walk right by all you guys? Whoa, look out. Luckily this place is not made out of wood. Oh yes, I didn't go over here. Are any just bookshelves really all I'm looking for? Oh, books are here. Ah, nothing. Okay, now we're into, yes, the elevator shaft. Extra vitamin, I'll just take that. Okay, what are we up to here? Third level, we've got Daiko and Forsoft. Just a couple of offices, it seems like. Come on over here. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Oh, I got 13 skill points to spend. I didn't spend all my memory points. Right, nothing really gonna help us. Well, we'll take some pack fuel points and uh, some minor 69er points, increased block damage, and yeah, otherwise it doesn't really matter what we take. Whoa! <laughs> You came all the way up here, but you can't figure out how to do the rest of it, can ya? Alright, well, it's basically just about clearing this place out at this point. Well, I've sprained my arm already. Damn it. I do think I brought, like, steroids and splints and stuff like that, though. Okay, steroids in. We only gotta deal with this for five minutes. Right, there's just a ton, ton, ton of zombies here somewhere. You hear them? What the hell? Where'd these guys all come from? I'm gonna work my way back there and just see what the heck that's all about. Because what they're gonna do is they're gonna beat through that elevator shaft where the soldier was a second ago, and then they're gonna be on our level chasing us down. So if I can get ahead of that, that would be great. Yes, yeah, see, here we go. 
What are you guys doing out here? Oh my goodness. Ow. Here. Pipe bombs for everyone. Just get y'all to like fall down a little bit. And then light y'all up with a pipe bomb. Must have been a horde with this kind of volume. Whoops, and down I go. <laughs> ah! I think that's it right there. Oh, got one businessman stuck in there. Screamer here too. Oh boy. Ah! Oh, she's in the freaking elevator shaft now <laughs> with Mr. Freebie hanging out with her. Keep her occupied, Mr. Freebie. I am heading up. Yeah, even with the sprained arm, we're doing pretty good still. Oh, here we go. Yeah, just set a present for you, big mama. Here, have that. <laughs> nice, set it right on fire too. Big Mama and Fat Tourist. That was the last vote that we did right there. The last I checked, uh, you know, Fat Tourist was gonna win that one. I feel like, oh crap! I feel like we gotta kill that Screamer. She's gonna make a real problem for us if we don't. I think on the next level I'll get elevator access though and I'll be able to look into the elevator shaft and kill her, hopefully. My Fourth broken vending machine in this place. Okay, we're up to level five. Ooh, the construction level too. Okay. okay. Doesn't one of these floors like break through and then you fall down to the level below or am I misremembering that? Whoa, hello. Okay, I got a whole cluster of them behind me now. Too easy. Oh boy. I ran a little bit too quickly into this room. Got a loot bag there. Ah, oh, yes, um, like a mini loot chest pile here. Whoa, look at the ammo we're pulling out of here with our game stage. Okay, we're at the elevator shaft again, and... Oh, yes, I might be able to look down from here somewhere. Here we go. Oh, of course... They've broken it in now, though. Oh, I can just make her out right there. I got her. Nice. Oh, several others, too. Oh, boy, I fell. Yeah, whoa. Oh, oh, hello there. Yes, it's a interesting place to fall down here. Yikes. Get back. Well, the good news is we were able to clear out the... 30 or so zombies that were killing the frame rate. And what I'm gonna do from here is just set myself a ladder so that I can get back to where we were. But this also is gonna mean that the zombies can get up to where we were as well. Which, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. We kinda want them to come up and get killed, right? Or, or, or do we not want that? I'm not sure. Oh, that's a screamer! Okay, so what's what was the point of coming out here, though? Oh, we gotta go up there. I see. Then into the other elevator down here. This is kind of a complicated pathway. I don't think the zombies will want to do that. And if they do, they're not going to want to do it very well. Oh, I'm hungry. Mr. Freebie. Ah, no matter. I've got some... Well, I got some soup and some stew and some blueberry pies I found today. All right, we're back in the game. Is this the one that collapses? Let me just check here. Uh, nope. Doesn't look like it. Whoa, that's a lot of zombies. Here, time for a beer. All right, guys. Bring it on. Oh, ow. Oh my god, a bunch of ferals too. Bikers, lumberjacks, and thugs. Oh my god, these are tough zombies. I think I'm handling it pretty well though. Ooh. Eat that. Come on. Ow. Holy crap, man. Well, take a bandage after that. Luckily, I didn't get any critical injuries. Okay, zombies are trundling their way up the, the, the elevator ladder that we put in there. Yeah, and then they're all hung up. My fifth not working vending machine, also known as a <laughs> fifth broken vending machine, another way to put it, I guess. Okay, what do we got here? We still got the beer? I think we do. We got a whole bunch of zombies to fight in the pool here. Whoa! Okay, don't want to get hit by that guy. He hits really, really hard. Got him. Wow, kind of everyone hits hard, don't they? Oh, here they are. They did make their way in. No problem, huh? Is this gonna hurt you if I put this here? Oh, set yourself on fire. That works too. 
Uh, that did kill them both. Nice. Okay, parkour time. Actually, I don't have parkour, so <laughs> don't fall off the building. Not until tomorrow, at least. Oh, hello. I just noticed there was an airdrop on my map, which I'm not sure if I knew know when that came. That come today, and I just didn't quite notice. Give it up, big mama. Who's back here? Where'd you guys come from? Here, eat that. Yeah, yeah, see, that didn't do anything to them. They're behind the wall there. I, I'm trying to kind of refrain from um, using the guns too, too much. Here, let's just open this. There we go. Whoa! Acrobatic one here. Looks like they all kind of want to do the same thing. Oh, here we go. Now you can have that. Come on in here. Of course, that did basically nothing. Oh, jeez. I sprained a leg. Mr. Freebie, I don't- doesn't, um, taking a splint help with sprains? Ah, the steroids will. I'm thinking of, um, <laughs> Undead Legacy or something. I've played so many mods recently, I'm having a hard time differentiating what's vanilla and what's mod. Okay, yeah, more zombies coming up from behind us, which is kind of okay with- is this the floor that falls out? I knew it was somewhere. Whoa! Holy crap, man! Yep, so much for saving the heat generation. Panicked a little bit there. Oh man, the floor is still falling out. Just, can, can you die, Bo? Jesus Christ, get out of here. Oh, thank you. Who's out here? Whoa, catching all the crap on fire. Yeah, oh, the curtains, they burden. Well, I'm sure that's gonna catch me on fire on the way through there. We'll just make sure we have some water. We get a good amount of ammo. Ooh, nice. Bunch of shotgun rounds. Gotta reload the shotgun turrets before tomorrow. Or not, but before the horde, I mean. Okay, yep. Yeah, here's the real precarious thing right here. I've gotta get some water on the hot bar so that if I catch on fire... Oh, give me the regular water. So if I catch on fire, I can put myself out very quickly. Oh boy. Oh, a burning zombie came through there. Where are you all coming from? Are you still coming from outside? No, 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 no. Ow. Oh, I broke my leg. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, man. Uh, I don't know, take the vitamin, I guess, and take the armor parts, and, uh, Mr. Freebie, please dispense to me a plaster cast. Ah! Bubbles! You're making a mess! Oh, boy. And, could I also get a health bar into me? Oh, my goodness. Get out of here! Well, I don't even know what that was. Give it up, Mo! Oh, you know what? We've got the fire extinguisher. We don't have to catch on fire here. Yes, give me that before this fire gets even more out of control. Okay, fire has been fought and we are ready to move on. Holy crap. Oh, I'm trying to eat my blueberry pie. Okay, time for some first aid for sure. All right, we are good as new. Oh yeah, the zombies are just coming up the ladder that we built all the way up to here. It's a pretty complicated path. I'm kind of surprised that they can do it. Oh, who was that? We're in like the luxury business suites here. Yes, yes. Oh, I love that backdrop there. That's really cool. We use that in the Undead Legacy series. Whoa, I'm getting surrounded here. Not good. Oh, boy. Okay, just fight our way through. Get them all in front of me and then rinse them. That works. They're coming from the staircase again. Hold the door. Hold the door. Okay, quickly now, gotta put some separation between us and the zombies that are on ground level that continue friggin' hearing us. Oh, you. You're you're a strong one, so just take care of you. Oh, Big Mama's wrecking me. Oh, we got a rad back there. Well, I got a rad remover on these now, so I should be able to punch her. Oh, I feel like Big Mama's a bigger threat than this rad here. Oh, except when you get surrounded. Also, kind of running low on ammo. I thought that I brought, like, plenty. It's okay, though. We can switch over to the 9 mil and um, use the SMG. Okay, whoop. Getting uh, surrounded here. Get the freaking pie in the... Uh, or whatever it was I just ate. Okay, we press on. Oh, look at that food there. Nice. Okay, parkour section. Got it. Yep, officially nightfall, which means the zombies are even faster than before. And even more zombies will be spawning outside now. So if they can still hear me from down there, we'll be meeting up with them very soon. What floor are we on right now? Are we, like, more than halfway? I think we're close to the end, aren't we? 
Oh, no, not really, are we? Because we're not even at, like, the broken out section yet. Yeah, we're still in, like, a major construction section. We got a long way to go here. Can't help myself. Gotta get my acid. Just kind of moving slow and methodically through here. Oh, boy. For what good it does me. Anyway, because I want to just give our critical injuries some time to heal. Oh my god, I finally got the- oh jeez! Finally snuck up on one zombie. It's kinda hard to do with all the heavy armor. Okay, we are again out into the elevator shaft. This time I don't think I'm gonna connect the ladders, cause uh, I have an alternative way of getting out of here that I'm gonna try. Looking for some more beer, there we go. Whoa, man, what I would give for some parkour skills right now. Ow, ooh, bleeding. Ah, shit, just hold. Okay, no, one more. Ooh, skill point two, and... Uh, well, I don't have any bandages. I guess I could just let it bleed out. <laughs> I'm not even losing any hit points for some reason. So I can get the drop on a couple more here. Oh, that's just a, a, a dead body down there. Just making sure. Oh, yes, the part where I always break my leg. Oh, bookshelves. Ah, nothing, though. Oh, look, a red munitions box. Not sure if I've ever seen a red one before. Ooh, and fittingly, shotgun and contact grenade ammo. Oh, finally, a working vending machine. <laughs> nothing at all in it. Damn it. Ooh, more bookshelves and a rat. Ooh. Oh, you s Whoa, you guys are fast. Punch him in the groin until he dies. There we go. Come on, bar brawling. Double pocket mod schematic. And that's it. We already had um, read all the batter up series, so that's nothing there. Oh yes, more bookshelves. Wow, I didn't realize there were so many bookshelves here. Attack assault rifle schematic. That's not too bad. Oh, this block again. I really like that block. I gotta figure out how to use that for some design aesthetics. Oh, two for one there. Okay, I feel like I have memories of there being, like, a lot of zombies in this area. Not too bad, I guess. Oh, yes, bookshelves. Again, nothing that I need, though. Okay, up the ladder. Don't fall. I think we, we literally... We're about to heal the broken leg, so... We cannot suffer another one. Not now. And finally, what is this? The seventh vending machine or something? And that one is broken. And is this it right here? Oh no, there's like so many more levels. Wow. Oh, and just like that, it's morning already. This place just takes forever. Okay, so this is a good checkpoint here. We're gonna switch over to agility, which is gonna mean changing armor and changing weapons. All right, I'm all specced in. It's just time to lock and load. Oh, look, you can see the drum mag on this. That is super cool. All right, we're good to go. Bring it on. Ooh, I like having my speed back. That is for sure. Turn the helmet light on, and yes, fire and maneuver, please. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not as tough as I was there a second ago. Get a bandage onto me. Okay, the good news is I won't be breaking my leg here anytime soon, not with parkour maxed out, unless I break it from a zombie attack. Oh, hello there. Where are you going? Back over here. Damn, man, he is so tough. All right, we're almost there. That's the loot room. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, look at that. There's a uh, munitions box back there. Is that vegetable stew? Oh, hello. Suck on that. Oh, ooh, yes, here's the munitions box stuff. <laughs> Letting you arm up a little bit before you head to the rooftop. Nice. Okay, I think that's just about it. In fact, it's pretty much entirely it. We are up to the rooftop now. All right, we just gotta take a second to get all juiced up and ready to move. Steroids, recog, health bar, fort bites, mega crush, gumbo stew, and I think that'll just about do it. Are we locked and loaded? We sure aren't. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh my god, I am moving like the wind. Look at this. Whoa! I'm like flying. There's a screamer up here. Yes, are you all awake? Yeah, here we go. That was a feral screamer too. Oh, of course, the bird problem. Yep, we found out about that the last time we were here. No need to reload right now. Just let it rip. Whoa! They're just soaring over the zombies. Okay, if y'all don't mind, why don't you cluster up for me? See if I can get any bang for my buck out of this. 
Yes, I can. And the rest of you can just get a couple of air bursts. Oh, firing with the cylinder out of the gun, like a friggin' boss. Woo! You and me, big man. There we go. Someone left? Let me give you a hand. Alright, we are locked and loaded again, and I think we cleared out the entire area here. There shouldn't be anything left to worry about. We can probably just loot up in peace. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we're finally into that. That took... Uh, how many lockpicks? Twelve? Jeez. Alright, let's stash up Mr. Freebie as much as we can. And let's check the game stage right now. As it is right now, 259. Pop the lucky goggles up for 263. Eye candy into me for 295. It's about as good as it gets, I guess. See what we get. Ooh, nice spear, fireman's almanac, and another dart trap bundle. That's it for the fireman's almanac series. 38 crossbow bolts, lovely. And last little bit here. Oh, another M60? Wow. You've got to be kidding me, man. I've got so many of these. All right. Well, let's get out of here now. Just set myself up a little ladder here, and up we go. And where am I parked, anyway? I'm parked over here on this side. Okay, so we have the impact bracing mod on our boots. I have the 5,000 dukes in my pocket, and I've read the book where I can safely fall 15 meters without taking damage, and I have maxed out parkour. I am thirsty, so we'll take a mineral water, and we'll just dive off the building now. Yeah. Like it was nothing. But, uh, we have the looting candy. Where- where can we get a quick loot here? We've got five minutes on the looting candy still. Okay, just stash up the gyrocopter. And let's get in the air and see if we can see anything we can just, like, loot gank real quick. Air assault style. Um, I think- isn't there a loot on top of that place there? There's a loot on top of doggos. Looking for something a little bit better than that. Oh, the savage country here. I mean, that's not like the easiest one to get, but it's not the most difficult one to get either. Here, just put it down anywhere really is fine. Yeah, we're good. Don't even think about it. Yes. Okay, here we are. The loot's right over there. And I woke a bunch of zombies up on the bottom level. That's fine. All right, here's our loot. Just get down here. Where are you guys? I know you're in here somewhere. Okay, that did it. <laughs> Woke up a whole bunch of people here. Is this gonna do any damage to you? Certainly will. All right, finish you off then. And get into the chest. Jeez, I'm having a terrible time with the lockpicks today. Let's take care of you guys. Jeez, I went from 38, uh, yeah, so it was like 10 lockpicks there for that? Holy cow. I think it was more than that. I think I picked up lockpicks in the last loot. Leave! Oh, a nice pair of green running shoes. Okay, so how does that chest piece compare to the one I'm wearing? It's actually better, nice. Right, well, we're done with this place. Back to the gyrocopter, and we are out of here, unless I can see another loot that we can get real quick. Oh, look at that. Is that a coyote horde? What the hell? I didn't know I made one of those. <laughs> I guess my mod is full of surprises. We never did see the grace horde, at least not yet. We could just do the smash and grab here at the housing development and at the movie theater. Those are two tier four loot chests, and I'm interested in seeing if maybe we can still pull another better sniper rifle out or the sniper rifle schematic. Those are the two things that we're really hurting for right now. Okay, let's just top off on health, get rid of all the stupid shirts that we have, and we just, all we gotta do is run in here. Let's see, that's locked, and there's no other way to go about it. We just gotta break into it, and I think, shouldn't we be triggering the zombies that are in here at some point? Okay, here we go. I guess the construction worker zombies that are all throughout this POI, they haven't quite woken up yet. That's fine with me, though. Let's see, we could do the pipe bomb trick, but I'm gonna just see if I can get some good sneak damage, because we've got, um, we've got such good sneaking skills right now. Oh, <laughs> one bullet left in the chamber. The last one in the chamber does do double damage, though. Come on, come on. Oh, boy. Oh, man, I'm riding more than just a bear right now, aren't I? Okay, got him down. Take right care of the rest of you, like it's nothing.
Easy peasy. Okay, let's just grab this. Well, I do have another eye candy, don't I? Do I? I... I do not appear to. Whoa! Oh, here they all are. Finally decided to come on over. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Broke something. That's not good. Also sprained something and bleeding. Yes, that was bad. Gosh, man. Good thing I brought all this stuff with me. Yep, so no eye candy, unfortunately. Oh, hello, Bubbles. No, 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 no. <laughs> we don't need any fires in here right now. Oh, no. We've got a fire. <laughs> Quickly, get this loot. Oh, nice steel helmet there. Oh, Bubbles. Always ruining everything. There we go. No, don't need this crap. Okay, well, whatever. We'll hope for better at the movie theater. I believe this one is considerably easier to just gank the loot off of. Yeah, looks like it. All right, who else is in here? Okay, yep, got a present for you guys. Hang on to that for me. There we go. Okay, we're in. Finally, first try, I'm on my lucky luck pick. Ah, don't need beakers. Well, I'll take it, that's fine. We will be forced to roll with the quality three, which the quality three SMGs is working really well for me today anyway, so it's not like we need a quality six or even quality five, but just would have been nice. Arlene, you dirty bitch, get out of here, oh crap. Oh no, she's crashed me into the fence. Oh you bitch, get out of here. Okay, carefully now, swing this thing around, here we go. Just watch out for that fence. Oh no! Why did my tail have to run into something? There we go. Oh, this ops logistics site. Have I ever done this? That kind of looks new to me. That might be fun to do someday. Oh, look. watch out for the tower. Ah, my favorite of all, the uh, Shaka Masaya live shooting range. Oh, you know what we have to do? We There's um an airdrop over here and I think it's on top of the high school. Where was that? Fortunately, I do think it's still falling. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I think I can park this right on top of the high school. There we go. Just stash what I can there. Check the loot. Another 25, uh, 500 steel cubes. Interesting. I'll just sell those, I think. While we're here, let's dance. Ow. Well, there we go. Got a quality six piece of leg armor. Don't need beakers anymore. Read the schematic and we are out of here. Whoa, what do we got here? Bubbles, lighting the floor on fire. All right, time to move. See if I can parkour my way back to the rooftop. Ah, of course I can. I am the master of my domain. Perfect. Okay, we are fully laden with loot now, so it's just time to head home and get organized. What a lovely day it is in the wasteland here. You know, I don't think I'll ever play this game again with the default weather conditions in the wasteland. I just love it so much more with the nice blue sky. Man, that base is really looking nice from up here, isn't it? Carefully, whoop, that could have been better. Damn, now I just gotta transfer all of this. Look at the ammo that we pulled out today. <laughs> We're gonna transfer all of this downstairs. Well, would you look at that? That is the haul for our adventures today. Sans the steel armor, that stuff that I just had with me and that I was wearing, along with some of the first aid supplies and some of our tools are in here too, but you get the gist of it. All right, so I think everything is finally all put away and I just wanted to show you like how things ended up here. So we've got the sniper rifle spear, a couple of good spears. This is all of our strength tools, our fortitude tools. I pulled out like four quality six M60 machine guns in this playthrough, it's, it's just been crazy. Pretty much maxed out on our agility stuff there and a whole bunch of extra intellect stuff. And here's a look at like my backup set of steel armor and my military armor and all of my backup tools, you know, in case we die. And here's our, what was this, 195 landmines or something like that. Still a bunch of stuff to sell off here at the traders tomorrow on Intellect Day. And I'll probably end up selling most, if not all of this stuff as well. Oh, shotgun turrets are going off, which reminds me, we need to head upstairs and refill those with ammo. I would imagine they're getting close to running out of ammo at this point. 
Oh, very close indeed. Get down to the last two rounds there. In fact, we need another whole stack to uh, to fill them up. I did get the garden replanted. I used every single crop that we have in order to get all these seeds made. And so they should be fully grown up by like tomorrow morning. Oh, they're leaving me loot bags out here as well. Nice. Oh, and the shotguns are degrading the snow that's over here. So we might need to come over here with some blocks and fill that in. Otherwise, right, we're going to fill this place up with landmines. We're going to put them everywhere. We're probably going to do some steel upgrades. You know what we should do tomorrow, maybe, is see if we can craft the 4 by 4 as well, just to, you know, call it quits and, and to say that we got all the vehicles unlocked. Probably just go around and do, like, one pass on upgrades and repairs around the base. And uh, who do we got here? Ah, hello there, Morty. And yeah, tomorrow will be the last episode. I feel like at this point in the game, we've done all there is to do. We've cleared out all the big tier five POIs. We've got all the loot that we basically could get. At this point, I don't think that we're gonna like die at all, at least not in POIs, unless we make some sort of a big mistake. In that case, you know, there's always that chance. But for the most part, we've pretty much beaten the game. So tomorrow will be intellect day. We'll get everything all wrapped up and we'll do the trade around one more time to make all the money that we possibly can. And then we will put the Alchemist Prime base to the test. It'll be the strongest and most challenging horde that we faced to date. And I'm going to make damn sure of that. I'm going to line up all of the, the specialty horde waves so that all three waves during the horde on day 56 will be special waves. So I'm just going to putt around here at the base for the night and get things finally organized and do whatever crafting I think we can do. And I will catch up with you guys first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And welcome to the last stand for the Alchemist Prime base. It is Intellect Day today and Perception Day tomorrow for the big event. And that means I have skill points spent, uh, you know, intellect's all taken care of, and then agility is, you know, for the most part, <laughs> pretty good as well. So we've got good parkour skills. What I wanted to do this morning, though, I want to make the trade rounds one last time. And <laughs> I will, to the day I die, have difficulty getting down that hole there. And so we're going to sell everything, get as much money as we can, and then uh, what are we going to do? Just like shop for explosives and anything that we can use for tonight. We'll come back. we got to set up all the landmines. And um, yeah, I've crafted a couple things here, like some exploding crossbow bolts. And we're crafting up the rest of the steel here. And we're crafting uh, just some crap over here, just trying to get everything out of the forges. So, okay, I'm going to spend a few minutes getting these items repaired and modified, and then I'll meet you over at, um, I don't know, one of the traders. All right, we're pulling in here. Holy shit! Who the fuck is this? Get the fuck out of here. What the hell was that? Oh, I don't know, guys, but I've got a bad feeling about that. That was like someone I've never seen before. I'm going to keep a close eye out for any more people like that. Maybe... Maybe Joel here will have some information for us. Joel, who the fuck is lurking outside your compound here? Apart from Mo over there. Get out of here, Mo. Oh, jeez. Anyway, keep a close eye out. <laughs> Poor dog is still stuck. Right, Joel, you gotta you gotta clean your shit up here, man. Rotten dogs, you gotta make someone sick here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, let's check that vending machine there and see if we could get a sugar butt by chance. We cannot. No matter, I'm not too concerned about it. Oh, someone had asked me in a previous video, what happens if you scrap steel cubes? Well, it turns into 75,000 iron and takes about a week to do it. <laughs> so, no thanks. Holy cow, look at that. I made 62,000 right there. I had modded all those like tier six items. I got a couple more things left in here, but nothing of any real value, just some extra clothing. So, okay, talk to him and sell the rest and see what that puts us up to. 75k, wow. Well, I'd say we probably have plenty of landmines, but five more wouldn't hurt. Look how much it would cost us to buy these back. 156,000, oh my god. The markup at these traders is just ridiculous. Yep, and it looks like that is it for this guy. However, I can, of course, do the secret stash trick to get an extra look at a new secret stash inventory. But alas, there's nothing in there either. So we're on to the next one. Just make sure the area is relatively clear here. Just a couple zombies, no big deal. Getting out of here. And we're off to the next trader. You know, as I'm just flying around out here, I'm thinking to myself, 
you never get to explore these wilderness POIs anymore, really, or at least I don't. And that's because when you go to a trader, they're going to give you quests within the city, right? And sometimes, like, on the outskirts, so you have to travel out a little bit. But look at all this cool stuff out here that just gets completely overlooked. Big swaths of the map that are just never explored. Makes me wonder if, like, if a playthrough with no cities would be kind of fun at some point. Ah, eh, probably not. The cities are just too much fun, really. Whoops! Sorry, Jen. <laughs> Knocking out your decorations out here. There's the sugar butt we're looking for. And there's been a snake out here for like the last three times I've been here. So take care of that for Jen here. Oh, look at that. The drone medic mod schematic. Nice. We'll take that. Otherwise, I just got this great heist book and some grenades, basically. Whoa. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Freebie. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, look at that. I was just searching here. Oh, nice. Got a mining book. And we've got the SMG schematic, which... Oh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to craft a better SMG because I didn't allocate the skill points properly to do that. Well, but we could at least something. see if this is going to be the last Magnum Enforcer. Ah, uh, no. Damn it. All right, one more stop for today. Back to where it all started here. Pleasure well, that'll just about do it. I got a couple of books off Bobby here and I bought the 4x4 truck chassis to just save us some steel there so this will be for land silently when sneaking and that's the last of that series and zooming uses 15 percent less less stamina not the end of that series okay let's head back to the base and start doing some base upgrades and probably set down all those landmines that we've purchased all right we are back and i wanted to first things first just try to get the four by four crafted so we're gonna we got the chassis we need the accessories now <laughs> look at the grenades we got oh that's gonna be fun and then we've got a pile of rockets too damn nice great heist book not the last one in that series oh got two of the same mining book which is yeah that's fine so just trying to kind of remember what i'm supposed to be doing here i uh unfortunately my dog is very very sick right now and so i'm kind of like in and out trying to keep up with him and let him outside and stuff like that so uh let's see here 762 we want to get ap 762 because that's what we're using in the sniper rifle and that's what we'll be specced into for horde night uh, i'm so bummed out that we got the smg schematic but i don't have the skill points to go into gunslinger damn man uh, we could always suck down another forget the elixir but no, I think we'll I think we'll be just fine here. We've almost got the accessories here. I've got some exploding crossbow bolts there, so we can load those into the crossbow and benefit from you know the ex the what is it the demolitions expert. I've always wondered that. It does do the exploding crossbow bolts borrow more from the archery skill points or more from the demolitions expert skill points or both? Like if if does the AOE maybe do like demolitions expert type damage like explosive damage, but a direct hit if you like actually shot a zombie in the chest that like uses archery points? I have no idea, but if you know, I would be interested in the information. So let me know. Okay, accessories ready. 4x4 truck. Ah, the engine. Crap, we don't have any engines, so we have to pull one out of here. And that means I'm going to probably go out and get a replacement engine because I don't want to take any chances tonight on not having enough power. Looks like we're doing pretty good on the armor plates, but I'll put on the bandit and, and take off the armor plates there. Dirty glasses back on. We've got a reflex sight. I don't think there's anything to use that on. Probably put that on the sniper rifle later. Right, and I've got all the landmines, but I don't want to put them out just yet because let's, let's look here. We have the book. It's, uh, what is it? Urban Combat Volume 5. Landmines won't detonate when stepped on. However, if you drive over them, and they still will detonate, so I don't want to lay a bunch of landmines around here and then drive the 4x4 out and <laughs> set off a chain reaction or something like that. So I'm going to wait for this to get ready, and then we're going to go drive around, probably explore the wasteland a little bit, see if there's any cars. Yeah, there's a couple cars I can see that I haven't wrenched yet, and we'll see if we can find at least one more engine. Just packing some ammo away here, and I found a loot bag down here, so I'll pick this up. Ah, nothing. I don't even want that stuff. Get out of here. And how are we looking for steel? Oh, we have so much steel. That is really, really nice. Nice, nice, nice. All kinds of concrete mix, too. Wow, nice. Okay, 4x4 four four is ready. Set her down. And we should have a whole bunch of mods on here that we can pull right off. Pack those onto the new 4x4. Four four, refuel it up as much as we can. And let's go get ourselves at least one more engine. It's been a while. I'm not sure what to expect here <laughs> riding through the wasteland. It's going pretty good, though. It doesn't seem to get hung up as quite so bad on, like, the metal and everything that's everywhere. 
Okay, nothing out of those, but those were like fully destroyed cars. We need cars that are at like the second stage of destruction in order to get the engine. Like all of these cars here are too far gone to get an engine out of. Holy crap, we got contact again. Quickly take cover. Oh shit. All right, quickly now get a defensive field of fire. Drop that in. What are we dealing with here? Okay, I've got eyes on. Seems to be uh, enemies distracted by some zombies, I think. Oh crap, okay, taking contact. I think I got an arrow into it. Holy cow, it's a tough one. Ow, oh, oh crap. Cold, <laughs> I'm busy, man. Get out of here. All right, enemies down. Let's roll up and see. Make sure she's dead. Yes. Ooh, okay, got my crossbow bolt back. Man, what the hell is going on? We've got like a enemy faction that's moving into the area or something like that. Damn it, Cole! Get out of here! How did you just die? <laughs> and I rolled over his toe and he died. All right, we're just gonna have to be extra vigilant here that there might be enemies with firearms out here now. Oh, I got two skill points. Man, if I could keep that up, I might be able to craft that SMG by the end of the night here. Give me the XP. Okay, we have to press on in search of our last engine so we don't have any power problems tonight. Here we go, just gonna roll off cross country here. See what we can pull out of this car. Spider-Man, get out of here. Uh oh, cop. Whoa, look out. Got a landmine going off, I think it was. No engine out of that either. Whoa, buddy. There's an engine right there, nice. No engine in the car. Someone must have taken it out and put it in the passenger seat or something like that. Okay, so that'll replace the engine that we took out. Just gotta put the rest of this junk away. All right, got my nail gun out and I think we're ready to just do some base upgrades and repairs around here. Like, for example, all of this needs to be brought up to steel, I think, right? Yep. Okay, that should be fine there. Okay, so uh, wasn't it everything that we painted black was steel or, yeah, not quite, I guess. I was also kind of thinking, we should fill this block space in here. Oh no, that's not gonna look very good, is it? Because I can't put anything kind of above it to flush it up properly. What if I just did this? That's what I wanted to do there. That looks better, I think. Right, there was this question here. Not a whole lot of ways to do this to make it look particularly good, but I think this will do just fine. I think there might be a possibility that this could be an issue, so I'm gonna go concrete all the way down these steps. There we go, it's morning. I've just been kind of putting around all night long trying to fix all these incrementally damaged blocks. I think mostly from the bird horde and if not just kind of wear and tear from whatever we've been facing here. So I think we're pretty much done in terms of excursions from the base. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day today, I think, setting up some traps and landmines outside. Just fill my backpack full of these high explosives and jump down here and see if we can set some kind of a system up so that we can get as many kills as possible tonight. All right, that's it. <laughs> I can't believe I had like 200 landmines set around here. This is crazy. Of course, I can walk on them because I read that book, but the zombies, they cannot. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. I would, I suspect probably half of them, more than half will probably, will just go undetonated because the zombies will probably take a certain pathway and then they'll they'll break all the landmines like some sort of a pathway like this and then the ones that are like right here won't do anything at all but you never know so <laughs> we'll find out tonight i guess i'd say that's pretty much it i've got everything upgraded all the turrets are loaded the dart traps are pretty much fully loaded at this point the generators are all fueled up we've crafted all the vehicles we've seen all the traders i might just have a nap for the rest of the day in fact part of me wants to kind of like leave so that when the wandering horde shows up today because you know one will we had the bird horde yes but a, a regular wandering horde will be here eventually and they'll probably ruin all of our plans here and i want this to be like a grand grand reveal for the big horde night tonight so maybe i'll just pay the old rock a visit here <laughs> man this thing has definitely seen better days i can't even really get up onto it yep there we go ah yes the good old rock i wonder if rocks can set off landmines I don't think that's the case. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, one thing I forgot to do this morning is we gotta take that forget elixir and get specced up for perception day. So 
take that into us, put all the construction materials away, and uh, I think I'm gonna roll stun baton instead of spear, and I'll use some of my memory points to to go back into intellect to get advanced engineering and some stuff like that. In fact, I'll just, um, I think I'll just use my nerdy glasses today so that we get extra, extra XP, and then, oh my God, look at all this stuff that we have to carry here. Okay, I have everything changed over and I just grabbed out the auger because I'm gonna do some iron mining today just because there's not much else to do. And uh, that'll allow us to craft some more robotic turret ammo because I have no- Oh, no, 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 over here, buddy. No, not, not on the landmines, please. Look out. Ow. Oh, we've already got company here. Okay, could have been worse, I guess. We lost one landmine. We're down to 299. Right, so I have the robotics inventor, so I want to be able to use my turret tonight. Ooh, look at all this iron we got left here. All right, that should do it. Got a couple thousand at least, yep. But I want the armor piercing turret ammo, so that has to be done back in the workbench. Box of AP turret ammo, that's one of those, and the rest over here into just regular turret ammo will be just fine. All right, just putting the finishing touches on things here. I think I'm gonna put my sledge turret, I think, well, I don't know. Cause if I put it here, the zombies might have a hard time, but they have like, I don't know. Whoops, oh, sorry buddy. Oh geez, look at him float his way down. It's like he's got a parachute. All right, buddy, back to the top. So I don't know which one they prefer to go out, which staircase. I never paid any attention to that. So I, I, I am gonna set this at the top and punch a few zombies back in. It'll at least be fun to watch. So go ahead and slide you in right there. That should get a couple of punches in, I, I would think. You know, punching them right back off from here all the way down. Might even punch them down onto this and then they kind of cycle back out from here. Uh, let's see. Otherwise, let's just get the, the the primary weapons down here on the hot bar. I'll just put the frames somewhere else for a moment, and that right there should be good. We'll have explosives, first aid, and then all of the guns. Ah! Whoa, it's a horde! Oh boy, messing up my landmines just like I predicted. Get out of here! That is not oriented in the correct direction. There we go. Well, you guys showed up at the worst possible time, for you at least, because I've got every single gun that I've acquired so far in this playthrough. And I got the will to live. I'm not loaded. Wow, look at that. Oh, look at all the crawlers. I'm not sure, what was that from? I, I think the, the turret here has like a really high probability to dismember. <laughs> I think the turret was just sawing their legs off. All right, well, let's wrap things up over here. All right, everybody, come and get it. Stamina up still really a big issue here. Well, we won't be doing a whole lot of melee tonight. We got the nerd tats. I think we'll use those a little bit and that's about it. Oh, you know what? Do I have any extra skill points? I have one. I might want to put that into physician. No, oh, no, I'm supposed to put that into advanced engineering. Oh crap. Yeah, because we want that 50% from electrical trap kills. Um, Who wants to die so that I can level up? <laughs> I don't think there's enough time left in the day, but when the horde kicks off, we should level up pretty quickly and I'll have to just remember to put that skill point in. Okay, well with the horde out of the way, I'm a lot like less concerned about just kind of hanging out in the base. So yeah, let's go let's go take that nap now. We'll wake up right before the horde. Oh, well. That was a great nap, but it's time to get into position now. And the day 56 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us.
man, it's getting really heavy here. I'm hearing explosions everywhere. <laughs> They're going to be carving their way through the landmines as we go. I've got all the traps spinning right now. I've got all the electric fences on. It's just a matter of waiting for them to work their way through everything and get here. I think while we're waiting, though, we can expend some of these. We could just find a likely target. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at them going up everywhere. There's one. I'm going to pick off a few while I'm sitting here. At least weaken them up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Direct hit on these soldiers. Okay, good chance there. Yes! All right, I hear demo somewhere. We gotta go back down and... Oh, he's right there. Can I just sneak a crossbow bolt into his head? Right there. No, you know what? We gotta head back downstairs. I gotta set up the junk turret somewhere. Let me down! No! Come on, man. There we go. All right, here we go. Just take care of you briefly. Nah, that'll do. Okay, I have the idea of coming on this side and just setting this down right there. See how that looks. Oh, that's looking real, real good now. All right, we are ripping right through them. Have I leveled up yet, maybe? Nope, no skill points yet. We gotta kill some more zombies and then I can get that advanced engineering point. Oh, geez, that reminds me while I'm thinking about it. We got the drone medic mod. Can I maybe craft that? Drone medic mod, craft. 55 seconds on that. Yeah, we're gonna level up here real soon and then the XP is just gonna be rolling into us. There we go, there it is. Intellect, advanced engineering, plus 50% XP gain from trap kills. Okay, I'm gonna go back topside and get some uh, use out of our explosives. All right, what do we got out here? Get back. Okay, these don't seem to be doing as much damage. Let's try, oh my God, look at the rads out there. It's crazy. Oh, we got cops spitting up here at us. Make sure maybe that they don't hit those turrets. That would be kind of disastrous. Ooh, ow, whoa. Okay, <laughs> jump, duck and dodge. There's too many cops, kids. It's just a bad idea to be here. I'm leaving. Okay, back into position here. What do we got? I think we still have a couple of blade traps. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on the mutant wave now. These are all mutants. Got a demo that's gonna go off here. Was there an explosion? I didn't really see what happened there. We got mutated zombies, caught mutants. <laughs> mutants in the hazmat suit, spider mutants. Oh man, here we go. I think all of the blade traps are down now. Bunch of landmines just went off. All right, swing it around. Get this reloaded, please. All right, I'm gonna set that back up there and spin back around here. How about we take down some of these nerd tats and some coffee? Okay, there's gonna be a cop blowing up here. Something isn't there. Oh boy, yep, okay. And let's turn off this fence right here and just bring them up in here a little bit and see if we can get some good melee action in. Oh crap, ow. Cop's gonna try to spit at me, don't do that. Now he's gonna try and blow up, don't do that either. Oh, ow, crap. Oh my God, look at the hazmat boys. Holy jeez, man, why are there so many of you guys? Nope, 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 none of that. Oh, turret's out of ammo again, that's okay. I can handle this myself, except for the fact that I'm about to die. Oh jeez, hide over here. <laughs> Take a first aid kit. Oh man, they're spitting right straight through here now because I don't think the dart traps are on or maybe they're just not, or out of ammo or something. 
Okay, the melee was fun, but uh, I think we got <laughs> we've got to shoot to survive here. Oh, the cops are just wrecking everything now. Mutant wave, very very serious wave of zombies here. Parts of the base are on fire again. We'll have to reset the counter yet again. Kill the freaking demo. There we go. Oh, oh boy, <laughs> fire. Uh, I don't. I didn't bring the fire extinguisher with me, so. Oh, is this still wood? I never upgraded that. Damn it. Okay, well, I, I don't want that to be on fire, so stop that. Oh, and that just broke the fire extinguisher. Okay, so <laughs> we're done with that, I guess. Okay, while there's a lull here, Hello, Temcam, and turn the fences on and reload this. Oh boy, okay, good opportunity. Excuse me, are you setting stuff on fire again? Oh, where, how'd you get in here? Get out of here, oh my goodness. Okay, can I just maybe set this here? Can I close that now, or is that gonna, I didn't even reload it yet. <laughs> I'm doing real well here. Oh, look, they're carving holes in the base. Okay, just uh, right there is fine. Oh boy, there's a bear. Get that bear out of here. Do I get the nerd tat still? Yes, we'll just shock the bear away. Maybe, I don't really know. Okay, grenades? That worked. Try another one, right in their face. There we go. Okay, this position here is in pretty rough shape right now, I would say, as are all of them pretty much from all these explosions. I right, might want to try and lean into the explosives a little bit more at this stage in the game. Oh man, that demo. He was closer to the back position than he was to this position. I think he might have even destroyed our turret. Okay, things are getting too serious now. Time for the rocket. Oh, another one. No, crap. Oh my goodness, this is getting really bad here. We still have two hours to go. Close that thing up again. Cops are gonna blow, just stand back. Another demo here, just trying to get some headshots on them. Man, this mutant wave has some devastating power, doesn't it? My goodness, this is really bad. Even with all of our traps, we didn't really stand any chance at all. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, maybe focus on some first aid here. <laughs> the M60 is our only chance. Freaking sniper rifle doesn't do jack. And we're not specced into the SMG or the shotgun, so that's not gonna do very much either. I suppose we've gotta spread the ammo use so Oh, oh, you know what we need is the recog. Oh, do we even have a pathway anymore? We still do, yes, we're good. Get that bear out of here. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Crap! Okay, I think we've lost the door on this side. We've got to transfer positions over here. Hang in there, 10 cam. We're almost through. Uh, ooh, there's no switch over here now, which um, is problematic a little bit. Um, so what that means is, oh, 10 cam's on fire! Oh God! Ow! Who did that? How did you get over here? 10 cam, are you okay? I got you, bro. Okay. <laughs> uh, what we need to do here? Oh man, they, oh, 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 that's not good. But um, we can't worry about that right now. We've got to worry about how uh, the electrical tool. Uh, wait, what was that? Oh crap, get back. Okay, um, just, just, um, how about this here? Uh, that opens that door close enough, I guess. They should cycle back over here any minute now. Maybe, yes, here we go. Okay, the, the rifle actually is not as bad as I was thinking before. This might be kind of good actually. Nope, nope, don't blow up please. We can't sustain very many more explosions here at this position. Go boy, they're breaking in now. Can I just get that hatch please? Get the hatch, yes, yes, no, no. Yes, yeah, so the problem is they broke that turret. Oh boy. Yeah, so we're gonna repair that. We need that, really. So come back around here. Oh no, the fire! Nope, 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 none of this. Stop that. Oh, the turret. No, Mr. Freebie's down too. Um, okay, can they still manage to come up here? I think they can. Here. Ouch, man, that hurt. First aid kit and 
painkiller if possible. I don't have any fort bites. Oh, I've got an atom junkie. That might help somehow with the grenades and stuff. Okay, it's almost morning, which means we are almost through. In fact, I think we are pretty much through because there's only a couple more zombies here. It's very, very quiet. And there's the morning bell, so we know they're not spawning anymore. Zombie bear down, finally. I think he's been in the pit like the whole night trying to... S he did ma manage to get his way out because I know he fell down there a couple of times. Okay, so with the... Oh, the oh almost all the landmines are gone. <laughs> no, that was awesome. Where are you? Oh, there we go. Come on. Right into the landmines, please. There we go. I've got just the thing for this guy. If I can get it loaded. Ow. Oh, he's dead. There he is. Yep. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. Is that it, though? Let's... Take a little peeky down into the pit here and see if there's anyone stuck down there. Nope, it looks good. I hear a spider though. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's like stuck in the wall, isn't he? He teleported somehow. Oh, he, nope, yep, he did. He fell right down there. Well, I got just the thing for you, buddy. And then we'll pull the fuse on this one. And <laughs> that should do it. Nice. Wow, man, let's tour the devastation here. Temcams took it like a champ right there. Nice, man. Good job. So the weakest link was probably as usual, the, the walkway here. The fighting positions held up reasonably well on both sides, despite all of the cop and demo blasts. Take that back up and let's just hop back inside. All right, well, anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think that'll call it a day. <laughs> We're just about done here, except, uh, is that a, the sound of a helicopter? What the heck is that doing here? Oh man, I don't know, but I don't like the looks of this at all. Looks like they're coming in for a slow approach. Could be friendlies, I guess. Maybe we should just wait and see. There, there should be some room upstairs for them to land. Hello? What are you doing here? Oh, oh my god! We're under attack! Get out of here! Quickly! Oh my goodness! Oh, I think I got one down! Quickly now! Open fire! Oh my god! Direct hit with a rocket! That hurt really bad! Quickly get the M60 out! What is going on here? Oh my goodness! We've got to get out of the base! Taking fire! Down we go! Enemy spotted! She's down! Okay! Let's reassess and see what the hell is going on here! Defensive field of fire! Enemy with a rocket launcher right over there! Take him out! Okay, they're approaching now with heavy machine guns. Okay, fall back. Leave some presents for him while we run. Ow, oh no, 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 no. Quickly into the garage to take cover in here. Oh, they've knocked out all the electrical. Oh, they are collapsing the base. Oh no, 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 no. We have to counter attack. I think I've got a couple down. Here, quickly switch out for contact grenades and give me the electric... <laughs> Not the electric, the explosive crossbow bolts. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Wow, right between my legs. Ow. Eat that. Eat that. And have one of these. Oh my god. Whoa. We've got to take out the rocket launcher guy. Here he is. Oh, jeez. Guy with an M60. Where are you guys at? Okay, junk turret might have taken one out. I'm not sure. Oh, no. There's one. Ow, ow, ow. Come on. Can I just get a hit here? There we go. Another one, please. Not working. Rely on the sniper rifle that we're specced into. Thank you, Mr. Freebie. Whoa. These guys are tough. One down. One more down. Ow. Okay, now we're calling in zombies. One more down. Oh my god, we've got screamers here now. Get out of here, please. Ow. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. Run. I've got a few rockets left. Oh, man. They're chasing me down. There's screamers everywhere. Guys, I think I'm going to leave them to it. It looks like they've abandoned their helicopter over here. I am going to take it and get the hell out of here. They can have whatever they need here. I think I got a close-up look at them, and some of them are, like, glowing green. Almost like... I don't know, like they're maybe coming for the forget the elixir or something. Either way, I've got their vehicle and I am getting out of here. The battle might be over, but the war has only just begun.